$30, Loco starts to stream before the timer finishes. Well then, Mr. Dude of Life. I mean, I don't want to call you out or anything, but, uh, I don't want to call you out or anything, but I couldn't help but notice I started to stream before the timer ends. Guys, welcome back. Today, today, we are playing the fifth Loco TV viewer tournament. Guys, welcome back. Today, today, we are playing the fifth Loco TV viewer tournament. Interestingly enough, we're kind of like an airline. Um, we're overbooked, but no worries, not everybody checked in. <laughs> this is some very clever thinking by Nuke, who is, of course, the tournament uh, admin, who's organizing basically everything. <laughs> It turns out six players did not check in in time. So, this is... Everybody hates it whenever airlines overbook. But look, it happens, okay? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you can always rely on people being unreliable. Exactly. Now, for those of you wondering, this particular tournament has a couple of different... Today. 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 Nice. Welcome back. Today. Guys. Guys, welcome back. Today. Today, we are playing the fifth Loco TV viewer tournament. Interestingly enough, we're kind of like an airline. Um, we're overbooked, but no worries. Not everybody checked in. This is some very clever thinking by Nuke, who is, of course, the tournament uh, admin, who's organizing basically everything. <laughs> it turns out six players did not check in in time. So, this is... Everybody hates it whenever airlines overbook, but look, it happens, okay? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you can always rely on people being unreliable. Exactly. Now, for those of you wondering, this particular tournament has a couple of different rules than last time around. So first off, as far as the tournament format goes, we are doing a double elimination. I'm a little concerned about that part, we're giving it a try, but basically it means that when you lose, you have a, a second life, you have like another chance to come back into the tournament. Um, and secondly, this time around, the maximum MMR sign up is 3500. So 3,500 MMR, that is the equivalent of about, I think, low diamond, high platinum. Maybe diamond two at the beginning of a season or something along those lines. But anyways, uh, that's a little bit lower than last time around, which means that the game should technically be better, depending on your definition of better. Um, also, I've got this absolutely beautiful golden trophy um, that is made out of plastic. Guys, welcome back. Today, today, we are playing the fifth Loco TV viewer tournament. Interestingly, interestingly enough, we're kind of tournament. Interestingly enough, we're kind of like an airline. Um, we're interestingly enough. We're kind of like an airline. Um, we're overbooked, but no worries. Not everybody checked in. <laughs> this is some very clever thinking by Nuke, who is, of course, the tournament uh, admin, who's organizing basically everything. <laughs> it turns out six players did not check in in time. So this is... Everybody hates it whenever airlines overbook, but look, it happens, okay? What are you going to do about it? You can always rely on people being on. You can do about it. You can always rely on people being unreliable. Exactly. 
Now, for those of you wondering, this particular tournament has a couple of different rules than last time around. So first off, as far as the tournament format goes, we are doing a double elimination. I'm a little concerned about that part, we're giving it a try, but basically it means that when you lose, you have a, a second life, you have like another chance to come back into the tournament. Um, and, tournament. and secondly, this time around, the maximum MMR sign-up is 3,500. So 3,500 MMR, that is the equivalent of about, I think, a low... So 3,500 MMR, that is the equivalent of about... I think a low diamond, high platinum, maybe diamond two at the beginning of a season or something along those lines. But anyways, uh, that's a little bit lower than last time around, which means that the game should technically be better, depending on your def. Depending on your definition depending on your definition of better. Um, also, I've got this absolutely beautiful golden trophy um, that is made out of plastic. You can read the little... Does it work? Uh, there you go. Hold up, I, I need to polish it. I need, I, I need to polish it. You need this trophy? Yes. So I'll be sending this to the winner if they want it. GLHF everyone. Last time around, I sent it to the person that got second place because the winner didn't want it. <laughs> but anyways, someone someone has, someone has a, a thing that says champion even though they didn't... Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I'm it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I'm really looking forward to it forward to it. This one looks way better than the last one. The last one actually was made out of metal. This one, this one's definitely not made out of any metal. Be it gold, be it steel, be it whatever. Hey, thank you very much in the symbol for the 55. Thank you Dorian as well for the 15. Bunny gifting us up to Eva. Melvin with... Um, we are not doing off racing either, so some people ask, hey, can I sign up with my off race? Because, like, I don't know, my Zerk is 5,000 MMR, but my Terran is 3,500. Uh, we haven't allowed that, since there are more than enough people, you know, that are willing to play. Um, we're not doing off racing. Should that are willing to play, we're not doing off racing. Should be it. Yeah, we'll get off racing. Should be it. Yeah. Registration and check-in has already closed, so we should be able to get, yeah, we should be able to get things underway pretty soon. Basically, we, um, we're just waiting for, uh, the bracket to be finalized. Should be pretty fun. It's already too late, man. It's underway pretty soon. Wait, Verness, you don't watch literally every single minute of every single live stream that I do? What? I find that hard to imagine. I am not going to lie. Anyways, I am not going to be casting all of the games today by myself. I'm going to be casting them together with Rushy. Let me give Rushy a call. I'm coming for the trophy. My Hello. Hello. Recall of you. It's been so long. It has been a very long time, Rushy. How are you doing, man? I'm pretty good. How about you? Is it not super early in the morning? It's 8, right? That's what you said? Yeah, 8.14. 8.14 on a Saturday. I feel like that's... Yeah, it's, a, it's a little shitty, but not too shitty. It's a, it's a... Eight fourteen on a Saturday. I feel like that's yeah. It's a it's a little sh little, little sh shitty.
little shitty, but not too shitty. Too shitty. Too shitty. Too shitty. Too shitty. Too shitty. Little shitty, but not too shitty. Yeah, I was up at five, so. At five? Yeah. At five? So. At five? Yeah. The adrenaline for this tournament is what you mean, right? That That's absolutely right. You were too excited. I understand. It's true. Rushy the goat? It, it is Rushy the goat. Do I understand. It's true. Rushy the goat. It it is Rushy the goat. The one, the only. Carried casting. I need carrying everywhere, guys. This is what I do for a living. I get carried. And thank you very much, Ryan. I think five community subs. Lieutenant Cheese Dota as well, but the three month resub. Hell yeah. I have a feeling that the carrying is not going to be a, a concern. The carrying? It's not going to be a yeah. concern. You you. No. I have a feeling that the carrying is not going to be a, a concern. The carrying? It's not going to be a yeah. concern. You you no, will easily manage it. Is what you're saying? Yeah, of course, of course. Mm. Echo Seal, uh, Echo Soldier is saying. He of course. Mm. Yeah, of course, of course. Mm. Echo Seal, uh, Echo Soldier is saying he loves me, man. But he's playing in a tournament. I think he's trying to play on my feelings. I'm Ooh. not going to allow any of this. Trying to, trying to get a little one up here. Mm -hmm. Come on. Loco, I just woke up. It's 9 a.m., so less shitty. Did you check in in time, strategist, if you just woke up? <laughs> I may. I, I think we may have found one of the six, guys. Ah, Echo Soldier thought he got me, but the minimum text-to-speech is 100 bits more than that. Got him, boys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Tumla, as well, for the 100 bits. Eba, why would you Why would you say that? How could you? What does Eba say? Why isn't Reggie signed up? Is Isn't this around his MMR win. range? Oh, <laughs> how could you? I promise I won't tell anyone. Loco, this is for Guess letting me win. Thanks for the deal. Yo, Blue Harry, we weren't gonna bring that up. Anyways, is the bracket life? Ooh, the bracket is life. Let me just see if there's a Taco Emissary versus Love Sunk in the first round, because that could take a while. No! Let me just see if the bracket. Ooh, the bracket life. Is the Is the bracket life? Ooh, the bracket is life. Let me just see if there's a taco emissary versus love song in the first round, because that could take a while. No, not the case. Do you remember that beautiful game, Rushy? I I like emotionally repressed it, and now you're bringing <laughs> it back up, and I'm getting my fight or flights triggered. So that's the main reason why I'm concerned for double elimination. Like, at this MMR, double elimination should not be taking... It shouldn't be taking too long. But then I think back of that one Terran versus... But then I think back of that one taking too long. But then I think back of that one Terran versus Terran that lasted for 45 minutes because neither player wanted to make Liberators. Um... 45 minutes because neither player wanted to make liberators. Um, it was a beautiful game. It was a beautiful game. Maybe we'll get games as good this time around too. That'd be amazing. Thank There's you, only two off. people from the United States. What the heck, guys? There's a lot of Dutch people actually. Caster bias. Caster bias, man. You know, Shiny originally on this website had it. Yeah, he still has it. Had it. Yeah, he still has it. He's got the German flag. Shiny, what's going on here, man? We had people like that as well. Uh, no, uh, years back. Uh, okay, fine. I'm not gonna. That's too cool. I'm not gonna go there. But what is going on there? He's one of us, Loco? No, no. It's gonna be a long cast. What's going on there? He's one of us, Loco? No. 
Oh, no. It's gonna be a long cast. How long do you guys think this is gonna take? How long do you think it's gonna... Uh, how long do you guys think... This how long do you guys think this is gonna take? How long do you think it's gonna... Uh, this entire tournament is gonna take, Rushy? Uh, it's gonna take, Rushy. Uh, this entire tournament is gonna take, Rushy. Uh, I mean, it's gonna take every every minute of our six hours we have allotted. I think so too. Yes. <laughs> Seven hours. Fourteen hours. Eight hours. Twelve. 12 hours? Nah, there's no way. I think I think about cold. 7 or 8, yeah. We need to ask uh, Wardy. I feel like Wardy would give us a precise answer that is accurate every time. Uh, oh, shit. I've already missed the first lobby invite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let me see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, shit. I've already... Oh, shit. I've already missed the first lobby invite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you were in here already, Rushy? That's amazing. Yeah. A, a seasoned professional, man. You are a professional. I already missed the first one. Um, if I want to bring in your camera, Rashi, what would be the easiest way? Um, if I want to bring in your camera, Rashi, what would be the easiest way? It's the first one. If I want to bring in your camera, Rashi, what would be the easiest way? Do I click that link? You click the link. I click the link. And I see your face. And my face is there. And then I think you copy solo view link. Hello, hi, and then it's a browser. Oh, you got it? Yes. And then a browser. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will name this It'll browser source Rushy. Just as special. Source Rushy. Rushy. Just as special. Does it bring in Rushy? Oh my. Rushy. Just as special. Does it bring in Rushy? Oh my god. The technology. We love to see it. We get to see Rushy's face and mine at the same time. I'm gonna have to zoom out my camera more now. Just so I don't, you know, look as massive, you know. Okay, okay. Um, um Alright, I mean in, in real life it's vastly the opposite. You are pretty I'm the small in real one. life, yeah. No! <laughs> no! That's my entire identity! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you like the shirt I wore today? Oh, dude, I... Hey, do you like... Hey, do you like the shirt I wore today? Oh, dude, I didn't even recognize... Oh, that is a great shirt. Oh, yeah, here, let me just... Uh, let me get the camera out of the... Full-time nerd. Camera. That is a good shirt, Rushy. Where did you get that? Uh, uh, some cool guy gave it to me as a gift for visiting. Oh. Oh. I mean, I paid a lot of money for it at uh, loco.tv slash shop. No, it's www.loco.shop, Rashi. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, I got it all wrong. Um, oh, I think the players Where's are already ready. my shirtless outfit? Chat, that's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a stretch goal for today. Uh, Hundred <laughs> gift subs, and uh, I think I'll go pull it out. Probably not though. Will I shill? Absolutely, we're shilling. Are we shilling? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. We are ready. Dude, I that's think, my... for the first game. Dude, we are not messing around. Um. Ooh, there we go. I hope this is going to run well, Rushy. I'm always a little concerned that everything's going to be a mess, but... Look, here's the thing. I think this is the fastest we've ever gotten started, though. Because I feel like the, mm -hmm. every other time, it's been like an hour and a half of, okay, well, we set the deadline to an hour into the stream, and then people didn't show up, and then we wait for people, and <laughs> no, then... No, no, we fixed that, man. Well, not... Would we... I mean, Nuke. Not, not me. I didn't do anything. But Nuke basically, uh, yeah, made some decisions in that department. 
Now we have a couple of no shows sometimes, but it is what it is. Okay, those are just me, Nuke. Not not me. Concerned at everything. Um, we are not messing around. Okay, we are. Oh, no, absolutely out. Probably not though. Will Will I shell? Absolutely. Probably not, though. Will I shell? Absolutely, we're shelling. Are we shelling? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. We are ready, I That's think, my... for the first game. Dude, we are not messing around. Um, I hope this is going to run well, Rushy. I'm always a little... I hope this is going to run well, Rushy. I'm always a little concerned that every... But... Look, here's the thing. I think this is the fastest we've ever gotten started, though, because I feel like that mm -hmm. every other time it's been like an hour and a half of, okay, well, we set the deadline to an hour into the stream, and then people didn't show up, and then we wait for people. And <laughs> no, then... no, we fixed that, man. Well, not would we, I mean Nuke. No, not me. I didn't do anything. But Nuke basically, uh, yeah, made some decisions in that department. Now we have a couple of no-shows sometimes, but it is what it is, okay? Those are just... Uh... Yeah, some, sometimes you got to make those decisions, right? If you didn't make it to the check-in. That's true. Tough luck. The check-in. That's true. Tough luck. But we're doing a ZVP to start. Ooh. So. But we're doing a ZVP to start. Ooh. So. I think this will... I think this will be, this will be a good way to open things up, for sure. I think so, too. All right, Rashi. Do you want to have the honors of introducing the very first player in this tournament? I, 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 I would, and I am going to go crazy with it here, because welcome, everyone, to the fifth edition of the Loco TV Viewer Tournament. My name is Rashi. I'm here with Loco. In the top right-hand corner of Ancient Cistern, this is the orange Protoss player. His or her name is Rebusel. Rebusel in Clan Nugs. All right. Did I did I mess up Rushy's camera placement? I'm going to fix that in a moment, guys. Because first off, in the bottom left-hand corner, with the purples or drones, we're looking at Agent X's main hatchery. Do I want to be bringing Twitch chat onto the screen as well? I feel like that's a bit of a risk, but I might... Okay, fine, fine. I'm feeling brave today, guys. But I might... Okay, fine, fine. I'm feeling brave today, guys. <laughs> Think of the content, Loco. Think of the content. There it is. Don't do it, Loco. I've done it, chat. Too much oh, stuff. Shit. Okay, we might disable it later. Anyways, got ourselves a I quick mean, little spawning pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's with gas, too, so mm -hmm. this could be incredibly useful if that wall is not filled and it's a quick speed, which I think it should be, but the gas is a bit behind. Yeah, it's a double. Yeah. Yeah, it's a double gate opener, though, which is kind of funky. At least Rebel Soul right here sees that there are already Zerklings out, so that's quite nice. I always get a little bit concerned whenever I look at wall-offs like this, but I think Rebel Soul is going to be a fine right there on the right. The one pro pretending to be a Zealot. Love to see that. I mean, this looks like, I think, every stock standard diamond... See that? I mean, this looks like, I think, every stock standard diamond ZVP that I've been a part of, where the uh, two gateway opening is just almost a mandatory choice, just simply for this exact reason. Mm -hmm. Early pools are pretty popular, but yeah, you bring up a good point. The link speed is a little bit funky here. Usually you follow this up with a depth. Now the cyber core is done. Ah, oh, there's a little bit of a, ooh. Okay, there is a bit of a supply block. I was assuming that there was a uh, an adept coming up right there inside of that gateway, but not the case. We're gonna go straight into a stalker. No second pylon. Yeah, a little bit late. It's we're not even go a second, second and third though. There's not even a second zealot either. I mean, we're finally getting one, but usually you just stack two on that first gateway so you can actually defend this because now that middle gateway 
dangerously getting low here. Revisol's gonna start like panic building to make sure that all of these uh, these holes are clogged up so Zerglings aren't going to come flowing oh, no. in, but he is gonna lose that gateway, which seems uh, a bit unfortunate, but uh, at least he's gonna stop the swell. Yeah. Agent X felt the heat though. She immediately decided to add on a lot of additional Zerglings here, which I actually don't think is the right call. So this may work out for Revisol in the end. It's a tactical supply block. It's really clever. It's when you assume that the opponent thinks you're weak, so they start overmaking Zerklings that are then entirely useless. Unless you don't back up that Zealot. Please back up that Zealot. Please back up oh. the Zealot. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Ne oh never mind. <laughs> Agent X had an opportunity. I think at this point, with only one gateway, yeah, I think you can throw a couple lings away on this harassment because once those zealots disappear i mean there's not a lot here even holding this together and there's no real good way for additional reinforcements until that second gateway is done i'm going to use this as an opportunity to line up our cameras ever so slightly better rushing i feel like this is the time oh i love it so that means i got to look at stuff on my side of the map though so there is a third base going down for Agent X. Not going to continue throwing things at this, but Rebisol is kind of in panic mode. Doesn't have the second Nexus yet. I think trying to save a few resources here, but a lot invested in just holding the defense at the front of this wall. Two warp gates finally will secure this down, but that's going to allow the Zerg player to exponentially grow here. Yeah. There's a, another gateway in the main base. I'm trying to make sense of Rebusol's situation, man. I think Rebusol was in an amazing spot when he started with the double gateways. Honestly, basically unlosable at that point if you make the right units and you don't get a supply block. But now it's a bit of a disaster. Triple gateway does very little at this point as well. So there's no Stargate, there's no Twilight, there's, well, an Overlord in the main base just sort of hanging out there. Hmm. <laughs> there's no tech. None, no, there's none at all. Okay, I think these guys... Okay. Okay, I think these guys are preparing for the first 45-minute game of the day, Rushy. <laughs> it is happening! <laughs> it is... It's... it's It is happening. <laughs> I thought this first game was gonna. <laughs> it is happening. <laughs> I thought this first game was gonna last three minutes. I'll be honest with you, but uh, <laughs> we're already well past that point right now. So, I've I've seen I've seen a lot of a lot of games around this MMR, right? And I feel like there's there's two options. Either it's an early game cheese, which I guess we had. Or it's a super long match. There's there's very little in between. I'm curious to see I mean, what, is, what's going to happen here, though. We have a lot of. I think this is actually a little bit scary. I mean, Rebusol is coming across with not. Uh, well, no, mm -hmm. I don't think this is a whole lot here. I mean, against Zerglings only, they might be able to equalize, but Agent X is going to have the resources behind it to just overwhelm. And even if Agent X trades not super efficiently, if the Forge going down behind this with an additional gateway, this is, this is just Gateway Man strats. Is this an Artosis stream? <laughs> yeah, it's the Gateway Man. He's It's the gateway, man. He's a. <laughs> it's the gateway, man. He's a full back in action. No uh, war prism or shuttle. All right, there's none of that needed here. We're just gonna start attacking a little bit. You're right, though. Zerklings alone are not great, but I think there's just more than enough here. No, I think you just oh, attack no, move keep here. Oh no, it Just, just. <laughs> I think you can't really lose this as long as you just attack, but you do have to actually attack. <laughs> and there's eight roaches behind this too. Yeah. So like, yeah, 15 now. yeah get all the. Get all the Zerglings out of the way, take care of this army, and with no Stalkers left, I mean, the eight Roaches just walk across the map and win the game. It's just that simple. Okay, Roach speed starting up. Agent X could literally go across the map. That Overlord is still in the main base, <laughs> so there's no probes on the low ground. Yeah, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to call you out, little probe, but there, there's basically no workers on the low ground either. Ventry. Actually, Agent X playing a pretty good game here. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, this is... Th oh, that got cornered! Just absolutely pinned everything against the rocks here. Finally going to be able to clean up the rest of it. One stalker is just going to make it to the front door, but no shield battery help there. So there will be some additional warp ins, but it, again, there's a nice amount of roaches here. It's 52 army supply to 16. It, numbers don't yeah. lie here. Game one, six minutes in, and Loco is already molding. Look, I already got a little bit triggered when the second pylon was... You know, not made. That that's that's how long it took. The second pylon, that was a supply block there already. <clears throat> it's unnecessary, oh. guys. No, the over It's unnecessary, oh. guys. No, the, the overlord! The overlord, no What happened? Oh no, the hero overlord died? Wow. Oh. <laughs> that is kinda toxic, man. That thing could have died like five minutes ago and now right before the game is about to end, or supposed to end. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're going drones. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This game oh, is supposed 14. to be over. No, just to go, just go, attack him, kill him dead. Yeah, but look at that scary wall. I mean, we don't want to just True. charge head first. We might lose the game, despite being almost double the supply ahead. To be fair, I think Agent X has lost. To be fair, I think Agent X has lost many a game to a sudden war prism that shows up with like eight zealots and. A bunch of dark oh god we're just zealots and a bunch of dark templar oh god we're just playing incredibly safe yeah we're gonna just go full three base saturation now which honestly is not a terrible idea right especially when you're playing a tournament game but oh look at the zirkling zirkling scout at the front oh oh it... <laughs> that's not gonna help uh anything there he's gonna see all that units and go ah uh, no thank you i think i will just stay back mm -mm. So we're starting off, by the way, with a best of one. Later today, so originally this round was supposed to be best. Of one. Mm -mm. So we're starting off, by the way, with a best of one. Later today, so originally this round was supposed to be best of threes as well, but I got a little concerned. I was like, eh. <laughs> uh, so we're starting off with best of one here, um, just to uh, move things. Just to here, just to uh, move things along a little bit quicker. But Agent X But Agent X apparently wants to play a best of one in the amount of time it takes to play a best of three. But that's okay. Right? This is this is how we love it. You gotta when you know your game is being casted, you you, you gotta make sure you get your Yeah, your your time on the screen. It's important. Look, it's called getting your money's worth. Maybe you've heard of it. True. True, true, true. That's a very I, mean, I know you live in the country of Europe where capitalism is not rampant, but here in America, we understand the value of a dollar. Yes. Well, I mean, there's no money on the line for this tournament, just a pure golden plastic uh, trophy. So, Baneling Nest would just be beautiful here. Instead, it's two more hatcheries. So, I mean, there's different people in the world. I'm a trophy. Well, I mean, there's no money on the line for this tournament, just a trophy. Uh, trophy. So Baneling Nest would just be beautiful here. Instead, it's two more hatcheries. So, I mean, there's different people in the world.
Trophy. So Baneling Nest would just be beautiful here. Instead, it's two more hatcheries. So, I mean, there's different people in the world. I mean, it's full three base saturation into a fourth and then into three. a macro hatch. Where's the third? There's hatch? an additional hatchery. Okay. What? All right. I am. Agent X has decided that the creep ah. in looks incredibly good on this map, so why not just. All right. I am. Agent X has decided that the creep. Ah. In looks incredibly good on this map so why not just cover all of the bases with creep? it does it does look good constant scouting here at the front so at this point agent x is saying yo i am gonna just defeat whatever attack is coming out of the protos player and the question is when exactly is robosaur gonna move out when do you think that's gonna be rushy there's a gonna move out when do you think that's gonna be rushy there's a second uh, robo facility coming up right now we're going immortals I mean, this is still a oh. scary attack. Can I answer right now? Is that is that an answer? I hope it seems like be a prism and an observer. I hope it seems like be a prism and an observer. Sir, I hope it seems like be a prism and an observer. That'd be nice. Oh no, we're gonna just take a third. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a posture. So well, okay, so Rebusol has the scouting information. There's a there's a hallucinated phoenix harassing the one oh, overseer oh. here. But oh, the army's gonna try and connect here. Force Ravagers are being morphed in, so it's a little bit of army supply that's not available. Force and force. it could be a scary moment, but the Ravagers should be able to pop without major issues. Are we gonna get any files for those Ravagers? One up at the front. There go a couple now. But those uh, guardian shields, really <laughs> well done, and the force fields to zone the army out. So I think Rebusol only lost like 30 to 10. So, like, uh, yeah, a good step back. Let's regroup. Yeah, just take our time. We're not in a hurry today, Loco. That's true. No, that is definitely correct. Loco? That's true. No, that is definitely That's true. Hey, Loco? That's Loco. Hey, Loco? That's true. No, that is definitely correct. I think with some good force fields there, it would have been a pretty straightforward fight. The retreating force fields were really good, but I think we could have used some in the middle of that battle. Especially to box in all of those Ravagers, that would have been fantastic. Um, anyways, this is now uh, an 11 and a half. I think we could have used some in the middle of that battle. Especially to box in all of those Ravagers, that would have been fantastic. Fantastic. Um, anyways, this is now uh, an 11 and a half minute third Nexus. And normally this one finish up at like, it finishes at like four and a half. So we're a little bit late, but Agent X has given the opponent a lot of time to get back into it as well, right? <laughs> it's just, it's just a, it's a very, very good agreement just to be good players and to do everything you possibly can to let, uh, let it be a fair game. We don't want, we don't want the Zerg Cabal to just run free here, and despite the fact it's a 192 to 113. Like, this, we, we, we play fair here. We got an army of Changeling. Oh god, okay. Rebuzol is gonna use 500 <laughs> APM to try and oh, get rid of it. The Zerglings? <laughs> no, no, no. That was the Yamoto has been tasked with killing the Changeling, Rushy. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Keep going. <laughs> that guy had a job to do, and he did it. Oh, yeah. This is this is the moment. There has to be a push here. There's no reason not to. Asian X should be able to just overwhelm this army. Ling's going to be on the right-hand side harassing the wall. They really should go over to the army. Now they're going to try and go, but oh, that targeting command is just incredibly difficult here. Ling's finally make their way over to the main army. The Hydra composition here with the Ravagers and the Roaches should be pretty good enough to soften this all up. And it's, it's a maxed out army supply. I mean, this yeah. is a nail biter, Loco. Nah, I think this game was over about 10 minutes ago, but Agent X is be pretty position here with the yeah. the nail biter, Loco. Army supply. I mean, this yeah. is army supply. I mean, this yeah. is the nail biter, Loco. Nah, I think this game was over about 10 minutes ago, but Agent X, she's got her money's worth, like you pointed out. This is fantastic gameplay. Honestly, good game by her, though. I'm not really making any mistakes, just, you know. Playing it safe, right? It's very easy to lose a game. You don't really want to make yourself look like a fool on stream. So I, uh, I don't mind it. You know, maybe I'll be more triggered by this sort of thing later on when you could have won the game, but instead you decide to triple expand or whatever it was. I, I yeah, I don't hate it. It's fine. Uh, I'm not sure about the. Uh, I'm uh, uh, uh.
I'm not sure about the I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I definitely think uh, a little bit of I'm not sure about uh, I'm not sure about the Protoss build order in this game now. Yeah, uh, I definitely think uh, a little bit of more early tech would have been uh, definitely a desired path, a little bit faster nexus. The wall was uh, rather sufficient and despite uh, that being an aggressive she's, push by the she's using like 20% of her army. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, that, okay. I that was kind of funny. Like the fight was won by about 20% of the Zerg units. <laughs> GG. Internet, GG. If I was a Terran, I'd fly my command center to the corner. Smart. To the corner. Internet, GG. If I was a Terran, I'd fly my command center to the corner. Smart. Hey, Scrand delicious. Thank you. Smart. I mean, that would only add like 40 minutes to the game while everyone's trying to figure out. I don't. What what flying units are there again? <laughs> <laughs> what building do I make? I can't remember. Um, we have, by the way, exclamation point B in the chat as well. If you guys want to have an update on the bracket yourselves, if you want to keep track of everything that's happening. Mm -mm -mm. Rebozul. Is that the Romanian flag? Oh, man, it's always a dangerous game to play when you start. Um, we have, by the way, Um, we have, by the way, exclamation point B in the chat as well, if you guys want to have an up- mm -mm -mm. Okay. Rebo Zul. Is that the Romanian flag? Oh man, it's always a dangerous game to play when you start guessing the flags. I am about 90% sure it is, but I could make myself sound like an absolute fool. Agent X. <laughs> it says in the chat I almost got a heart attack. <laughs> Agent X. <laughs> it says in the chat I almost got a heart attack. <laughs> oh yeah, GG. Very good. Going up against Glurak next. All right. Going up against Glurak next. All right. You did play very safe. Yeah, you did play very, very safe right, right there. But that's okay. That's Romania or Chad. I don't think there's a lot of StarCraft players in the beautiful country of Chad. Maybe, maybe there are. But that's okay. That's Romania or Chad right there. But that's okay. That's Romania or Chad. I don't think there's a lot of StarCraft players in the beautiful country of Chad. Maybe maybe there are, I don't know. A lot of Romanians, though. A lot of Romanians, though. Maybe there are, I don't know. A lot of Romanians, though. One of your American heroes is one, Rushy. Let's go. U. S. A. Every so often, I still get asked, are you the guy that started the USA chant at Home Story Cup? And I'm like, I have immortalized. <laughs> I am immortalized. Let's go. So Faster bias, man. Yeah, you hate to see it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Cheering for his own people. Is true. It's Latinos. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, I've been like pronouncing that as Lithanos the ent entire time. It's been years. Ooh, okay. So now, so now we go and ask. Okay, how to pronounce? <laughs> hey, Shren, Le thank you very much. Gifting five subs. Shren also a regular player in the viewer tournaments, but Shren has one problem: five subs. Okay. So now, so now we go and ask. Okay. How to? Yeah, he's, he's gotten too good at the game. Oh, <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> oh, a humble brag in there as well. Hey, thank you very much, friend. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. It is Lathinos, by the way. Let's go. It is. Oh my God, you did it. Quigley is from Canada. Yeah, yeah. 
Love it. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Already got an, uh, a party invite for the next one. We are a, uh, a important. Pretty much. But <laughs> Gochin gets you, friend. I know, man. This sucks, dude. I have two monitors. I am a uh, dual monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about getting uh, some new ones, though. I still am rocking 24-inch 1080p's. Mm. And I'm thinking, like, whatever Stormgate comes out <laughs> yeah. with, and they say, like, this is this is what we want you to play Stormgate on, that's what I'm going to get. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I'm waiting a little bit. Uh, is this the round of... Is this the first round, or is this the second round already? Um, uh, see, I question. need, like, a monitor for Discord. I need a monitor for the bracket. I need, like, seven monitors. I know. I'll this is round two. Care. Okay, we're doing best of threes now. Fantastic. I know. I'll this is round two. Care. Okay, we're doing best of threes now. Sorry, I asked ready twice. Urbis whispered me and Lithinos. Okay, Lith Lith Lithinos. Lithinos. He's done it. Lithinos. Yeah, yeah. Rushy's packing, man. 24 inches. He doesn't mess around. <laughs> what? One. Lithinos. He's done it. Lithinos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rushy's packing. Lithinos. Yeah, yeah. Rushy. What? One, one. Excuse that's, that's me? someone in the chat said. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just read it out loud. <laughs> did you just need have to? One... Oh, the, like the ultra wide? Yeah. Oh, did you just need have to? one huge. <laughs> what? One, one. This I'll is round two. Care. Okay, we're doing. See, Good I need question. like a monitor for Discord. I need a monitor for the. Uh, uh, is this the round of. Is this the first round or is this the best? Sorry, I asked ready to. 24 inches. He doesn't mess around. <laughs> so one what? <laughs> That's What? Oh, well. Excuse That's me? what someone in the chat said. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you said it. I just read it out loud. I'm just reading yeah, yeah, Okay. <laughs> Did you just have to? one huge monitor? Ooh, like one of those like bezel-less ones. Oh, the like the ultra-wide? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I could never. I know theoretically it works all the same, but like I could never. All righty. Here we go. All righty. Here Alrighty, alrighty, here we go! Our second series of the day. We're now doing a best of three guys. Game number one, we're on Royal Blood. Okay, are we gonna... No, okay, okay. I, I'm always a little bit concerned whenever I see probes moving here in the earlier stage of the game. But first off, in the top right hand corner, we have Urbis. And his opponent, we were just arguing about the nickname pronunciation. Rushy, do you want to do the honors of pronouncing it correctly? Because I got it wrong. I would love to. The blue Zerg player, Lithinos. Lithinos. I've been... I'm probably still going to get it wrong going forward. I will probably still say Lithinos. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is Rushy referee? Because I'm the tallest one here. Lithinos. Why is Rushy referee? Because I'm the tallest one here. <laughs> <laughs> we decide on seniority just by height. <laughs> That's how we it's should true. do it in real life, too. Don't you agree? I I absolutely agree. Yes. And you're going to be happy with that until I visit. And then, uh, like all of the rest of the native uh, Dutch, Nederlanders, <laughs> be like, wait, why are you so tall? What happened? There you go. One of us? Question mark? That's what we should do in real life for every function, yeah. Headmaster of the school, whoever is the tall function, yeah. Headmaster of the school, whoever is the tallest. General of the army, whoever is the tallest. At some point, okay, we'll just the... end up with people that are like, on average, eight foot tall. <laughs> so who's the tallest between you, Roddy, and Harstam? Uh, Harstam, I would imagine. Okay. I'm the shortest, man. 
What a shame. Now there's always someone wondering how this man. What a shame. Now there's always someone wondering how tall is Loco? I am 183. I'm six foot. So I'm not necessarily short. It's just that those other guys are tall. <laughs> How tall is Rushy? I am six foot eight inches. And I think that's like, what, 202? Loco needs to visit Orange City sometime. Rushy's been telling me. What, 202? Loco needs to visit Orange City sometime. Rushy's been telling me about Orange City for years. I don't really know much about Orange City other than the fact that they are more Dutch than we are in the Netherlands. I'm pretty sure I send you a picture anytime I go to Orange City. Yes. <laughs> then we are in the Netherlands. I'm pretty sure I send you a picture anytime I go to Orange City. Yes, you do. Some vaguely looking Dutch structure. <laughs> it's like, Loco, this kind of looks like a windmill. Look. <laughs> Look, there's I a know. sign. It says something in weird language that I can't read. <laughs> On Discord this morning, um, I asked my first question to Loco in pure fluent Dutch. I was so you proud did. of myself. I read it as well, and it didn't really register until I was going to respond in English. And I was like, wait a second, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> wait, it does, but it doesn't. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have responded in Dutch, maybe. That would have worked out. I was prepared. I left my translate window open just in case. If Loco is six foot, that means he's below average in the Netherlands. I am just average. Ooh. Yeah, I am like literally average. There are plenty of guys over here that are like as tall as Rushy or taller. It's uh, sometimes I see somebody over here. I'm like, damn, you're really tall. I, I feel like those people must be at least like 210. Alrighty, so we have tech this. 210. Alrighty, so we have tech this time around, Rushy. We have yeah, a, a stalker is... coming up. It's a little bit of a late Stargate, but you know what? Lithinos, he scouted the main base, and after that is when the Stargate went down. It's actually 700 IQ right here by Urbis. I mean, this is a, this is a pretty good start for both players. I mean, Lithinos is getting some decent scouting in. You, see, you, you noticed that he missed the scout on the Stargate, but I think that's just going to end up popping out a Void Ray to run that away. So that might not be too terribly impactful, but I mean, 30 base opening here by Lathinos, a nice uh, Stargate timing for Urbis. We are going to a lair pretty quickly for the Zerg player. So uh, maybe plus one Roach. I can see that working. Yeah. Wouldn't mind that. Urbis. Maybe the timing of the third Nexus though, I think is the most impactful. timing of the third nexus though i think is the most impactful and it looks like urbis is trying to get out there but there is a scouting oh no it's just a stalker oh stalker yeah. just chilling yeah normally you bring the oracle right so the oracle is supposed to be out already for about 40 seconds at this point um it's a little late to the party so i think if you're gonna go for a delayed stargate and therefore a delayed oracle you know what you do especially when you go double stargate you just save up until you like have six of them you just sit back you make like six oracles no no, no don't show him yeah yeah he's actually running to the corner of the base how bad does that feel, Rushy, when you think it's not... No, don't show them. Oh, that's good scouting. That's a great scouting by Lithinos. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's it's definitely a, a feels bad man. Because at <laughs> yeah. this point, if the uh, Overlord hasn't been harassed by something, I mean, it can be an indicator, but sometimes you're not thinking about it when you're doing your own thing. Yeah. Sometimes uh, those units suddenly show up and you're like, oh, dang it, this wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I think we could have gotten at least seven drones there, but... Two is what we're gonna see. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh is he oh, gonna lose yes. it? Yes, we got another one. Oh. Don't lose the or <laughs> don't lose the oracle for it, though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He gets out. He gets away. Um, there's the there's the void, right? Mm -hmm. So, little little follow up there. It is gonna be double Stargate. Yeah. So we are going to, but we also threw down a Twilight. So and a are, we, are we doing? And yeah, Twilight Forge with double star gain. Some new tech here. And no third base. Maybe a lot of Zerk players over the years have just gotten so scared playing against Skytals that just seeing a Void Ray, just seeing it tap <laughs> that, that one Overlord for a second, that's all that you absolutely need to immediately get him to freak out. This is, of <laughs> course, a new patch now. Well, we'll see. We don't have any anti air yeah. yet other than a bunch of, uh, well, queens.
Alrighty, so we have tech this time around, Rushing. We have yeah, a, this a is... stalker coming up. It's a little bit of a late Stargate, but you know what? Lithinos, he scouted the main base, and after that is when the Stargate went down. It's actually 700 IQ right here by Urbis. I mean, this is a, this is a pretty good start for both players. I mean, Lithinos is getting some decent scouting in. You, see, you, you noticed that he missed the scout on the Stargate, but I think that's just going to end up popping out a Void Ray to run that away. So that might not be too terribly impactful, but I mean, 30 base opening here by Lathinos, a nice uh, Stargate timing for Urbis. We are going to a lair pretty quickly for the Zerg player. So uh, maybe plus one Roach. I can see that working. Yeah. Wouldn't mind that. Urbis. Gonna be the timing of the third Nexus though, I think is the most impactful. And it looks like Urbis is trying to get out there, but there is a scouting. Oh, wait, no, it's just a stalker. Oh, stalker yeah. Ling, just chilling. Yeah, normally you bring the Oracle, right? So the Oracle is supposed to be out already for about 40 seconds at this point. Um, it's a little late to the party, so I think if you're going to go for a delayed Stargate and therefore a delayed Oracle, you know what you do, especially when you go double Stargate? You just save up until you like have six of them. You just sit back, you make like six Oracles. No, 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 don't show him. Yeah, yeah, he's actually running to the corner of the base. Ooh. How bad does that feel, Rushy, when you think it's not... No, don't show them. Oh, that's good scouting. That's a great scouting by Lithinos. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's it's definitely a, a feels bad man. Because at <laughs> yeah. this point, if the uh, Overlord hasn't been harassed by something, I mean, it can be an indicator, but sometimes you're not thinking about it when you're doing your own thing. Yeah. Sometimes uh, those units suddenly show up and you're like, oh, dang it, this wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I think we could have gotten at least seven drones there, but two is what we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh are they oh, gonna lose yes. it? Yes, we got another one. Oh. Don't lose the or <laughs> don't lose the Oracle for it though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He gets out, he gets away. Um there's the there's the Maybe a lot of Zerk players over the years have just got out. This is a <laughs> freak out. That's all that you absolutely need to immediately uh that is something that Raynor likes to do. Queens. Only a single spore crawler as well, by the way. That is uh, that is something that Raynor likes to do, right? We see Serral usually getting away with like one or two spores. Mm -hmm. Lithanos wants what's yeah. up. We, yeah, I was going to say, we can play like the, the champs. Mm -hmm. No reason we can't. He's going to need a good response for the Void Rays, though, and I think he will be okay. He's got a Hydra Den coming down, getting plus one missile as well. Uh, especially on this map, though, a lot of nice places for the void rays to retreat to if they get overwhelmed but there's not a lot of creep spread no fourth base just yet so i think this third base is gonna or this third nexus is gonna be able to complete uh but it is a potpourri build for the protoss there is mm -hmm. also a plus one uh ground attack and a charge coming we have a little bit it's of a little everything, bit everything. how do you counter a little bit of everything uh... if stalkers counter overlords and Void <laughs> Race counter Zerklings. And you just make one of each unit. You have a unit counter against everything. So you can't lose the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. That's how it works. We need hard counters, man. We need this to be like Age of Empires 4. Where as soon as Ooh. there's like, you know, one man at arms out, suddenly your archers don't do anything anymore. Anything anymore. Wow, look at that. <laughs> be horrible. Re that relevant so information <laughs> about Age of Empires 4. No, that was a subtle roast, actually. I, uh, yeah, I, I've had a couple games with the English, and I still remember those, dude. It hurt my feelings. It's like, suddenly dude, I... there's two men at arms. Ah, oh, I made 20 <laughs> archers. Ah. Oh. No, I suddenly can't do any damage, oh, despite man. an overwhelming advantage. <sighs> How tall is no, Winter's probably? Winter, Winter's probably about point six. How winter, winter's, how winter, winter's probably about 0.6 rushy. How winter, winter's probably about 0.6 rushy. Hmm. Winter, winter's probably about 0.6 rushy. We need to use rushy as a unit of man. Oh, I was like, well, uh, hold on. I don't get that, but I get it now. <laughs> well, you know. You have the... Hmm. Winter, winter's probably about 0.6 rushy. Hmm. Winter, winter's probably about... Winter, winter, winter's probably about 0.6 rushy. We need to use rushy as a unit of measurement. <laughs> rushy. We need to use rushy as a unit of measurement. 
Oh, I was like, well, hold on. I don't get that, but I get it now. Well, you know, you have the imperial yeah, yeah. system already. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So we can make Russia a unit of measurement for sure. I mean, it's a very American move. Anything but metric. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like the weight of two basketballs. Oh, yeah. He's like the, the height of four fire hydrants. Anything but metric, man. Russia's about two washer machines tall. Or, uh, as they go. call it in Iowa, a w w washer machine? I think that was yeah, it. Yeah, right? a uh, washing machine. Washer machine. There's a random R in there. I like it. Yo, this game is going to go for a little bit, by the way. We just saw about 100 overlords on the production tab. <laughs> Lithinos is going to make a few more. They can go for an attack if they want to, but it's kind of scary fighting into this sort of army. I would like to see an attack, but. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Don't have to ask for that. For uh, and this is where I think Zerg players get caught, especially at the. Pl Teams. And this is where I think Zerg players get caught, especially at the Platinum Diamond level, is Zerg player will wait so long to try and attack in here, and it's possible there's enough defenses, but here we go, Giant Storm on top of the ground army, takes out a good number of those Hydras, so Urbis is going to be able to push Lathinos back, and the Void Rays as a response can just uh, close the gap and really start getting this army back onto creep, but I don't know if he wants to push too far forward here Another storm that one doesn't connect it quite as well, but uh, Lathinos not able to really get on top of that third base at all. So no economic damage Pretty good play though from both of these guys not gonna lie. The uh, creep spread is looking really sick The macro here maybe has slipped a little bit, but overall it's been pretty dang good We have the wrong unit comp though, and that's a big problem right here for Zerg. Um, going Mass Hydra against Skytols can kind of work as long as there's no High Templar available, but we're already going into, uh, quite a few of those bad boys, and as long as they have Storms, the Hydra should just, well, unless microed really well, uh, but they shouldn't be able to get too much work done. I would have liked to see a Spire. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Hive, though? I mean, do we... How do you feel about Hive, though? I mean, do we, do we get up into Ultras? Ultras aren't, like, completely terrible no. against this. I think Ultra Hydra would be sick. I think, I think Ultra Hydra would be sick. I was going to say, I think we got something out in the middle of the map. That's so many Void Rays. That would be the only thing is uh, Ultras would just absolutely melt to this Void Ray count right now. So I feel like Lathinos needs to have a really good answer to deal with those. So maybe even just one Viper or a couple just to disperse those out. But that's a lot of energy here. How many uh, how many of those High Templar are there? We got like seven? seven? Yeah, seven Ooh. of them right now. It's quite a few. Fourth base coming up as well here. Not a lot of workers there yet, but Urbis should be able to transfer some of those probes. He's been oversaturated in his bases for some time, and there's the Ultra Cavern. Oh my god, rush you with the coals! I mean, if it inevitably goes to carriers, ultras end up being a pretty good sponge for interceptor shots. Whoa, 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 and... whoa, whoa. Okay, we we're killing some of... Uh, we could also use them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would we do that? Oh, God. Well, he's going to help you soften up some of that supply. The Banelings now hunting down all of those... Those high, yeah. gunners, those high Templar, and they yeah. are going to get a top of and kill him. Oh. Well, now we chase it. Go, 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 go. I was going to say, I mean, th this has got to be an A move and you focus on your macro because that amount of ground army is not going to be able to stop those Hydras from targeting down those voids. And I think Lathinos has got to be brave. This has to be a big, brave moment for the Zerg player. One goes down. The second one's going to get picked off as well. Here come the reinforcing Zealots, though. That is not going to be quite enough. And these units are going to get shredded here. This is where the Protoss players start to feel really bad about all their life choices. I love to see prismatic alignment on the Hydras, man. That is the move <laughs> of champions. <laughs> That's an absolute classic. It makes the beam thick, and it deals bonus damage to armored, for those of you unfamiliar. Now, Hydralisks aren't armored. Um, so, it makes the beam thick, and making the beam thick is the intimidation that you're looking for, right? It worked out because the, the Zork army was what? forced to back what off eventually. Out-of-pocket comments here. This is the second one. <laughs> What did I say? I said that the beam was thick. Whoa, you... Okay, well, you... you... Run, run the clip back, chat. Clip it, please. Come on. See, nobody in the chat even made any note of what I said. Yeah. Mm. Thick beams save life, Zarshi. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Anyways, we've got the Hydras. We need some more, man. We're gonna need some more, because the, the... I don't know if we have enough. Yeah, there's two carriers out right now. There's five Void Rays. 
Nine Hydras ain't gonna cut it. No. Uh, Queens are trying to be a part of the, the engagement. Nine Hydras ain't gonna cut it. No. Uh, Queens are trying to be a part of the, the engagement, but uh, with no connected creep, that will be a little bit more challenging. I do like the uh, bolstering position, though, for the Protoss. We're finally starting to get uh, more stabilized once again. There does need to be additional units to help support this, because otherwise I think you just get overwhelmed by the Zerg player. Oh, that is going to be a good stasis trap. Might grab the units if Latino's not careful. Ultras oh, that actually could go. be a really good one. Oh, yeah, that's so dangerous right here. Ultras? Ooh, yeah. you were right. I thought for a second the Ultras killed it right before those roaches got there. But Well, that is uh, putting about half that army in stasis. Still, there's so much yeah, damage here for the Zerg. There's a Ling run by at the third base, though. So not getting, like, nothing out of it. But this is still... Uh, going to be a scary position here because, yeah, this army should just be able to sit right on top of this. Oh, I was going to say, get those Void Rays in the battle there, Mr. Urbis. But uh, 20 probes plus going down. The Lynx finally took over at the third. It's those nerfed Ultralisks, man. They used to be better once a full time. Did you see um, Did you see the Serral clip on Reddit? No, uh-uh. Serral was uh, shouting at one of his Ultralisks that it was a nerf because he missed one of his transfuses because the Ultra is so small now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a lot of people on Reddit took him serious as well. It's like a classic Reddit moment. You're like, okay, guys. <laughs> it's just classic Serral humor, but... <laughs> oh, Yo, Raynor! Be target fired. Thank you very much for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Oh, you were playing Yo. in the, uh, the pink tournament, right? Hope you did well. Anyways, thank you very much for the rate. I appreciate you. For those of you from Rainer's channel, we're doing a little viewer tournament over here. We just got started. So the rules for this tournament, pretty straightforward. It's 32 players and the maximum sign up MMR is 3,500, which is the equivalent of about high platinum, low diamond. Um, so maybe a little bit lower skill level than you just saw from Rainer's channel. These guys are fast too though. Look at that. If you combine their APM, guys are fast too, though. Look at that. If you combine their APM, they're about half a rain or fast. Mm, not yet. Almost. Nearly there. Can I play? Nope. You're too good at the game. <laughs> it's a real problem to have. I, I Winner mean, gets we can to take play Raynor? Your keyboard. To have. I, Winner I mean, gets to take play away your keyboard. I and see. The problem be... is, we're doing 32 players this time around, which is kind of a lot. Um, this tournament could last a while. I'm not sure how. Of a lot. This tournament could last a while. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but we'll see. Ugh. You're below the cutoff. There's no. Ugh. You're below the cutoff. There. You're below the cutoff. There's no minimum MMR, man. Hey, thank you very much, Reiner. Appreciate you. Oh, big storm. We have yeah, some pretty good yeah. plays, though, right, Rushy? Yeah, this has been a pretty solid game. I think uh, Lathinos is on just one really strong engagement away from just uh, ending this entirely. Those uh, those Templar are kind of holding uh, Urbis in the game. I'm absolutely loving all of these Ling run buys. This has been really good harassment here by Lathinos. I think uh, this will be what ends up winning him the game, for yeah. sure. Studying those Rainer games, man. <laughs> He's been a big fan of Zerkling run buys for a long time. But yeah, you're definitely right. Using multiple control groups is uh, an absolute killer when you do it well. Uh, ten more units here. Uh, if the Zerklings actually targeted that Nexus, it goes down. But instead, they are going to find a better target. Oh, nope. They're just going to run right past all of those exposed High Templar. Why, why attack those? It's okay. We've got Ultras coming right now. There are quite a few Immortals available at this point. But I think there is enough available for the Zerk as well to just... Well, when those units are out, attack move, right? We're getting to that point at this at this moment here. Yeah, good spending too. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit of a gas bank by Latinos, but overall, I mean, not a terrible job. Ooh, a couple of those uh, high temp. Oh, good if choice energy, to try and merge them. Sweet. That would have been neat. The fleet or the the flanking uh, high templar. Not something we see all too often, but can do a lot of damage. Usually we see Corruptors, but in these numbers, I think Hydras are not a terrible idea. He's trying his best, though. Herb is making the best of this scenario, but you brought up the Zerkling run by earlier, Rushy. There they go again. 
yeah. these back steps are hurting a lot. Oh, all right. So, Oof. I think this is uh, officially going to be GG. Lot. All right. So, Oof. I think this is uh, officially going to be GG here, especially since those zerglings are just piling in. <laughs> they actually don't find much <laughs> other than structures in the the main base. So, one last army per push here for Urbis, who is doing their absolute best not to just give up. Of course, you're on stream. Why? Why would you throw this away? No, no rushy timings today. <laughs> I've seen a few games like that. Actually, there's not a whole lot of anti-air available anymore in the Zerk army. So that could work out. Two carriers and a dream. And a lot of reinforcing Hydras. GG. Lithinos wins game one. He played really well. Yeah. Not really a whole lot of strategic errors there. Just need to clean up the macro a little bit and maybe, you know, just do everything a little bit better. That, that's the general rule of StarCraft. But yeah, definitely not bad play whatsoever. No, not at all. The Zerk Cabal is doing it again, man. Um, I don't know who will be hosting game number two in this series. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Just do everything like you're doing better. Ah, okay. Um, I will go ahead and add you guys into a party. And I'll be hosting. I add you to guys. I'm gonna remove you from the party. A tournament hosted by the Zerka Ball. Don't worry though, we'll have a Terran player winning at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the real Zerka Ball strategy. Look, we're just trying to get any sort of uh, like Zerk buffs at this point. Come on, anything just yeah. to drop, drop of water. Strategy. Look, we're just trying to get any sort of uh, like Zerk buffs at this point. Come on, anything. Just yeah. to drop. Drop of water. Maybe like a little buff to the creep spread or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One of the underpowered mechanics of the game. Uh, I, I know the best way to dismantle Terran. Let's add 0.1 seconds to the bunker build time. Ooh, yeah, nice. Mm, that, that'll really throw a wrench in their plans. I haven't tried Diablo 4 yet, Sirius. From what I've heard from the people that... Uh, it's pretty... Ooh. I haven't played it yet before Ooh. played a little bit this morning it's it's good it's more of it i think that's uh, largely what people were going for yo yeah that's what huge. is going on mr pig you had a good stream as well i saw for those of you from pig's channel um i am casting a little tournament to get, uh, today together with mr rushy who's right next to me um this is a friendly little tournament 32 players 3500 mmr at most so that means that the players here are at best somewhere in the lower end of Diamond League, which um, should be a lot of fun. Oh, Nuke, by the way, is the Nuke Arena. Ah, there you go. He was the uh, the host right there for that lobby, but we can get it started right here. Uh, we are, well, only in the second series of the day. We're going to be casting for however long this takes. At least I will. You know um, I will. So you can sit uh, back and I relax. When you when you asked me about this date, I blocked it all off. I got nothing else to do today. Probably play some Diablo 4 afterwards. So whenever we think there's like five hours left in the turn. Rushy and me are boring adults. We now have to sit back uh, and relax. When you when you asked me about this date, I blocked it all off. I got nothing else to do today. Probably oh, I will. Oh, you will? However long this takes. You know um, I will. Oh, you will? Nice. Oh, so yeah. you can sit back uh, and I'd relax. When you when you ask me about this day, <laughs> what a Alrighty, so here we go. Game. Alrighty, so here we go. Game number two in this best of three series. It's the map Dragon Skills and spotting right here in the top left hand corner. We have Lithinos. Lithinos. L Lithinos. I'm bad at pronouncing names. And in the bottom right, the red Protoss player. This is Urbis. Did I just say that I have to schedule time off? This kind of does feel like scheduling time. Did I just say that I have to schedule time off? This kind of does feel like scheduling time off, guys. I understand that this is what I do for a living. Um, it... Uh, um, it... It's, it's a weird, it's a weird situation sometimes. Yeah, it is a bit of a weird situation sometimes. Anyways. Got a quick little probe scout once again. Situation. Anyways, 
weird situation. Sometimes. Anyways. Situation. Sometimes. Anyways. Got a quick little probe scout once again, but not quick enough. Hatch re- Weird situation. Sometimes. Got a quick situation. Sometimes. Anyways. Situation sometimes. Anyways. Got a quick little probe scout once again. Sometimes. Got a quick little probe scout once again, but not quick enough. Hatchery does go down here. That's a good feeling, right? When the probe comes in a little late. Be like, oh, yeah, got him. <laughs> he didn't even need to know, or he didn't even know that he needed to send out like three seconds sooner. In optimal build order at the beginning. <laughs> That'll cost you. <laughs> but Herb is struck back by stealing five minerals. So that's the We're going to pay attention to that. that <laughs> I think when this game inevitably goes 40 minutes long, that five minerals is going to be the difference maker. There you go, man. And look at that probe as well. Coming back home perfectly for 400 minerals. Bam! Nice. Gets to build the Nexus. So even though he had to make the walk of shame, in the end, it's all good. Eh, gonna have to put a little probe probe in there, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe that's why right. the Stargate was late last time. Oh, that could be. Uh, there's no delay. Nope. So we have the chat. Uh, there's no delay. Nope. So we have the chat right over there. You should be able to wave hi to mom, and she uh, should see it right away. She texted me earlier. She's like, hey, I'm watching the tour. <laughs> no, no, okay. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> but uh, no, there's no stream delay. Yeah, friendly tournament. No money on the line. No reason. No, there's no stream delay. Yeah, friendly tournament, no money on the line, no reason not to. <laughs> you guys actually way high at mom now. I see. <laughs> you guys actually way high at mom now. I see. Okay, Are you? Gonna, yeah. Is this gonna be like, uh, like super big streamer chat where everyone's just gonna start spamming hi YouTube, hi YouTube, hi YouTube, hi YT, hi YT. Yeah, you gotta occasionally mix that in, right? Whenever you're watching like an Asmongold stream, you never know when it's gonna be part of it. That's so, true. If you did, just do that for every like fifth message, eventually, you can go back into the VOD and look at your name. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> if this game turns out to be a banger, it will be on YouTube, yes. It's up to the players, guys. If we don't make it, guess who you gotta blame? One of these. Guess who you gotta blame? One of these two. No. No, no. <laughs> Make it? Guess who you gotta blame? One of these two. No. No, no. <laughs> okay, how do we feel about the uh, shield battery in the wall? It just feels like a big target to me. Yeah, when I see this, I wanna build a bailing nest so bad. But oh, it feels like a big, big target to me. Yeah, when I see this, I wanna build a bailing nest so bad. But oh, I don't yeah, think actually. it's actually the best move. I actually don't think it's a great idea to build a bailing nest, but yeah, I, I whenever I see a pylon, a shield battery, anything small in the in the wall, I immediately want to blow it up and just win the game. Well, and this is an even earlier layer than we saw in game number one. Game mm -hmm. number one had a pretty quick. Uh, this is, I mean, incredibly fast. So it does come with a roach warrant again. We're getting plus one missile as well. No third gas though. So I, I this could just be roaches again. Yeah. Plus one roach speed, and that's Maybe it. Maybe a Nidus? I wouldn't mind seeing a Nidus. Lithino is definitely playing differently, though, than he did in the last game. So there's the roach speed. Are we rushing a lair, though, just for roach speed? Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't love it, especially since it's... Just for roach speed? Uh, I... I yeah, I don't love it, especially since it's so easily scoutable here. The shade is going to come up. That should be enough. Yeah, and the adept itself will confirm that follow-up. But yeah, it's the lack of a, a third gas for me to sustain the roach into Ravager production here. So a robotics a robotic facility should be more than enough for Urbis to try and hold this down. Yep. So that's exactly what they've made right now on the other side of the map. Wouldn't mind seeing a third base from uh, either player right now, but that's what's kind of throwing me off here, right? Like, now we're gonna go for the third, really? Okay. 
So maybe getting your natural block <laughs> works out better for Lithinos, because in the last game, his third base was at a much better timing when his natural got uh, delayed there, and he was forced to take the third base first, and he was like, ah, I guess I gotta connect my bases here eventually, but... There is a little bit of a push coming across the map. So this is without link speed. It's with plus one and roach speed. I mean, yeah. there's, there's a void ray, there's an immortal. It shouldn't work. Yeah, one void ray really does a lot to... It doesn't... I mean, it will eventually stop it. Uh, ooh, Oracle's going to get a little bit of harassment damage, but uh, Lathena's not going to be able to attack forever here. If Urbis holds well at the front, this should be fine to deal with. He's not paying attention to the Oracle. Smart, because this is where the actual damage is coming into play. Yeah, just send that Oracle in there, or the Void Ray in. There's literally nothing to stop this. Uh, this is a good push by Urbis. I think he should follow it up and immediately get that probe out to the third base. Yeah, you can at least fly with the, uh, the Void Ray for a little bit. Get a bit of work done, go for the third nexus, hit a supply block. The usual, you know? The huge. We, we are hitting a supply block though. I don't I don't I don't, I don't really like supply blocks all too much. Oh, second Stargate. Urbis is a he's a sky toss connoisseur. Yeah. How do you feel about sky toss units rushing? Yeah. I, I, I'll keep <laughs> I think that's every Zerk's feeling right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate it, but, you know, unless it kills me. <laughs> yeah, and then it's all imbalanced. Blizzard, why? <laughs> okay, I like this harassment a lot better here. Two Void Rays gave Urbis enough uh, confidence to really push across the map. Oh, he biles his own Overlord. Oh, okay. That was a confidence move, man. It was going to die anyways, <laughs> so he did that on purpose, just despite Urbis. <laughs> he went out on his own terms. <laughs> exactly. It's much better. Okay, look at that one hero roach getting sniped as well right there, though. No. Uh, here's the, yeah, well, now we're suddenly dealing damage here with the Void Race. Prismatic alignment, making the beam thick, always important. Never forget, use it on cooldown. But, there's not really a whole lot of units here that shoot up, so the second Stargate is gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, Ravagers, what are you doing? Idling. Ah, oh, government mandated break, man. You, you gotta, gotta take care of yourself first. Exactly. <laughs> Very European of you, Rishi. <laughs> no, we're getting slightly better about that in America. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, a little. third Stargate. Hi, yeah, yeah. You know what's better than two Stargates? Three Stargates, of course. <laughs> this is true. Oh, this is. I don't think that third Stargate's ever going to come into play here. There's more than enough to deal with this. The queens have been mostly picked off here. There isn't a single queen. Every single queen's been picked off. So, other than the couple of hydras here that are shooting up, I mean, the, the oracle's nice to get, but it's not the threat here. And now, all of a sudden, there's nothing that GG. shoots up. Not a single unit. We're going to a game three. Very nice. What is the lowest MMR seen in this tournament? Ooh, um, that is probably a question Nuke can answer for you. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, he'll probably give us the uh, the info here momentarily. Let's see, probably give us the uh, the info here momentarily. Let's see, probably give us the uh, the info here momentarily. The lowest MMR uh, is probably someone who quickly did their placement matches just to sign up for the event. We do have a little bit of a commercial break running right now as well. Um, for those of you new to the channel, I you got to choose your point. Probably really running a lot of ads, but sometimes they do hit it. Man, I, I think there's a good way to avoid those ads, right? The subscribe button. Fantastic. Man. Fantastic. Why not invest it here? Click that. Someone's got it. Invest it here. Click that subscribe button. Click the prime. Someone's got it. Someone so out there's got it. A, a so prime shameless. But you know what? I agree. It's a great I suggestion. Be. Someone's someone someone's got, got it. invest it here. Click that subscribe button. Invest it here. Click that subscribe button. Click the prime. Someone's got it. Someone so out there's got a, a so prime shameless. Button. But be. you know what? I agree. It's a great I suggestion. Be. Someone's someone's got it. Lowest no. MMR this tournament is 22-23. Lowest no. MMR this tournament is 22-23. I don't know how much that is, but yeah. <laughs> Lowest no. MMR this tournament is 22-23. I don't know how much that is, but yeah. I think that one who quickly did their placement matches just to sign up for the event. Lowest no. MMR this tournament is 22-23. I don't know how much that is, but yeah. I think that's silver. I think that's silver. 
Rushy doing more sellout than on his own channel because it's so much easier to sell out for my friends, right? Like, <laughs> it is, yeah, it is easy. Of course. Billion. That is true. Guys. What's what's your wealth up to these days? Billion. Oh, Brian. Prime. Uh, big that clap goes to the yacht chat, fund. Please. All right. Here we go. Final game in his best of three series. Babylon. Spawning right here in the top left in the corner. Urbis. Bottom right. Lithanos. Sorry, I stole your intro, Rushy. <laughs> it was a fast one, though. I chronoed it out. Yeah, clearly. I don't know how to feel about, or how I feel about, introducing players for every single map. I know it's the, the gold standard in StarCraft 2, but I like it the first game? I don't really like it so much in game 2 and 3, but... Yeah, I, I I think there's definitely uh, time and place for it. I have seen, and, and myself personally, when w w I would be doing just like smaller events where like you're solo casting, you just do it the first time because you just keep your stream of consciousness going and talk about something else during the time that would be the other uh, yeah. openers. But for like uh, yeah. openers, but for like professional uh, yeah openers but for the other uh yeah. other openers but for like professional events where people could jump in and out at any given point like i think yeah. it makes sense Ooh, a little little forge are we gonna get a fast expand behind this or is this just gonna be no there's a second probe moving out too so i don't Ooh. think we're gonna fast expend well zerk is fast expending ish Mm. Right? It's a it's a hatchery after the spawning pool. Do you still go for the cannon rush right now, Urbis? Spoiler alert, uh, you don't. Um, but no. he might, because he's already committed. So I think he will. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, I mean I mean this is where heroes are forged though. I mean you you don't you never never miss an opportunity to be great. That's a good and, point. And and this is exactly what Urbis is gonna try and go for. Fighting the second probe, doesn't want to alert his opponent to the fact that this is in fact going to be an all-in cannon rush despite the fact there are already four lings just about done that's a pretty big pull by lathinos uh, really good spread oh. here not only getting on top of the pylon but also preventing the probe from being able to drop additional buildings this is very well defended by lathinos yeah that is somebody who's been cannon rush many yeah that is somebody who's been cannon rush many times. In the end, though, it was only a single pylon that I would imagine got cancelled. Yeah, so it did get cancelled. Not really that big of a loss here at all for the Protoss player. And you brought up the uh, amount of drones pulled. I mean, if it was a committed cannon rush, I wouldn't have d I wouldn't have minded it so much. But in this particular case, I don't think he needed quite as many with that. <laughs> There's no way. I, I mean, you, you're saying this isn't no committed, way. Loco. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he overpooled. I think that was pretty good. I mean, you just don't want to die, right? And now you're already committed. You got a second probe as well. Now, as a protos, you're already committed into a forge. Um, I, I personally would feel bad having a forge sitting. I, I personally would feel bad having a forge sitting around. So then I just sort of start up plus one ground weapons, even though I don't plan on using it. It's awkward. It just makes the game a little weird. Subscribe. Thank you, Moonlight. Yeah. Gamer. I think. Like, Urbis is not in a bad position trying to have gone for that, but I think with the scouting information that they had, a the money could have just been invested into that fast nexus, and then suddenly you're in a really good position if Lathinos doesn't come across the map and get aggressive. And at this point, Lings are going to come to the front door. There's a cannon now to defend. There's an adept as well. Lathinos, don't give up every single Zergling. That's not necessary. A nice little bit of micro Adebra Urbis. Pushing the adept forward, walling himself in. It's a uh, very aesthetic looking wall, first and foremost. Maybe a couple more structures there than we absolutely need to, but hey, at least no one's gonna be losing the game here. So now we get to back up and we get to uh, macro for a little while. Stargate on the back of it, that is Urbis' favorite structure. Urbis will probably go for, and this is a controversial thing I'm gonna say, Rashi, but I think he will go Void Race. Ah. Uh. No, no way. Why? No. <laughs> Void race. No, no, no way. Why? No. Yeah, I know, I know. Is it a good unit? It is, uh, well, it's got a, an ability to, <laughs> that makes the, okay, so <laughs> I'll shut up about prismatic alignment, but I think that's the plan. We could see an Oracle first and then into a Void Ray. 
Mm, or we could we see nothing. Well, there's a robot. Gray. Mm, or we could we see nothing. Well, there's a robotics facility. Oh, there it, it is. Bot crazy. We've never seen this build before. Athena's going double gas right now already on the Beckadisto, so not entirely sure what the plan is with the additional gas. The depth um, and okay. no lair this time, so this is the mm. latest lair that we've seen in the series by Lathinos. Void Rays on Babylon? I mean, Void Rays in general right now, not necessarily a popular unit. I don't think we have to, um, in this tournament, expect a whole lot of... Build order. I don't think we have to. Um, in, this, in this tournament, expect a whole lot of build orders that are super map dependent. Void rays are never going to be a, a bad call at this level of play because, well, yeah. they are kind of decent against everything. They kind of they're they're not great at anything, but they're decent at everything, right? And that's kind of why they are very very popular. The jack of all trades, the master of none. Exactly. Pretty looking unit too, man. It's a pretty. It's a pretty looking unit too, man. Did you ever notice that there's a, a pylon in front of the void ray? Why is it stuttering? Oh, yeah. Did you ever notice? Pretty looking unit too, man. Did you ever notice that there's a, a pylon in front of the void ray? Did you ever notice that there's a, a pylon in front of the void ray? Human. Did you ever notice that there's a, a pylon in front of the void ray? Why is it stuttering? Oh, yeah. Am I crazy? I feel like it's like jittering. I feel like it's like jittering. Mm, it's like going back and forth. A oh, yours does look a little stuttery. That is weird. No. Mine looks fine. I've only had two cups of coffee today, chat. And water. A lot of water. But I feel like that, <laughs> that Void Ray is stuttering. So it's you that's jittering. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm jittering, man. <laughs> it's the adrenaline for this tournament. Am I dropping frames? Yeah. No, I don't think I'm dropping frames. No. Uh, no, frames are... All right. Okay. So we got a Robotics Bay. But with Ooh. the uh, double Void Ray production. I... Uh, I, I I love how Void Ray production. I, I production. I I love how Urbis refuses to let anybody know what their actual plans are. If I just have all the structures, like I can't. I'm not scoutable. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's he has everything. Okay, great. he can build anything. I get it. I find Robo Bay is always a bit scary. Okay, I was gonna say if we're gonna go into disruptors. I've, I've casted quite a few games over the years where we see players accidentally blowing up as many of their own units as they do the opponents. So I think Colossi, not a bad call, especially when the opponent once again is going Hydras. So Urbis at this point has been seeing Lithinos going for quite a bit of Roach Hydra. Clearly no Corruptor play. So if that's the case, well, we've gone a High Templar route once or twice and it, it's powerful, but Colossi are fantastic. Much easier to play overall. Don't have to aim it. Just lasers. Yeah, and it is Hydrus. Uh, imagine. Just lasers. Yeah, and it is Hydrus. Uh, imagine if Lathinos adapts and gets some lurkers. Because we haven't seen lurkers yet out of the Zerg player. That could be a nice response to seeing Colossus at this point. Uh, but it's just more money and more gas invested into Void Rays as well. So that's going to limit the Colossus count for sure. But maybe mm -hmm. just a couple is all Urbis wants to really go for. Okay, so the macro games really go for. Okay, so the macro games are actually uh, yeah, pretty significant so far today. We haven't really had any super cheesy games, nothing all too crazy. <clears throat> actually, some stellar gameplay, man. We haven't seen anything too wild. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Oh, is that going to finish? Oh, okay, yeah. There's transfuses uh, there, so that'll be fine. The Roach Warren's also not really important here. Intimidation, I guess. Eventually, eventually the Roach Warren lifts. The upgrade finishes up as well. And, oh, don't lose units, though. 
Uh, he's gonna uh, he might lose two. Yeah. Oh, the target fire not there. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't have to range to upgrade yet for the Hydras. That also doesn't help. Mm. It's difficult though to break this uh, this Protoss player, but by going for this little push, oh, he gets all of the voids here eventually. He should see the Colossi. And seeing those is going to be really sweet. There should be some sort of response from Lithinos. Something uh, should be on roaches or... I think you should just go. I mean, there's really yeah. no ground units here. It's a couple of Colossus and three Stalkers, and that's really it. So if he could just jump on top of this ground army, there's not a lot there. And he bullies the army away from the shield battery overcharge as well. This is terrible for the Protoss player. Yep. There's the additional units coming in. Oh, God. Yep. There's the additional units coming in. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the recall about 20 steps down south to try to get back to the shield battery. But eventually, I think Lithinos indeed has a little bit too much. Lovely little tech here. Yeah, we're just gonna okay. double down on Roach Hydra. I was worried that that stutter step was actually going to take out uh, Lithinos' forces here, but there should be more than enough on the ground to clean up that third base. And maybe it eventually gets pushed off. Oh, I really think the Zerg players should just target the third base and get out. There's no reason to try and fight these units at this point. I think you kill the base, you kill the opponent. But he does have enough. He pushes in, gets the Colossus. There, the reinforcements GG. are going to pick up the third base. GG is called. And Zerg takes another one. Zerg indeed takes another one, man. When will they finally be stopped? Never. Zerk just keeps winning. Everything. Never. Zerk just stopped. Never. Zerk just keeps winning. Everything. According to Reddit, anyways. All right. <laughs> Guys, we're going straight into it, anyways. Same ways. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways. All right. <laughs> Guys, we're going straight into the third one. Nuke is just sitting here waiting. Aw, yeah. Nuke is hungry for games. The semifinals, if I recall correctly. <laughs> hey, thank you. Imagine. Thank you for hungry for games. Thank you for the gift. Original. The Zerg winning it. The Cabal intentionally The Cabal intentionally lost IEM only to win the Loco Invitational. There you go, man. The terror <laughs> you gotta pick your conglomerate <laughs> falsely flagged the Cabal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, Lathinos? Almighty. Mm. Christ Almighty being casted is stressful. Don't worry, man. There were only about 1,300 people stressful don't worry man there were only about 1300 people looking at every move that you made <laughs> yeah no it is definitely a little bit different but hey you did it uh let's see come on crawler you're ready to rushing ah who is ev got something a little different. it's biscuit time for me it's so. biscuit time we have these uh the brand name like breakfast biscuits all righty guys Alrighty, guys. I'm excited for this particular series because the man right here in the bottom right hand corner is someone I've been coaching for a little while. I know I'm supposed to be an unbiased commentator. Not the case for this one. <laughs> in the bottom right hand corner. Game number one in this best of three series on the map, Grasven. We're looking at Quiggly's main hatchery. Are you still eating your breakfast biscuit, Rushy? Or should I? No, I was born terror? ready, man. Oh, and okay. their opponent in the top left, the Red Terran player. This is Dorian Gray. Nice. You think that's his real name? It could be. It's like, my friends don't call me by a nickname. You know, like when you first boot up, boot up StarCraft 2, it's like, what is your nickname? It's like, I don't have one. Dorian Gray <laughs> is what the people call me, and that is my name. <laughs> that's what I'd like to imagine. That's what I'd like to imagine, but we'll see. So I actually did a coaching session with Quigley a couple of days ago. Um, I'm excited to see what he decides to go for in this game. We didn't go over any specific strategy. I'm excited days ago. I'm excited to see what he decides to go for in this game. We didn't go over any specific strategies or anything along those lines. He's been trying to just simply get better at the game overall. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, he's been making some good progress for sure. 
hovering right Edge. around diamond three, diamond two right now. Sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a bit lower. Sometimes life yeah, gets true. in the way. That's true. For the left, sometimes a bit lower. Sometimes life yeah, gets true. in the way. That's sure sounding like pay to win mechanics for the Lotto TV win. viewer tournament. <laughs> pay to Don't win you think mechanics. so? Yeah, no, that's how it works, man. <laughs> Shren was in the chat earlier too, man. Shren had a problem because he couldn't participate in this one because his MMR got too high after the coaching. That's a real problem, Rishi. These casters have no education in the world. These casters have no education in world literature. I mean, do we 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 stare at a video game all the time? Like, wh why would we have time to read? Is Dorian Gray a reference to world literature? Oh, that could be. It could have been literature. It could be. It could have. It could have been literature or a porn star name. It it could have been. Our name. It it could be a porn star name. It it could have been. You know, those were the two options in my head. Um, yep, I'm glad to find go. out it's literature. We'll see. So my brain went to uh, two, like, American, like, hospital dramas. So, like, Dr. Dorian is from Scrubs. That's more of a comedy. But okay. then, like, isn't it, like, Grey's Anatomy? Dr. Something Grey? So oh, I think about that. Oh, there you go. That's where my brain went. And I was like, no, it's neither of those. <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive, Loco. Fair enough. Anyways. Got a little bit of Reaper harassment. Quigley right now thinking, ah, I shouldn't have sent the Zerg until the way I've creep. Loco's gonna shout at me. No, Quigley, Quigley, keep your head cool, man. You got this. <laughs> it's over. Okay, wait, no, I'm supposed to be at least somewhat unbiased. It's a what do you think he's more now? nervous about? The fact that he's got a thousand people watching or the fact that you're watching? I don't know. Do you get nervous? Because I know the answer if it were me. Yeah, yeah. What, what would it be? Oh, absolutely you. Me? Because everyone else watching, like, ah, if I disappoint... Me? Be <laughs> Me? Because everyone else watching, like, ah, if I disappoint them, I'll never see them ever again. <laughs> but you're going to bring it up the next time we chat. So, about that game. Just like, I know, oh, sorry. <laughs> Am I dead into the dating Ah, yikes. I had no idea. It's it's the teacher bias. I mean, mm. kids come into my my office all the time for band lessons, and I'll listen to them play something perfectly on their own, just like overhearing them practice, and they walk into my office and they forget everything they've ever learned about me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't one hundred percent imagine that. At home, the practice is going so well, but then you have to show it to somebody else, and for some reason, half your fingers yeah, like, don't work anymore. You're like, hey, what, oh. how does this work? <laughs> how do I even hold this instrument? I don't, I don't get it. A uh, little bit of an Overlord speed opener, by the way. Quickly likes going for that one in pretty much every single game. So, should be seeing the OVs fly in momentarily. And Scout that it's a benchy start here with a third command center. We've got some very standard games so far today, guys. Nothing, nothing yeah. too weird. Hmm. How's this Scout? Now, is this scout gonna get anything uh, past the front? No, not really. I mean, really good uh, queen positioning, starting to push that creep forward. Uh, gonna connect the third base. More drones back behind this. I really like the drone production out of Quigley getting up to 41 here in the opening onsets. This is this is very very uh, well established. Grabbing the spore crawlers as well. So Banshee has been spotted with the Overlord. Very mm -hmm. very well done. Yep, Spore's coming up right now. It is still the Cloak upgrade right here for Dorian, so Dorian is gonna continue upping the production here. Third CC is already finished though, and that is always nice. Well, it's gonna, for example, allow you to start scanning a little bit more aggressively. The scan mostly just revealed a bunch of units, and, you know, units he could take on as well, but still decided to go. Ooh, okay, we're gonna Ooh. commit. There you go. I like that. Take some of the pressure off of uh, defending the opening there. Even just a couple of Hellions does uh, alleviate a little bit of that. Um, so those queens can focus on the Banshees, which will have Cloak. So that is going to need to be a point to uh, work on. But the layer's just about done, so Overseers are going to be a part of the mix. Not to mention, we already saw those spores go down, so Vision should not be a major issue. Exactly. He's a music teacher? Question mark, exclamation point. Uh, 
Maybe. Exclamation point, question mark, what? <laughs> How did you guys know? Nerds are allowed to play instruments? I don't know about that, man. When did you start playing an instrument, Rushing? Uh, when I was 10 years old. Oh, okay. It's a long time ago. Back in the <laughs> 80s. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Not that old. All right, all right, fair enough. That's what he says, uh, Rush. Uh, guys who don't, you know. Yeah, 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 don't, yeah, yeah. Don't believe his lies. Play us something. Is that the yeah, follow-up move every like time? <laughs> Actually, when you Wait, subscribe you're a musician, to Rushy's stream, every guys, song ever. When you when you subscribe to Rushy's stream, you get to hear Ooh. him play the tuba. That's true. Very good. You would have known, guys. You would have known. Well, you can still figure it out. Oh, if he Rush, yes, he. oh, he teaches music. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I think if you teach music, you should probably also be able to play at least a little bit, though. Oh, in come the jokers. Those who can't do teach. <laughs> ah, there it is. Here they come. Did you know I'm the trombone champ, Rushy? <laughs> you are. I loved those streams. <laughs> that was such a good game, actually. Anyways, Benchy's going in right now. Not really getting that much damage in. The cloaking upgrade finished for them a while ago, but they've not used it a single time. Who's gonna lose one? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you that uh, my my concert band is currently working on StarCraft music for our next concert. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you mentioned that some time ago. Is the Legacy of the Void cinematic music? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually really sick. Nah, it's it's really cool. I actually need to find somebody that would be willing to help me with like a multimedia project because I want to project some of the uh, the like cinematic uh, on oh. the back of our auditorium wall while we play it. So like, if anyone out there, there you go, hit me up. I it's 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 a paid gig. There you go. If you're in Iowa, no no no. Oh, it's just you anywhere. Just do it from anywhere. Oh yeah, I mean it's just like video editing. Like Gabe doesn't come to your house to do oh, video editing. Oh, for okay, you. okay. I thought you needed someone at the place to like play it at the correct. Oh time. no, no, no. We got that taken care of. Oh, nice. There you go. Got the Zorklings up north, ready to go for a little bit. Got the Zorklings up north, ready to go for a little bit of a run by. This is something. Ready to go for a little bit of a run by. This is something we discussed literally three days ago. Um, so having Zerklings out on the map just for run bys. Ooh, this is a really nice little surround. Um, this is something we've um, this is something we've gone over in the most recent coaching session. This is something we've gone over in the most recent coaching session, which is pretty neat. Not a whole lot of damage that you can do, I don't think, against this particular wall, but still nice to have those units out there. Uh, the upgrades are incredibly behind for the Terran player. 1-1, uh, only about halfway done. Combat Shield really only just finishing up right now, so a uh, little, little bit of nerves maybe to forget those, but still putting on a decent amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. Gabe's saying, by the way, I wish I was locked into Loka's basement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a basement, guys. I think. Huh? Anyways, Banelink's trying to roll in. Not going to happen this time around, but... Still a little bit of a fright right there for Dorian, who's been doing a good job, by the way, macroing up. Like, supply-wise, Zork is definitely supposed to be a little bit ahead here, but he has been mm -hmm. pumping out units. Yeah, seven barracks at this point. We could add on even one more here, and, well, just keep going. Uh, to careful, that That has been the upside to the lack of upgrades here, and as I say that, 1-1 one, one is going to be finishing, so that will help. Oh, those mines really do need to get into the ground, though, if they're going to provide any additional coverage. Bainlin's oh. going to try and come forward. Oh, a little bit of friendly fire, but the mines do connect with not nearly enough that they need, but the wraparound! I love that. That was very well done by Quickly. Yeah, very nicely uh, done right there for sure. Cleaning up those bio pushes can be very, very difficult, but he managed to pull that off just fine so far. Dorian, though, has been making workers, dude. Dorian uh, has got 90 SCVs at this point. He's trying to out-Zerk the Zerk. Not a strategy we see all too often, but... Uh, he could actually throw away these units pretty easily and just remake them, right? He's got a, an awful lot of stuff. Although, we are going to have to spend that money here as well momentarily. So, there's the second factory finishing up right now. We've got ourselves, yeah, a very nice amount of production. We already have a second starport, too. So, I guess that's the threat. 90 SCVs? 
and just make as much as you can ever make. I feel like Quigley just needs to hold down the Z key and just flood across the map. He's got what, what three, four, five bases sit in a macro hatch as well. Yeah, 27 larva too. He'll certainly try and pull it off. He decides to go for the wraparound over here as well. Gets on top of the siege tank. Widow mines dealing a bunch of friendly fire there as well. And even though this is just Lynx, plus two finishing up pretty much as the battle is going on, he's got more than enough units. Oh, yeah. Bailing's going to walk into the mineral line. So many SCVs on site. 40 went down. That is crippling. Yeah, that is a ton of damage. Crippling. Yeah, that is a ton of damage. That's the swarm suddenly showing up. That's the swarm suddenly showing up. That's the swarm. That's the swarm suddenly showing up. Well, look at the minimap as well. Well, look at the minimap as well. He's just flooding wherever he can. Hive. Well, look at. Well, look. Look at the minimap as well. He's just flooding. Hive. I I love that. About old, yeah, about ninety percent of the way done as well. The fourth command center not finished yet either. And that should pretty much be all she wrote. Yep, a few of those banelings going to be morphed in here. Nine, those should just roll right at the Dude. natural wall. They'll never get the opportunity. GG's called! Quigley! Capitalizing on those pay-to-win mechanics. Wins game one. <laughs> the pay-to-win mechanics? Wow. Oh, oh! Me! Yeah, I, I'm the pay-to-win. <laughs> okay, I got a little confused there. I thought it was a Zork Cabal. I mean, but no. Okay, I see. <laughs> You're proud of your Canadian brethren? Ooh. There it is, man. Do you remember playing the Canadian National Anthem on a trombone chain? I do remember, yes. I was just thinking of it, but the one that popped up in my head is... That's <laughs> not correct. Which one? Um, oh, did they it? update it with, you know... The King, the, yes. The event. They, they Ooh, did update okay. it to King. Okay. Did you know that, that America took the uh, British National Anthem and, like, we made our own song out of it? Wait, the, the United States? Yeah. They we just took the song. British Anthem? Yeah, it's uh, my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of the I see. Really? Yeah. And I never knew the difference growing up as a kid. And then all of a sudden it's like, God save our noble queen. I'm like, wait a minute, I know that song. <laughs> Smart. What the heck? They got all the words right. I never noticed that. There you go. A little bit of U.S. Loco. Thanks. I can sing. <laughs> I didn't say it was the U.S. national anthem. I just said we made it. Ooh, we have a giveaway going on in the chat for a fairing! Exclamation point enter in the chat. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was def that was actually not planned. No. <laughs> oh, game number two in Alrighty, here we go. Game number <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Game number two in this best of three series. We find ourselves on the map of Babylon, spotting right here in the bottom right hand corner. We have Quigley. And in the top left, the blue Terran player, Dorian Gray. Spelt with an A, by the way. Not with an E. Yeah, the the correct way to spell gray. I don't know how I spell gray. I just switch between American <laughs> and British English whenever, you know, it's convenient for me. Sometimes I'll say aluminum. Sometimes it'll be uh, aluminum. I think that's it. I was thinking of mixing aluminium. in an extra I there, but more I seems a little excessive. It's true. Aluminium? No, that doesn't really work. <laughs> oh. I'll just come up with my own. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta pay extra for all those letters. <laughs> in this economy, <laughs> in this economy, come on, we True. can't be wasting money like that. Gray and gray, gray, gray and gray. They both look wrong now. One is the the one with the A. Is that the American version? Would you say yes. gray like that? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, Lumen. Just what? call it tinfoil. <laughs> I don't think it's the same thing. I don't think they make planes out of tinfoil, do they? Neither is American. We use both. Foil, do they? Neither is American. We use both. Use both. How often are you talking about aluminium, look? It's on the types of games I'm playing, okay? If I'm playing something like Factorio, Satisfactory, Dyson Sphere program. A surprising amount. Imagine if Stormgate comes out with an aluminum leak. <laughs> Where would aluminum leak even be 
<laughs> like, where would it be? I, you know, that could be like between bronze and silver. Bronze, aluminum, silver. Yeah. I would say that's actually kind of hard to say. Initially, I was thinking, okay, that has to be be like one of the higher ones. But as far as noble metals and all that go, it should probably be below bronze. Are we, yeah, are we uh, ranked like on, on mineral hardness? Like aluminum is softer than gold? No, no, no. It's definitely not. Is it? No, there's no way. I <laughs> I don't know how we rank know. any of it. Do you think yeah, it's... That, that would, oh, it's if it was the first strength. at the bottom, though, people would be upset that there's no wood league or like... <laughs> of it. Do you think yeah, it's... That, that would, oh, it's if it was the first strength. at the bottom, though, people would be upset that there's no wood league or like... <laughs> Dirt League. Ash League. Ash that's, League. That's the absolute bottom tier. <laughs> yeah, I could have gone with so many more. Yeah, I could have gone with so many more. There actually was a Copper League at some point, but... Ooh. They mixed cool. it with tin. And then they added diamond on top of it. I've watched Bill Wirtz's History of the World, I guess. I got that reference. That reference It's actually kind of interesting. They uh, the copper and the bronze are pretty much identical, so they changed it a little bit. Probably a good call. Oh, congratulations, by the way, to a lurky make a lurk. Probably a good call. Congratulations. Yo, way to go. I think we have a pretty well-established league system in gaming right now. You know, like... I think we have a pretty well-established league system in gaming right now. You know, like, some games try to, like, change the colors or whatever for, like, rare, epic, legendary drops. It just doesn't work, okay? We've got established colors right now. I think for leagues, the current league system... I don't know if StarCraft started it, but, I yeah, Bronze through Grandmaster, I think it's, it's pretty good. Okay. We have, we have an interesting development here. Uh, there's an armory there for is Dorian armory. Gray. So this is going to be Hellbats. The Hellion production has begun. Mm-hmm. Hellbat all-ins, always a little bit scary. Ooh, we're going to do the oh. big switch. Not done. Hellbat, Hellbat all-ins. Hellbat. Has begun. Hellbat all-ins, always a little bit Ooh, we're gonna do the oh. big switcheroo as well. Pump out scary. Ooh, we're gonna do the oh. big switcheroo as well. Pump out a couple of those metavex, I would imagine. Dude, this scout's legendary though. Pneumatized Carapace just finishes up. Overlord goes in. Did it see? It did, did it see the armory? Yep. It was oh, yeah, technically it in range, and he goes back to check right now as well. So quickly uh, puts down yeah. the Roach Warren. You'll love to see it, man. What a response. This is a really good ego boost for me as well, Rushy. I don't think you understand. Oh no, I absolutely do. <laughs> yeah, I actually, absolutely do. People, you probably understand really well. <laughs> yeah, man. When, it's so clear. When all of a sudden in your head it's like, okay, do this, do this. Yeah. <laughs> Proud dad moment. <laughs> oh yeah. No, this is going really well right here for Quigley, assuming he defends against this Hellbed push, right? So the roaches still have to come out. Quigley needs another Overlord, preferably, but other than that, things are pretty sweet. I mean, any. Uh, th three three of them is gonna be a bit shaky. Three roaches here is gonna be a little shaky, not gonna lie. He powered up five drones. Well, at least in theory, the defense is here. Five drones. Well, at Well, at least in theory, the defense is here, guys. In theory, the defense is done. Did that grenade I just... like the, the Reaper split there. Yeah. <laughs> Did that grenade? I just like the theory. The defense is here, guys. In theory, the defense is done. Did that grenade? I just like the the Reaper split. split. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That that's new tech. That level right there. Ooh, zerglings are not going to be enough for this, and the queens are not going to be enough for this, and the queens do need to back off. They are kind of clumped right now. Okay, a little bit better spread. First roaches are going to show up, but these just need to attack right away. Positioning does not matter. Okay. I think this might be okay. Ooh, oh, the hot pickups were kind of nice, but the pickoff onto that medevac is incredibly good. And quickly, 
I mean, just stomps that. What a what an amazing hold. Yeah, a little bit of panic right there for a moment, but good crisis management in the end. A little bit of a micro moment right there, picking up units with the low HP Metavec. It oh. happens sometimes, guys. A micro moment. Is that what we call that in the business? I like it. <laughs> Just I have many epic micro, micro moments, moments in my games. <laughs> All right. Uh, quickly should just go. Should he go quickly? I like it. <laughs> just I have many micro, micro moments moment. in my games. <laughs> All uh, right. Quickly should just go. Should he go quickly? Uh, oh. Oh, clever. Oh, sorry, sorry. I heard you say quickly like four times already. Quigley. This is his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I. I uh, yeah okay yeah fair enough I I thought you said quickly earlier too I was like ooh that's kind of clever Rushy but then I realized you're actually just saying his name <laughs> thought you were making clever puns in the middle of commentary oh uh, no I I'm not quite that smart but I appreciate you thinking that that makes me feel good there you go second Evo coming up we're gonna go Bingling Nest one one upgrades right here for the Terran supply blocks across the board nah it's all good dude that happens game's real hard. Um, we do have a third command center building though, and even though the early game hold was really good, that doesn't win you the game. What it mostly allows you to do is to drone up really nicely, and that's exactly what Quigley has done here for a bit. Making the workers, getting three base saturation, going for the fourth base. There's even a moment where you can think about adding on a... Like a macro hatch if you really want to. Oh, look. I was thinking, okay, maybe what if it's a battle cruiser opener, or a liberator Ooh. showing up, or whatever. Just making sure. What game was it? Sure. What game was it? Was it Oliveira that block Rainer with those rocks? So. Quigley's not going to fall to the same trap that Rainer <laughs> fell into. Yeah. I've seen a couple of games where, where the rocks were, were kind of insane. Yeah. Getting rid of the rocks on your side of the map is a. Uh... Usually a good thing for Zerk anyways, right? Make sure to open up the paths. Make it difficult for the opponent to get much done. Okay. Now the question is, when exactly do you want to go for an attack here? So... ...to get much done. Okay. Now the question is, when exactly do you go for an attack here? So... ...just sit... A ...couple of moments. You can either just sit back and defend whatever Terran does. Moments. You can either just sit back and defend what Terran does and then counterattack as Zerg. Or you can go for an attack yourself. Now he's got 1-1 one, one as well as Baneling Speed finishing up right around the same time. That is certainly a move, but... Yeah. What would you do in this scenario, Rushy? Well, I, I, I'm honestly, I would have shoved a long time ago after getting that push, but I, I don't mind the Hydras here. I think Hydras are fine. I think Roach Ravager Ling is more than enough, especially against this army composition. More Queens would be helpful as well, just to help push that creep and defend at home. But this should be mostly dealt with. There's not that much Terran here to uh, really push away this army. And yeah, Quigley should just shove across the map at this point but again playing safe you don't want to overextend mm -hmm. i get that if there are a couple of tanks back at home suddenly half your army gets uh, softened up and it's a different ball game but uh yeah. but yeah uh fourth base go but uh yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but yeah uh fourth base going out oh i love i'm actually going to inadvertently scout this this is a it's a good moment for quigley Dorian over here has been making a wall of supply depots as well. Something he did in the previous game too. I'd like to see it. So he's gonna... Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to path them through this wall right here. Now he realizes that something's not quite right. I really like the timing though of that 4th CC. Worker-wise, Dorian is actually in a really good spot. Um, he can transfer some SCVs in that direction. This man clearly likes holding down the SCV button, okay? We've seen him go upwards of 90 SCVs earlier. Didn't work out that well in the previous game, but... Hmm. At least as far as macro goes, it's been fantastic. I would love to see a planetary here, some additional SCVs. 
add up the production, we've already done so. Seven uh, racks once more in total. You can go for a second factory if we want to, start powering out the units. This is actually really well, well, actually really well, well recovered right here from Dorian. Really, 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 this is actually really well, well recovered right here from Dorian. Really well, well recovered right here from Dorian. Yeah, very much so. Uh, the Len, I think, is an interesting choice here for Quigley. This it's not, not a bad choice, but it will require some good positioning on the part of the Zerg player. But look at that creep spread. I mean, mm -hmm. all the way out to the center of the map, starting to push over to the fourth base as well. This is a, a nice amount of vision that Quigley is given himself. And I do like this separated army. This is going to be a nice little push. A little bit of delayed response on the stim, but should be enough to back some of that bio off. But both of the tanks are going to get picked off as well. Yeah, losing those siege tanks really makes the defense or the, the offense a whole lot harder here. There are a lot more Zorklings on the back of this too, so I think Dorian is going to have to pick up and get on out of here. And that's exactly what happens. Still though, supply-wise, I actually really do quite like this here for Dorian. He needs to, uh, yeah, just keep up the uh, the macro and really transfer some of those SCVs that we've had at the third base for a long time to the fourth base location. But he's really going to be able to, yeah, face the Zerg player head-on as far as army here goes. Yeah, uh, this is... As good of a position as you could be for the Terran player right now. I think the tech needs to be the next follow-up. So getting an additional factory is going to help with the tank production. That's a, a good spot. 2-2 two, two is just about to finish. That's going to be a good mm -hmm. opportune moment for him to put some additional pressure on and just defend back. Uh, the addition of Marauders, uh, I don't. Uh, the addition of Marauders, uh, I don't know if I love it. Uh, I guess it does help negate a little bit of the baneling pressure, but. I, I just really think the additional tanks and uh, Widow Mines are a fine addition as well. Just something that's going to be able to tech this up. I like the Ghost uh, Academy. I think that's a good, sm uh, smart choice. Yeah, yeah. you brought up the Lurker some time ago. You kind of need Ghosts against them. Quickly making the Does Lurker. Does he have then, Lurkers at this no, point? No, he doesn't have them yet. Nope. He doesn't have the upgrades for them yet either. So I think he was maybe planning on winning the game a little bit sooner. And now he's in that awkward spot where you kind of have to play late game. But you still got a lot of units. Yeah, this little drop over here is actually also staying alive. Nicely wedged eh? in between those mineral fields here. Dorian's getting a lot. At the same time, though, ooh, he's also losing a lot of army in the meantime on the other side. Yeah, this Yeah, this is this is a very scary army here. That exposed fourth base really doesn't have anything stationary just yet to hold it down. So that's going to get picked off. The Banelings did mostly get used up there. There's a couple left, so really no push forward because of the wall. And Dorian Gray already pushed across the map, mm -hmm. poised to strike once again. Yeah, he's going to need Banelings to commit right now. The Siege Tank and the Widowmine not actually paying attention. That Stimpak maybe a little bit later than you wanted as well. Dorian trying to make the best of this scenario right now as he stims oh, onto wow. the creep. I don't think that's where you wanted to go. Oh, oh. I... I can't believe that didn't go more south than it did. Uh, these hydras should be able to pick this off, especially oh. on creep. They've got amazing micro potential. What a micro moment by Quigley. Yeah, I thought um, Dorian was so confidently standing right there on the creep that I thought he was uh, yeah, just ready to fight that final Zerg army there because it really did look like he was ready to bring this one home. But now suddenly the supply count has been evened up quite a bit. Quigley is starting up the transition towards Lurkers as well. And as soon as Lurkers are out, these sort of armies just don't cut it, right? Like, Marine Marauder Medivac with a couple of Widow Mines uh, against Lurkers? Like, what are you going to do? Uh, you're you're going to slowly start getting pushed further and further back into your base. That is, a, that is the true answer here. <laughs> and right here. MC Master in the chat. Wow, that is this is diamond play. LOL. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know you're trying to roast somebody here, but yes. <laughs> Literally, yes. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, Quigley is currently sitting at like 3-4 or so, 3-5. Dorian is probably right around the same MMR. So this is as high. High level as we're gonna see today. I actually think these guys are playing really well. This is a solid game. It's been a solid set of series so far. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I could coach people into Master League by hitting their Queen Inject. That was literally all you needed to do. 
Just hit your queen injects and spend your money. That is essentially all you need to do. Essentially and literally are synonyms, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Okay. Ooh, nice that was a good split by the yeah. Terran player. No detection here for Zerk either, so... Okay, now they show up. Okay. Fourth base, by the way, on the left side of the map, once again up and running. At this point, it's been scouted by Quigley, but there's not really a whole lot he can do about it. He decides to morph the Lurkers in the face of the Terrans. That one Lurker from the high ground, man, I think he can get him if he wants to. Yeah, he decides to stim down. He's gonna try and pick off those Lurkers one at a time. These are super expensive units. Quigley, where are we going? Wow. He loses all of them. Every single one. Wow. A good play there, but yeah. Quigley now has to find a way to respond. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot there. 54 Zerglings in the production tab. Now the swarm comes flowing in. But that's a lot of tech you don't want to lose at the 15 minute mark. That is indeed, indeed a lot of tech. So he still has a ton of money in the bank. It's going to be able to remake those units, but resources lost. Yeah, it's been evened up a lot right now. Okay, we're gonna go back to Hydraling Bane. Quickly loves playing Hydraling Bane. I think he's saying, okay, you know what? I've tried Lurkers. It didn't work. I'm gonna go <laughs> back to the good old faithful Hydraling Bane. You know what? When the opponent is just switching into Ghosts, um, Hydra Bane is really good against Ghost Bane armies. If Dorian is gonna double down on the Ghosts, he might accidentally find himself in a weird spot where he's expecting Lurkers, but he's now accidentally forced out to counter himself. Hmm. Yeah, Loco as a coach, how do you feel about morphing uh, high-tech units in the face of your enemy? It's a nice confidence boost, man. That's what you need to do. <laughs> That's where they should be, right in the face. And normally, they, were to back, uh, they, they would back off, I think. There was one lurker to protect them all, right? Oh my god, this is an awkward moment! He's move commanding! Oh no! Well, that was that entire bio army gone. The planetary fortress at the same time... Also dead. Yeah, that has a lot of damage. Ooh, well. Ooh, well. Quigley got his uh, his gift back there. Traded uh, what ten lurkers for an entire army and a base and mm -hmm. twenty three workers. That seems like a seems like a nice exchange. Medivac dropping the top right in corner, trying to come around as well. There was a little ring of uh, spore crawler set up, pretending to be missile turrets. Do you think there's a guy inside of the spore crawler? These are the questions I need answers for, Arshi. It's gonna keep me up this at night. true. Well. Inside of the spore crawler. These are the questions I need answers for, Arshi. It's gonna. These are the questions I need answers for, Arshi. It's gonna keep me up this at night. true. Well. I wake up at yeah. three. <laughs> Is there a guy inside of the spore crawler? Is the drone still in there somewhere? Oh yeah, just spinning around, getting like mm. motion sickness for the rest of its life. Is there no missile turret in this game? There's not a single missile turret in this game. Oh wow! Oh no, there is. There is. For those of you unfamiliar, there is a guy inside of the missile turret. There he is. You see his helmet. Anyways, planetary fortress <laughs> goes down. Not the missile turret guy. Quickly, have mercy! Mercy! No mercy. <laughs> so, so, this game's feeling a little over. This game is pretty over, yes. Yeah. Oh, I do. I love I love the patience. I, I think you're right. I think we're going to feel very differently about this patience in about four hours or so. <laughs> it's just going to be... Just, just, just go kill him! Us in, in six <laughs> hours. Like, just, just, just take your army, send it across <laughs> the map! Don't look at it. Don't micro. <laughs> don't do anything. Just attack. There you go. Oh. So we actually had a coaching session like two months ago, or maybe a month and a half ago, um, where quickly was talking. Where quickly was talking about exactly that thing. It's like, can you ever win games at the 27-minute mark? How do I end <laughs> games earlier than that? Well, usually just grab. Well, usually just grabbing your army when you're ahead and move, move the right move. But I know these kind of attacks are the right move. But I know these kind of attacks are a little bit scary. Quickly though, 2-0. The Zerk Cabal does it again. Wow. Well. well.
Rigged, rigged, rigged. So far, rigged. we've only casted Zerg wins today. Ooh. Very Coaching nice. sounds like pay to win. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely not taken advantage of that. Like, oh. <laughs> Me? I could never. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Rushy. You have never done such a thing, ever. No. Um, when are we going to turn in my 31 hours of coaching I'm, I'm owed Anytime, now? Anytime, Rushy. Probably Stormgate <laughs> Any at this rate. Oh, there we go. But, you know, we're going to all be back down to uh, the same skill level in Stormgate, so I have no idea how it's going to work out, dude. Can we play 2v2s and Stormgate together? We can together? definitely play 2v2s, man. They seem to be building that game around that sort of stuff as well, right? Well, so they made a big point to talk about, like, 3v3 is going to be their multiplayer focus, right? Uh, I need more friends. <laughs> oh, I was so happy I finally had one. Now I got to get another? We'll just have to get Loran Stormgate. <laughs> Perfect. We'll just have to get Loran into Stormgate. Perfect time. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is not going to happen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Trust. <laughs> Did you do the thing where it's like you you sat her down, you stood over her shoulder, was like, okay, click that unit, and this one goes. It, we bang, didn't even get there. Said, we didn't even go oh. that far. She tried it with her brother once upon a time, like when we first met, and she's like, yeah, no, I can't do this. <laughs> she filled the tutorial, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh, not a real gamer. Oh not no, not a new real. No, she still plays Pokemon Go. There's like 12 people that still play that game. She's one of them. They're all like sharing uh, <laughs> gifts with each other every day. What about just... Animal Crossing? I haven't heard about Animal Crossing in a long time. Oh, sorry. The game is ready to go. Wow. Muta. Ba -da -ba -ba. You are the referee in this game, Rushing. Let's go. You got... I don't have my way. I, I thought about it. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> um, you get to introduce the Protoss player. Is that his new name? Did Echo Soldier really change his name? Protoss player? Is that his new name? Did Echo Soldier really change his name? <laughs> My God. I suggest we call this man, I, okay. Um, I suggest we call this man Echo Soldier because that is how he is known in Twitch chat. Um, are you sure? I mean, I don't want people to get confused. <sighs> Spawning right here in the bottom left hand corner of Ancient Cistern. That's map number one in his best of three series. We have balls. <laughs> the three series, we have balls. <laughs> is that his name, Loco Balls? <laughs> Is that his name? Loco Balls? Loco Let's... Balls. Just for, for the... You know he's going to be watching this VOD just just to hear me say that. Josh? No. no. Josh? No. Josh? Just to hear me say that. Josh? No. no. <laughs> Josh? No. Josh? No. no. <laughs> Preemptively ban him in the chat. <laughs> just, and just, then his opponent just, in the top right. Just the get balloon. rid of him in advance. <laughs> 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 the blue zerg. Play for the pig pan. This is Valeta. Yeah. Nice. Pig just raided the channel after he wrapped up his tournament for the day. Shout out to Pig, of course. In case you're unfamiliar with Pig, there he is. Spinning Ooh. around on the bacon. Dude, that's actually a sick logo. Yeah. I love it. Pig's such a cool dude. Yes. Pig, Pig doesn't... I love it. Pig's such a cool dude. Yes. Pig doesn't know this, but... Well, he remembers it if I told him, but um, we I, um, we I went and talked to him after after he, I went and talked to him after he casted at, at Streamhack Austin, and uh, he referred to me and my friend as StarCraft Two Passion Lords, and it stuck with me ever since. It's been on my uh, oh, Twitter nice. bio for quite some time. Oh, Pretty I've cool seen dude. that on your Twitter bio. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a reference. Nice. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the same time that I also met Neuro for the first time. And uh, if you ask Neuro about me, the only thing he'll tell you is how tall he <laughs> thought I was when we first met. He, was we walked up to each other, and he just kind of did that the the dramatic thing of just like scan all the way up. He's like, "Wow." I, <laughs> I was like, "Okay, settle down. It's fine." How do you feel about Echo Soldier's wall off over here at the top of the ramp? I was not in love with it. <laughs> no, Especially no. since if Valeda decides to build any amount of Zerglings, I mean, the wall's wide open, but why not just build the wall on low ground? Yeah, there's I suppose also this a is gap. Probably... Like, that gap is really bad, because oh. you can only block that with a pylon, but then it's a full block? I hate yeah. everything about this wall. <laughs> like, it doesn't protect anything. It doesn't even protect the main base. There's just a... Uh, I don't know if Valeda's gonna... Oh, yeah, and, and sorry, you, you're talking about Echo Soldier? I don't know who that is. Uh, Josh. Uh, well, like in the game. Like, I just don't know who that is. The Protals. The orange guy right here on the screen. What are you? Oh, oh, you mean balls. <laughs> oh, balls, yes. <laughs> stalker coming up. He's going to use the Stalker to protect. Oh, you know what? It's a perfect wall for a pylon, but also for a Stalker. Look at that one probe, by the way, body blocking like a champ. <laughs> That's. I'm actually more impressed by the the probe than I was anything else. Oh, but, but it's open. Valeda, just go through. Nah, he's already. Who cares he's, about he's seen everything. Anymore. He doesn't need to do anything, man. He's seen the Twilight Council's right there. No, <laughs> jeez. Okay. okay. Well, it's dead now. I mean, as scrappy as this is, I mean, Echo Soldier is oh, doing a decent job here. <laughs> Three <laughs> additional in a robo. Oh, oh this, this is, is silly. so cursed. There's still a hole, too, so I guess that's by design, I think, maybe. Yeah, it must be. That probe is just okay, double-checking. If, if this pylon gets killed, I nominate that we refer to them as Josh Pylons going forward. Ball pylons. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that could be an innuendo. Grab the pylon by his... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, that could be a problem. All right. Um, Vileda has seen... Ooh, what? All right. Vileda has seen... Ooh, what? So I, I guess arch together with a prism and then into an Archon Zealot push? That's the only thing that if I close my eyes makes some sense. So I hope that's what we're going for because anything else is going to be horrible. <laughs> the pylon standing tall and ready. Okay, guys. <laughs> Come on. He did erect the pylon. It yeah, is true. Yeah, he did erect the pylon. The pilot. The pilot standing tall and ready. Okay. <laughs> Come on. He did erect the pylon. It is yeah, true. Yeah, he did erect the pylon right there to power it all. That's true. Vileda is going to scout this once again. Vileda's, by the way, doing a pretty dang good job. Just droning up aggressively. A roach one right now. The only thing that I would be concerned for right now as Vileda would be Dark Templar. And he's got no counter against those whatsoever. Um, so the lair is certainly necessary. So I think that's probably why we have a double gas in the main base right now. Just to make sure that... We're going to be able to get that gas going here soon, but yeah, DTs do go down. All right. Okay. At what point do we talk about the fact that Valeda is at 70 supply? And yeah. Josh no, this is game is over. 39. Unless the DTs kill everything. Like, Valeda got him by the balls. He's got... He's got... Um, um, the Dark Shrine... Like, Valeda got him by the balls. He's got, he's got, the Dark Shrine, you have balls to bring that up at this point, but it's, yeah, you gotta have balls to bring that up at this point, but it's, it's honestly the only option he has. <laughs> oh, this is too much. There's a prism, Rushy. There's nothing coming out of the prism. It's, <laughs> oh, this is too much. He has. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is too much. There's a prism, Rushy. There's nothing coming out of 
And it's prison. in vision too. <laughs> it's, it just flew into the third base. That's all it ever did. It's yeah, just the intimidation and the, prism. And the, yeah, and the overlord can still see it. It's just chilling. Well, it forced out roaches, so there you go. The Dark Shrine can actually win this game. If Balls wins this game, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Yeah, that this should be a Zerg win. Like <laughs> Zerg memes aside, this should if be a Zerg If he warps them win. in within that vision range of the Overlord, oh. I might cry sooner than this game being over. We're gonna there's warp no, that is no There's no vision. There's there's none vision. There, there's none. detection. Yeah, yeah, there's there's nothing. None none detection. So, the lair is not finished yet because he didn't add the drones back to gas. Oh, I don't think Echo Soldier actually realizes that he can just go ahead and... He, he actually has this one in the back if he were to go a little bit more aggressively. Okay, he's gonna give his opponent at least a little bit of respect here. I didn't think Josh had it in him, but... Um, it's just gonna settle for the third base. Okay, Overseer coming up. Vileta is gonna be okay here eventually, but this... Ah, I was gonna say evens things up, but Protoss is so far behind. Oh, I'm just... I... okay. So, like, A move. Just A move, and I would A move and walk away. Go make yourself a cup of coffee. Go to the <laughs> as, bathroom. As Zerg? Take a walk? Yes! <laughs> absolutely! <laughs> Why? You have Why? detection. Why are we recalling right now? <laughs> what is going on, Josh? I have seen Echo Soldier play some really good games. He played some good... like, this... hmm. Did he half his MMR over the last couple of months? What happened? <laughs> this is what happens when you spend too much time on all things toilet, man. I, I spent a little bit of time on that <clears throat> Discord channel. Um, I know um, Echo Soldier is a big uh, um, I, I know um, Echo Soldier is a big, big fan as well. It apparently effectively lowers your MMR by at least... Uh, and the IQ by at least 50. Okay, oh, I mean, there's, tw that. there's 2,200 minerals in the bank. For, that's a lot of minerals. For Echo Soldier. That's a lot of minerals. For someone who hasn't had income for half of the game, that's... <laughs> a lot. Oh, well, no, it... just, just push! <laughs> just go! <laughs> you know what? Fileta actually uh, has got a lot of money in the bank, too. They've been mining a lot more. Um... Oh, no. Storm! <laughs> that is the last thing we need here. Against largely This roach. is an imposter, man. If this was Among Us, I'd kick balls out of the ship. This makes <laughs> no sense. We ha what? Oh. There's no way. We this makes okay. The, the, I don't know. This is this is silly. This is this has gone on way too long. Storming roaches? I mean, theoretically, not a terrible idea, but it's better than nothing. But... Oh my god. It is better than nothing. But... Oh my god! <laughs> gateways, let's go, dude. Ten... <laughs> Ten gateways, let's go, dude. Ten gateways on two basic. Eleven items. even. Eleven is ugly. Make it twelve or ten. Sorry to team no, nice Ot, even but... eleven. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> eleven is okay. Well, here we go. Honestly, there's too much protos here. I think if he juggles as well, he can actually win this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, we can't be rewarding Archon. bad behavior. Please win, Vileta. Second Archon! Oh, okay, this is actually okay. Uh, yeah, just just tap tap the... Yep, tap the Immortal. There we go. Okay, tipty tap. That's gone. Oh, the the fact that there's a shield battery here is just a not... This is, this is so silly. <laughs> this is so dumb. I this love dumb. that battery overcharge timing. It's just... Oh, the the fact that there's a shield battery here is just a not this is this is so silly. This is so dumb. This I love dumb. that battery overcharge timing. That is that is great. <clears throat> okay. Um <clears throat> Okay. Um, um Um so we actually have a lot of gateways. He just spent all of his money on eleven zealots. Like you said, a nice even 11. We're gonna nice go for the third alive. base that we killed already already or already or before, so we know that there's another base oh, somewhere God. out on the map. If it's not here, it has to be up north, so don't know why we're going for this one, but... 11 High Templar coming up on the back of this too. Mm. One of them doesn't have oh. a friend. 
so so we've been talking about how all our, our first series were like really standard, really well done. Like let's mm-hmm. unpack a little bit of this. There are no upgrades for either but no like uh, attack upgrades or defense upgrades for either player. Only now getting one one for Valeda. Th- this is largely Archon Zealot. No immortals anymore. We're getting a third base at the ten minute mark. Is hey, is is it uh his stored minerals oh, are under a thousand. He does have storm. And he's got Thorm. I don't know. Okay, I was going to make fun of this High Templar and how it can be relatable because he's, you know, the odd one out over here. What are we going to do? Uh, feedback uh, an Overseer? But I forgot that he got, uh, yeah, he actually got Storm. So maybe one money. Dude, I, I actually think balls may win Oh, uh, what's, what's in the warp prism? Oh, it's uh, just Zealots. Okay. Just Zealots, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if he's got the micro... Oh, no. If he has Storm over here, that would be actually... Like, if he can Storm here with the Prism units, that would be insane. He's going Blink Dark Templar, by the way. I think the fact that he's just carrying three Zealots in the Warp Prism is just (laughs) an ultimate flex. Like, I don't need these units. I could use them, but I don't want to. Those were royalty, dude. You don't get it. The king never (laughs) fights himself. (laughs) That's true. That's true. He's got his entourage and everything. (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, he wanted to join as well. Probably one of those zealots in the back. Oh, oh, good storm. But that is a lot of Zerk. That is a lot of Zerk. No, Veleda. Veleda should still have this. Thank God, by the way, that Veleda still has this. He made it a little harder on himself than it really needed to be, but... He made it a little harder on himself than it really needed to be, but... He made it a little harder on I mean, I would okay. never sacrifice my own integrity, but if I sense that uh, that Josh is about to close this out, I would pause the game as referee, and I would say, <laughs> you have to leave. You leave, or I'm just going to cancel the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would never do that, though. You don't I would think never. it would hurt the tournament integrity at all? Oh, no. Whoa. He got a friend. He found a friend. <laughs> That guy dealt more damage than anybody else in this this Protoss army, though. So, like, okay, well, <laughs> if we needed a new king, I would have, you know, suggested. Anyways, you know, I I knew that we kind of were like putting a timer on when would we finally lose our sanity and start yelling at the scream. I never thought that chat would be the first ones to go. I'm seeing people like, <laughs> "What are you waiting for? <laughs> Just go!" You never imagined that, really. No, I didn't think it'd be chat first. I thought it'd be us first. Oh, yeah. Chat would enough. just be farming their Keck Ws. Okay. Vileda, very scared right now. Vileda knows that we've been shouting for a while. Vileda could probably imagine the commentary. So just being as as safe as is reasonable. Now, we could just go and win. We, we <laughs> but could. why? We could. Go and win. We, we <laughs> but could. But why? We could just go and win, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna go do it. Oh, oh is Those it are, happening? Oh. Nope. We've got, nope, we've got one more. No, we don't have enough energy for one more storm, do we? No, there might be one more. Maybe halfway. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay. All right. And now we rotate to how somewhere else. Oh, psych! Got him! <laughs> how do you feel about sentries? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not like they have a, a useful spell that could, like, provide a little bit of, like, strategic placement. In mm. the army, like, no, not at yeah, all. Yeah, minus oh. two damage from ranged attacks would not be... Dude, look at this split up, though. The Hydras and the Roaches just going back home for I some reason. I don't think it's a split up, the... man. I think they're going on a walk. These guys are on lunch break. <laughs> My God. Oh, there we oh, go. God. Okay, finally. Oh, God. Oh, we God. He actually just moved base. commanded the, the, the Archons within the, the Hydra range. Okay, at yeah, least we're going to kill definitely bait. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Okay, I traded out a half of my army, and you lost your fourth base. Who's the real winner? Nobody. I can't believe how close this is. You I was going to say the fans, but I don't even think the fans are the real winners. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's losing. Oh, no. Well, Josh is winning. Josh jo- is yeah. Well, Josh. Josh is winning. Josh is winning. Josh is winning. Yeah, if this Josh right wins now. this match, he's never. This, this is. We're going to hear about this game. For, if Josh right wins now. this match, he's never going to get over this. This is. We're going to hear about this game for a long time.
Nah, if he if he's like ever stopped laughing even while watching the spot, oh, okay. like, he's probably laughed the entire time. And and, and honestly, oh, good for him. He into should. the meat grinder we go. If we had Storm, man. Zork should still win this, by the way. 100%. 2-2 just finished as well, which is just amazing. 20 more Hydras are coming up. There's no way. Nah, this is game over. This, this yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, there's no way. I mean... No, just go! Uh, no. just, uh, please. Just please. Just please, come on! Just, oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I get clicked in the there. tech get move it. for you, man. You can do it now. No. Okay, just leave it there. <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, I don't yeah, hate no it. No stutter step. Just. Okay. I Dude. think we've done it. We've done it. Let's we go. The pig pen strikes again, man. <laughs> this proves that pig is literally better than the loco clan. Oh. There it is. My man is out there playing brute war. <laughs> nice. Oh no. Uh, uh, so uh, funny. Uh, uh. That game was surprisingly oh. close. Dude, imagine if casters in like big events took sides as hard as we just took sides there. <laughs> I mean, get out of this game, you <laughs> loser! Come on! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Fly your command center to the corner? Lol. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna lose to dark like that? Wow, noob! Hey, thank you by the way, T for the fifty. Sorry, my cat was playing that last game. Doesn't count. <laughs> Sorry, my cat was playing that last game. Doesn't count. Well, just <laughs> Long. Thank you very much, Doctor Feelgood. Too. My cat was playing last game. It doesn't count. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> oh, what is it? Wait. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's so silly. <laughs> Just don't watch the VOD. <laughs> don't watch the VOD. Parties. No, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh no, did you? Did make we make fun of you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, did you? Did we make fun of you? <laughs> of you? No. <laughs> fun of you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We could never, but we told chat to stop. No. <laughs> we could never, but we told chat to stop. <laughs> but we chat to stop? Ah, uh, you were no, I, I, Oh, ah, I made a mistake on the go. internet. Oh, no. You made a mistake. Ah, get him. <laughs> Someone DM'd me and said, oh, God. Did Josh half his <laughs> MMR? Wow. I def- Def- sent me and said- Oh god. Did Josh half his <laughs> MMR? Wow. I definitely did not say that. Go, go, loco. More content. So good on Zerk Burger. Thank you for the two months. What? That. Not say that. Go, go, loco. Welcome back. Cancel rushing? No. No. Who would say such you a know, You know thing? how it would cancel me? If you click on my name in the title and then click subscribe. That, that <laughs> would... That show At me. least click his name in the title and hit follow, okay? Ooh, yeah. At least be... that. Oh. At that'd least be... that. Oh, did we just switch callers? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Callers. <laughs> 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 no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bah, top left, the Protoss player. You know him, you love him, and we love to- Oh, sorry. Oh, yikes. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> In any case, this. Well, okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops.
<laughs> I oh am making a disaster out of this. This is a, in my intro too. Sorry, oh my sorry. God. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, top left hand corner. You love him. You you love to feel some way. This <laughs> is Echo Soldier, aka Loco Balls. And in the bottom right, playing a amazing, flawless game number one. Roaches, Hydras, drones, no detection. We are looking at Vileda's main hatchery. I got a new keyboard, Rushy. Well, I had a new Ooh. keyboard some time ago, right? And the okay, delete yeah. and home keys, the ones that I use to turn the screen, are right next to the pause break key. And okay. I accidentally sometimes mess up um, <clears throat> my fingers, apparently, my, you know. My finger Wait, skills what? are not as good as I would like them to be. Okay. It's, we'll leave uh, it alone. don't take that out of, no, chat, no. I would I, never. No. Dude, I kind of No. I would never. No. Dude, I kind of want, I want to see if Sal would make me a keyboard. Ooh, yeah. So I was making yesterday. Uh, he was making one for Rainer yesterday, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he made one for our toes as well. I know he made one for our toes as well. And then our toes promptly removed the seven keycaps that he always has removed. <laughs> did he actually? Did he make a oh, full yeah, keyboard absolutely. and our toes immediately removed the keys? Oh, I yeah. guess that's expected. Yeah, fair. I just would have told uh, up a tree, just like don't don't even like buy those keys. Yeah, fair. I just would have told uh, up a tree, just buy those keycaps. It's like not important. <laughs> They're just gonna be gone anyways. Dude, can I commission? It's gonna be gone anyway. Dude, can I commission Sal to make a keyboard? That sounds amazing. You just got a new keyboard. No, I had this one some time ago. Oh, not, you know, oh, okay. this is like the gamer thing, okay? There's not yeah, that it's... many things to buy as gamers, right? There's this hardware, obviously, but there's games, right? But <laughs> I, 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 yeah, no, I mean, I. I do like shiny You're right. New it, there's only the GPU and then the CPU and then additional yeah, RAM and then a really nice web sorted, game. You know, the peripherals are always interesting. No, okay. <laughs> I am going to go ahead. I think it's Okay, time, surprisingly guys. based though. Um, Chat based question mark. This is surprisingly based. He's muted. Um he's done. Um <laughs> his talking privileges have been revoked. <laughs> We need a low balls emote. We most definitely do not. <laughs> Vileta coming in with the Zerklings. What is up with this high ground wall off? Yeah, well, I mean, in his mind, it's to prevent something like this from spiraling out of control. But then, bro, your ne Nexus. <laughs> No, the next is fine. Like he's whatever. Really, it's fine. He's really that adept to the correct side. Okay. Um. So if you if you were to put those structures over here, this entire problem would not be here. That pylon was also too far back. back. Oh, he canceled it. Okay. No, no, no. That was good though, because that pylon was mispositioned. So Valeta did him a he did him a favor. <laughs> oh, please, please kill the adept, please. 
Oh, there you oh. go. All right. <sighs> Lair coming up. Th this is what we expect. Lair coming up. Th this. <sighs> All right. All right. Lair. Right. Lair coming. Up. Lair coming up. Th this is what we expected. Let 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 yes, you and I true. expected these types of games. No, no, no. I uh, I'm here for it, man. <laughs> Even though it's a little bit. Dude, can I commission Sal to make a keyboard? That sounds amazing. You just got a new keyboard. No, I had this one some time ago. Now I'm excited for, you know, oh, okay. this is like the gamer thing, okay? There's not Dad. that many things to buy as gamers, right? There's this hardware, obviously, but there's games, right? But <laughs> I, 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 yeah, no, I mean, I, I do like You're right. Hardware. There's only the GPU and then the CPU and then additional yeah, RAM but and then a really nice web sorted, game. You know, the peripherals are always interesting. No, okay. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead. I think it's okay. Time, guys. Surprisingly based, though. Um, Chat based? Question mark. This is surprisingly based. He's muted. Um, he's done. Um, <laughs> his talking privileges have been revoked. <laughs> we need a low balls emote. We most definitely do not. <laughs> Vileta coming in with the Zerklings. What is up with this high ground wall off? Yeah, well, I mean, in his mind, it's to prevent something like this from spiraling out of control. But then, bro, your Nexus. <laughs> no, the Nexus is fine. Like, please whatever. Rally, please it. rally that adept to the correct site. Okay. Um, so if you if you were to put those structures over here, this entire problem would not be here. That pylon was also too far line. back. Oh, we canceled it. Okay. No, no, no. That was good, though, because that pylon was mispositioned. So Valeta did him a, he did him a favor. <laughs> Oh, please, please kill the adept. Please. Oh, there you oh. go. All right. Lair coming up. The, this is what we expected. Let, like, let's, let's be honest. You this and I true. expected these types of games. No, no, no. I, uh, I'm here for it, man. Even though it's... <laughs> like, let's, let's... Lair coming up. The, this is what we expected. Let, like, let's, let's be honest. You this and I expected true. these types of games. No, no, no. I, uh, I'm here for it, man. Even though it's a little <laughs> bit painful... I also like games that are, you know, for example, I, I play quite a bit of Dark Souls. Well, I muted you! Souls? Well, I muted you! <laughs> How is... <laughs> He's muted, according to StarCraft 2. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he hacking? What a hacker, How did man? that work? He just broke the filter. He's a, he's in the Matrix. He, he is, is the, the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, he might be the Matrix. <laughs> is he just trying to tell his opponent that he wants to go Disruptors while not going Disruptors? Oh, he's going to go Robo Bay anyways. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, I'm a referee. It doesn't work. Oh, yeah. So you got to be able to see all of the, the chat regardless. You can't so. mute people that are in your friends list. Yeah, because uh. what if they say something BM? You got to have evidence. Oh, I see. I see. I, I'm i not sure. I'm not sure what's happening um, as far as the... Um, as, far as, as far as the proto strategy goes... It's it's like we're trying to reinvent. There's really no reason for it. I think everybody <laughs> used the wheel at some point in time, right? Have you used the wheel, Rushy? Eh, I think you used the wheel yeah. ever in your life, Rushy. Eh, I think a couple of times. Yeah, they're good. Maybe, maybe. Would you reinvent it? 
If you had hmm. to... <laughs> as an American who wants to do things as difficult as possible, absolutely. My brain hurts. Dude, he is... He's not being very considerate for everybody watching oh. this at all. See, I... Oh. See, I, I only have observer chat, so I can't type the retort I wanted to. Okay. Here come the roaches. Just me. I was going to say, not just you. Ah. Yeah, I it think Valeda been might get a little bit distracted, man. Valeda, not messing around. Now, he is doing a roach push into a disruptor opener. Um, It could be a disruptor opener. It could be a disruptor opener. It could go terribly wrong, is all I'm saying. Maybe? This is literally a Raynor, okay? Raynor's really good at that splitting. He can uh, micro against this sort of attack really well. I'm a little all afraid, right. though, that we're going to see one Disruptor clip all of these roaches. You just has to... Just oh. one dodge. <laughs> That's it. You just has to... Just oh. one dodge. <laughs> That's it. This is... Oh, my God. Come on, man! Okay, here it is. Here oh, it is. No, no. Oh, jeez, man. I and thought he was going to clip his own unit for he's a dead. second. And he's dead. Yeah, no, that's... My <laughs> brain hurts, he says. Ugh. Oh, please do not let that disruptor have a second shot. Please. 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 Oh, God. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, chat. Oh. Okay, that's fun. <sighs> Thank God. Here's another one. There you go. Oh, oh nice. Just done. in time. He left without a GG, but he did tell you he loves you, Rushy. And what's more important? I mean, I was the winner there, so. You were the winner. And the winner of the important. I mean, I was the winner there, so. You were the winner. And Valeda also, the winner of the match. Well played. Not really, uh. Yeah, messing up there at all. I mean, we're kind of memeing over Echo Soldier, but, uh, well played right there by Vileda for sure. Yeah, well done. Let me have a look at the uh, the bracket real quick, guys. Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. looked at the bracket. bracket in a while because, you know, Nuke is so on point with everything that I don't even have a time to, to, to see it. But, uh, what's the full screen button? Maybe that one. All right. Um, ooh, a lot of games of Order. But, all right, ooh, a lot of games of Order have been played. Fantastic. Uh, uh, look at that. Yeah, Glorak, Glorak winning. Fantastic. Um, so oh, we have. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, Glorak. Um, fantastic. So oh, we have. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, Glorak, Glorak winning. Oh, who we saw in the first game, two to one. Lobotomite, okay. Also two to zero, who won over ages. Clem sadly got defeated in the first round of the low code TV viewer tournament, <laughs> as expected, of course. But there is double elimination, so maybe he's climbing his way back up. Cracking uh, hero. Echo Soldier won against Chiba. Oh my God. Ramchi? That is a, an amazing flag, by the way. Yeah. I think I know the flag name, Rashi, but I'm not going to make any calls. That's the French flag, right? <laughs> no, I mean the one for Ramchi. Oh. What I think it's it? Macedonia. That's what I was going to say, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's that's cool that kind of cool. They win the flag game. Other than, of course, the classic red one. Yeah, oh. United States. I agree. Okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Quigley currently going up against Lithinos. Interesting. Canada versus the States. Arabizol climbing his way back up over here. Um, Chibi waiting in that round. Okay. Sally T is back again as well. Good to see. Very cool. All right. Um, Loco. <laughs> Echo Soldier shit talking. Is that what's going on right now? <laughs> a lot of messages. Loco, get me check the Patreon chat. Okay, final check talking. Is that what's going on? 
Loco, get me on in an interview? No, no, no. We are most definitely not doing such things. <laughs> Loco, I think the US flag is the best, but I'm kind of biased. I wonder where you're from, Kit Kat Forever. No, Kit Kat speaks the truth. Don't silence them. No, Don't I'm not silencing them. anyone. Don't shame them for time. Yeah, the Dutch flag is a little minimalistic, right? Let's leave it at that. We're like, oh, we like this color, we like that color, we like this one. Bam. Fly. Chat, we got a little bit of downtime here. And I think this is a perfect time. Oh. <laughs> it's good on you, man. Uh, so. Still, you're identical to his life. She, Rushi's been replaced. This is such a mess. Some different kinds of see-through donut. Perfect. <laughs> it's Rushi with his mouth up. I can't. <laughs> Looks very unhealthy, Loco. <laughs> what are you doing? I can you give I me a bite? Look at me. I switch seats. <laughs> All I have is Rushi with his mouth up. Can I have a bite with a donut? Okay, here, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh... <laughs> if you look very carefully, you can see Rushy through the donut. Okay, here, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh... <laughs> Perfect. Can I have a bite? Looks very unhealthy, Loco. <laughs> what are you doing? I, can you give I me a switch, bite? Look easy! I switch seats! <laughs> All I have is Rushy with his mouth open! <laughs> okay, that didn't... I don't think that was a... <laughs> How long is the stream delay? Like three seconds? <laughs> Rushy's very hungry, man. They don't eat him. That's okay. It's been since you've been... Uh, too I think long. I ordered a pizza like last week. <laughs> the, so they're making... I will take you to it. Very true statement. I mean, like, like this is why he's in Iowa. How many people can there be? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There's this more people. Okay, in love Iowa you, Jeff. Than... He's from Romania. Rebusu is from Romania. There's gonna be like four people that. Shit. He's from Romania. Rebusu is from Romania, right? Uh, maybe. Um. Oh, I can look. Let Easier me for me to. Look. Uh, Reb. No, that's Texas. Oh. Yes, Romania. He should have at least several acres of land. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? We got his own uh, cornfield. Yeah, we can just party at my cornfield. That's right. That's true. <laughs> right, Anyways, next game. Should have at least several acres of land. Yes, Romania. Nice. He should have at least several acres of land. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I'd be rich. <laughs> we got his own, uh... <laughs> we got his own, uh... Cornfield and everything. <laughs> What's up, Nolan? Welcome. Field and everything. Field and everything. Yeah, we can just party at my cornfield. That's right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, Anyways, here we go. next game. Top, or sorry, best of three. Top left and corner. Map is Babylon. We have Dorian Gray. Ooh, and their opponent in the bottom right, the orange Protoss player. This is Rebusol. Rebusol, yeah. I just hit the UI, because normally I have the UI hidden, and it's the same hotkey to hide and to unhide it. Anyways, um, when I was all from Romania, where was Dorian hide it? Anyways, when I was all from Romania, anyways, when I was all from Romania, where, where was Dorian? Do you still have, have, to have that open? Dorian Gray from? Do you still have, have to have that open? Uh, huh. yes. Am I, I calling do. you Adam Flat? Dorian, oh, I can do it though. I'm proud of myself. I don't even have a chat open. Don't tell me. 
Dorian Gray is... I don't have the bracket oh. open anymore. That's not great. Why is it so zoomed out? What happened? Oh, Dorian no. I didn't mean to call you out, Rushing. France. Sorry? France. France? Now we... Take you Mookie Monster for the Prime Sup. Double gateway approach right here from Rebu. He seems to be... Now we... Double gateway approach right here from France. Now we... Double gateway approach right here from... France. 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 Double gateway approach right here from Rebu. He seems to be very fond of double gateway styles. I believe we saw him doing that against Zurich as well earlier today. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, Dorian Gray is indeed from France. Maui. Maui. Oui, oui. La vache curie. Do you speak any French, right? Maui. Oui, oui. La vache Oui, oui. La Do you speak any French, Rushy? Je veux de un cyber core, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> well, ask and you shall receive. That's very beautiful. All right. That's very. That's very beautiful. All right. No cheeses yet this tournament, right? I mean, we've had like an aggressive pool opener, maybe, but nothing all too cheap. We had like an attempt at a cannon rush, but didn't really happen either. Pretty, uh, either. Pretty, uh, yeah, late back. Back approach by everybody so far. Bravo so far. Bravo, poor Le Francais, rushing. There you go. Oh. You Oh. Really is French because he put a little bit of space between his. Oh. You can tell whoever said that really is French because he put a little bit of space between his last word and the exclamation point. And he used the funky C. Yes, but a space in between the the, the exclamation point and the end of the word or the sentence is very typically French. I've seen Romanians do that as well, actually. So I think both of the players in this particular series were. Yeah, they're they're probably keen <laughs> on putting extra spaces in between things. Josh, what did we tell you? Don't watch the VOD, man. What the <laughs> heck? We warned you. Why? <laughs> I'm not angry, Josh. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm I've a little seen, angry. I've seen you play a lot of good games in the past. That wasn't your strongest showing. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Dad Loco came out for a moment. <laughs> Low Dad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a little disappointed, Echo. That's all, man what you get for switching to protos Ooh, got him first time okay, playing so on this map pool i see i see hey got him first time okay, playing so on this map pool i see i see hey i was bringing up no cheese was. so far how do you feel about hmm. this um slow proxy warping which isn't horrendous but <laughs> if it's just stalkers it isn't horrendous i yeah that's that's a good way to put it. Are we yeah, gonna go I, for I, a I, fifth I, gate? Like that? I don't know. Like I don't. I, I just. I don't love it. Like if this had us an additional gateway out here, like instead of building it back at home, like okay, I'd feel better about it because then at least he gets fast warping. But this is also one small building. If it gets scouted, like he's just gonna get killed in less than a second. Hmm. Ooh, Echo still says he plays League and old school RuneScape now. Now. Okay, I don't know if I can uh, be happy about the league situation, but old school RuneScape is a bit of a banger. <laughs> I actually enabled him to start playing old school RuneScape again, guys. Wow. I haven't even brought this up yet on stream, but I may be, I may be one of the reasons why he start. I'm sorry. Did I say Echo Steel again? Echo Steel, Echo Ooh. Soldier, Echo Josh. What's the difference? All the same people. <laughs> Echo Josh, Loco Balls, <laughs> Echo Soldier. All the same. It's all also the same. known as Loco Balls, apparently. A terrible <laughs> name. Anyways, here's that slow warping you were talking about, Rushy. Um, there's no siege tank or anything. Um, there's. 
There's no siege tank or anything. It's gonna come up right now, but it's a little bit later. I don't know if we need to be so focused on that one bunker. Oh, <laughs> Ramu, that kind of hurts, man. Like, half committing to a bunker is pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. What if you full commit? What if you full commit? Full commit is the way. Terrible. What if you full commit? Full commit is the way. Okay. Now he could do it. With this many stalkers, he could do it. Oh, he's scared well, of the siege tank. One. Where's the siege tank? Just chilling. It's living in the siege tank. One. Where's the siege tank? Just chilling. It's living its life. Okay. Starting with a lunch break, man. That's how we should all begin our days. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. We get to work. First we chill for an hour. Then we finally get the sieging. <laughs> now you're getting it. There you go. I don't know if I like that position a little too much, because there's always the chance they go into the main base, and that would be a disaster. But, right, we saw. Instead going for the Nexus here. So now suddenly this game is amazing for Dorian. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think this game was ever not amazing for him. Mm -hmm. After he held the first uh, bunker push, like, it, it's been blue skies ever since. I've worked in an office. Hello. Am I being called out right now? As a freelancer, for what it's worth. But <laughs> I did go to a physical place. What did you do in that office? Make websites. Oh. It was really fun. Ah, that's right. That was... I only you... worked on Saturdays, though. And the other guys that work... I only you... worked on Saturdays, though. And the other guys that were working... I only worked you. on Saturdays, though, and the other guys that were working on Saturdays did a whole lot of nothing. So maybe my average experience of, you know, office work is not necessarily accurate. Typical billionaire. I only worked one day a week, and it was when everyone else wasn't working. <laughs> I was in uni. Oh, sure, sure. So, um, are we going to just park the... So, um, are we gonna just park the stalkers here and s what is- oh god, what is this shield battery doing here? How do you feel about the shield battery? Shield battery doing here? <laughs> How do you feel about the shield battery? Why wasn't it a warp gate? <laughs> <laughs> Why? To be fair, I think objectively the shield battery is a prettier structure than the gateway. Oh, okay, if we're going off of the aesthetics alone, yeah, yeah. absolutely, he made the right choice. <laughs> Look at it, man. This but if he like wants to like win a ball. video game, <laughs> yeah. Well, if he wants to win a video game, that might not be the best choice. Ah, well, you know what? The gateway is actually kind of pretty. Okay. All right. The prism has shown up. Ooh, um, immediately harassed. <laughs> immediately harassed. Oh god, he's still gonna commit. Ish. No. No. Yep, no. Yep, no. He was trying to drop stalkers off on the balcony here, but I, <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> Oh god. Did this have, timing did window link? closed, by okay, the way, yes. like four minutes ago. Oh, uh, well, now we're gonna go. <laughs> never pass up an opportunity to be great, Loco. Oh, Better god. late than never. You know what? He might actually be able to pull it off. If he were to bring some additional units, like he's got four stalkers inside of that prism. Yeah, oh, we got a shield battery coming in, by the way. <laughs> they actually are gonna kill the CC. They've already. No way he stops combat shields. Oh, this is silly. Okay, well, Stimpak is done, though. Killing Stimpak would have been nice. Look at these stalkers, man. <laughs> the they tactical have blink life. into death. <laughs> oh, four, four worker kills? Come on! Oh. Yo, if you were those stalkers, you would have blinked at a low ground, too. Even though oh, you knew uh, you were going to it. the Protoss main? Yep. A little bit of a medevac drop over here, and I think this is Dorian... Uh, Without really attacking all too much, essentially sealing the deal, right? And I like how incredibly safe this was. He wasn't even being harassed when he picked up and left. He's just like, whoa, we don't want to wait and see what happens here. Ten workers, though. It's incredibly good. 
We could do it with a couple supply depots, though. Yeah, there we Ooh. go. Oh! <laughs> Ask and ye shall no! receive. No! Not the shit. No! The most <laughs> ascetic protal structure is dead. There's uh. still an observer here close by, but. Oh my god, these are very ambitiously placed shield batteries at the front as well in the natural. How can I oh, participate yeah, and... in this tournament? By going back in time. <laughs> wow. There might so be a toxic. Way. That might be a way. No, we, we try to do these every couple of months now. I mean, we want to do them a little bit more frequently. I know it's been a bit of a break, but... Yeah. If stalkers are inside of a prism, are they... If stalkers are inside of a prism, are they imprisoned? <laughs> Technically, they are imprisoned, yes. Excellent question. I thought you made up that question and it was going to like play it off as, oh, yeah, someone in chat said it. So I was like, that's no, no, a no. I am not that clever. I wish I was that clever. That's, that's fair. A prism sentence. Imprisonment. <clears throat> it is currently 5 p.m. over here. Imprisonment. <laughs> For Rushy, it is currently... Ooh, this is a tricky one right now, because there are daylight and... savings. Oh, no, I'm gonna... <clears throat> it is currently 5 p.m. over here. <clears throat> it is currently 5 p.m. It is currently 5 p.m. over here. For Rushy, it is currently. Ooh, this is a tricky one right now because there are daylight and savings. Oh no, I'm gonna guess it. I'm gonna get it. I th Take the third. I Ooh, still alive. He's super good. Stalkers are inside of a prism. <clears throat> I think it's normally a seven hour difference, but now it must be so to make it. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, it's 1048 technically, but yeah, okay. good enough. Yeah. All right, we, so we round up. is Dorian Gray going to triple the supply of Rebisol here? Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. We don't see that very often in StarCraft. Without no, the, the like, games game over screen that coming. Point, but. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. Mm. Oh, okay, Rebisol trying really hard here. Got up to 60. That means 180 supply has uh, to be where Dorian Gray gets to. Uh, and right now, he'd right. be supply blocked from that. Oof. Okay, I am I am indeed incorrect. I don't think we're going to be seeing him tripling it anymore. <sighs> Dang. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the warp, and that's pretty much going to seal no, the no, deal no, no, here, no, man. Yet. Almost. <laughs> if he maxes out, are we gonna, we're gonna make it. Well, would that be 198? 66 times 3? He just needs to max out real quick. Come on, Dorian. Make me look smart. Okay. Instead I did math attack. on stream. You know and what? It That's also a way of doing it. If you reduce their army supply by like 20 here, it's once again very reasonable. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Oh, see? Good start. Don't okay. kill the pylon. Right. Pylon doesn't do anything, supply wise. Well, I mean, it does, but like, it doesn't. Oh, ooh, hero marauder, man. Uh, that didn't quite flow off the tongue, so I, I wouldn't say Big Gabe should change his name anytime soon. Hero marauder. Hero ghost. <laughs> hero viking. <laughs> hero marauder. Hero ghost. <laughs> hero marauder does not roll off. Hero viking. <laughs> Hero Murata does not roll off the tongue at all. Yeah, I know. No. I think you could even boost these medevacs into the stalkers. Yeah. <laughs> Unintentionally did it. <laughs> I'll just go land on the up, on the high ground. No, no, no. He's allergic no. to those plants. <laughs> that's, that's right. There's those plant boxes over there. The Marines <laughs> are... Uh... Allergic to space plants? <laughs> I mean, they're wearing those space suits up there, so maybe it's not that big of an issue, but... I've had hay fever in the past, man. It's not happy, or it's not, it's not fun. 
You know, I used to think I had hay fever, but then I had a test and it turns out I <laughs> am not allergic. I'm just allergic to cats. Um, and a bunch of other things, but not hay fever. And a, and a bunch of other... Cats. And a bunch of other things, but not hay fever. Okay, okay. Storm! Boom! There's... Oh, yeah, no, he does have... Oh, there it is! This is the comeback of a lifetime, Rishi. It's only <laughs> double army supply right now. That's true, that's true. Oh, it used wow. to almost be triple. Yeah. Oh, big brain place. Or a mistake. I can't quite figure he it out. Made, but he, why he, did he make probes? He made hallucinated probes <laughs> to fake the trans... Oh, you know what? My observer interface picks it up. I had never thought of that, but apparently my observer interface thinks that those were real workers. Really? That's... Okay. But only half of them. How did that just work? I think we just saw six hallucinated one go down. Didn't okay, we? that actually would be a crazy way to psych out casters that just like were barely paying attention. <laughs> I'm going to make them think that I like lost 12 workers time? and come back and just win. It's the comeback of the century. <laughs> Who had hallucinated probes on their bingo card? The viewer <laughs> tournament bingo card. We should have started with it, man. Write that down for the next bingo <laughs> card. Who had hallucinated probes on their bingo and just win? It's the comeback of the century. <laughs> Come back. I like lost 12 workers. And come back and just win. It's the comeback of the century. <laughs> Who had hallucinated probes on their bingo card? The viewer <laughs> tournament bingo card. We should have started with it, man. Write that down for the next one. We can make a bingo card. I wouldn't have written down hallucinated uh, probes. I'll be honest with you. But, oh, maybe he lost three probes in the main base. That would make oh, a lot more sense. No, 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 no. I like this version of the story better. I don't know if he did, though. I don't think that was aggression, but maybe. Do you think Dorian's gonna go for an attack anytime soon? Or is he gonna go battle cruisers before he wins? Nah, 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 nah. Take a couple more bases. Like, be patient here. I think Dorian is probably related to Aiden Dex. Very similar scenario. Very similar scenario early. Very similar scenario earlier today. Game winning position. Triple expend, baby. Yeah, you yeah. might be waiting for C3. Dude went ahead, baby. Yeah. Artosis cursed us all when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, went ahead. Win the game. That should have been the saying. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, the Got sniper him. over here, man. This is the what? opera of the Protoss army here. Look at that guy. Wow. He killed the sniper with a snipe. That's amazing. Oh, EMP. Oh. Dude, did you see that Husky started uploading uh, Legacy of the Void videos? Did he actually? He did. Oh my god. Campaign playthrough. Husky getting ready for that uh, Stormgate transition, huh? Yeah, man. Mm, I see how it is trying to crawl his way back. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna happen. All his way back. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. We do love a good comeback story, though. Okay. No. Okay. So. Okay. So. 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 Okay. So. Well, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, Dorian Gray? 193 supply. You've got oh. 5k in the bank. Okay. Okay. Rebusol has decided to be the, oh. the bigger person. Rebusol coming down the ramp. He's got storms for days, man. He got so many storms! <laughs> Dude, if Rebusol wins this game, that would be amazing. I. Oh, no, the tank's just coming in on a rally. Go, go, blink, blink, blink. Poof, blink. Forward. 
There you go. One Marauder drop. That entire army just got cleaned up by Revisor. Oh no. Revisor, man. He's got that Romanian power behind him. <laughs> He's got fans in the chat. Oh no. We're oh, singing the man. anthem right now. I have no idea what the Romanian anthem sounds like, but I can hear Not it. Not even gonna try. No, I can hear it, man. Oh yeah? Did you like listen to it on Spotify every morning? No, 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 I can imagine it. Oh, gotcha. It's thinking about their glorious land and how amazing they are and all that. Storm? Yo, these storms oh. have been money, though. Let's go. They have been. Oh, support the tank? Support, support the tanks. Absolutely. Look at him. Okay, He's move oh. Dorian is actually... Dorian's actually kind of losing his mind right now, I think. Yeah, this is this is the I'm on stream and I don't want to mess yeah. it up. Kind yeah, of messing yeah, yeah, it up. Yeah. <laughs> so you just forget... <laughs> just how to act in general. <laughs> and Rebus Soul's like, I've already lost this game. I can just do whatever I like. Uh, it's so true. 37 probes is going to inevitably kill things. I think Dorian's got a surround. He's got, he's zerging this uh, Protoss, but I guess there is a barrier. So He just started up a million additional... Uh... Barracks over here. I mean, there should still. Uh... Barracks. Uh, barracks over here. I mean, there should still be no way that a Rebuzol wins this game, but he's got a third Nexus now. Is Ooh, that Nexus misplaced? I feel like it's misplaced. That feels far. No, it's fine. Oh no! I, I guess I it feels you're really bad. <laughs> oh no! Not growing, right. growing. I that does look. <laughs> no, yeah. that is cursed. There's no way. <laughs> There's a fight happening, but I want to kind of look at the nexus somewhere. But I find I'll move the camera. Oh, okay. All right. So 196 oh. supply. Hey. That's actually pretty decent micro with the warp prism uh, templar. Yeah, he's been doing a really good job there. He's like, you know what happens? I get more storm. That is amazing. Don't morph them into Archons. No, 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 no. Exactly, man. Ten mm. High Templar. That's it. Oh, Protal's army actually coming and in right now. Where's the right army? left. <laughs> oh no, dude. There's no way that he's got enough. He's no way. Oh. He's won well, every he's battle over the last five minutes, but he's losing the war. Okay, but he's got... Look at the Templar, baby! <laughs> they were like, guys? Oh, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dude, the, the defensive uh, storms are going to be great here. The High Templar centipede over here, man. God. Just crawling through the map. <laughs> crawling? This is a float. Uh, I guess they're floating. floating through life. What little of it la remains. Oh, Dude, he's got storms? two storms. Storms. There storms? you go. Storm. Boom. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> There's one storm. Boom. One more and they die. Oh, he just starts throwing, yeah, oh, water balls. Oh, he throws water balloons. That's really toxic. <laughs> you can finish that one off. Let's go, dude. Okay, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, got him. Okay, I think Dorian still has it, dude, but not for a lick of trying. He's tried really <laughs> hard to throw the game, but he hasn't managed. Oh. Boom. 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 Oh, he's in the main, too. Boom. He dropped. There's nothing to harass. <laughs> 20 minutes in, there's nothing. Just a bunch of structures. Luca, what are you doing? He's already dead. Stop. Boom. 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 Oh, he's in the main, too. Boom. He dropped. There's nothing to harass. <laughs> 20 minutes in, there's nothing. Just a bunch of structures. Luca, what are you doing? He's already dead. Stop. Rebus Soul does not uh. go down without a fight, though, man. <laughs> Soul does not. Oh. He's representing oh, the Romanian people. They will not okay. back down. Okay, killing these workers might be enough to tip it over. Like, please, please don't drag this out another 10 minutes. Please. What do you mean, man? I'm on the edge of my seat. This is the most exciting <laughs> game I've seen in years. I, I cast He's quadrupled the supply. I've, I've quadrupled the supply. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you didn't think it was going to happen, did you? 
<laughs> we, we didn't think three was gonna happen. We got I, I cast an amazing game between Cure and Dark yesterday, but this match is better. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, <laughs> put it in the Games of the Year playlist. Actual oh, Game of the Year. <laughs> I know yeah. I always tweet Game of the Year, but I think this is Game of the Year. <laughs> GG. Oh my gosh. Okay. Amazing. Well, you know what? He tried. He made the best of a very bad scenario. He he did. That was game number one in the best of three, guys. <laughs> best of three, guys. That's not funny. That's not, that's not funny. That's not a joke. That's that's just a reality. No. But it's rushy. <laughs> <laughs> but hit me. Hey, Dorian. Mm. With a Twitch Prime. But whoever just subscribed has got a different type of gray than someone cutie oh, X-Files Oh, you music. switched the scene, so now I... <laughs> yeah, I can't. No, it's okay. It's okay. Some gray. <laughs> Two shades. We need to... The whole Dorian. Man, this has been fun. Yep. It's been a good three hours so far. Thank you very much for... Thanks for having me. You know, I liked it. I just noticed your profile picture. That is a matter oh, yeah? of very large. Uh, ex Don't have to do that one. No, unnecessary. No, I think you do. 11 hint. <laughs> Which I think you can go all the way up to 13 head, guys. So if you want, <laughs> just have... Where's the... Exclamation point 11 head. And uh, exclamation... That is a matter oh, of yeah? very large... Ooh, I just noticed your profile picture in-game. That is a matter oh, of yeah? very large forehead. Uh, exclamation point 11 head in chat, please. Mm, don't have to do that one. No. That's unnecessary. No, I think you do. Is that the one with, uh... <laughs> Which I think you can go all the way up to 13 head, guys. Which one's 11 head? Which I think you can go all the way up to 13 head, guys. So <laughs> if you want, just have fun with it. Where's, where's the 11 head? Which one's that? <laughs> oh, it goes up to the 16 head now. Let's go. The loco inspired aircraft. Yo, 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 yeah, yo. I love yo, that yo. one. Yo. <laughs> this favorite. one's really toxic, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right with souls. Okay, right with souls got a new strategy, guys. It is the talker strat. Very popular build order. I've heard of this many times on stream. 18 head, let's go. What do you think when your opponent starts chatting rushing? What do you think? Cheese, 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 cheese. Every time. Every right time. Soldo, not cheesy. The Romanians are built differently, man. He's already cheesy. The Romanians are built differently, man. Not cheesy. The Romanians are built differently, man. He's already playing mental warfare here. Okay, it only goes up to 18 head chat, so we need a new meme for 19 head. Okay, it only goes up to 18 head chat, so we need a new meme for 19 head. <laughs> I'm willing, willing to take any openings here. I like how for this picture, you took like half my forehead as well. <laughs> are Romanians big on cheese? I don't know if Romanians are big on cheese. That's a good one. I've never so. seen that one. <laughs> We found out some time ago that uh, Romanians are big on liquor. We did find out about that, yeah. There was some sort of breakfast drink that was like 40% that apparently was historically drunk in the morning. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but this is one oh. of my favorite things I learned of. Apparently back in the day, people were like, yes, we're starting the day. things I learned of. Apparently back in the day people were like, yes, we're starting the day with a shot. 
<laughs> Look, you can't Tuvika? drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yeah, that's true. Tuvika? Tuvika? I don't know. Anyways. That's the way to do it, man. Just a little... <laughs> just a bit of a shot. <laughs> Anyways. That's the way to do it, man. Just a little... <laughs> just a bit of a shot. <laughs> Anyways, that's the way to do it, man. Just a little, <laughs> just a bit of a shot. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Anyway, anyways. Palinka? Is that what it's also called? Okay. Okay, Rushy, how do you feel about the pylon block? How do you feel about the pylon block? Eh, it's fine. I mean, when you're when you're playing against a Terran, like, oh no, I'm gonna build my command center four pixels the other direction and just lift it. <laughs> that whole two second delay, oh no. Terran players hate it though. Lifting up their command center, this is one of the worst feelings in the world. Oh, that grenade him. was killer, Dorian. <laughs> okay, okay. <Rebusso laughs> okay, that pull was a little less. <laughs> <laughs> It was ambitious and late. <laughs> the worst of the two. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Do we have a properly timed Stargate this time around? No, we don't. Nope. I thought Robotics. we had one for a second, but no. Oh, it's even a robo. I feel like the robo is also late, though. Oh, what? Why are we... Okay, we're going to strand a robo. Let's see. And it's a really early robo as well. Let's see. And it's a really early robo as well. Like, what are you going to pull out of that robo at the three minute, three and a half minute mark? Ooh, oh, he's okay. Three and We're going to get a little bit of disruptor drop hey. action. Yeah. I'm ready. More ready like re balls, too, right? soul. What? More like re balls, soul. Oh, okay. I thought you were roasting Josh again. I was like, come on, man. I would never well, do such a thing, but. I didn't have to. I knew you'd like pick that mm. up for me. He'd hit me on the rebound. <laughs> What's going on, Protals? Thank you very much for the 100 bits. How did you guys discover... What's good on Protals? Thank you very much for the 100 bits. How did you guys discover StarCraft? I saw my uncle playing it back in the 90s, and he burnt me a copy to play. Ooh. For the Zoomers in the chat, he does not Ooh. use fire. There's nothing to do with burning and fire. <laughs> um, I started playing StarCraft 2 back in 2010 when I got invited to the beta. It's Ooh. been a long time. I got into it uh, through a college friend. Who bugged me a lot to play it, and then I finally did, and I loved it. Starcraft two or Starcraft one? Uh, two. Ah. Oh well, I am not a referee. Ah. Oh well, I. Oh well, I am not a referee. Dorian Doe, also polite. Oh, Rashi's a referee this time. Nice. Yeah, I mean. Nuke saw what I did with that power, and he realized <laughs> no <laughs> more. It. Let's put an actual adult in charge of this game. Oh, Good choice, Nuke. I'm, I, I am a registered adult, so... <laughs> theoretically, I am too. <laughs> but only theoretically. <laughs> I got to vote the other day, but that's really where my privileges end. Oh. Did the person you vote for win? 
Um, I don't specifically know for the city that I live in. I don't specifically know for the city that I live in. It has to do with city elections and a bunch of other stuff. Um, oh. Farmer stuff. Um, oh. Farmer party won big, man. Other stuff. The farmer party won big, man. There's been a lot of drama with farmers in the and um, yeah, they get lately, and um, yeah, Are they gonna roll back all the regulations that they don't want. That's what they want to do. <sighs> I do. Okay, so it is Colossus, and it's not Disruptor. So, Ribasol, back to his normal name. Yep. Are we gonna... <laughs> yeah, it's hard to mix Colossus in there somewhere, man. Recosol? Yeah, no, see, it doesn't work. Um, that is one Colossal. of the fastest Thermal Lens upgrades I've ever seen. Don't know what we're gonna do with it at the six-minute mark. And I see, it's not even that fast. It just feels quick because he wasn't doing anything for a long time, but... Okay, well, this guy. Look, I'm just ready to reach out to Maximus Black, have him start the When Cheese Fails again for Lag TV. <laughs> like, this could go right on it. I mean, this if Husky's making top. videos again, you may as well. Right? Get the whole... Let's recreate 2014 all over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel about... <sighs> Did Husky actually... Wait, okay, I'm actually going to look it up. Husky? YouTube.com slash Husky? Um, oh guys, if you want to go back to 2012 really fast, exclamation point Christmas in the chat, do it fast. Go, go, go. You're hey, giving it you're going to love Welcome it. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for some more StarCraft 2 action. The whole, the whole thing kind of astounds me, man. That is... Uh, but look at his first one. His first one, he's got, like, a ton of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 37K is what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 37 k is what I saw. What about the second ones, though? That is interesting. It boggles my mind that he deleted an entire YouTube channel with a million plus subs on it, or whatever it was. Every single video, only to then restart it again, just because there's another RTS game on the horizon that might be popular. It's not a good look, is it? It's not, it's not a good look. Anyways. We do have some balls, by the way, so we can go back to his original nickname. No! Oh. And what is that nickname? I can't remember. Uh, Red. That ball soul. That's what you ah, came up with. Got him. Yeah, it's not a good look. No, it's definitely not a good look. This is not the um This is not the army that I expected Dorian Gray to have at this point. I mean he's got sixty one army supply, but this does not feel like it's going no. to match up very well, especially if they oh. <laughs> Oh, bait! What a missed opportunity! But I think yeah. it's still gonna go fine. Um, yeah, no, there's just not enough bio. You are 100% on point. Do we have blink? No. No blink. Oh, and it, I love this! He's gonna push! This is what we've go, been waiting go, go. for! He goes uh, prism right away. Yep. Oh, army oh, hunting yeah, everything going. to the front. Let's go, dude. Uh, we do need yeah, lasers. I'm okay with though. that. We need lasers. Yep. This is, this is good. This is good. Keep going. Get up there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, get the observer up there. Look at that army. That's not that big. You can handle that. Just warping a couple stalkers at home. The next one is going to come out of the prison. Go. Go. Oh. Okay. This would actually be a good moment for Blink. And he absolutely does not. Does he even have a twilight? Okay, yeah, he does. Okay. Oh, he gets the down. Liberator. Yeah, get a little bit of Micro there. Oh, okay. Ooh. Those two Marines. They didn't make it. What about these guys? Okay. <laughs> okay, you got to go on that, right? Like, 
That's you just gotta you just gotta have momentum. Okay, he's got a prism, but it's uh, not even remotely close. He just had to select the prism. two, but he's gotta be able to warp at home. He's now getting very ambitious, man. Yeah, no, now he's just getting greedy. <laughs> he's like, come on, hello. Oh. Six pylons. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, yep, if only stalkers shut up. They shut up. Oh, they no, shot up. They shot up. <laughs> they shot up. I was gonna say, There's man, it. I don't even... They There's just complain joke. about the void being cold. That's all they do. <laughs> just get him a hat. He'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, Medivac drop actually coming in. This is gonna force Rebel Soul's hand because I'm afraid he's gonna march all the way back home. He's, this is not what he should do. He should really just warp in some units and then. Okay, oh, there we go. There you go. Okay. This is the right response. He should really. He should have fought two minutes ago, though. I feel actually the window is kind of closed. Medivac, 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 Okay, this army just has not moved. <laughs> okay, this army just has not moved. In the last minute and a half. There's so much army here, too. I mean, you put put six to eight zealots with this, and this is a scary force. I don't know if Dorian... Like, he might have the siege tanks. Oh, well, never mind. Um... Yeah, no. Um... Yeah, no, the window is closed right now. It's going to be kind of difficult. Instead, Dorian is going to sit back and max out for when he gets there. Max out for a little bit longer, right? And when he gets there, we're going to fight. Going to try and win the How game. Tanks I think that's the plan. I mean, there's only one tank. There's, there's really no anti-ground. Lokar was an ad break. What did I miss? Uh, Basically, Rebusol has been sitting here. Basically, ever since anti-ground low car or was an ad splash. break what did i miss ground low car or was an ad splash. break what did i miss uh basically rebel soul has been sitting here rebel soul has been sitting here basically ever since the ad break began and it ended but there was one. But there was one disruptor hit. <laughs> Ended. But there was one disruptor hit. <laughs> and he's been uh, on a high ever since. <laughs> he's like, but what if I get it again? Ooh. What if I get it again? So basically, that's been the goal. He's been trying to blow up units one more time. And it hasn't happened since. But it might happen again, so you never know. Thank you, okay, also, buddy. So Gifting us up to soul. Sorry, go ahead. Yo. Here we go, here we go. Balls? Yes. Yes. No. No, no. <laughs> no, that ain't it. Well, Blink is just about done. Do you, do you think that'll trigger a response? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. It was low ground to high he's ground. Going oh, he's going that. bowling, okay? When you go bowling, you gotta roll the ball whenever you can. Whenever it's your yeah, turn. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you get a strike, sometimes you get a gutter ball. Ooh, gutter ball. There you go. Rush is professional. Dude, I've bowled a few times. There's a bowling alley, like, pretty close to my house. Hmm. Sounds like a, a trip, man. Go to uh, Casey's Pizza. <laughs> they go bowling? Or maybe the other way around, right? I don't know if you can uh, bowl with a full stomach. Uh, no, absolutely. Shout out to the toilets, says Echo Soldier. And he said something else as well, but I skipped it. Thank you very much for 31 <laughs> months. Here we go. Balls. Go. Balls. 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 Ooh. Oh. Good okay, balls. He got some connections. But I think there I... might just be a little bit too much Terran, though. Oh, I was going to say, as long as the Colossus stays alive, he's in it. But that is uh, promptly taken care of. Right before 2-2 two, two finishes as well. After all that sitting back, Dorian has had enough. He's been making command centers on the right side of the map for a while now. Got a planetary over here. Nothing to mind. Oh, he's got one south of it too. Yeah. Okay. No gas at the third. So this is all 
Rebusol going back to This is all just four games. So this is so this So this is all just four gas. It's impressive. Rebusol going back to his favorite unit now. <laughs> Disruptors. No, nah, Sonic Storm. Oh the Sonic Storm ah, was yes. amazing. You know, it's impressive. Reb same time. It's gonna be, It'd be impressive. Maybe that's why Protoss don't win more major events. Did you have to micro two units? Yeah, that's really I mean, hard. as a Zork, that does sound. Yeah, that's really I mean, hard. as a Zork, that does sound kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, Rushy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember making multiple control groups. That's hard too. Well, he doesn't have Storm yet. That's the problem. Oh, boss? Dorian okay, should definitely connected. go more Liberators, by the way. <clears throat> Liberators counter all of this. He's maxed out. I also like how he's fighting with half the army. Just really giving Rebusol a good opportunity Ooh, here. Ooh, feedback. Ooh, feedback. That, was, that actually wasn't too bad. I, I don't know if we should have done that, though, because another Storm would be much better here, but... Nah, you guys <gasps> can't make that. No, you wanted to go all the way around the corner. <laughs> There's no way. It's like a U-turn right there on the Disruptor Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Should have used the handbrake. Oh, uh, well, there goes the fourth. No, that's an ambitious stem forward, especially into. Okay, never mind. It's all covered. <laughs> U-turn parallel park. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Oh. Right? With the siege tanks, they still tried their best. There's another disruptor going down. Dorian ready to double the supply right here. Will he be able to triple the supply? Oh, uh, not yet. Oh, land up the Viking. Ambitious. In the meantime, there's a huge army at home. Just waiting. There you go. Is he dead? No, we probably still have another 15 minutes in this <laughs> game, honestly. <laughs> we, we still have a little bit to go, guys. Prolos is expanding. <laughs> Throwing down a fourth base. That a oh. different location. Um, oh, oh, this is about oh god! Oh, this is a bad moment, isn't it? Oh, awkward. <laughs> that moment. Got those you both wear the same back. outfit. Oh. Sorry. I said that moment where you both wear the same outfit. Oh. <laughs> Unless it's a shirt from Loco.shop, guys. Ah, oh, that's that fair. That is not that's awkward fair. at all. Yeah, here, here. Check it out. Oh. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. I need to zoom out. There he is. Amazing. Looking real good, Rushy. I love that light switch uh. on your throat. <laughs> Back to the game we go. Just in case you think you're still... <laughs> oh, disruptors! Balls! 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 Oh my god, well... The balls don't stack, but at least you got a lot of damage down there. Uh, I mean, I, I guess really, maybe they do stack. It's just that everything died already. The 16-minute charge timing. That's what's doing it for me. Those were really good storms. This Feedbacks? You're kidding me. He's going to clean this army up. Oh, my God. Okay. Two meta effects for free. Oh. There's a, a three siege tank hit squad coming in from the left. With oh, four meta effects and a small a little army here, too. Boom. Okay. Bo oh, okay. That's, oh, that, that's um, a dead disruptor. Uh, maybe? No, he no, got out of the way. Pro 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 <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh man, okay. the probes were distraction Good there snipe. for just a moment. The distractors. Oh That's a new unit. Okay, well, um, I think Dorian still has this one in the back, but he's gotta be careful. Killing that Nexus on the right side. Suddenly he's everywhere. Shout out to Dorian, man. Dorian's everywhere. There we go. Yeah, he, he turned on the aggression button. It's the right thing to do. The tanks actually have a really good chokehold on the pathway between the natural, the third, and the fourth. So yep. as long as he can reinforce it with bio units and protect them, should be able to make the most of that. But charge is finally finished. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a little oh. bit of a back and forth. That's a huge connection with the disruptor as well. He's going to protect this fourth base. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He no, wants to right click it real bad. Is he going to get it? He will, but that cost him a lot. Another medevac. <laughs> Uh, he's refusing to go Mass Liberator. I think Liberator would make this so much easier, but Dorian is like, no, instead I'm gonna keep eating every bit of splash damage that I can eat. The more splash damage I can gobble up, the better.
And it's I mean, even at move. this point, he could just hold down the marine button or the hellion button. Like, either <laughs> or. The hellion button? Yeah. Oh, I, it'd be so sick if he did some hellion drive-bys on these probes. Oh, okay. It'd be I so sick. for fighting. No. Robo no, for doesn't harass. need workers, dude. All he needs is disruptors and high templar, and he's got those already. That's fair. <laughs> did you enjoy the guys who are there for a moment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> I saw the fire coming out of the ground, man. Just, I saw the fire coming out of the ground, man. I, I don't know how there can be water this close to fire. I'm sure that exists somewhere in the universe, right? Because it's a uh, universe kind of big. Maybe no. not as big as America. Stim? Oh, there it is. No! Oh. Dude, those storms are so killer. This splash damage has actually been insane. Uh -uh. Oh, he goes no. for three additional factories. There's ten um, <laughs> High Templar being warped in right now. Uh, five Archons. They all found okay. a friend. Storm! Romanian power. Gape is proud of this game. <laughs> Romanian power. Gape is proud of this game. <laughs> Gape is feeling a lot of nationalism watching this game. <laughs> oh, Romania. That's how it goes, right? That sound like that, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh my gosh. Romania national anthem, English. Romania national anthem English lyrics. <laughs> English lyrics. <laughs> of course, that video is Awaken probably actually. Awaken the out. Romanian. Shake off thy deadly slumber. Well, there you go. Oh, oh my God. Well, he's woken off his, or he's shaken off his slumber. That's for sure. <laughs> the scourge of inauspicious barbarian tyrannies, and now or never to a bright horizon clamber. That shall put shame to all your enemies. My God, the Romanian wow. anthem goes hard, man. <laughs> Jeez. And they accuse the United States of nationalism. My God. <laughs> you guys need to do some rewording. There's a dude. Those disruptor hits are actually insane. He's dealing so much damage. It might guys, be a I metal song. I yeah. I know you thought I was joking when I said there was another 15 minutes to this game, but like, here we are. Miyazaki what the wrote to the Miyazaki what the wrote to the Romanian anthem. <laughs> oh, here we go, dude. Dorian is starting oh. to once again feel the heat. He had that in the last game, but he was super far ahead at the time oh, that storm? I don't think he could really lose it. At this point, he was also incredibly ahead, but that's like 10 minutes ago. Like, if he starts getting shaky again, like he had in the last game, this is actually over. I think Revisor can actually win this, despite being behind for literally 18 minutes. <laughs> Please go get the tank. Okay, okay. there we go. That's this a lot of Archons. Low. That's it's too low. It's too low HP. <gasps> oh, no. Gonna put it Andy, in my gym playlist. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, well, here we are. Once again, 184 to... My Here gym playlist. There you go. So. Playlist. There you go. So here we are once again, 184 to 145. Dorian has every advantage in the book, and just politely waits to group his army before he comes across the map. My God. God. We have three, three heard three the of the. God. We want to hear the lines of the next little. Paragraph of the Romanian anthem. Oh, I'm ready. It is now or never to the world we readily proclaim in our veins throbs Romanian blood and in our hearts forever. We, we glorify a name. There you go. I never 
I never want to sing the word throbs in a <laughs> na- like. Uh, I think I'll just end that sentence. I never raise want to sing the your word broad throbs. forehead and look around you like fear trees. Hundreds of thousands of heroes are standing firm. A voice they shall wait to jump like wolves among the sheep. My God, Romania, dude. These guys don't mess around. I have a lot of forehead to race. It's true. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Your broad <laughs> forehead, Chet. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, no. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, Rashi. I, mean, just, I would have never guessed it. Is all I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we've got ample storms. This is a one hell of a concave. There but is there no are disruptors. Way a cleans this up. Oh, one one disruptor shot. That's all you need. Storm. Oh, storms. Oh, no. Whoa! Why are we feedbacking? We feedbacked every single one of them. Imagine Yo. if that had been like two more storms. He needs two more storms, actually. He can't fight this. He needs two more storms. He's got some disruptors, actually. Hello, disruptor guys. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Yo, my, you my broad forehead is risen right can. now. Oh, he needs his whole army. He doesn't Hello. have it. We've got so many units just idling here. Ah, if he had his whole army there. This is even. Rebusol actually has an army advantage right now. If you can even believe it. Uh, he just cleaned up the supply count. He's gonna win this fight. Oh my god. Oh, push. Please. Please, go! The people need a game three. <laughs> they may not know it, but that's what they need. This, this, this isn't the series we need. It's the one we deserve, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am who? Rebusol. Yeah. <laughs> I am who? Rebusol. Yeah. Do you think he uh, is going to take care of any of those bases ever? Please, please go. Rushy yes, said we yes. still have three minutes to go. Yeah, yeah. Rushy, Rushy has got the decision. Oh, God. Oh, okay. okay. Good start. Three worker kills. What if we got more? Take it easy. Rebusol, man. Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. I think <laughs> he can keep bowling. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he grabs the tower, so he sees if he can continue bowling. Oh, unfortunately, he grabbed the wrong tower. <sighs> the All right. Uh, army Tuss, this is a family-friendly show, please. <laughs> oh, this is... This is like a train wreck. You just can't look away. They have trains in the States? <laughs> You've just heard of them. Not for people. <laughs> Storm Dagger. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> Time to sit back. <laughs> oh, this oh. is a performance art there piece. More, there more Storm? No more Storm. Anything can Colossus be a performance though. art, man. Please. Please Lasers. attack him. Lasers. Lasers, lasers. Oh, there's storms. Lasers. Storm oh, he is just baited the whole army into our oh storm. Oh my god, he just go. he stormed his entire mineral line, though. That was all the workers there. <laughs> um, there's some Protoss blood mixed in there. There's some Protoss blood mixed in there. <laughs> Anyways, he doesn't need. Anyways, he doesn't need, he doesn't, we've already been over this. He doesn't really need workers. All he needs is High Templar and some Disruptors. Actually, he needs to make more Disruptors again. Oh, he actually split up his army. He's got a massive army on the right side, too. The army on the right side, too. Ooh, the mines. Ow. Yeah, yeah, probe stick damage from Storm. Yes. Storm deals friendly, friendly fire. fire. Actually, no. To the Protoss players listening to this, Storm heals the shields on your units. Ah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. This is a little trick that nobody wants you to know about, but definitely make sure you storm your own units. It heals them oh. up quickly. There okay, there we there go. go. There you go. Oh. <sighs> Loco, there's a chance that Rebus Ol takes us to game three. Yes. There's still a chance. Dorian refuses Liberators. Um, that... That's oh, usually no. where you go. He still has so much money in the bank, so I'm still saying it's basically impossible for him to lose. But he's oh. trying really hard to Storms. lose. Storm. Storm. Yes. Okay. Yep. Take the zealots forward. Get the tanks. There we go. Ooh, storm on the mines too. That was actually really well done. I mm -hmm. got the tanks cleared out of the way. There's more storms still available here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. We're at the 30 minute mark. You said the game would end right now, Rishi. All right, Rebusol, get in there, man. <laughs> or somebody. I mean, Dorian Gray has had every opportunity to close this out and it just wants to play more StarCraft. There it is. This is like a ZVP now? Yeah, he's lost so many units. 
52,000 resources down on the side of Terran, who's representing the Zerk. He needs to make a mass <laughs> missile turret, man. That's the next step. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, when are the carriers coming out? Yeah, I'm looking for them. Who's the Romanian? for them. Who's the Romanian? Rebuso is the Romanian. No, no, no. Isn't it Dorian? No, no, no. Dorian's French. French. Are we sure? Yes. Are we not? I am sure. This is what you said. Oh, 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 oh get him! Get him! No! Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Get him! Oh my god. What the... How? That was a really unfortunate little sidestep right there for that army. Oh my god. He could have literally caught like a 30 SCV transfer there. For free. He doesn't know it now. Okay, lasers over here. Okay, lasers over here are gonna take care of that base. This is two chunks of a pro oh, ho, ho, a two chunks of a Protoss army. He's gonna need his entire army though, and he's gonna clash right here on top of the siege top tanks. Oh. oh, careful, careful. He's actually microing his army surprisingly well. I don't know how. Heidi MMR is in this game, but Rebuso is not stuck using control groups or, or, or army hotkeying or anything like that. His oh, he just losing the excellent. Vikings to a move command. Okay, well, he does lose the prism there, but... I Dorian mean, if you have charge have lads that can come in on one side with this, I I think this army actually dies to a concave. Oh, I don't, I don't think Dorian... I don't think Dorian can survive no, this. No, Dorian, if... Dorian, careful. Oh, okay. lasers, okay. Whoa, did you see Storm that off to the that left. A... Whoa, did you see Storm that off to the that left. A sick flip right there. Sorry, I just saw the Marauder make a flip as he died. That's how I would want to go. If I was a Marauder. Oh, this is not the army you should be worried about here, Rubber Soul. Oh, you got tanks dude, in the this center. guy loves rapid fire feedback. I don't even know if it's that great. But it looks kind of cool. <sighs> yeah, so They're usually, both maxed usually. Out. Terrans will switch to a lot of liberators against this type of army because there's really nothing that can reliably kill liberators with ranged. Um. But yeah, he's not making that decision at all. So, ranged. But yeah, he's not making that decision at all. So he's basically rinsing and repeating. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. The base has been stolen. There's still two refineries remaining. Reinforcing Terran units though, going after the base on the left. He hates lips, man. He does hate the lips. Oh. Okay. Here goes the army on the right side again, but... Oh, he moves to I do tanks. also enjoy how the he armies the are separated, but they only ever operate one at a time. <laughs> I'm actually very- Oh, there's another one! I'm very impressed with Rabbit Soul's army control in this game. Like, he's clearly got some early game work that needs to be improved, but he actually oh. has some very good control overall. Oh, 150 to 196. He just still so maxed out. He just killed everything. Okay, there is a little bit of a disruptor oh, problem over here. There's also a cat meowing outside my door. Hold up. I'm gonna see what's up. <laughs> Sorry, cat micro. Very important. Sorry, cat micro. Very important. <laughs> Don't know what his problem is. But he's shouting. Oh, this is... This is full silly. Like we we we've, we've lost sight of who we are as a, as humankind. Yeah. I Rebel Soul just marched his colossi through the center of the map, and he did not care. <laughs> 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 and this now worked on the right of side of the map. The workers. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> this worked on the right side of the map, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go out and do it again on the left side oh. too. This is so dangerous though, because he doesn't have to watch tower. Dorian doesn't really have the units here to. Yeah, okay, no, not close by, anyways. 
He needs to be very careful. Oh. Uh, I think he's gonna lose these Colossi. I think he's gonna lose these Colossi, man. He's getting too brave now. Or I was like, oh my god, I'm winning this. It's time to... Maybe you should kill the SCVs, bro. I was gonna say, if he targets the SCVs, it could potentially be worth it. Oh, but the storms. They're just sitting in the back. Storm? Storm? Oh, those things! Storm? Oh my god. They didn't target the... They didn't target the Templar. They targeted everything else. He actually um, gets the heavy hitters out again. Uh, this can't be the entire Protoss army, though. No, he needs to recall that army from the right side of the map towards the left. Rebusol is leading, guys, with 30 supplies. <laughs> What's well, I was going to say, the doubling? workers aren't working. Okay, now they finally go back. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, this is, this is um, wild. I think Terran can take this fight out. Where did all his units go? I just <laughs> looked away for a moment. Okay, I think he must have lost some more. Yeah. Oh, base goes down on the right hand side. He's down a he's down forty supply. I mean Rebel oh, Soul's been oh, maxed. He catches out. the tanks! No this way. Is huge. This is a huge push. Storm? I mean we're gonna get storm, storm on those. The zealots are strong enough. They've got uh, plus three. Oh, please go storm the workers. Please! They're right there! They're free he, for the taking! He cleaned up the right side of the map, by the way. I think Rebel Soul has this one in the back now. We're gonna get a game three, I think. Oh, just go storm the workers. Yes. Yes. Just for the memes. He could have killed those yeah. on the transfer <laughs> earlier. There you go. <laughs> Throwing some water balloons as well at that command center just for good memes. <laughs> oh. This is going to be a painful VOD for both of them, I think. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Well, I think Rebus is probably pretty happy. He just needs to clean up his early game. <laughs> He's clearly much better at this stage in the game. Um. Uh, um. Uh, assuming he plays oh. against uh, uh, game. Assuming he plays oh. against this type of army, like Dorian is still an early game units. Like he mixed in a couple. Couple ghosts, but that's really it. Oh, EMP oh. over there, but he's still got enough disruptors <laughs> and another storm and another one. Oh, I didn't get it, but okay. Now he's gonna oh. have to run. Okay, yeah, out of storms, out of balls. Oh, this is this is silly. This is ridiculous. 190 to 115, and it's going to be the Terran spirit that keeps him in here as well. He's not dead. He's still got triple digit supply. Why would he leave? True. No, he's not dead. But mentally, he's probably exhausted. Oh, mentally, physically, I think we're all there at this point. Rebusol mentioned that he hadn't seen his map before, right? Because he asked if he could walk on the water. So that's kind of an indicator. He probably hasn't played that much StarCraft lately. For those of oh. you that have ever played like 10 ladder games in a row and you are not used to it, it's it's like it's like going to the gym for the first time, man. Like it's uh mentally it's draining. Mentally it's uh mentally it's draining. Oh, he's going to Oh, I, I was going to say is he going to get the debris? Create a little bit of separation here. Does it kill the Widowmite? Ooh, it does not. not oh, quite. bait! Bait! Oh, nicely done right there by Dorian. <laughs> he still gets all the units but the Marauder. Oh, this is... this is. So good. now Rebuzol is doubling his opponent's supply, effectively. We've done a full 180. <laughs> yeah, Dorian's out of money. Yeah, Dorian's out. He has nothing to mine. All of his bases are tapped out. And, ironically enough, he blocked the 55. one base that he had. <laughs> 55 SCVs up north, man. Dorian mined out the map. Dorian mined out the map like a Zurich, and now he's running out of juice. <laughs> Where's your mules now, Mr. Darren? <laughs> Rebusol's feeling it, man. Oh, oh man, I feel bad. What, for what's gotta be going through the Protoss players' head right now? Unbelievable. We get in a game three. GG.
Romanian resilience wins. Yeah, honestly. How did a Protoss out turtle a Terran? <laughs> I, that that is going to be the question. Well, you we all have to, to make liberators, man. If you would have gone triple Stargate or Starport Liberator, it would have been really quite straightforward. If he had a Liberator range upgrade, that would have been very manageable. But he decided to win, you know, or he tried to win anyways in the way that Bjorn would do it. <laughs> Turns out he's not Bjorn. Literally, the rest of the bracket's going to be completed by the time this yeah, series probably. is done. I'm going to move oh. my camera away from... Done. Ooh, I just noticed your profile picture in game. That is a matter oh, yeah? of a very large forehead. Uh, exclamation point 11 head in chat, please. Mm, don't have to do that one. No. That's unnecessary. No, I think you do. Is that the one with... Uh... No, that's x wait for rushing. Which one's 11 head? Which... I think you can go all the way up to 13 head, guys. So if you want, <laughs> just have fun with it. Where's Where's the 11 head? Which one's that? <laughs> oh, it goes up to the 16 head now. Let's go. The loco inspired aircraft. Yo, 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 I love yo, that yo. one. Yo. <laughs> this favorite. one's really toxic, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rebu Soul's got a new strategy, guys. It is the talker strat. Very popular build order. I've heard of this many times on stream. 18 head, let's go. What do you think when your opponent starts chatting rushing? What do you think? Cheese, 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 cheese. Every time. Every Every soul, though, not cheesy. The Romanians are built differently, man. He's already playing mental warfare here. Okay, it only goes up to 18 head chat, so we need a new meme for 19 head. <laughs> I'm willing, willing to take <laughs> any just... openings here. I like how for this picture you took like half my forehead as well. <laughs> are Romanians big on cheese? I don't know if Romanians are big on cheese. <laughs> That's a good one. I've never so. seen that one. <laughs> we found out some time ago that uh, Romanians are big on liquor. We did find out about that, yeah. There was some sort of breakfast drink that was like 40% that apparently was historically drank in the morning. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but this is one oh. of my favorite things I learned of. Apparently back in the day, people were like, yes, we're starting the day with a shot. <laughs> Two, Look, you can't Tuvica? drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yeah, that's true. Tuvica? Tuvica? I don't know. Anyways. That's the way to do it, man. Just a little... <laughs> just a bit of a shot. <laughs> uh, uh oh Anyways. Palinka? Is that what it's also called? Okay. Okay, Rushy. How do you feel about the pylon block? Eh, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> when you're... When you're playing against a Terran, like, oh no, I'm gonna build my command center four pixels the other direction and just lift it. <laughs> that whole two second delay, oh no. Terran players hate it though. Lifting up their command center, this is one of the worst feelings in the world. Oh, that got grenade him. was killer, Dorian. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay that pull was a little, was a little less. Than... <laughs> <laughs> it was ambitious and late. <laughs> the worst of the two. <laughs> It's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do we have a properly timed Stargate this time around? No, we don't. Nope. I thought Robotics. we had one for a second, but no. Oh, it's even a robo. So I feel like the robo is also late, though. Oh, what? Why are we? Okay, we're going to strand a robo. Let's see. And it's a really early robo as well. Like, what are you going to pull out of that robo at the three minute, three and a half minute mark? Oh, Ooh, he's okay. Three and We're gonna get a little bit robo. of disruptor drop hey. action. Yeah, I'm ready. More like three balls, too, right? soul. What? 
more like reballs. So. Oh, okay. I thought you were roasting Josh again. I was like, come on, man. I would never well, do such a thing, but I didn't have to. I knew you'd like pick that mm. up for me. He'd hit me on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Protals? Thank you very much for the 100 bits. How did you guys discover StarCraft? I saw my uncle playing it back in the 90s, and he burnt me a copy to play. Ooh. For the Zoomers in the chat, he does not Ooh. use fire. There's nothing to do with burning and fire. <laughs> um, I started playing StarCraft 2 back in 2010 when I got invited to the beta. It's Ooh. been a long time. I got into it uh, through a college friend who bugged me a lot to play it, and then I finally did, and I loved it. StarCraft 2 or StarCraft 1? Uh, 2. Ah. Oh, well, I am not a referee. Dorian, though, also polite. Oh, Rashi's a referee this time. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Nuke saw what I did with that power, and he realized <laughs> no <laughs> more. It. Let's put an actual adult in charge of this game. Oh, Good choice, Nuke. I'm, I, I am a registered adult, so. <laughs> theoretically, I am too. <laughs> but only theoretically. <laughs> I got to vote the other day, but that's really where my privileges end. Oh. Did the person you vote for win? I don't specifically know for the city that I live in. It has to do with city elections and a bunch of other stuff. The farmer party won big, man. There's been a lot of drama with farmers in the Netherlands lately. And, um... Yeah. Are they going to roll back all the regulations that they don't want? Yeah, that's what they want to do. Okay, so it is Colossus, and it's not Disruptor. So, Ribasol, back to his normal name. Yep. Are we gonna... <laughs> yeah, it's hard to mix Colossus in there somewhere, man. Recosol? Yeah, no, see, it doesn't work. Um, that is one Colossal. of the fastest Thermal Lens upgrades I've ever seen. Don't know what we're gonna do with it at the six-minute mark. And I see, it's not even that fast. It just feels quick because he wasn't doing anything for a long time, but... Okay, well, this guy. Look, I'm just ready to reach out to Maximus Black, have him start the When Cheese Fails again for Lag TV. <laughs> like, this could go right on it. I mean, this if he's right making stop. videos again, you may as well. Right? Get the whole crew back. Let's recreate 2014 all over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I feel about... <sighs> Did Husky actually... Wait, okay, I'm actually going to look it up. Husky? YouTube.com slash Husky? Um, oh guys, if you want to go back to 2012 really fast, exclamation point Christmas in the chat, do it fast. Go, go, go. You're going to love it. This is you haven't seen it, you're going to love Welcome it. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for some more StarCraft 2 action. The, the whole the whole thing kind of astounds me, man. That is... Uh, but look at his first one. His first one, he's got, like, a ton of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 37K is what I saw. What about the second one, though? That is interesting. It boggles my mind that he deleted an entire YouTube channel with a million plus subs on it, or whatever it was. Every single video, only to then restart it again, just because there's another RTS game on the horizon that might be popular. It's not a good look, is it? It's not, it's not a good look. Anyways. We do have some balls, by the way, so we can go back to his original nickname. No! Oh. And what is that nickname? I can't remember. Uh, Rebel Soul. That's what you ah, came up with. <laughs> got him. Yeah, it's not a good look. No, it's definitely not a good look. This is not the um, this is not the army that I expected Dorian Gray to have at this point. I mean, he's got sixty-one army supply, but this does not feel like it's going no. to match up very well, especially if they. What? Oh, oh, bait! What a missed opportunity! But I think yeah. it's still going to go um, fine. Yeah, no, there's just not enough bio. You are one hundred percent on point. Do we have blink? No. No blink. Oh, and it, I love this. He's going to push. This is what we've go, been waiting go, go. for. He goes uh, prism right away. Oh, army oh, hunting yeah, everything going. to the front. Let's go, dude. Uh, we do need. Yeah, the lasers, I'm okay with though. that. We need lasers. Yep. This is this is good. This is good. Keep going. Get up there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. Yeah, get the observer up there. Look at that army. That's not that big. You can handle that. 
Just warping a couple stalkers at home. The next one is gonna come out of the prison. Go. Go. Oh. Okay. This would actually be a good moment for Blink, and he absolutely does not. Does he even have a Twilight? Okay, yeah, he does. Okay. Oh, he gets the down. Liberator. Yeah, Get a little bit of Micro there. Oh, okay. Ooh. Those two Marines, they didn't make it. What about these guys? Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay, you gotta go on that, right? Like, you just, gotta, you just gotta have momentum. Okay, he's got a Prism, but it's... Uh, not even remotely close. He just had to, to select the prison. two, but... He's gotta be able to warp at home. He's now getting very ambitious, man. Yeah, no, now he's just getting greedy. <laughs> he's like, come on, hello. Oh. Six pylons? Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, yep, if only stalkers shut up. They shut up. Oh, they oh, shot shoot. up. They shot up. <laughs> Only they shot up. I was gonna say, was man, it? I don't even... They There's just complain joke. about the Voight being cold. That's all they do. <laughs> just get him a hat. <laughs> He'll be fine. Okay, Medivac drop actually coming in. This is gonna force Rebel Soul's hand, because I'm afraid he's gonna march <laughs> all the way back home. He's, this is not what he should do. He should really just warp in some units and then... Okay, oh, there we go. There you go. Okay. This is the right response. He should really... He should have fought two minutes ago, though. I feel actually the window is kind of closed. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this army just has not moved in the last minute and a half. There's so much army here, too. I mean, you put put six to eight zealots with this, and this is a scary force. I don't know if Dorian... Like, he might have the siege tanks. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, no, the window is closed right now. It's going to be kind of difficult. Instead, Dorian is going to sit back and max out for a little bit longer, right? And when he gets there, we're going to fight. Going to try and win the How game. I think that's the plan. I mean, there's only one tank. There's, there's really no anti-ground. Lokar was not an ad break. What did I miss? Uh, basically, Rebusol has been sitting here. Basically, ever since the ad break began, and it ended. But there was one disruptor hit. <laughs> And he's been uh, on a high ever since. <laughs> he's like, but what if I get it again? Ooh. What if I get it again? So basically, that's been the goal. He's been trying to blow up units one more time. And it hasn't happened since. But it might happen again, so you never know. They go, okay, some bunny. So Gifting us up to soul. Sorry, go ahead. Yo. Here we go, here we go. Balls? Yes. Yes. No. No, no. <laughs> No, that ain't it. Well, Blink is just about done. Do you, do you think that'll trigger a response? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. It was low ground to high he's ground. Going oh, he's going that. bowling, okay? When you go bowling, you gotta roll the ball whenever you can. Whenever it's your yeah, turn. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you get a strike, sometimes you get a gutter ball. Ooh, gutter ball. There you go. Rush is professional. Dude, I've bowled a few times. There's a bowling alley, like, pretty close to my house. Hmm. Sounds like a, a trip, man. Go to uh, Casey's Pizza. <laughs> and go bowling. Or maybe the other way around, right? I don't know if you can uh, bowl with a full stomach. Uh, no, absolutely. Shout out to the toilets, his Echo Soldier. And he said something else as well, but I skipped it. Thank you very much for 31 <laughs> months. Here we go. Balls. Go. Balls. 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 Ooh. Oh! Good okay, balls. you got some connections. But I think there I might just be a little bit too much Terran, though. Oh, I was going to say, as long as the Colossus stays alive, he's in it, but that is uh, promptly taken care of. Right before 2-2 finishes as well, after all that sitting back, Dorian has had enough. He's been making command centers on the right side of the map for a while now. Got a planetary over here? Nothing to mine. Oh, and he's got one south of it, too. Yeah. Okay. No gas at the third. So this is all just four gas. It's impressive. Right, we saw going back to his favorite unit now. <laughs> Disruptors. No, Sonic Storm. Oh. The Sonic Storm ah, was yes. amazing. You know what? If you can micro both the Disruptors and the Psy Storm at the same time, it's going to be It'd be impressive. Maybe that's why Protoss don't win more major events. Because you have to micro two units? Yeah, it's really I mean, hard. as a Zerk, that does sound kind of hard. I'm not going to lie, Rushy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember making multiple control groups. That's hard, too. Well, he doesn't have Storm yet. 
That's the problem. Oh, boss? Dorian okay, should definitely go more Liberators, by the way. <clears throat> Liberators counter all of this. He's maxed out. I also like how he's fighting with half the army. He's really giving Rebusol a good opportunity Ooh, here. Feedback, Ooh, feedback. that was back. That actually wasn't too bad. I, I don't know if we should have done that, though, because another storm would be much better here, but... Nah, you guys can't make that. No, you wanted to go all the way around the corner. <laughs> There's no way. It's like a U-turn right there on the Disruptor Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Should've used the handbrake. Oh, uh, well, there goes the fourth. No, that's an ambitious stim forward. Especially into... Okay, never mind. It's all covered. <laughs> U-turn parallel park. <laughs> <laughs> That was close, man. Oh. But the siege tanks, they still tried their best. There's another disruptor going down. Dorian ready to double the supply right here. Will he be able to triple the supply? Oh, uh, not yet. Oh, land at the Viking. Ambitious. In the meantime, there's a huge army at home. Just waiting. There you go. Is he dead? No, we probably still have another 15 minutes in this <laughs> game, honestly. <laughs> we, we still have a little bit to go, guys. Prolos is expanding. Throwing down a fourth base at that, a different oh, location. Um, oh, this no, is about God. To oh, oh, this is a bad moment, isn't it? Oh, awkward. At that moment where you both wear the same back. outfit. Ugh. What? Sorry? I said that moment where you both wear the same outfit. Oh. <laughs> Unless it's a shirt from Loco Dutch Shop, guys. Ah, oh, that's That fair, is not that's awkward fair. at all. Yeah, here, here. Check it out. Oh. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. I need to zoom out. There he is. Amazing. Looking real good, Rushy. I love that light switch uh, on your throat. <laughs> Back to the game we go, just in case you think you're still... <laughs> oh, disruptors! Balls! Balls! Whoa! Oh my god, well, the balls don't stack, but at least you got a lot of damage down there. Uh, I mean, I, I guess really maybe they do stack. It's just that everything died already. The 16-minute charge timing, that's what's doing it for me. Those were really good storms. This Feedbacks? You're kidding me, he's gonna clean this army up. Oh my god. Okay. Two meta effects for free? Oh. There's a, a three siege tank hit squad coming in from the left. With oh, four meta vex and a small little army, army here. Too. Boom. Okay. Bo oh, okay. That's, oh, that, that's um, a dead disruptor. Uh, Maybe? No, he no, got out of the way. Oh. Oh, man. The probes were distraction Good there snipe. for just a moment. The distractors? Oh that's a new unit. Okay, well, um, I think Dorian still has this one in the back, but he's got to be careful. Killing that Nexus on the right side. Suddenly he's everywhere. Shout out to Dorian, man. Dorian's everywhere. There we go. Yeah, he, he turned on the aggression button. It's the right thing to do. The tanks actually have a really good chokehold on the pathway between the natural, the third, and the fourth. So yep. as long as he can reinforce it with bio units and protect them, should be able to make the most of that. But charge is finally finished. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a little oh. bit of a back and forth. That's a huge connection with the Disruptor as well. He's going to protect this fourth base. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He no, wants to maybe? right click it real bad. Is he going to get He's it? He will, it. but that cost him a lot. Another medevac. <laughs> uh, he's refusing to go Mass Liberator. I think Liberator would make this so much easier, but Dorian is like, no, instead I'm going to keep eating every bit of splash damage that I can eat. The more splash damage I can gobble up, the better. And it's I mean, even move. at this point, he could just hold down the marine button or the hellion button. Like, either <laughs> or. The hellion button? Yeah. Oh, I, it would be so sick if he did some hellion drive-bys on these probes. Oh, okay. It'd be I so sick. Meant for fighting. No. Rubusol no, doesn't harassment. need workers, dude. All he needs is disruptors and high templar, and he's got those already. That's fair. <laughs> did you enjoy the geyser there for a moment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> I saw the fire coming out of the ground, man. I don't know how there can be water this close to fire. I'm sure that exists somewhere in the universe, right? Because it's a uh, universe kind of big. Maybe no. not as big as America. Stim? Oh, there No! Oh. Dude, those storms are so killer. This splash damage has actually been insane. He goes for three additional factories. There's ten um, <laughs> High Templar being warped in right now. Uh, five Archons. They all found okay. a friend. Storm! Romanian power. Gape is proud of this game. 
Gif is feeling a lot of nationalism watching this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Romania. That's how it goes, right? That sounds like that, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. Romania national anthem, English lyrics. <laughs> English lyrics. <laughs> of course, that video is Awaken probably actually. Awaken the out. Romanian. Shake off thy deadly slumber. Well, there you go. Oh, oh my God. Well, he's woken off his, or he's shaken off his slumber. That's for sure. The scourge of inauspicious barbarian tyrannies, and now or never to a bright horizon, clamber. That shall put shame to all your enemies. My God. The Romanian wow. anthem goes hard, man. <laughs> Jeez. And they accuse the United States of nationalism. My God. <laughs> you guys need to do some rewording. There's a Dude, those disruptor hits are actually insane. He's dealing so much damage. It might guys, be a I metal song. Yeah. I know you thought I was joking when I said there was another 15 minutes to this game, but like, here we are. Miyazaki wrote the, <laughs> the Romanian anthem. <laughs> Oh, here we go, dude. Dorian is starting oh. to once again feel the heat. He had that in the last game, but he was super far ahead at the time oh, that storm? I don't think he could really lose it. At this point, he was also incredibly ahead, but that's like 10 minutes ago. Like, if he starts getting shaky again like he had in the last game, this is actually over. I think Reviso can actually win this, despite being behind for literally 18 minutes. <laughs> Please go get the tank. Okay, okay. there we go. That's this a lot of Archons. Too that's it's too low. It's too low HP. Oh. <gasps> Oh no. Gonna put it and in my gym playlist. There you go. So well, here we are. Once again, 184 to 145. Dorian has every advantage in the book and just politely waits to group his army before he comes across the map. My god. We have three, heard three the lines of the next little paragraph of the Romanian anthem. Oh, I'm ready. It is now or never to the world we readily proclaim. In our veins throbs Romanian blood, and in our hearts forever we cl we glorify a name. There you go. I never, I never want to sing the word throbs <laughs> in a like. Uh, I think I'll just end that sentence. I never raise want to sing the your word broad throbs. forehead and look around you like fear trees. Hundreds of thousands of heroes are standing firm. A voice they shall wait to jump like wolves among the sheep. My god. Romania, dude. Okay. These guys don't mess around. I have a lot of forehead to race. It's true. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Your broad <laughs> forehead, Chet. <laughs> There is a lot of ghosts in this army. Yeah, there is a lot of ghosts. Is he going to hit ghosts any EMP? 14? Will he hit any EMP? I mean, with 14 of them, God, it'd be hard. It'd be like, oh, mathematically There's hard no to way. Lose. But I was still still super dead, no? Look at that ghost. Oh, my God. Sacrificing himself. <laughs> oh, God's actually Romanian. It feels good to be represented in a national anthem, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, that was only part of the army, man. He's got a lot more. This splash damage has actually been so sick. He's like one or two storms away from cleaning this army up as well. Oh, Micron back to the batteries. Oh. He wants to bait him into the siege tanks. I thought Loco was American. I'm not that cool. The Dutch national anthem speaks Storm? of like German blood and a Spanish king. Anyways, we're we're kind of pathetic over here, dude. <sighs> oh yeah, here comes the tanks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is this has gone on for so long. Uh, that siege tank's having a good time though. <laughs> oh, there's another one too. Secret siege tank. <laughs> the secret siege tank. Well, yeah, there were the two up, up top, and nobody thinks about the third one. Nobody expects the third siege tank, man. The secret tank. Secret tank. One Marauder drop. Army on the left side as well. Zealot warp window. We're going to lend the Vikings. Let's go. Rebusol trying oh, to that... create chaos, but... Or, sorry, Dorian's trying to create chaos, but Rebusol's been cleaning it all up. The Vikings were attacking the Nexus, so not a single probe went down there. That's okay. That's all right. 
Oh, this is scrappy. This is what we this is what we were expecting for sure. I think um, Dorian is ready to play the French anthem now. It's been a bit of a disaster, but no. How does it go? He needs an Arc de Triomphe somewhere, man. He needs his Marines and his Marauders to march underneath the Arc. I think they do that after a win, no? <laughs> Rushy right. said 15 minutes ago, or <laughs> Rushy said 15 minutes, 10 minutes ago. There you go. Dude, I, I know long games when I see him. <laughs> when Taran was doubling the opponent's supply, that's when you see a long game coming up? Yeah, man. Hmm. I, I, not wrong. No, no, no. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, Rushy. I, mean, just, I would have never laughing. guessed it. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we've got ample storms. This is a one hell of a concave. There but is there no are disruptors. Way cleans this up. Oh, one one disruptor shot. That's all you need. Storm. Oh, storms. Oh, no, why are we feedbacking? We feedbacked every single one of them. Imagine Yo. if that had been like two more storms. He needs two more storms, actually. He can't fight this. He needs two more storms. He's got some disruptors, actually. Hello, disruptor guys. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Yo, my, you know, my broad forehead is risen right can't. now. Oh, he needs his whole army. He doesn't Hello. have it. We've got so many units just idling here. Ah, oh, if he had his whole army there. This is even. Rebusol actually has an army advantage right now. If you can even believe it. Uh, he just cleaned up the supply count. He's gonna win this fight. Oh my god. Oh, push. Please. Please, go! The people need a game three. <laughs> <laughs> they may not know it, but that's what they need. This, this, this isn't the series we need. It's the one we deserve, though. <laughs> I am who? Rebusol. Yeah. Do you think he uh, is going to take care of any of those bases ever? Please, please go. Rushy yes, said we yes. still have three minutes to go. Yeah, yeah. Rushy, Rushy has got the decision. Oh, God. Oh, okay. okay. Good start. Three worker kills. What if we got more? Take it easy. Rebusol, man. Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. I think <laughs> he can keep bowling. Okay. Yo, he grabs the tower, so he sees if he can continue bowling. Oh, unfortunately, he grabbed the wrong tower. The All right, uh, Army Tusk, this is a family-friendly show, please. <laughs> oh, this is... This is like a train wreck. You just can't look away. They have trains in the States? <laughs> You've just heard them. Not for people. <laughs> Storm Dagon. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> Time to sit back. <laughs> Oh, this oh. is a performance art there more, piece. Is there more storm? No more storm. Anything can Colossus be a performance help. art, man. Please. Please lasers. attack him. Lasers. 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 Oh, there's storm. Lasers. Storm oh, he is just baited the whole army into more oh storms. Oh, my God. He just... He stormed his entire mineral line, though. That was all the workers there. <laughs> there's some Protoss blood mixed in there. Anyways, he doesn't need, he doesn't, we've already been over this. He doesn't really need workers. All he needs is High Templar and some Disruptors. Actually, he needs to make more Disruptors again. Oh, he actually split up his army. He's got a massive army on the right side, too. Ooh, the mines. Ow. Yeah, yeah, probes take damage from Storm. Yes. Storm deals friendly, friendly fire. fire. Actually, no. To the Protoss players listening to this, Storm heals the shields on your units. Ah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. This is a little trick that nobody wants you to know about, but definitely make sure you Storm your own units. It heals them oh. up quickly. There okay, there we there go. go. There you go. Oh. <sighs> Loco, there's a chance that Rebus Ol takes us to game three. Yes. There is still a chance. Dorian refuses Liberators. That's oh, usually no. where you go. He still has so much money in the bank, so I'm still saying it's basically impossible for him to lose. But he's oh. trying really hard to lose Storms. this. Storm. Yes. Okay. Yep. Take the zealots forward. Get the tanks. There we go. Ooh, storm on the mines too. That was actually really well done. I mm -hmm. got the tanks cleared out of the way. There's more storms still available here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. We're at the 30 minute mark. You set the game would end right now, Rushy. All right, Rebusol, get in there, man. <laughs> or somebody. 
I mean, Dorian Gray has had every opportunity to close this out and it just wants to play more StarCraft. There it is. This is like a ZVP now? Yeah, he's lost so many units. 52,000 resources down on the side of Terran, who's representing the Zerk. He needs to make a mass <laughs> missile turret, man. That's the next step. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, when are the carriers coming out? Yeah, I'm looking for them. Who's the Romanian? Rebusol is the Romanian. No, no, no. Isn't it Dorian? No, no, no. Dorian's French. French. Are we sure? Yes. Are we not? I am sure. This is what you said. Oh, 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 oh get him! Get him! No! Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Get him! Oh my god. What the? How? That was a really unfortunate little sidestep right there for that army. Oh my god, he could have literally caught like a 30 SCV transfer there. For free. He doesn't know it now. Okay, lasers over here are gonna take care of that base. This is two chunks of a- Oh! <laughs> a two chunks of a Protoss army. He's gonna need his entire army though, and he's gonna clash right here on top of the siege top tanks! Oh. oh, careful, careful. He's actually microing his army surprisingly well. I don't know how... Heidi MMR is in this game, but Rebusol is not stuck using control groups or, or army hotkeying or anything like that. His oh, he just loses the Vikings to a move command. Okay, well, he does lose the prism there, but. I Dorian mean, if you have charge lots units. that can come in on one side with this, I, I think this army actually dies to a concave. Oh, I don't. I don't think Dorian. I don't think Dorian can survive no, this. No, Dorian. If... Dorian, careful. Oh, okay. lasers. Okay. Whoa, did you see Storm that flip? To the that left. was a sick flip right there. Sorry, I just saw the Marauder make a flip as he died. That's how I would want to go. If I was a Marauder. Oh, this is not the army you should be worried about here, Rebusol. Oh, you got tanks dude, in this center. guy loves rapid fire feedback. I don't even know if it's that great, but it looks kind of cool. <sighs> yeah, so They're usually, usually Terrans will switch to a lot of Liberators against this type of army, because there's really nothing that can reliably kill Liberators with ranged. But yeah, he's not making that decision at all. So he's basically rinsing and repeating. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, the base is... <laughs> I'm gonna move oh. my camera away from... Rushy for a second. There you go. He didn't even eat Liberator's Loco, just mass battle cruiser. Mass anything flying. Mm. Uh, I, I hate to step away, but I need to use the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back. Sure. The king looks over his wild. 39 minutes. Mass Banshee would even win the game, yes. Anything that can't really be affected so much by disrupt. Did my video, by the way, fail? Did not work out. Shit. I decided to go full you thermal, by the way, on today's thumbnail. Your thermals, thumbnails, and titles seem to be very effective. Um, so for those of you <laughs> that are curious, uh, I went full you thermal on it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. What's up? I went full you. We'll see if a thermal Ooh. on my new YouTube thumbnail. I feel like it's pretty good. I can't well. believe you cost me 150,000 points, by the way. 150. Is that how yeah. many? You yeah, man. That is now really I've nice. only got. Soul says, thank God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> when, you, when, when Nuke said, <sighs> you are AFK. Toby, what are you doing, mate? Okay, give me a sec. I need to move my cat. Hey, thank you, Blemmer. Oh, chat, I'm exhausted. I won't hold it there. We don't have. Dude, that's what it says. Your thirst. <laughs> yeah, the, the brand name. Cans have Cans also have mm, 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 mm. elimination match. Yeah, <laughs> Rushy, what? <laughs> Rushy, what? Are you a minute macro game that we believe in? Uh, options on the I'm reminding them of their options. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm back, Rushy. Welcome back. Do you want to introduce? Top left. It's the orange Protoss. I'm back, Rushy. Welcome back. Do you... Toby, what are you? Doing? 
Fuck with my cat. He wants attention really. Hey, thank you, Blemmer. Yep. Toby. <laughs> Jeez. Move my cat. He wants. Oh. I'm back, Rushy. Welcome back. Do you want to introduce? Top left. It's the orange Protoss player. This is Rebosol. Woo! The people's champion. His opponent in the opposite corner. A man who likes to get very far ahead and then... <laughs> okay, no. No, no, no. I'm not gonna say... I was gonna say he's ready to throw it all away, but that, that's kind of mean. We're looking at the Terran player Dorian Gray. Yeah, imagine if we pulled a draw here. A what? Sorry? Imagine if we pulled a draw. A draw? Ooh. It you know, I think Dorian just hasn't played a lot of late game TV. Ooh. I think Dorian just hasn't played a lot of. I think. I think Dorian just hasn't played a lot of late game TVP. How many uh, platinum just hasn't played a lot of late game TVP? That's probably the problem here. How many uh, platinum slash diamond games go into the 30 minute mark ever? That's a very good point. The majority ended like three. <laughs> Literally. No, I, I, I believe you. Uh, this is also an elimination match, by the way. Oh, this is a bottom. So, Sorry. yeah, whoever okay. loses this one is out of the tournament. Did we beat the taco? Did we beat the taco, by the way? Oh, this is a so, bottom. Oh, Sorry. yeah, whoever okay. loses this one is out of the tournament. Did we beat the taco or taco emissary versus love song duration, though? That's the real question. See, there's a big difference between this game and that one from a few viewer tournaments ago, because this game was actually good. That one? Good. That one? Yeah. Yeah, no. Ooh, there's channel points on the line for this one too, guys. You can put in your bets. Who do you think wins? Arabuso or Dorian? Go ahead. You have one I, minute to put in your points. I can't. I don't want to hurt again. This time I'm around, never gonna I am get not here to email. ruin it, Rushy. Well, that's also true. Kill him. You got this. Yes, Rebu. Okay. Craft three surround, but it counts. In Romania. Um, he just... has no units in production right now. <laughs> what, sir? Oh, he's got a stalker. Never mind. A stalker? Never mind. Never mind. He has a stalker. I like stalkers. I like how the stalker, like the, the, we'll call it the arm on the now left side, looks like the shield that the priestess, no, the huntress Ooh. holds in Warcraft 3. Yeah, you're right. Well, they actually have six legs. They have like four legs and two arms. They have a little face mask as well. Room for a little hat, because cold is the void. Mm. Room for a little hat, because cold is the void. Mm. Ass talk. Ass talks are, Ass talks are kind of cute. Okay. I was all up. Okay. Kind of cute. Okay. Rebuzol apparently is the one. Oh wait, I thought it was a prediction. It wasn't. Rebuzol apparently is the one. Oh wait, I thought it was a prediction. It wasn't a prediction. It was a. No, there's a prediction in there, I think. Wasn't there? Well, there's a poll, and then I'm confused. I... I think it was a. Pre... I think it was a poll, not a prediction. God, I thought Nuke was amazing at everything, but he did a poll rather than a prediction on accident? <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. It was probably by design. He probably meant that on purpose. It was both? Oh!
No, it was both? Why were there two things going on? Oh no, there there was both a prediction as well as a poll going on at the same time. Very strange. I don't know who made the poll, but I do know that Nuke made the prediction. So the prediction's still good, guys. You didn't gamble away all your points. 67% of you believe that Rebusol will win. 33% will put their money behind Dorian. I would probably bet Dorian. Mm hmm. I don't know. I think... I think, I think that Rebusol is setting him up, self up. Uh, we've got Charge incoming here. And we do have a Warp Prism as well. But, yeah, but Dorian... Zealots don't do splash damage, Rushy. Yeah, but if all you're making is uh, Marines, I think Zealots would be fine. And right now it's a quick uh, Stim Combat Shield completion for Dorian. Mm. So unless he goes across right now and makes a ton of damage happen, I think Rebusol is going to be in an okay spot. There goes Dorian. This is not the best time to go for an attack, Dorian. Rebusol might just be finishing up Charger in a moment. All that Marine sees, by the way, is the back of that Marauder. It's the worst, man. Imagine going to a concert and there's a Marauder sitting in front of you. Uh, I can't see anything. I don't think Marauders okay. can fly commercial either. People when they sit behind me. <laughs> yeah, you're that guy, Rushy. You've I, never I experienced what it's like. Nope. It's like, can that guy still sit down, please? Come on. It's like, sir, please sit down. And he's like, oh no, he's already sitting? How did that happen? Okay. Well, Dorian's gonna sacrifice a Reaper, man. Two of them. Did he just finish charge and warp in Stalkers? Love to see it. <laughs> uh, hey, what's that unit? What's that unit with the, the white circle in the middle? The oh, I think you mean the Sentry? Sentry? Yeah, I haven't mm. seen that one yet in this series. That's wild. Scene, scene try. Scene try. Scene try. Hmm. Wonder what it does. It looks like, looks like a ball. Yeah. It's a ball within a ball. Would you look at that, actually? There's a little ball within Ooh. the big ball. Never noticed that before. Stalkers have little arms. Sentries have He's just going to bury him up. Oh my god. Okay. So, he, please. Just to clarify, <laughs> poor guy. He got charged. Where are the zealots? He skips. Please. Blink. Warpin. Warpin zealots, please. Oh no. Uh, if he has zealots here, he wins. I'm like confident of that. <laughs> there was a sentry last game. Oh. Like a sentry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Boo. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, I like this a whole lot better, Rebusol. This is this is destructive, guys. Um Yeah, I don't know what that was. Destruction archives. Our archive. Dude, Storm did so much work for him in game two. Yeah. And game one as well. <laughs> game That's one was true. also uh a stormy game. Oh, he's going for different kinds of Templar, though. He doesn't just like his Templar high. I'm gonna also go for the dark ones. So, um, charge. And let's go, um, um, oh, charge. And like four zealots in total. Um, um, I don't know how to feel about that, I'll be honest with you. Matter of fact, drop, by the way. Dorian saw this. It could be a pylon. It doesn't look like it. There's actually a difference. But I can imagine well, he might mistake it for a pylon. Oh my god. Do you think that one on the high ground thinks he's the sole hero? I did all that work. One shot him, baby. Yeah, man. If you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. Well, he did not let it slip. You better. <laughs> Observer up above as well. Dorian's macro is much.
Observer up above as well. Dorian's macro is much better than Rebusol's. Like, okay. look at how much stuff he's once again got. This is why I would put my money on Dorian, but it's kind of hard to say. I mean, there's no splash options right now for Rebusol. So if Dorian ever had the perfect moment to make this happen, it is right here, right now. I'm just worried that he is going to let this moment slip. He doesn't have splash damage yet. Now it starts up. He needs to run. Yeah, no, there's no splash damage. Without splash damage, Rebusol is... Without hope. Fun. This guy Things is missing... Guy come forward. He's missing, I don't know, like multiple limbs right now. He, do he doesn't have anything. What are you going to do without splash damage? <laughs> Zealots? Uh, is there... Uh, is there a scan available? Because we've got two DTs. Uh... Uh, uh, we can quickly check. There is one in the main base. Uh, we can quickly check. There is one in the main base. One in the natural. We'll just okay. assume that those are saved up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Is... Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Okay. Is it, is yeah, it tactical? Okay. The tactical invisible choice. men. He can actually clean us up with the invisible men. There they are, dude. They're just psyching themselves up right now. I'm like, yes! Yeah, guys. Yes! We got this. Okay, he just dropped mules. He just dropped mules. Oh, uh, no, he's gotta he... he's gotta do something with this position. Oh yeah, he dropped mules at the third. Oh, okay, two medevacs on the left side. Go, invisible men. Go. Or no, um, yeah, yeah, two medevacs. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Where are you guys? Yep, yep, yep. What are you guys doing? We're gonna go in the plane. <laughs> guys, get on the floor. <laughs> Get back on the ground! <laughs> uh, it's like the, the tension. The, Wait, he can't. The tension no, no. is absolutely killing me. I thought for a second he counts Storm, but he does have Storm done. <laughs> oh god, the, imp the invisible men are just gonna destroy the game on the other side of the map. Uh, he just dropped the third mule, by the way, too. There's one scan available in the natural, but that's it. Where are these tanks moving Dorian, to? Dorian, panic in three, two, one. <laughs> Go! Panic! 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 Ah! Stim! Ah! Ha! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> ha! Ah! <laughs> oh! He is the one! Wait! That walks down the ramp! Rebusol! He was just about ready to come to you! That surprises me a little bit. Oh! oh. Did he clean up the DTs? Oh no, they're still in the main. No, 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 no. They're still going to town, man. There's still oh. Liberators this game, but that's it. Wait, why was the Liberator not attacking the War Prism? Is it, it tickles them, it's kind of like a sin, try <laughs> Okay, okay. Invisible <laughs> meant to clean this up as well. Ooh. Go. I mean, oh, okay, this that is immortal, good. dude. That guy is tucked away, pretending to be a gateway. I didn't even see him. <laughs> it worked. Okay, well, the Marines didn't care. Dark oh. Templar on the main base, walks out of the circle. Second scan, so of oh, dude, we, we could kill so much. Come on, Dorian, you got this, man. Keep your head cool. Oh. 142. Can he close it out without having to drag it out another 10 minutes? I don't... Well, he could, but I don't know if he will. We could make use of Dark Templar so much more. They barely killed anything. I mean, 10 SCVs is nice, but... Okay, Rashi, how many minutes are left in this game? Mm, I'm worried, man. Mm. I, I think this is going to be at least a 20 minute game. Because right now, like, Dorian... Dorian does not want mm. to move out unless he has got everything he needs. And I think there's just army that he's forgetting about. Although, if he gets a full kill here, okay. I think we just took five minutes off the timer. <laughs> that means two minutes remaining, according to Rashi. Okay. Let's see. That was a, that was pretty expensive, given the number of workers that Rebusol has. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna wait until he's maxed out again. He does not want to attack until he has the Dorian, largest right? possible yeah. army. He's using a yeah. But you know what? One lucky coincidence here for Rebusol is that yes, he lost 400 minerals now, but he's gonna have a lot more gas to warp in High Templar, so he cannot resist the urge to warp to warp in High Templar here. I can almost guarantee it. He's gonna warp in like eight High Templar here soon. Morph in like maybe two Archons, but then he's gonna have more storm. He went for a Stargate? Oh. 
Mm, okay. Me it's interesting. No more so I guess balls. that that would. No more so I guess balls. that that would, that's my that's my only that's my only major critique of the Terran player is uh, time. Time is of the essence. You have so much, and he doesn't even realize it. Doesn't mm -hmm. even realize how strong he is. Mm. You could do more sooner, and you would be incredibly successful. This is. So freaking plot. Mm. You could do more sooner and you would be incredibly successful. This is so freaking plot. Is what JTrat says. Yeah, is this very classically plat Platinum League? It's difficult though to judge whether or not you're ahead in a game of StarCraft 2. Like it's very easy when you're in the game. But obviously, these guys don't see the supply count. They they don't see much. Okay. What? He's going, going down too. Hmm. Where's the High Templar? In my mind, there were already eight High Templar. Okay, he does have a couple more. Now the Liberators are joining in. Storm. Boom. Hey, did you get Liberators? Yeah. Gotta love that. Okay. I think Dorian's I think this, got this one in the back. As long as he brings the rest of the army. Right now, they're not part of the fight. They're just not even anywhere in the fight. Hello? What? Oh, big storm. Big storm. Oh, his... my God. What? Wait a minute. How? How have we arrived here? <laughs> no, it's still over, isn't it? There's... He doesn't have more storm. He doesn't have more. There's a okay. disruptor, though. God, don't, don't let this happen again. Dorian, no. Oh. Dorian. <laughs> Dorian, no. Dorian's gonna have nightmares <laughs> over this game, man, if he doesn't win it. <laughs> okay, that should do it. That here. should do it. That should that do it. That should do it. Okay. The I love the stutter step forward with the Liberators. Now we're gonna pick off tech structures. The natural has to be evacuated here. 172 to 55. We've tripled the, the supply overall. Ooh, you Dorian, got you gotta uh, think, Loco. What? Ooh, you Dorian, got you gotta uh, think, Loco. What? You gotta think that this is gonna be finally a GG. It it might just be. It might just be. <laughs> I think Dorian is currently sitting in a chair with a heartbeat of 180. <laughs> this this is cardio right here. This guy is at his peak performance. This is what it looks like. Now please Just go up the ramp! What is happening? Please do not just expand seven more <laughs> times behind this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fully maxed out. <laughs> Rip off please. the bandaid. Please. Go up the ramp. Please, please go, go up the ramp. There's a more. Oh, yeah, nice. Good. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Go. Oh. <laughs> There's one more. There's one more, dude. Okay, like even he sees if that one too. You could lose every unit oh. here and still be fine. Oh, okay, there yeah, it is. Yeah, no, we've seen that one before, Rushy. You can lose every <laughs> unit here and still be fine. I've heard that one before. <laughs> okay, okay, the High Templar are being hunted down. They merge into an Archon, okay? Not ideal, not usually what you want them to be. Where's the rest of the Terran army? Oh, it's still sitting on the other side of the map. Okay, well, he needs about one-third of his army because he's so far ahead. I think oh, in the end, man. it is going to be the Terran player from France oh. who gets to walk underneath the Ark. Can I switch sites? What? What is... <laughs> you said that was gonna be a GG, Rushy. That is not a GG. No. <laughs> GG? No. <laughs> La How do you get salty? <laughs> After all of that, how do you get salty at the end of it? <laughs> do you how? Think... <laughs> no, that wasn't salt, was it? Do you think oh. that was salt? Can I switch sides? Like, what does it mean? Yeah, I have no idea what it means. Can I switch sides? <laughs> what does that mean? I think he was trying to be funny. I think That's it has fair. to be a joke. Yeah, I don't think he was... I think he was trying to be funny. I think That's it has fair. to be a joke. Yeah. What does that mean? I think That's it has fair. to be a joke. Yeah, I don't think he was being salty about it. No. Oh my gosh. GG's, man. That was a really fun series. That was. Oh, Dorian Gray.
switching sides like in World War II is a World War II joke. Switching sites like in World War II is a World War II joke. Oh, and <laughs> get it uh, if yeah, that's no, the case. Uh, I'm, I'm just a dumb European, man. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> it ended, we're free. <laughs> it ended, we're free. <laughs> free. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going into the next one, guys. That's what we're doing. Free. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going into the next one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Freedom. Woo! Very nice. You tripled your lennies? Oh my god. Lathrinas is participating and executing the predictions at the same time. Hmm. What? That's not possible. Standing desk? I should stand. Be I couldn't imagine being seven. Do you have a ceiling yet in your room, Roshi? I remember last time you had your... Oh! <laughs> Where the president. So important they made a TV... He sleeps in the Lincoln bedroom. Yeah, they have to... Never had a president. <laughs> tall. Yeah, man. What would that be in centimeters? Or in meters, like rather. two and a half. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, my. All right, since you've got a... All right, since you've got a bite, welcome. <sighs> All right, since you've got a bite, welcome. <sighs> it's not a PVT, but in the top left, the Zerg player, who we've already seen win one today. We want to see if he can get a second one. This is Lathinos. And down here in the bottom right. Neo Humanity. Have you seen this map yet today? I don't think we have. The green SCVs, we have a Gabrio. Gabrio, very nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Stilio Beef. He says, congratulations to Dorian, the winner of the longest knockout brawl of the viewer tournament. Your stamina will be remembered for ages. Oh my god. That's not what she said. Anyways. Hatchery on the low ground. Hatch Anyways. Hatchery on the low ground. Hatch first. No cheese. We have had a cheeseless tournament. Oh, uh, we had one attempted cannon rush. Yeah. Uh, versus a pool first. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, jeez. Uh, Just because it was bad doesn't mean it wasn't mm. cheese. Fair. American cheese is still called cheese after all. I think it's legally plastic. <laughs> I saw the... I, <laughs> I saw the... I saw the head nod. <laughs> you know, I watched a YouTube video on American cheese at some point. After all. You know, I watched a YouTube... He's after all. You know, I watched a YouTube video on American cheese at some point, because of course I have. Don't you just randomly go on YouTube binges, Wikipedia binges, that sort of thing? Anyways, oh, I yeah. learned in that video that apparently every other type of cheese that can reasonably melt... Oh, God. No. <laughs> ...can melt better when you put some American cheese on it. So say you have like a type of cheese that usually doesn't melt very well. Apparently, they put some sort of thing <laughs> inside the American cheese that if you put it on top of that and it melts with it, um, it also helps the other cheeses melt. Uh, with it, it also helps the other cheeses melt. Really? Yeah. I thought it was interesting. Uh. So apparently there's some people that, like, you know, want to create, like, some magical cheese sandwich or whatever. They will put some of the American cheese on it no matter what. I can't remember the last. Well, food. no, yeah, I've been so. to McDonald's recently, so it's I was, just, I was thinking like <laughs> cheese <laughs> doping. I don't know what it is, but it's actually kind of kind of interesting. I was trying to think of the last time that I've like willingly eaten American cheese. 
More of a provolone kind of guy. Hey, Logo. Let's go on, Tessa Ross. Thank you for the eight months. I went to uh, McDonald's not too long ago. So, have I been a more recent American cheese eater than you? Uh, I went to McDonald's like a couple weeks ago, so probably not. Ooh. We eat a lot. Of, we eat a lot of cheese over here, man. We have every kind of cheese over here. Over here, being the Netherlands, not necessarily this house. <laughs> In this house, we eat cheese. You you go downstairs and you just like have a chunk of cheese on a plate. That's your supper. My dad actually used to sell cheese when I was a kid, door to door. Like he had like a Did van really? that yeah, he would actually sell cheese. This was, uh, I thought this was a very normal thing when I was a kid. I was like, yes, of course, everybody has a dad that sells cheese door to door. <laughs> so we had a lot of cheese growing up as well. So we had a lot of cheese. So we had a lot of cheese. So we had a lot of cheese growing up as well. Could we, uh, for the next emote, have a emote, have a low cost email? A low cost. Yeah, low cost. Isn't cost cheese in Dutch? Oh, cost. <laughs> there you go. I thought you meant cuss, like C U S S. I was like, huh? no, 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 no. I never cuss. Can't fucking believe you even said that. Can't fucking believe. You said that. I never cuss. Can't fucking. Can't fucking. Can't fucking. Fuck, can't fucking believe you even. Can't believe you. I can't believe you even said that. I can't believe you even said that. Um, <laughs> Cos. K double A. Cos. Um, Kass, K double A S. That's the Dutch word for cheese. We can definitely have that, but we already have a low cheese emote. Mm. Could rename it. Could rename it. Emote. Could rename it. <laughs> low cost. Low cost. Hmm. Oh, uh, what was the name of that fish that I was too scared to try? Haring. Was it that? Hold on, Sanula? It was like the Haring? I don't know. It's just got a couple different names. I don't know what we called it. It was like the raw fish sandwich. Yeah, yeah, Haring. Broke your Haring? Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah. That was very good. I was, I, I'll be more brave to try it next time. Rushy had kibbling, though, last time it was over, Ooh, which is deep fried fish. So Can't really good. go wrong with deep frying anything, I guess, but. It's true. Very good. Anyways, we've got a couple of Hellions being very adventurous right now. There's a few Zerklings. Ooh, Ooh. The body block. That's a barbecue. There's still two of them alive. Yeah. Latinos, you can't stop on that. Uh, no. Okay. okay. That was not ideal. Mm. Honestly, not the end of the world, though. I think if we would have cleaned it up a little sooner, um, would have been less scary. But, um, yeah. Yo, Typical cowardly Happy American. Saturday, How dare you call me out, Thanks Altron? for all the great content, smile. What did Altron say? You. Typical cowardly American? Yo, what? Look, to be fair, Brokje herring or like raw herring in the Netherlands does look a little intimidating, okay? Because it's literally raw fish. I, I kind of get it, yeah. It's usually got its tail and everything attached to. That's not uncommon. So, yeah. I That's not uncommon. So, yeah, I, I kind of get it. No, 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 they cut off the head. Rushy's like, oh god, I said I was brave, but I don't know if I actually am any. Anymore. <laughs> no, I do. I want to. I want to be brave. <laughs> I want to be brave. 
raw fish that scary? Um, when I live in the Midwest and my diet pretty much consists of like pork, chicken, and beef. Yes. <laughs> I guess fish is, yeah. I guess fish is kind of far away, right? There's not a whole lot of, uh, where would the closest by fish come from even if you? Uh, I, I mean, so we've got like, we've got like freshwater lakes. So right. there is fish, but when you think of like sushi or mm. sashimi, stuff like that, and probably West Coast. Hmm. for us would be closer but it, we are literally dead center of the country yeah so. exactly six of one half a dozen of the other no i got it i got it there's a lot of fish in the midlands a lot of cheese and a lot of fish it's probably all my grandparents ever ate man when they were kids <laughs> okay the first couple of hellions did well so gabriel was like mm, don't mind if i do get myself some blue flame try again it's important not to double down on this too much though because that blue flame is doing a whole lot of nothing and now there's a lot of roaches out. So, Gabriel actually playing Roach Ravager. Or, sorry, Lithano is actually playing Roach Ravager here. I think Gabriel's got a good uh, pulse on what's happening here, though, because he's picking up uh, concussive shells. That's just finishing right now. I think the uh, large number of uh, Marauders eventually will be good. I mean, he's at five right now, which isn't uh, insignificant, but that's going to help. He's kind of forcing Lathinos into a direction that he can then plan for in advance. I do like that. Yeah, no, for sure. Would I try Balut? Balut kind of creeps me out. No, for sure. Would I try Balut? No, for sure. Would I try Balut? Balut kind of creeps me out. That's the uh, Filipino thing. Uh, Filipino thing, right? That that kind of scares me too. Yeah. I would do it if you would do it. I'd make a pact with you. I I heard it's kind of tasty, but the idea of it kind of creeps me out. So if I understand correctly, to have like a fertilized or a fertilized egg, and then it like you know sits there for a couple weeks, and then people eat it. Ugh. That I don't know, man. I like eggs. I like chicken or duck or whatever it is, but the little, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that one. Yeah. I know it's a delicacy in the Philippines, but it does uh, creep me out a little bit. Creep me out a little bit. Anyways. Anyways. We've had some very nice games overall this tournament so far like nobody's really trying to get a quick one on anybody i mean yorono is not playing maybe that's the difference <laughs> oh got him wow get burnt sorry yorono it's a reasonable thing to say though <laughs> <laughs> okay so gabriel's oh, not gonna have his army here that one tank is not gonna survive that means the door is open for the zerg to come by is gabriel gonna come home or is he just gonna respond across the map i think he's gonna respond he's got hellions mm. going into the third base location this is a giant bio ball that could have an opportunity to really wreck lathinos's day he's gonna stop a an upgrade and so much more yeah suddenly we have a massive base raise over here plus two just got the knight at least the plus two missile off to the right will finish up right here for Latinos, but base raising a Terran player that can fly their structures away when you don't have any anti-air is not always the best idea. Gabriel is gonna have to come back home at some point, I would imagine, but... Hey, the win condition for a game of StarCraft 2 is the destroyal of your opponent's structures, right? It might be... <laughs> might be the time. It might be the time to remind everybody. Zerk usually doesn't mind base racing, but... Ooh, well, we gotta commence that. Mm. Well, and I mean, what a, what a nice guy. He's not even lifting any of his buildings here. No. No, the CC is gone. Every single thing over here is destroyed. Instead, we're rebuilding everything right now in the top right. <laughs> oh, there is a spire that went down. Where is that being built? Yeah, in the main base. Oh, it's in the main. <laughs> okay. That's an ambitious okay. spire. And it's dead now. Yeah. I was thinking if it was down at, the, like, the 9 o'clock base, like, maybe, just maybe that could work. But, alas. Plus one, plus one. Does finish up, or actually, no, the plus one armor finished up for the bio units, but not for everything else. No more Medivex, so every stint pack becomes incredibly expensive right here, uh, right here for Gabriel. If Lithanos can somehow bait out stint packs, that would be amazing for him. I think he could just jump yeah, on this army, I think, honestly. I think you should probably... I think you could just jump yeah, on run. this army, I honestly. You, I think you should probably back off, to be honest. Eh. 
There's really no reason to f fight to stimp Marines if they don't have any medevacs. Well, we're gonna do it anyways. He's gonna have to stim oh, again. Oh, don't just, he's don't just move command though. Oh my god, he's oh. got it. Oh god, okay, well, no, it's okay. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, GG. Latina's got it taken care of. GG. That was very brave. We didn't need the wing That's collision. what we're talking about here. We didn't, we didn't need the wing collision. We're not gonna stress brave. We didn't need the wing That's collision. That's what we're talking about here. We didn't we're need not the gonna wing stress collision. this out. No. <laughs> <laughs> stretch this an extra 20 minutes. We yeah. What are you talking about? Somewhere out there, Dorian Gray is listening to you. You're like, what are you trying to say right now, Rushy? <laughs> you suggest. Uh, what I are you suggest? Could never. That was pretty damn clean for a base race against Terran. I agree. Zerk remains undefeated in this tournament. Hmm. Well, on stream, I'm sure. No, no. No, no. Zerk Hold will be. Please. Right. Right. Oh, this is still top side of the bracket as well. Mm -hmm. Dang. Zerk oh, this is still Ramsh. Really advanced on is waiting for the winner of. Um, so we've got. Oh, this is still top. How are we doing as far Very. as the record goes? Oh, this is still. How are we doing as far Very. as the record goes, Rushy? Um, so we've got Ramsh waiting in the uh, next round uh, to play the winner of this one. And then it looks like we have Jibba versus Dorian Gray going. Uh, Quigley advanced on is waiting for the winner of Undertaker versus Aegis. Um, um, Captain Fish. Aegis. Captain Fish waiting for the winner of uh, uh, Jibba and Dorian Gray. So that means we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Series? Okay. Left to play in the... Okay. Left to play in the bracket? And some of them are obviously played simultaneously, so we're actually not even t terribly off. Yeah, you know what? No. Yeah. No, because uh, this it's this and the next series, and that is the last remaining on the top side of the bracket. Hmm. No, not bad at all. That's right, not guys. bad at all. Game number two, it is best of three. Altitude. Do you want to do introductions, Rushy? Or are you like, mm, don't feel like altitude? Do you want to do introductions, Rushy? Or are you like, mm, don't feel like it anymore? In the bottom left, it's the Green Terran. This is Gabriel. Whoop. Top right, it is Lithanos. Whoop. There we go. We did it, guys. We're professional commentators. It is important to announce to everybody in the crowd who's playing. I didn't hear everybody cheer, though. So, I mean, we'll have to work on that for next time. Weebuck is cheering. Look. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. What, what is the Whoop from? Whoop? I don't know. Yeah. You just woke up one day and you were like, Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I don't know. No, um... Uh... Whenever we are casting games at Home Story Cup, that's usually what Rainer does. I'm trying to think right now, what, where is this from? Whenever Rainer introduces yeah, really? someone, he's always like, Woo! 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 What did I miss? I took my daughters out for... Woo! What did I miss? My daughters out for ramen? What did you miss? Um, I don't know when you left. Um, but you probably missed uh, the best... But you probably missed uh, the best series of the tournament. Yes. Dorian. Dorian yes. facing off the tournament. Yes. Dorian. Dorian yes. facing off against um, our against, uh, against our resident Romanian. I'm forgetting against our resident Romanian. I'm forgetting his name right now. Rebusa. <laughs> Rebusa, yes. That was a game. That was a game. After careful was... consideration, I can determine that that was a game.
Three of them, actually. Yeah. I don't know. That entire series took like two hours, though. So maybe you did leave. Yeah, maybe you did leave uh, while uh, game two started. Probably could have come back in time for this one. Once again on altitude, man. This one. Once again on altitude, man. Do we allow altitude in the next viewer tournament? Because this is a dangerous map. Hmm. What about it makes it dangerous? It's big. That's a lot fair. of bases. Dorian versus Rebuzal was one of the games of all time. <laughs> yeah. That would really actually was. be an interesting modification of uh, this particular Council. tournament. Maybe oh. we only allow certain maps. Like, it's, it's, oh, we could do it like GSL style. Game one will always be on this map. Game two will always be on this map. Game yeah. three will always be on this map. That'd be interesting. I don't know if the veto stick got. That'd be interesting. I don't know if the veto. That'd be interesting. I don't That'd be interesting. I don't know if the veto stick got long. I have no idea. I haven't noticed any vetoes in this game, but sometimes it can well, just, take a while to do vetoes. I'm just thinking even from, uh, okay, we only want it on like three small maps. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we can do custom maps as well. The lava is rising every fifth minute. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> well, the lava is rising every fifth minute. You're like, oh, God. Oh, here comes the lava. We can do old maps for sure. Wings of Liberty maps. Metalopolis. Zelnaga Caverns. Ooh. Steps of War. The OGs. Those maps are Big Game terrible. Hunter. Blistering Sands. Blistering Sands is a banger name. Blistering Sands is uh, one of the maps of all time. Double reactor in the main base. Look at this sick oh. maps of all time. Double reactor in the main base. Look at this sick oh. overlord scout though, man. Lathinos coming in. Perfect timing right here. Normal scout timing is between 3.45 and 4 minutes. On the dot. He sees everything. So there's double factory triple barracks. I'm trying to make sense of this. This is a modification of my build. What's your build? For Lathinos, this is a two base Muta. Oh. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. I thought you meant the Terran player. No, 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 no. It's a modification I of my build. I still am not sold on two base Muta rushing. It's so fun. Dude, my win rate against Terran at this at this level, <laughs> and I can even speak to like this particular level is like 72%. Do you go you go Muta into Roach, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. To like it's still Muta into well no 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 no. I I got it from someone on my team, so it is I can't claim build. it. Okay. Who came up with Since it? Since you said it twice. Who who, <laughs> who came up with it on your team? Uh Starkiller. Nah, I think it's a rush you build. Nah. Nah. I think it's a rush you build. Okay. You can you can claim it. It's just like the loco maneuver. I definitely did not come up with that. There we go. You've killed. This a lot is of a stars. little. It, it, it's a little out of order because I usually don't start the roach um, and double Evo Bay until after Mutas pop out. Whoa, Evo but, Bay! I love that. Don't or, know if you uh, set Evo, that intentionally. Evo but Chamber. Evo Bay sounds so good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a little Sorry. disconnected, right? Because the drones in the natural were also a bit later. Yeah, so this, this feels a little disconnected, but it could hit a little bit earlier, too, which is not terrible. But I'm surprised that with uh, Gabriel going for as many barracks as he did, especially with reactors, like, he should be coming across the map. Where's he at on the unit count? He's only got nine Marines so far. Yeah, been it's a factory. Should be coming across the map. Where's he at on the... He Number. Yeah, he's been investing uh, his money into. I think he went double factory, and then he like he's got double factory and triple. It makes no sense. His whole build order is uh, a little out of whack. Cause he also went for a third CC. I thought maybe this is some strange two base push. But Gabriel, I guess, added on the production before the third CC, even though he didn't have the eco for any of the production yet. He also lacks a starport. I mean, he's got one right now, but there's no way he can produce out of all of this with his current eco, unless he doesn't macro for a while. But anyways, he's not an engineering bay. So he's not gonna, yeah, there's no 
No tower coverage right now. It's gonna be a little. No tower. No tower coverage right now. It's gonna be a little bit. So the marines are gonna have to be a part of this. But yeah, I was gonna say get those mutas in there. That's their value decreases very quickly. Didn't we have like 900 gas? Am I crazy? Why aren't there five mutas? Ah, uh, he didn't have the minerals for it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Because so, I was watching that too. I mean, yeah. you really want to try and get to eight. Eight's the kind of the magic number, and then you can. Oh, he stops it. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, and then and then this is what you do behind it. Um, the the idea is that you do behind it. Um, behind it. The the idea is that you get your opponent to and what you do behind it. The the idea is that you get your opponent to invest so much money into towers and turrets because they're going to spend all their money there and they're not getting marines, they're not getting tanks, and then all of a sudden you show up with what 70, 80 supply worth of roaches and oh, oops, they just invested their money elsewhere. Mm. And right now, Gabriel has built exactly zero towers. Yeah, the so bait the is unsuccessful. So far, at least. Yeah, he's relying on a couple of missile, or sorry, a couple of widow mines to set a missile turret here. Gabriel does not care, man. He laughs in the face of danger. So, do you go three base saturation? I would imagine so, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. It's a, it's a little out of order from the way that I do it, but uh, I would. I mean, Lathinos is watching this. Like, I'd love to walk him through this build. This is a fun build. Mm. Yeah. I do. And who enjoy better? It. Than the creator of this build. <laughs> the man that this build order is named after. To explain it to you. This might still be strong enough, actually. There's only two yeah. tanks. And there's not that much bio here. He does have oh, stim Don't pack, lose the mutas for free, though. No 1-1 one, one upgrades, by the way, either. So this is still going to hit like a truck, but... Uh, I... Okay. I don't think I yeah, love I'd this. I'd stay on the third base. Yeah. Okay, uh, ooh, oh, bro, it was could've done. It. Yeah, he could have killed it. Okay. Um, is he going to try and... Is he... Okay. Is he going to try and re-break this natural? That's the main question. He's getting overseers in position. He should really morph in more ravagers here because those roaches are going to die. They're all so low. We have a lot more. Oh god, what are we gonna die? That's oh god, we're gonna go into the meat grinder. I think that's a misplay. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh one one's about to finish too, and that yes. that'd be a really good timing for uh Gabriel. So Latinos yeah, should great. just back off here. Look at this low eco game we've got right now. Forty seven to forty four workers. Yeah, but one guy is triple CC. I mean, we still don't have an orbital yet. <laughs> Please make the orbital comment. <laughs> I haven't even shouted at anybody for not making orbital comments yet today. That's kind of what I expected, to be honest, when we added the 3,500 MMR cap. Going to have to go down to like a 2,500 MMR cap before I need to start shouting at people and their their orbital command timings. Maybe next time. I wonder how low we can... Maybe next time. I wonder how low we can go. Before there's nobody signing up anymore. <laughs> no, I think you're always going to have people signing up. I don't think that'll ever be a problem for you. That'd be kind of fun. The longer that he keeps this third base off the ground, though, uh, the, the better for uh, Latinos here. Mm-hmm. Gabriel's got to get a edge though. Uh, true. He's just keeping himself in the game at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, how many? How many tanks? Just three. He's going a lot of widow mines, which is kind of interesting. Okay, good corrosive balls over there at least, but the one on oh. the main base still dealing so much damage. There's the high ground this, one too. This isn't it. Nope. This isn't the fight. Problem is though, in about a minute, two two finishes, and then there's no moment for fighting. There's no moment for fun. There's no way you're gonna free Marauder without any upgrades on your Roach Ravager. Uh, okay, right he's, he's trying to transition. Uh, infestation Pit. Uh, he, I really think a Baneling Nest would be the, the right option. I don't know if Hydras are the best choice, but they're not terrible. Hmm. 
Going infestation pit. Going infestation pit as well. Ah, he doesn't have the eco. That's the main problem. Oh, he actually kills the comment center right yeah. there. Okay, that's actually huge. Yeah. If he can, if he can defend, he's in a great spot. We just gotta go home. You can't stay there anymore. Go home. Oh, you think more people will sign up if the MMR cap is lower? Huh? Maybe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's still a bit of intimidation, right? But, uh... Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think that base could have been protected. That could have definitely been protected. But he doesn't have that much army. Lithinos is doing a good job spending the little bit of money he's got. But he doesn't have that much. I mean, he does have a decent eco right now at the third base, at least. With the third command. Men Center though, out of the game? Oh my god, he's going all the way over there too with one Medivac. Yeah, that's... Oh, this is still really scary here. Okay, he's got some reinforcements here on the high ground, so that will at least help. <laughs> but, ah, oh, this is... This got oh, way more to... damage done than it should have. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in the end though, Gabriel ends up losing all the units here other than the Medivac and the Vikings. Hmm. Yeah, but he's going to get the third base back up. He's actually parked it at the 9 o'clock position. So th it's a possibility that this could go unscouted. There is an yeah. Overlord nearby, but if Lathinos isn't diligent, he's going to miss that. He hasn't seen it yet. Wouldn't be surprised if he's not going to check that, though, for quite a while. I mean, he might notice an SCV. And now he sees another command center starting up. <laughs> Gavro actually, oh god, rallying. Okay. okay, he must have noticed that, right? There were so many little blips on the radar. Uh, if he sees it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If he's paying attention. Oh, there goes Lithanos. Oh, uh, what's he got? Oh, yep, he's gonna, he's gonna arrive right there. Love it. Oh. Uh, Uh, oh, the MMR max for this tournament is 3,500. All right. Oh, Lithanos using the loco announcer. Let's go, Lithanos. Smart, smart man. That's an extra 1,000 MMR right there, guys. Maybe. Okay, immediately he's running on over in this direction. He's brought some corruptors in the mix. Yeah, I love that. I don't know if I love the idea of running your units into a planetary fortress, though. He's got enough Ravagers there. I think he could uh, get a really good bile if he does the ring on the back where the workers might go to do the mass repair. Like, he could get a ton of damage here. We're going Greater Spire also, by the way. And 10 Overlords. Those Overlords are... He's got Broodlords on the way. I uh, love it. He should have really added on <laughs> less Overlords than the... Oh my god, he made so many Ovis. Should have had more more brute lords here coming up all at once. Anyways, he starts to fight. There are Ooh. a couple Vikings, but not that many. That planetary though is having a grand old time. You were talking about biling over here in a turret ring. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep, not there bad. you go. The Vikings are gone now. Now the brute lords are uncontested. Planetary goes down. Yeah, I, I mean that's really really good damage here. And even though uh, Lathinos is down on supply, if uh, Lathinos is, uh, Lathinos is down on supply. If he can keep those Broodlords in the air, oh, Lathinos is down on supply. If he can keep those Broodlords in the air, there's just enough on the ground to be able to bully this back. Not having a third base is just devastating for Gabriel. There is no more Antiardo. Um, more Antiardo. He's making Vikings again. Lathinos made. <laughs> He's going a few corruptors again right now. He's going infestors too. Okay. Oh no, that's got to be an accident. <laughs> that's wow. a misclick. Maybe he's just a god at micro rushy. Why you started laughing? No, oh, because it's the same misclick I'd make all the time. Oh okay. Well, the brute lords don't have any units that can counter them just yet. The Vikings did pop out, I believe. Yeah, there they are. He should have really not morphed literally all of them in, but there should oh. be a few Corruptors again. Did he bile them? He oh biled one. Got a hit off. 
Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> eventually that means the Zerg gets pushed back. Corruptors Ooh, are gonna show up right there. now. Oh, Bio Army stimming down. Gabriel sniping all the units here as well. Trying his oh. very best to go after the Brutes too. He gets underneath and he's gonna clean them up. That's unfortunate. I mean, good for Gabriel. That's it's the right it was the right move. There's gonna be gonna one have three god like here fungal here rushing, and you're gonna disappoint whatever you said, or you're gonna be so disappointed about what you said about that infester. I'm ready. I'm ready to be disappointed. Like, what about like, this one swarm house? How do you feel about that one? Oh yeah, that one's definitely tactical. <laughs> that one's by design. Yeah, of course, of course. It's slowly one gonna whittle down that command center at the bottom of the map. That's the plan. Yeah, man, I remember heart of the swarm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's gonna need one banger fungal though. Oh, scan. Oh. Okay. You know what? The infester has already scared Four? away most of this fungal. Come Boom, on. baby. I mean, the yeah. army's kind of green, so you know it's hard to notice. There's the swarmos too. You no. said what? Oh, he gets the larva <laughs> too. <laughs> That's amazing. I end, love though, it. Gabriel has got way too many units here. He hasn't necessarily won the game yet because he hasn't been making any units. Queen? Reinforcing roaches are probably gonna clean this up, but he hasn't been macroing at all. Got It'd be nice if, what? if uh, he could pick off the Thor. That would actually be a really good value, but uh, I think he's gonna get away. Yep. Gabriel is stuck. Oh, third guys. base. Third base is set up too. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. get a fourth as well. The production is really small. Yeah, and that's the problem here. He doesn't have... He hasn't been on top of it either, so he's got well, he's got a whole lot of income, but he's got uh, he hasn't been on top of it either, so he's got very good upgrades. He's got a great set of units here in general, but he needs more stuff. Okay, well, he sees the hatchery here on the right side, so at least he's gonna be able to clean, uh, clean that one up. Yeah, so he's on three barracks, three barracks, two factory. He made all of these production structure at like the four minute mark, and he hasn't added on any since. No, don't just send it all in. Oh. GG. Ah. Uh, GG. Game three. So I think he had a couple of. Uh... So I think he had a couple of uh, broodlords there still at the end. Yeah, yeah. He must have had a couple. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Okay. Hello. Hello. to game three. <laughs> Hello. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. That means hello. we're going to game three. <laughs> what? Sorry. I just said hello. Oh yeah, Rashi, you're still the there, You're in the wall. This is where Rushy lives. You give him yeah. a microphone. You give him a little room. That's how you could create a, a happy rushy. Thank you. Thank you for always. Thank you for always providing. Already. Rushy is in the shame. Already. Rushy is in the shame corner? No, 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 no. That is not the shame corner. No, no, no. Uh, I'm actually let's... getting kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm not type anymore. No referee? Nah. We can make Rushy the to... referee. Rushy the. Oh. At your place. And. That's not Macedonia. Yeah, that is. 
But the, the, the... Yeah, it just says MK on my screen. Doesn't show oh. the flag. Alrighty, guys. Here. From MK? From M against Rem... Yep, winner moves on. Yes. This was upper bracket, right? Is what you said? Yes. Yep. Ooh. From MK? Remcha. From MK? Is that Mas That's not Macedonia. Yeah, that is. But the, the, the fancy... Fl yeah, it just says MK. I'm Interesting. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Game number three. Ancient Cistern is map number one. Interesting. Interesting. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Game number three. Ancient Cistern is map number one. Or three. One. Ah, numbers. It's top right and corner. Lithanos. Bottom left. We have Gabriel. I'm starting to get a little tired, Rushy. Yeah. Yeah. If you need you to get... step away, by the way, to get some food, that's totally fine. Nah, I'm good. I'm here for the long haul, man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If anything, I was thinking about, like, ooh, I could door dash something. Mm. This would be an gotta... excellent moment for a sponsor segue if we had one. But we don't. Dude, if I could get one of the Mexican restaurants in my place to sponsor me, I'd, I'd eat their food <laughs> on stream every single day. Every day. <laughs> You wear their shirt. Every meal. You do everything, man. Mm, that's totally fine. Nah, I'm good. I'm here for the long haul. Oh, man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If anything, I was thinking about, like, ooh, I could. The long haul, man. If anything, I felt like, ooh, I could, ooh, I could door dash something. Mm. This would be an. Mmm. Hmm. This would be an gotta, excellent moment for a sponsor segue if we had one, but we don't. Dude, if I could get one of the Mexican restaurants in my place to sponsor me, I'd I'd eat their food <laughs> on stream every single day, every day. <laughs> you wear their shirt. Every meal. You do everything, man. Well, we do have Streamlabs, right? Streamlabs does sponsor my content, but I don't think they do delivery wherever she lives. They ah, they, they do digital delivery. Meanwhile, Loco's been eating delivery. the entire stream. I do eat a lot, yes. Stop calling me out on it, jeez. I feel like I eat a I lot lately. I don't know why. I've started doing grocery delivery. Ooh, nice. I found out that the grocery store I usually go to, um, if you, you can get like their membership. It's like a hundred bucks a year. I feel like I eat a lot on it, jeez. I feel like I eat a lot lately. I don't know why. Stop calling me out on it. Jeez. I feel like I eat a lot lately. I've started doing... Ooh, nice. I found out that the grocery store I usually go to, um, if you... You can get, like, their membership. It's like a hundred bucks a year. And you can get free delivery on groceries if you buy more than, like, $25 worth of groceries. Ooh. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, we have... That is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yeah, we have grocery delivery over here too, but... I mean, Laurent does most of the grocery shopping. And with most, I mean mm. like 99% of it. Um, <laughs> and she, Dude, you have same-day deliver delivery on electronics. That still wows me. Yeah, I don't know. I would, If I was in charge of groceries, I would be ordering it every time. I'd order like the same list of food every week, I'm pretty sure. I'd be very boring. Yeah. Well, is that what me. you do? You just have the same <laughs> list every week? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I would like min max. I feel like I would like min max my grocery list. And you know, since you're not going to the store, you can't be baited into buying more stuff that you don't need either. Yeah, yeah. That's an actual game changer, though. Oh yeah. Like you no, pretty I've, much I've always been... grab something you don't need when you're at the grocery store. I've been actively trying to spend less at the grocery store just to save money here and there and mm -hmm. like get, that's why i wanted to start doing the grocery delivery because yeah i'm not tempted 25 dollars worth of groceries and you do not take them 
25 dollars worth of groceries and you did not take them yourself well i mean <laughs> if i go it's to the bait, grocery Rushy, store Rushy, it's bait rushy you can bait it what he's baiting you man he's baiting you into saying something stupid don't take the bait rushy oh well i was gonna say i mean i live 10 miles away from the grocery store oh so. okay well that's actually quite a while Thank you, by the way. Anti-diarrhea, gifting a sub to a chicken. <laughs> oh. Thank you, by the way. Anti-a chicken. <laughs> Pizza rolls and Doritos. A chicken. Pizza <laughs> rolls and Doritos. Yeah, you don't you don't put pizza rolls and Doritos very frequently in your digital grocery list. I don't think. Maybe maybe no, Rushy no, no. does. I don't know. No, no, like no, a, no, no, a freezer no. full of pizza rolls. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dude, now I just need uh, an air fryer and then I could have all my <laughs> Dude, now I just need uh, an air fryer and then I could have all my dreams come true. 13-year-old me would be going crazy. An air fryer? You can get an air fryer, but she does her <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like 13 year old me would be like excited to just see a freezer full of like pizza rolls and an air fryer. Oh, that yeah. I get to use. He'd go crazy. I named my clean, I named my clean bot after my wife. My marriage <laughs> almost ended. What? <laughs> what? What does it your even Roomba? mean? Your Roomba? You named your Roomba? The oh, same name as your Roomba. wife. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> oh. Very dangerous decision. I, okay. I I think yeah no I could appreciate the joke I get it but I can imagine a lot of people uh, <laughs> do not appreciate that all too much. No. <laughs> Giving your Roomba the same name as your wife. Dangerous. Very dangerous. No, no. If I lived three blocks away from the grocery store, like, oh, absolutely. I would just, like, walk to the grocery store and do that. I would not deliver. But, like, I live ten minutes away from the nearest grocery store. So, for them to... There's no shame in taking deliveries for groceries. It's very convenient. We, uh, we've done it a bunch of times. It works really well, man. I think, actually, not being tempted to buy stuff you don't plan on buying is a great feature. Like, they, they still try really hard to sell you stuff in the app and all that, right? Like, they're still like, Are you sure yeah, you don't want pizza rolls? We <laughs> saw you order pizza rolls a couple times already. Are you sure you don't want them this time? You're like, eh, maybe. But, but still. Like, being able to save your grocery list so, you're like, you don't have to think about it. You can just, you know, order the exact... You can have, like, four or five presets, right? Of, like, this is my weekly groceries this time around. And this is my weekly groceries. You can just pick one of your lists and order it. It takes, like, three seconds. It's worth it, man. It depends as well on if you enjoy shopping, right? It depends as well on if you enjoy shopping, right? But like going to the grocery store and then bringing it all back home, it can easily take like an hour and I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I have things to do. If I love doing it though. <laughs> I got a life to live. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know, if, if you love doing it, uh, fair enough. Takes you like 15 minutes, lucky. Takes you, takes you like 15 minutes, lucky. Well, I live close to a bunch of grocery stores too, but it's, I don't know. I, uh, see, yeah, it still, still don't mind taking delivery. See, here's but. the secret benefit for me, because I'm a school teacher and I can't go to the grocery store without seeing 17 Ooh. people that I know that are all going to be like, oh, oh God, yeah. right. And I, Delivery. See, here's the secret benefit for me, because I'm a school teacher. And I can't go to the grocery store without seeing 17 people that I know that are all going to be like, oh, oh God, yeah. right. And then you have to be nice to the parents, too, even when the kid uh, is like, you know, the bit of a shit. You know, the bit of a shit, bit of a shit. The bit of a shit.
Like, you're like, yep. oh god. Yeah. The bit of a. You're like, you're like, yep. Oh god. Yep. And then mm. by the time I say hi, and like, oh, I got these groceries, I better go. Oh, it's suddenly an that's hour like later. an hour, man. If you have to make yeah, small man. talk with like a dozen people every time. <sighs> yeah, that's a good point. Time? <sighs> yeah. Time? <sighs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. That I didn't even consider. Yo, hey, teacher, there's a, there's you eat food? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't just live at school? <laughs> you consume calories? That's insane. That's uh, just like me. Wow. Okay, so there's actually a game happening. Isn't it crazy? It's a tournament, Rishi. I don't think it's that crazy, but good corrosive balls over here. Got to clean all of up these, or he's going to clean all of these units oh. up. Oh, yeah, he what? got this. Very nice. Very nice defense so far. Mm hmm. <laughs> Loco can't go out with be without being recognized as a Dutch celebrity. I literally never get recognized in real life. It happened like once or twice, so not literally never. But, you know, whenever somebody recognizes me in real life, I fanboy more over them than they over me. So I don't think it really counts. It's true. When I was the one person at the airport he recognized, he got so excited. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Suddenly I see this, like, you know, massive shadow looming in the distance. 12 feet tall giant runs in my direction. You know, I, Loco, you never go out. Never that's runs. Right. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't go out. Maybe that's one of the issues. So, um, hey, super awkward. I got to mute for just a moment. I'll be right back. Sure. Remember, Loco loves Chet more than Chet loves Loco. Probably true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a reasonable thing to say. Sure. Remember, Loco loves Chet more than Chet loves I didn't ban my own nephew. <laughs> Look, you, you can't just start... It's a reasonable thing to say. I didn't ban my own nephew. <laughs> Look, you, you can't just start... This is like a headline in a news article right now, Blue Hair. A couple weeks ago, my nephew joined my stream for the very first time. He decided... Headline in a news article right now, Blue Hair. A couple weeks ago, my nephew joined my stream for the very first time. He decided he makes a Twitch account because he just turned 13, I think. So he decided, yo, I'm gonna make a Twitch account and I'm gonna go to my uncle's stream, right? First thing he does over here, he's like, hey, can he does over here. He's like, hey. He's like, he's like, He's like, hey, he's like, hey, can somebody give me a sup? Please give me a sup. He's my uncle. Give me a sup. Somebody give me a sup. He's my uncle. Guys, Loco is my uncle. Give me a sup. Give me a sup. So. Sup, give me a sup. So I. So I, I did put him just like I would with everybody else, guys. I did give him a 10 minute timeout, yes. But he doesn't know it was me. And I still haven't talked to him. Um, Loco is my boyfriend, please give me a second to talk to him. Um, I still haven't talked to him. Uh, Loco is my boyfriend. Loco is my boyfriend. 
I still haven't talked to him. Loco is my boyfriend. Please give me a sub. You're already a sub, Dita Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I know somebody was going to give him a sub as well. Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I know somebody was going to give him a sub as well, for sure. Someone was going to give him a sub too. <laughs> Whoa. I just disconnected my own headphones. That is not great. Oh god. Breaking hardware life on stream. How does this go? Does it go back in? Sub too. Whoa. <laughs> Hello? Come again. Fine. I like how somebody wasn't going to say anything about Loco, if I sub to you, would. Loco. <laughs> Loco, if I sub to you, will you be my uncle? I don't think that's how it works, but sure. In most channels, if you say gift me, you get timed out for a day. I don't have a lot of- In most channels, if you say gift me, you get timed out for a day. I don't have a lot of rules on my channel, man, but- in most channels, if you say gift me, you get timed out for a day. I don't have a lot of rules on my channel, man, but I'm the only one that gets to do sub begging, okay? Guys, even though we haven't been talking about the game for a while, Gabriel is. Guys, sub begging, okay? Guys, guys. Even though we haven't been talking about the game for a while, Gabriel is making the move of a lifetime, okay? Gabriel probably thinks we've been talking about his amazing gameplay for the last 10 minutes. And Gabriel, I know you're gonna watch this VOD at some point. I just wanna say sorry. Um, we haven't talked about you. Um, 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 we haven't talked about you at all, but, um, there's there's but there's three battle cruisers coming up right now. Ultra's in the meantime on the other side of the map. Great indicator that he has absolutely no idea. In our defense, we have been doing this for a while now. Okay, um, <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. These <laughs> He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know what's going on. These battle cruisers are gonna be a disaster when they do show up. Okay, I'm back. Rushing. There's battle cruisers coming up. There's cattle bruisers. Let's go. Yeah, man. There's suddenly a whole lot of them on the production tab. I noticed them right away as he started them up. <clears throat> Definitely. All it all it took was me just to step away for a moment. Yeah, man. <laughs> I just I couldn't look while it ha happened. So now that it now that it is happening, it's totally fine. Thank you, thank you, Rushy, for stepping away for a moment and making epic things happen. You're welcome. My God, he's got three Metavex and about seventy units. This is how it goes, man. The cheapest local airline, stuffing everybody in the plane. There's not a lot of room, but. You better get yeah. it done. Oh god. Well, you know what? This is just this is not bad. Gabriel's just opening up more supply for more battle cruisers. That that's fair. That's fair. I mean, yeah, there are uh, ultras on the the production tab, but mm -hmm. those can't touch cattle bruisers. I just love how perfectly still they are. They're not grouped. They are just there. <laughs> <laughs> they just exist. They are operational, and that's all they need to be. These are the monks of the Terran world right here, man. They are happy to just exist. They've been contemplating this for a long time, and they are still. Look at him, new guy. Just like the rest of them. <laughs> new cattle bruiser, who dis? Um, so I know some of you are thinking, look, there's Hydras. Hydras are pretty good, right? No, Hydras suck. Maybe plus three Hydras can be decent, but I don't think Hydras are gonna be a great call. Battle cruisers, no, you gotta stay hidden. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, that should go down. Tap it. Please. Tap it. 
Okay. Phew. Point at it. Actually, this many? There's not that much on the ground. I mean, where are we oh, going? Okay. Whoa. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh. Interesting decision. Tactical replacement right here. You love to see that, man. Zerk was like, what? Hey, he's leaving! No, he's not. Literally just reappeared in the same location. Okay, so... Ultras take a while, don't they? This is without chitinous as well. That's finishing up still. <laughs> this is uh, this is worrisome for the Zerg player because if Gabriel decides to just leap across the map, I think he could get a ton of damage done. Mm. Not not that much that shoots up, and he's building two spires, but they're only halfway done. Yeah, two spires and nine spores. He's crossing his fingers and hoping that that is where Gabriel is gonna go. He's like, yo, I've got five bases, but this is the one. This is the one that he hates the most. And it turns out, eh, wrong. The closest by one is the one he's gonna go for. Who would have ever expected such a thing? The double spire, though, is gonna finish up. That's the scariest part, right? He must have split them up as well, I hope. Yeah, one in the main, one in the natural. A tactical, a tactical sidestep. Hell yeah. Oh, he's gonna get Neuroparasite as well. There are six battle cruisers on the production tab, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, that's what we call a problem in the StarCraft II business. He's gonna have to get on out of here. Does he have Yamato gun? He does not. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, I just finished up a little while ago. Um, seventeen corruptors are about to spawn. He can maybe get a a couple of those um weapon refits on them, right? A couple of uh, Yamatos, but gonna have to run away. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. Okay, one down. I think he could probably. Oh, okay, that's really leave. good right there for Terran. Except for that one pilot, but, you know, screw him. Yeah. That. Uh, so, and, and now he's total. He's at 12. There's a lot of cattle bruisers with plus Ooh. two attack. So, you were talking about the previous Bell Cruiser <laughs> formation. <laughs> what about this, Rushy? <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually kind of X sick. marks the spot, baby. Yeah, that was beautiful, man. They were all doing a little prayer right there before the battle. That's insane. No. The post-battle meeting. Well, I don't know about these uh, twenty-something roaches. Yeah. Oh, if they if they went to the bottom right-hand corner, they'd have a, a a field day. Yeah. But no such luck. Nope, they're just gonna run back into the third base location again. Okay. There are more. Okay. Oh, okay. There are. Okay. There are. Okay. There are more battle cruisers than corruptors, pretty much. Uh, Lithano, is that ain't it, dude? Yeah, no, you're gonna lose basically. Yeah, half nope, you guys stay in on it. Oh. Ah, and here it is, Terran. OP. Like, what are you supposed to do to stop this, Loco? The, the conglomerate at it again. He doesn't usually watch my stream, but as soon as the battle cruisers are called on, he'll randomly tune in. That's true. A little bit of a scan as well. How much do you think these battle cruisers care about creep? They don't care. <laughs> nah. There are seven investors on the way. Yeah. Seven. Oh, and they've all got neural. A banger of a neural. Yeah. Seven of them. They don't spawn though with uh, neural parasite energy. So uh, that's a did bit he of get the issue. upgrade? Yeah, he's he got the upgrade. Yeah. Oh, you're right, but it, that's just enough for a, a parasite or a parasite or, or not a fungal. A parasite, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, fungal. Uh, Roach is over here being annoying. If he can buy enough time, it'd be pretty great. But the Marines and the Marauders are actually really powerful. GD. Uh, Gabriel with the mass battle much. cruiser. Very nice. We didn't talk about the first 10 minutes of the game, but I gotta say the last seven were excellent. I don't know what happened in the first <laughs> 10, though. There's somebody out there very... What happened in the first 10, though? There's somebody out there very upset at us. Why didn't the cancers talk about the video Can game? The cancers, please? Why didn't the cancers talk about the video Can game? The cancers, please talk about the game? Please 
us. Why didn't the characters talk about the video Can game? Can the characters please talk about the game? <laughs> Don't they realize? <laughs> Don't they realize that there was one game? The game? Don't they realize that there was one dro drone that got killed? Like, that just completely changes everything! True. And they True. missed it! My green screen is not working as well anymore, guys, because it's getting darker. Oh, in hello. real life. I think it's time to turn off the chroma key. <sighs> Bam. Rushy's gone. The green wall is back. Yo, have a good one, Relay Threeness. Thank you for stopping by. Or stopping by. You've been here for ages. Hey, can I get a sub to Loco's Cousins Twitch? been here for ages. Hey, can I get a sub to Loco's Cousins Twitch? <laughs> is, is that going to be the new lore? I'm your cousin. <laughs> did you did you did you hear the story? I just talked to or I just Wait, no. I must have that must have been when so I So my cousin away. just or my nephew rather, he turned 13 recently, so I made a Twitch account. And the first thing he does oh. when he gets to my stream is beg for a sub over and over <laughs> and over again. And I timed him out. <laughs> and he still doesn't know that it's me. Oh, I think, okay, I think that's one funny. of the mods probably. He probably assumes one of the mods. Hit him with the hammer. Can't believe the mods did that. Oh, Can't man. believe you guys. So why'd you mods? Hit him with the hammer. Can't believe the mods did that. Oh Can't believe you guys. So why'd you... Ba -ba -ba. Lost nephew? I don't believe you. Me or... Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I don't believe you guys. So why'd you... Ba -ba -ba. Loco, it's me, your long lost nephew? I don't believe you. Thank you very much. Do it. Shirt, I'm Loco's son. That's. <laughs> oh. This is our, like, winner of the top side. Yes. Right? Or is this bottom uh, right? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So this is the round all five of the lower bracket. And the winner, the loser ends up losing. So this is our. Oh. <laughs> so this is our like winner of the top side. Yes. Right? Or is it go to in my life? Uh, no, 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 no. This is not go to in my life. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not. This is at the bottom end. So this is the round of. No, 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 no. This is not. This is at the bottom end. So this is the round of five of the lower bracket. And the winner of this goes up against Lithanos. The loser ends up losing. And they're eliminated. The loser ends lower. up losing. <laughs> Lower bracket quarter. Sure. I'm gonna go with that. Sure. That, that's what Nuke told me. Well, us. Oh, well, if Nuke told you, then then it's definitely correct. Guys, here we go. Our next best of three series. Spawning right here in the top left-hand corner of Dragon Skills. We have Captain Fish. In Clan Fisher. Hmm. And in the bottom right, the orange Protoss opponent. This is Jibba. Jibba. Guys, here we go. And then it's definitely correct. Guys, here we go. Our next best of three series. Spawning right here in the top left-hand corner of Dragon Skills. We have Captain Fish in Clan Fisher. Hmm. And in the bottom right, the orange Protoss opponent. This is Jibba. 
Jibba. We haven't casted either of these two guys yet. Curious to see what they've been up to. Um, we're pretty deep into the tournament right now, though, so both of these players have certainly had a couple of wins. But maybe more importantly, they already had a loss as well, so... Loser of the series. Out of the event. Winner of the series. Had a loss as well, so... Loser of the series. Out of the event. Winner of the series. Gotta be moving on. To phase yeah, Lithanos. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's true. What is up with the double gateway approach here today? We've seen a lot of double gateway. That is interesting. That is interesting. And also, this this structure is really fascinating to me. The structure? Yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever seen oh, the... the vertical build? Yeah, the vertical build like that. Ooh. That is very true. <laughs> Second pylon over here as well. Ooh. Chibbit doesn't Dario. have anything to hide, okay? Like, you're gonna have to put your tech structure as well. Ooh. Chibbit doesn't Dario. have anything to hide. As well. Ooh. Chibbit doesn't Dario. have anything to hide, okay? Like, you're gonna have to put your tech structure anywhere or, or somewhere. So, if you're gonna have to put it out there, he's not somebody who's gonna have to hide it. He's very direct. And if I'm not mistaken, Chib actually, his flag, I believe, was Dutch. So, Dutch people known to be direct. This guy, he's not hiding anything. Here's my main base. Go ahead, have a look. Now go back home. And Loco, big shout out to Vendariel for winning the full time nerd t shirt. Nice. From www.loco.shop. <clears throat> nice. It's a good place. It's a great place. Hey, in the meantime. We Co.shop. It's a good place. It's a great place. Hey, in the meantime. We've got ourselves, um... Yes! We've got ourselves, uh, um... Yes! We've got ourselves a thing happening. We haven't seen a lot of cheese yet today. But apparently we should have been casting these guys. Remember when I said he had nothing to hide? Scratch all of that. It is a little bit funky though, because he made so much infrastructure and he's like... Pretend to go for an expansion too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 ruining the perfect Dutch image, but it is what it is. Yeah, he's also playing in orange. Very good point. Yes. Rushi, as a huge fan of the Netherlands yourself, how do you feel? Good point. Yes. Rushi, as a huge fan of the Netherlands yourself, how do you feel about this threat? I still don't believe that they beat us in the World Cup. So. I mean, that's. I mean, Just that can't happen. really be a surprise. <laughs> I'm disputing that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like watched no. the game. They know the real result. <laughs> My favorite reaction to that was on Twitter when very upset Americans were like, but like, if Americans actually cared about football, we would have beaten <laughs> yeah. you easy. Because then, you know, the good players would have actually been playing. But now since all the good players are playing sports that actually matter, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, alright there, man. Some Because then, you know, the good players would have actually been playing, but now since all the good players are playing sports that actually matter... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, alright there, man. Some strong copium. <laughs> He's probably right. Yeah, you know what? They're probably right. A country with like 350 million people should probably be able to beat a country that has like, you know, not even 10% of that. Or even 5% of that, man. Anyhow. Oh, math. Oh, oh God. I, I, I lost a five gift, gift sub bet to you on that. <laughs> I forgot about that. That is very true. <laughs> oh, I wait, wait why did you recall at home? Hold up right now. Why? Huh? We have to. Okay. To stop that? Oh. Matter of fact, drop scary, dude. That's fair. Look at it. It's horrifying. Lasers! Oh. Bzzz. Okay. Okay, it is going to target on. He's going to whittle Oh, it actually might get hit. it. Yeah, no. <laughs> that doesn't have anything yet. You should have made the beam thick. 
It would have been worse, but at least the intimidation might have forced him to drop those, those widow mines off earlier. <laughs> nice! Good split. Oh, second yeah, one careful, though. Careful, the second one never fired! 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 Second yeah, one careful, though. careful, the second one never fired! The second one never fired! Remember what I said was a good split? It was if you would have split just a little better. <laughs> 19! You're better off not microing. Oh, now he made the beam thick. Okay, um... <clears throat> Oh, that's because they're oh. one of the same control group as this one. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, there are scenarios where you're better off not microing. Yeah. Wow. And you were doubting the double meta effect drop. Yo, that's Mr. Fair. Serral, thank you for the raid as well. We've been getting all the raids today. Thank you very yeah. much. For those of you... Thank you very yeah. much. For those of you from Serral's... We're casting uh, the fifth viewer tournament, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we're pretty deep into the event right now. We've been live for about five hours or so. This is one of the lower bracket matches. All of the players in this tournament are at most 3,500 MMR. So that is about the equivalent of, you know, high platinum, low diamond. So slightly worse than Serral, just, just a little bit. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, obviously. Um, just a little bit, but it's been a lot of fun. Obviously, the strategies are, are questionable at times. We've had some crazy matches today, though. That's about, yeah, these guys combined are about one Serral. <laughs> Literally. Actually, <laughs> Serral's MMR is quite a bit higher than both of these guys combined. <laughs> Half uh, of Serral's yeah. MMR is about the cap, yeah. <laughs> yep. If Serral was limited to a mouse, he would still no, wipe No, he everybody. would beat these guys with just a mouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, he would wipe everyone. <laughs> for sure, but... Anyways, thank you very much, Serral. Hope you guys decide to stick around for a little bit. Let's... A little bit. For a little bit. Let's see. Um, I've got a feeling though that this game is pretty much over. We just had a massive widow mine drop. Um, that would have been um, that would have been smaller if Protals that would have been smaller if Protals did not micro. Oh. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Protals did micro. Nasty. Lasers. Yeah. So what do you do right now as Protals? More. Sh I mean. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's, An additional that's shield it, battery. That's, that's it right the there. Call. We that's found the, the solution. I mean, you should be poking a lot more with these uh, void rays, but the addition of the cyclones have made this complicating. I just, unfortunately, like Captain Fish just needs to go out and kill this, so that way we go to game two. Because otherwise, yeah. Jibba will feel comfortable enough. Like, okay, I've still got the structures. I've still got my void rays. I'm, I'm okay. I can come back. We still haven't seen the. Um... The cyclone upgrade, which is a bit of a shame. That would have been really nice. Red LEDs are better than no LEDs. Everybody knows that. It makes them deal a lot more damage over time, which is uh, very helpful. Either way, though, at this point, he can just, yeah. This is great here for Captain Fish. This is the right move. Going for effect drops. He doesn't really need his army anymore. And since, obviously, Protoss is out in the middle of the map, there's nothing to defend at home. Well, there's probes. They like to run and group and stack up together, but... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, imagine what another two, uh, two mind drop would do. Yeah. Gamer Cyclones, that's what we need. Yeah, if, if we can get some Gamer Cyclones here, with red LEDs, that would be sick. Oh, this actually could be nasty. Mm. Are we gonna commit? Are we gonna commit here, Captain Fish? Is that what we're gonna do? We are. We are. Drop in the main base. 
And this is gonna force chip his hand. He could recall again if he wants to, but like, what are you gonna achieve with a recall? Other than sitting back for longer. Well, there we go. Oh, he did? Yeah. Void rig going down. Now this is the moment where you can push with the rest of your army, take out everything here in the middle of the map too. Or just sit in the base and do absolutely nothing. Oh, there he goes. GG. Oh, okay. Chip realizes there's no way. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. GG. That was obviously a little bit of an un that was obviously mm -hmm. that was obviously a little bit of an unfortunate moment there with the uh, the medevac drop in the main base. Ah, uh, sometimes the viewer count takes a moment to... It doesn't, uh, like, immediately... Ah, uh, sometimes the viewer comment. I know a lot of people. And I <laughs> oh my god, you and you, you and you. Hey, nice. Oh Congratulations. I'm the I did that with Water of Warcraft. Oh my god, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even believe this. What's up? I so I told you I was gonna like try to queue up early so that way I could get into the game. Mm -hmm. I logged right in. <laughs> no queue time. No queue time right now for D4? No. Interesting. That's, this should be a prime crazy. time as well, because it's seven PM right now. Hmm. Yeah, and it's uh, early right now? Yeah, and it's is Rushy playing, playing D4, D4 while? Oh. Is Rushy playing, playing D4, D4 while streaming? Yeah, man, Rushy is an amazing multitasker. No, no, no. I can't do that. It's so boring. Nobody's playing anymore. I heard it's pretty fun so far. It's it's very good. Very good. I've enjoyed it. Alrighty, guys, here we go. I've enjoyed it. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Neo Humanity. Chiba, is he gonna go for the vertical build again? I would imagine mm. the next gateway is gonna go down over there. He didn't never he never really needed that second gateway at the front, by the way. If you wanted to go for that build, um, second gateway doesn't really do you much. But yeah, there's only one pro out on the Ooh. <laughs> That's what he was trying to do. There's only one pro on the map. It's now uh just being a little bit toxic here. And it works. <laughs> that was That was a gamer move. I think we can call that a gamer move right there. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. It it was an expensive gamer move, but <laughs> Well, you know, I was going to go matter. for his uh, Gonna go for his uh, proxy again. So you have to think that fish is gonna scout this time, right? Um, we once again have the. We once again have the double gateway and the cyber core at the front. Cyber core is late this time. At least it feels late. Second, uh, all of this feels a little bit funky. Anyways, um, Captain. F um, Captain Fish is indeed gonna scout the exact same thing, so he should. He Anyways, Captain Fish is indeed gonna scout the exact same thing, so he should. He should look around the map right now, for sure. He didn't click on that, he sees the second gateway, but he didn't- Oh, he never saw the second gas either. He's pretending to go for the fake expand. The pretend expand, once again. I like the idea of what Shibit is doing, but he's doing a pretty unoptimal version of this build. Like, why are we why? dropping all of this first? Yeah. Get at the Stargate first. Okay. Here's Captain. Oh. So, uh... <laughs> what's up, guys? Yeah. What's, what's going on here? 
Reaper in the main base, being obnoxious. All the probes are pulled. Warcraft 3 surround, not a problem. Okay. Stargate <laughs> does get planted, but like normally the first Stargate unit is supposed to pop in like 30 seconds from here at latest. And this Stargate isn't even gonna be done. <laughs> One Marine to rule them all. Dude, that probe can fight. <laughs> yeah, that probe, man, look at him. He's got shield batteries on his back. You can micro all you like. <laughs> Get him! Get him, Probius! Get him! Probius? Uh, Depth's gonna show up. Okay, fine. Dead. Boom, boom. Oh. That's his arm right there. God. <laughs> Jeez. It stood upright. <laughs> okay, no, no. Chat, backspace. Control A, delete. Whatever you're typing right now, don't do it. <laughs> what would they be typing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, get the Void Rays out. Uh, why is this all so slow? Especially since your opponent knows it's there. <laughs> yes! Why is everything so slow? Oh. Please he do this. No thing. longer armed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. We made a Void Ray. It is only about 45 seconds... No, about a minute late. We're about 25% delayed on everything right now. Okay, we have oh. red LEDs this game. The number of the shield batteries that are already here is just incredible. <laughs> There's, just, there's nothing for them to defend. The one probe. What do you mean? I was gonna say, there's two units here, man. That's a lot. Are we gonna see the gamer LEDs, though? I really want to see the gamer LEDs. Hmm, we're not gonna see the gamer LEDs. And this time around, I don't even hate the position on these shield batteries as much. I still hate them, kind of. They should really be in a range of firing and healing at the same time, you know what I mean? But... They need to be a little closer. Ooh, okay, the Adept in the natural. That's at least a nice little bit of uh, harassment there, despite the fact that it's just one worker. But still something. Yep. Supply Depot burned down, but there's a second layer to this wall off over here for the Terran player, so Adept is not going to be able to just go in. We're once more going to go for the Widow Mind Drop. <laughs> How many kills do you think is going to get, Rishi? Give me a number. Uh, I didn't think it was going to get that many the first time around. Uh, oh, this is going to be a really, really good pick here. Losing the Cyclone was a good bit of damage. Being inside a range, you were talking about that earlier, being in range of the shield batteries for protection and offense worked out better this time. But I'm going to have to guess 10 workers. If he decides to recall the Void Ones again, this would be a problem. Ooh. Dude, the club the is bumping. The Widow Mines are just looking at the Supernova's men or the Supernova Men's Club over there in the distance. Before they go <laughs> into Loco, the main focus, base. Focus. <laughs> this is better. This is better than last ten. game. You said ten, yeah. Ten is no micro. Yeah, now he micros. This is okay. That was the most delayed reaction I've seen in a while. Um uh, But you know, he microed last time, lost 19 probes. Now he didn't micro, lost 10. Oh, that's Protal's amazing. Protal's problems right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they have less APM overall. <laughs> the, the more they use, the worse they play. Yo, Captain oh. Fish is actually pretty fast. Ooh, dang. Uh, do we have meme beams? No, we don't. We don't have gamer LEDs either. We have Vikings, but no Stimpak. Um, Captain Fish is... Um, Captain Fish, um, Captain Fish is very close to beating all of this. So, by the way, he's hiding a, uh, a command center down south. What am I drop again? But he is making a couple of mistakes. Oh, oh no! We're microing. We're microing. Ooh! Okay. Oh, we did it again. Okay, this. Th oh! <laughs> Jim is not gonna do it twice. Dude, this oh, is the Captain. Is oh he? my God, this is a Terran oh, dream. No. Okay, that wasn't. He as could bad have as it retargeted could have the middle of that clump, but. My god. Captain Fish, when he closes his eyes at night, this is what he sees. <laughs> He's just gonna hear the sound of a widow mine. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, second Stargate. 
Um, I think Chipper can win this overall if he continues like this, but he needs to get it done soon. He now thinks that he's playing one base Protoss. Or, sorry, one base Protoss. Or two base Protoss versus one base Terran. I mean, he's got like seven workers. Um. The pro um The probes are still The probes are still sitting there. <laughs> oh that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No Oh no No Oh <laughs> Oh no Oh no No Oh <laughs> the problem is, man, this base over here has been up for a while too. Captain Fish has got money for yeah. days. This is this is not great. Oh, it's gonna get more. Oh, Jibba. Nah, there's nothing here. Nothing is clumped up together. There you go. Just leave him here. Just <laughs> AFK it. Yeah. <laughs> Chip has decided this is all the money he's gonna get. Two fountain cannons coming up. That will seal the oh, deal. No. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, they got it. Oh no, they're close. Retarget, retarget, oh, no. retarget, 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 yes. Oh my god. So they found the base at least oh. over there. Yeah, but at what cost? His sanity. Yeah. <laughs> That's worth it. Here comes oh. Captain Fish, man. Stimpak still not done yet. Oh, it doesn't even matter. He's got lock on. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It, okay, no, there's only one there. I was like, is this bait? Um, I mean, it is kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. Oh, ooh, ooh, army. Oh, god. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't it. Oh, god. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, Stimpak finishes, and I think this. Uh, uh, Stimpak finishes, and I think this is inevitably fine. Oh, yeah. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Captain Fish yeah, GG. playing a really nice game. Sorry, guys. No, it's no. all good, Shiva. <laughs> Chiba probably thinking, uh, he probably listened to us cast some games earlier today. No, no. <laughs> probably thinking we're being very mean to him as well. No, oh. good effort right there from Chiba. Didn't end up working out, the GG's. Well done, well done. That was well played, that was fine. GG's. GG's. Well done, well done. That was well played, that was fine. <clears throat> All for fun today. 218 APM, by the way. We're moving up. Oh, God. About the Terran dream earlier. When it... We were talking up. Oh, God. APM, by the way. We're moving up. 218 APM, by the way. All for fun today. 218 APM, by the way. We're moving up. All for fun. That was fun. All what about this army? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen anything more beautiful, Terran players? <laughs> yeah, that'd do oh. it. That's brutal. That is brutal. From everything to nothing. Someone seems to have forgotten how to macro. Uh, Starcraft's everything to nothing.
Have we? Have we been very mean? Maybe we've been a little bit. Savage casters? We've Savage casters? Yeah, they would probably beat you. <laughs> Knowing that hurts. we are capable yeah. of all the same shenanigans. Because we can't be like, what are you doing? Um, all right. So it we've only got a handful of players remaining. Where should I get? Should I get a chicken sandwich? Or what do you think? In that case, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, the sub button. Okay. That door that's expensive. Uh, the sub button. Okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. That one. That one. That was really bad. Like, would, it, would it just be a normal pizza? That you, there was a Mick pizza back in. I'm sorry. Mm. So potato pizza. I I had this was a home story cup again. How about hmm. pineapple on pizza? Not allowed by pretty much every Italian out there. Fries on pizza, however, fair game. I thought that was interesting. Fries on pizza. Hmm. So potato, so potato pizza. I I had a this was a home story cup. I found out about this then. I didn't realize it right. So naturally, since Rainer was casting games, the pizza situation. I found out about this. The pizza situation came up again. Pineapples on pizza, fruit on pizza, not allowed, right? But he brought up an interesting point. Apparently in Italy, it is not uncommon to put french fries on pizza. So, hmm. pineapple on pizza, not allowed by pretty much every Italian out there. Fries on pizza, however. Fair game. I, yeah. I thought that was interesting. I had no idea. I've tried it out at some point because my local like Italian pizza place also has like a pizza type that has fries on it, and it wasn't good. I I didn't like it. I'm not hmm. sure. I'm not hmm. sure. I didn't like it. I'm not hmm. sure. Yeah, carbs on top of a carb base. Carbs on top of a carb base? Hell yeah, dude. I'm not hmm. sure. But I I didn't like it. I'm not hmm. sure. Best of three series. That's great. Anyways, guys, next up. Best of three series. Dragon skills is map number one and spawning right here in the top left hand corner. We have a Gabriel. That's great. Dude. That's great. Anyways, guys, next up. That's great. Anyways, guys, next up. Best of three series. Dragon skills is map number one and spawning right here in the top left hand corner. We have a Gabrio. And in the bottom right, the red Protoss player. It is Ramcha. Now Ramcha is undefeated so far in, in series. Okay. In this event. Very um, interesting. That's great. Anyways, guys, next up, best of three series. Dragon skills is map number one and spawning right here in the top left hand corner. We have a Gabrio. And in the bottom right, the red Protoss player, it is Ramcha. Now, Ramcha is undefeated so far in, in series okay. in this event. Very so interesting. Because this is the top side of the bracket. And same with Gabriel, right? Because this is the top side. So both players undefeated in the bracket so far. Mm -hmm. In series, I had, some of them have lost games. But the loser of this will still bump down to the bottom side of the bracket. Very nice. So wait, does that mean the winner of this is in the finals? Yes, should be. Okay. Very nice. Where are they from? Uh, it says it on the website, but I don't have the website open right now. I played a flag game again, and the flag game is a risky game to play, man. It's kind of like doing math on stream. Very <laughs> dangerous thing. You usually want to avoid it, and whenever you see a flag that you're not 100% sure by, you can only really make yourself look like a fool. But Rushy, if you want to feel brave, 
you can call out the flags if you want to. But I, I respect it if you don't. Okay, we're calling the flags out. Let's see. Well, because uh, this should be Macedonia versus what's the other one. See, I don't have flags. I just have uh, initials, oh. which is equally as hard. What does it say? So I've got MK versus MC. So I think Gabriel is Macedonia, right? What is MK? And what is MK? I have absolutely no idea. Whoa. What country has the abbreviation MK, chat? Somebody must know this. Somebody is from there. You live there right now. Monte Carlo? No way. Monte Carlo? No way. Macedonia. Mortal Kombat? <laughs> <laughs> Monte Carlo? No, that's not considered a country. Monte Carlo would be MC anyways. Yeah. Uh, oh, North Gabriel. Macedonia is MK? Really? Okay, well then what's MC? Oh, MC is Monaco. Ah, I Monaco. see. Monaco, okay. Wait, so Gabriel is from Monaco? Guys, don't make fun of him, dude. Ooh, they're, this, they're this proxying well Ooh, they're, this, they're this proxying well who there's this, this family's wealthy, each other. okay? You can't. Uh, Who there's this family's wealthy, each other. okay? You can't, uh, you know, before you know it, my stream gets shut down. Living in Monaco? <laughs> Gabriel Rich confirmed. <laughs> He's the best player from Monaco, dude. Okay, so this is proxy v proxy here. Mm -hmm. um, and both players have been spotted on their proxy. Yes. So this is going to get really weird. So, I don't really like the proxy right here for Gabriel nearly as much. I'm not exactly sure what that barracks is going to do there. This gateway, however, can certainly be really scary. Yeah, Gabriel trying to feed Marines into it, hoping that the Protoss God will go away, but... Ramche does not believe in human sacrifice. He's only angered him. Ooh, the micro, though. The micro! Keeping those stalkers alive, getting the full value. There you go. He's gonna get that bunker. Yep, that's GG. Ah, oh, there's a seat. Ah, oh, there's a seat. Take on the high. Ah, oh, there's a seat. Ah, oh, there's a seat. Take on the grounds. high ground. Yeah. It should be very difficult to ever get this natural up. Okay, well, he's losing quite a few troops now. Yeah. Get him, Siege Tank. Boom. It should be GG. Emphasis on should. Ramche has stopped hmm. macroing a little while ago. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what we're doing there. He never made a Nexus either, so that makes this game a little close. Yeah, we're gonna take the very dangerous decision right now to apparently macro up with more units. I'm afraid he's gonna throw more units into Siege Tanks. Hmm. Now blink. Thanks. Hmm. Now blink is good as long as he's got vision, but right now he doesn't really have any advantageous point. He could, if he was smart, he takes one stalker forward, eats one of the shots, and then just gets himself vision. He blinks on top of the tanks and mm -hmm. is done, right? But instead he's taken the secondary option of trying to work down the orbital command, which is not admittedly a bad choice either. But well, I think if forward, you just kill the forward. tank, you just win. Yeah, blink in the main, bada bing, bada boom. You're right. One stalker walk, blink. Rest of the stalkers blink. GG. Oh, look at that mule, sacrificing himself. Marauder's like, hey, I want to be the mule. SCV was like, hey, I want to be the mule. Marine was like, hey, I want to be <laughs> <laughs> They're all going one at a time. Oh. In the end, there is too much, I think, here for Protoss, though. But he needs to get rid of... Oh, oh, God, that that was... Oh, get up just, there! Oh, get up there! Please! please. Oh, please. God! Oh, yeah, blink! <laughs> Boop. Boop, go! Blink on the tank! Blink on the tank! There you go. There we go. Oh, that was painful, but we made it. Oh, there's gonna be one more tank, though. No, nah, oh, he can blink happen? right on top of that. Oh, Please. no. Oh, no. Please. Oh, the blink, 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 Oh, God. Warping? Warping? Oh, okay. There's the reinforcements coming. And it's gonna be a supply block, so there's only, like, three 
in the cap right now. There's another tank, man. On Siege tank, um, can actually clean this up easy. Two Marauders right now, too. The one on the right has no hit points. He's stacked up a lot of resources again. He hasn't actually got the amount of warpins available to continuously spend his resources now. I think Gabriel actually holds. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, now you can't beat this anymore very easily. I mean, he can still get within the minimum range. Okay. I I think I think Ramsh is has Why got it he, here. Yeah, the boys have to get pulled. He should have landed that orbital command. I was wondering where he doesn't have enough money to make another siege tank here. He should have landed the orbital command and been mining with mules. He doesn't actually have that much money, Gabriel here. No, and, and he doesn't have enough to build another tank. No. No, you and need to have continuous the... tank production here for sure. Yep. Now that you're starting to sacrifice workers to defend this out, I mean, he has even less economy now. So what? He's building a single Marauder. That's all he's got hey. money for. Eh, hey, GG. Ramsh wins game number one. That was unfortunate right there for Gabriel, though. He could have definitely won that one. On siege tanks have more DPS than siege tanks? Against single target units, yes. That was close, man. It was closer than it needed to be. It was closer than it needed to be. <laughs> I think we can describe that about a lot of games in this uh, <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Literally every game so far. <laughs> it was closer than it needed to be, but in the end, it's fine. It didn't even matter? Oh, that's a good point. I forgot about that one. Ooh, Alt. Yeah, I'm ready. it was Gabriel. <laughs> Bruce, like, I've been here before. PvP. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. It was Gabriel. It's got stamina. Not even yet. I'm to get pizza. <laughs> Walk up. He was four. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay. Dude. Spawn right here. Bottom left in corner. We have Ramshe. And in the top right. Right, it is Gabriel. Very nice. Yeah, I did to have watch, to survive all by myself. When's your when's your, your burger coming in, Rushy? Uh, it says it is currently on its way to me. It'll be here in seven to ten minutes. Nice. So it's possible I might have to go answer the door during this game. <clears throat> Far? Have there been any macro games so far? During this game? Have there been any macro games so far? Yes! Last yes. time we were on altitude. I think it was last time. We had... Very nice. Have there been any macro games so far? Yes! Last yes. time we were on altitude. I think it was last time. We had a... Uh, Ooh, it's happening. Ooh, we had a 45-minute long banger. Are we really cannon rushing a Protoss? Or, sorry, a Terran player, though. I love it. I'm here for it. Uh, okay. Hmm. General rule of thumb is to not cannon rush a Terran. Because they can just fly away. <laughs> Go mine somewhere <laughs> else. And then you're sitting there with your photon cannons. Um, well, oh, well, well, oh, this is, oh, this is bold. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is a very ballsy position. There's the second one too. Those SCVs are going to get that, right? If they just oh, stick absolutely. on it, they should definitely get that easy peasy. There you go. He's trying to close himself off, but like you can't in no. this position. No. No, that required too many pilots. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what did you say, Rushy? He got it. <laughs> Why did you? Ooh. 
What? Make a photo cannon? Are you insane? That is so is many. That not? He oh, did not make a. S oh god. Okay. There's the photo cannon. Oh. Wait. What? No. Oh, Gabriel. No, Gabriel. You can't give up. You can't just give up. Gabriel, wake up. Wake yeah. Up. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Over there, make up. You okay. got work to do. GG. No. <laughs> That was one of the games of all time. <laughs> Game of the year? Question mark? <laughs> exclamation point? That was one of the games. Oh, I got proven wrong so many times in that game. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get my food in the middle of that game. Wrong. He's not going to be able to box himself in. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Look, did we have a macro game yet today? Oh, yes. Last time we were on this map, 45 minutes. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You were excited for a macro game? That was the shortest match we've had. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. You can you can see it. Everyone's starting to like feel it. Like all the Europeans are like, okay, it's getting late. I got some drinking to do tonight. Gotta go spend time with loved ones. We gotta get through these games. You think my chat has to go out with loved ones, start drinking tonight? Everybody's know, gonna maybe. be here until the end of the tournament, Rushy. You just assume that's, our that's social fair, lives. True. Oh, well, no, that's why they they want to stay to the end of it. That's why they gotta like pick things up. Oh, they don't want to leave I early. See. That'd be rude. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we drink alone, man. <laughs> 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 we have hundreds of people drinking by themselves, Rashi. Jeez. <laughs> oh, cheers to you guys here, here. <laughs> uh, Not drinking tonight. Yesterday was St. Patty's. All right. Oh, that is true. Did you get drunk yesterday, right? Oh, no. I don't really drink. No. Now, I, I did in uh, Germany. <laughs> this is how you get the Germans into chat active, though. They're like, what kind of... <laughs> this is how you get the Germans into... <laughs> this is how you get the Germans... <laughs> this is how you get the Germans into chat active, though. They're like, what kind of beer was it, Rushy? It was a Weisse... Hefa? Oh, the white Hefa Weissen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hefa yeah. Weissen. Because I thought you were going to have the Becks conversation, because the area we went to in Krefeld, they drink a lot of Becks, I believe. Um, oh. But every, basically every German region has, like, their own beer. And, like, every other, like, region's beer sucks. That's, I think that's roughly how it works, right? Does somebody, that's, that's, that's roughly how it works, right? All the B tier. Yeah, they have a really good white at uh, Home Story Cup. Uh, he sent out this probe right thing? at the very start of the game. He did, but he hasn't built anything beyond it. He has literally not built anything. We're at what? 15 out of 15. What is he... <laughs> no. No, Ramcha. No, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> um. What is he... <laughs> no. Um, is... Why... What is this? this? This is a game. After careful consideration, I can confirm that this is a game. But... Is it a good one? The answer is no. You're kidding me. He gave the little smiley face as well to his opponent, the little winky emoji at the start. Okay, so the probe is gone. Wall yourself in. These gateways are unpowered. Oh what? no. These three probes, what? man, they have a mission. They need to repower those gates. Those gates are going to finish, by the way. The gates do finish without pylon power. If you can repower them, that would be something. But Aaron should never allow them in. Uh, you do have to wall yourself in, Gabriel. Gabriel, please. Ga Gabriel. No, he's not gonna do it. Oh my god. No, it's for the memes. Although one marine, like, effectively ends this. Does it? Yes, especially with SCV support. Yeah. What? What? It, what? What? What is what? happening? What? How did we get here? How did we... <sighs> Was this isn't Monaco? even 200 IQ, oh Jet. This is this is negative IQ. Ramche is sitting out there somewhere on his yacht in Monaco, <laughs> playing this off of God tier Wi-Fi somehow. No way. <laughs> no way. Um, we don't have a okay. We don't have a bunker, Rushy. Three or three Marines cannot beat two Zealots. We have. Oh I, my God, he goes reactor now. Oh um, no! 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 No, you can't. No, you can't throw like this. Oh, God. No, you can't. Uh, in order to go... F uh, in order to go... F in order to... In order to go for other units, he's gonna need a cyber core. 
He did make one pylon at home, so he could make one because he's got the money he's for it. He's got no gas. So it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> this is bad for my blood pressure, but I... Oh, God. Here this, comes the probe again. Yep. Oh, it's bait. I love it. He's actually dealing so much damage now. Mule's <laughs> still not landed, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so the potential to make four marines. That is... Um, um, that is... That is... Um... Is... Um... This, this, this is... Um... This, this, this is... I think... I think this might be a Protoss win, Rushy. He's got no income. Gabriel has not dropped his mules. If he doesn't they, drop they mules, he's got out. no income. He can't make anything. He's out. <laughs> you this gotta is, be kidding! This is one of the absolute dumbest builds I've ever seen in my life, and somehow it works. <laughs> Series of the year? Question mark? Unbelievable. Like, well done. Ramcha deserves it. Yeah, this now he lends the mules! <laughs> Ramcha, get it! Oh no! <laughs> Did anybody oh. have building all your structures in your opponent's main base on their bingo cart? Because I certainly did not expect a... GG! A quadruple wow. gateway proxy in the opponent's main base. My god, that means that Ramchi is gonna be our very first grand finalist. With one of the wow. absolute worst builds I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, someone sent you thermal a message. See how far you can climb. <laughs> Outplayed. What can you say? Oh, I think my food's here. Perfect timing. I'll nice. Be right back. You thought we'd still be on altitude, but <laughs> not the case. Oh no, it is. It is Gabriel. Oh no, it is. Oh no, it is case. Oh no, it is. It is Gabriel, by the way. Gabriel apparently is in Monaco. Ramcha is in, uh, is in Monaco. Ramcha is in uh, Macedonia. Monaco. Ramcha is in uh, Macedonia. Macedonia. Oh god, that was that was something. Oh god, that was Macedonia. Oh, that was something. I don't even know what to make of that. That final game was was so over until it was <laughs> it wasn't. Your base more like my base. Delivery. Nice. No, it wasn't.
I'm writing down that strat loco. This is some good stuff. I think that's one of those build orders that has a win-loss ratio of about 1 in 20. You're never going to win with it, but um, it sometimes can work. Oh, you got fries as well, Rushy? Let's go. Oh, dark. Alrighty, let's see. Both players have already said they are ready. This is why you can afford to live in Monaco. Dude, yeah, man. Gabriel, Gabriel is smart. Alrighty. So Rushy doesn't feel so watched while he's eating, guys. Nice mid-game win. Alrighty, let's see. Mid-game win. There you go. Alrighty, let's see. Both players have already said they are ready. Fantastic. This is why you can afford to live in Monaco. Dude, yeah, man. Gabriel, Gabriel is smart. See, everybody's out there thinking that he lost that series. But this is why he lives in Monaco and we don't. That's how it's done, Chet. Don't. Don't. That's how it's done, Chet. Gabriel is out there on his yacht. Somewhere in the middle. Done, Chet. Gabriel is out there on his yacht. Alrighty. Hey, let's see. Both players have already said they are ready. Fantastic. This is why you can afford to live in Monaco. Dude, yeah, man. Gabriel, Gabriel is smart. See, everybody's out there thinking that he lost that series. But this is why he lives in Monaco and we don't. That's how it's done, Chet. Gabriel is out there on his yacht. Somewhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Just chilling. Anyhow, our next best of three series. It's starting off on Ancient Sister and then spawning right here in the top right hand corner. Ooh, I was getting excited because an SCV was moving already. We are looking at Captain Fish's main base. His opponent in the opposite corner, he is Lithanos. We've seen both of these players already. Lithanos loves playing the little macro game. Captain Fish actually also wanted to play some macro Captain Fish actually also wanted to play some macro games, but... Oh, this is game two. Oh, snap. Okay, thank you very much for the update. This is uh, game two. Captain Fish ended up winning game number one. Fantastic. I thought it was game number one of this series, but Captain Fish, man. This is an SCV with confidence. Where did the other handsome fella go? Rushy is uh, eating a little bit of food. He'll be uh, joining us again in a moment. I'm wondering where this image is from, guys. Does anybody recognize this? I feel like this is someone's Discord username or their Discord profile picture. That, that green little thingy in the bottom right. What is it? Oh god. Our Discord just blew up. <laughs> oh god. Our Discord just blew up. What? <laughs> Is Captain Fish on a... Uh... That's you? I'm so confused right now. That's you? It does look like Doom 64. Yeah, it looks like some of the old games. Yeah. It looked like Metroid for a little bit too. It's the Prometheus profile pic. It's a meme. Ah, uh, it's right now. That's you? It does look like Doom 64. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah. It looked like Metroid for a little bit too. It's the Prometheus profile pic. It's a meme. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not familiar, but anyways. Captain Fish going for the fast expand build right here. Anyways. Captain Fish going for the fast expand build right here. Nothing all too surprising. SCV scout on the back of it too. He's gonna see his opponent went hatch into a gas, into a pool. We should be pulling the drones out of gas at 100 or at 80. 80. 80 is 
20 gas later than the norm if you want to go. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, maybe one of the mods has to wrap up the prediction, by the way. On any predictions. Can we fast forward to minute four? No, these games are happening live. On YouTube, I do fast forward quite a bit, but not the case. <laughs> oh, the bait grenade. Nicely done right there by Captain Fish. Command center on the low ground as well. Third CC before a starport. Captain Fish playing normal builds. And right there. There we kept command center on the low ground as well. Third CC before a starport. Kept the fish playing normal builds. Thank you very much, by the way, for normal builds. Thank you very much, by the way, for wrapping up that prediction. Okay. Okay. A macro game. Well, not necessarily. But so far, it certainly looks like it. Lithanos has been fond of going triple hatch and making a bunch of drones and then eventually making an army. And Captain Fish seems to want to play that game as well. So this could certainly go a little bit longer. Yeah. How much damage does one... Yeah. How much damage does one of those grenades deal? Ah, uh, it's not so much the grenade damage that's reasonable. It's mostly the displacement of the units, right? Killing a creep tumor here is fantastic. I know sometimes people call for a Reaper buff. Uh, Reaper buffs are, at this point, completely out of the question, guys. Reaper buffs are... Uh, the Reaper is really good at the things that it's good at, and it sucks at everything else. So it's only good for very specific moments, but during those moments, it's one of the greatest units. If you have a Reaper buff, um, suddenly every... Um, suddenly every game is... Um, Suddenly, suddenly, uh, uh, suddenly, suddenly, every game is going to be Mass Reaper. Beyond would definitely like a Reaper buff, yes. Beyond would not mind that at all. He already single-handedly got the definitely like a Reaper buff. Yes, Bjorn would not mind that at all. He already single-handedly got the Reaper nerfed. So, yeah. Roach Warren, by the way, here for Lithanos. Yeah, so he's getting he's getting outmoved here quite hard. Um, Captain Fish playing significantly better. Could have had that tumor, but misclick because Brenda was standing on top of it. Lair right now on the back of this. I believe it was Lithanos earlier who was playing the famous Rushy build earlier as well. Named after uh, the original creator of that strategy. We go for the Mutas into the Roaches. So we'll see if that's what he decides to go for here. Thank you very much, Arcane Flyer, for the 33. I appreciate you. Yeah, so it's currently a flawless game here. Appreciate you. Yeah, so it's cur currently a flawless game here. Fantastic start. Fantastic start. If Fantastic start. If diamonds play like this, I'm never coming back. Well, Diamond League is still like top 10%, right? So it's not like these guys are bad at the game. But yeah, StarCraft 2 is a very difficult game in general. Usually, in my experience, I've done a lot of coaching over the years. In Diamond League, there's guys out there that are really good at certain parts of the game. So clearly, Captain Fish is very good at his early game control. But you can see that the macro is lacking. So he's already up to, well, 1,300 resources here. That's that's the problem, right? So his micro here is great. His macro really hurting on the back of it. Um, and that's that's usually the theme. Like, at Diamond League, there's players that are really good at macro, but that suck at micro, right? And, uh, yeah. We'll see where this is going to go. It, it can really go either way, even though Captain Fish should be really far ahead right now. He really isn't. Because he's been, yeah, making it difficult for himself because he doesn't have the best spending here. Lip in the main base. Brenda, no! 
Brenda, your toe was still in circle. Still in the circle. No, Brenda! God. Brutal way to go. So you can obviously win based off of the harassment alone. But if Captain Fish cleans up his macro a little bit on the back of this and he can hit a killer timing attack with 1-1 one, one, and combat shield stim pack or plus one infantry weapons combat shield stim pack, uh, he would probably win every game like this in Diamond League, yes. Yeah, there's a bunker at the front. He doesn't really need the bunker. He also has a lot of supply depots already, but that's okay. Alrighty. Medivac drop, had to get over to the left side of the map. We're gonna start uh, a little bit of multi-pronged harassment. Pretty good usually against roaches. Roaches are really good at stopping you from taking damage if they are in the right place. But most of the time, and that's not a Diamond League move, most people in Diamond League keep all their units in one ball. Especially Zerks. So he gets all of those, that's fantastic. The Hellions have kind of served their uh, their purpose at this point, but... Yeah, Captain is playing really well. There you go. Captain's fast. Yeah. So he's noticeably quicker than the other. Yeah. So he's not fast. Yeah. So he's noticeably quicker than the other Terrans we've seen so far today. Seen so far today. There's a fourth command center coming up. So five Rex into four CC. He's got the armory done as well, by the way. Hatchery just gets killed. Armory done to go straight into 2-2. As you can see, he's selecting his upgrade buildings straight into 2-2. Bada bing, bada boom. I think we're going to start it up here momentarily. He lost the medevac over there. Dude, go! What is... Okay, he doesn't have enough money, I guess, for both. Is he refusing to start up one because he wants to go both at the same time? I think that's maybe what we're doing here. He's lacking a little bit of gas. There is... There is... There is a hotkey that these structures are part of. Um... That isn't just... Part of? That isn't just these structures, which I don't, I don't really know exactly where... Maybe he's accidentally hotkeyed in with his main army or something, I'm not sure. But these, uh, these have been constantly selected. Well, maybe he was just waiting for the gas. I think he just wanted to start them up simultaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be it. Exactly. Usually, if you can only start one, you go for the attack upgrade and then armor later. But then it's easier to forget the armor upgrade, so I don't really mind it all too much. But now they will finish up at the identically same time. That's all good. Okay. But yeah, look at the macro here, right? So that's that's the thing that's lacking. Captain Fish could be having a lot more supply here. Lithanos, though, has been doing an excellent job just droning on the back of this. He's been uh, forced back for a while, going to play Roach Hydra. Captain Fish is... He wants to... He wants to invite his opponent into this little area off creep. That's Siege Tank. They are spoiling the surprise a little bit, because he wants his opponent to come in that direction. Now the SCVs are coming across again. Okay. I think they may accidentally also be on a, a hotkey here that they shouldn't be on. He needs to be careful though, with a couple of good biles, this can definitely be helped. Lithano is feeling so comfortable that he's even droning behind it. Good movement right here by Lithano though. Lithano is just uh, defending, right? Captain Fish can't fight without his siege tanks. Well, he's got a lot more army, but he can't really properly fight without his tanks. And that makes life a whole lot better. Gases aren't saturated here, so that's a bit of a problem. Lithanos has got a lot of money in the bank, but not a lot of minerals. Um, we don't have... We don't have any Hydras yet. I think Hydras would be really nice to start mixing in as well, unless we're gonna bile. He's gonna try and collapse on top of this Terran army, actually. So this has been sitting out here for a long time. This is now forcing Captain Fish to stim forward. Luckily for Lithanos, he double expended, so even though he's gonna lose the base right there at the 9 o'clock position, he can cycle those drones if he wants to, at least all the way towards the 6 o'clock. Creep spread has not been cleared out in this section of the map. Plus 2, plus 2 at this point done, by the way, so that's good here for fish. It's coming in over... 
over here too. Yeah, this is where those Metavex uh, would get shut down nicely here with the Hydras. Would love to see a creep tumor headed on over in that direction, but a lot of things to manage. Yeah, Captain Fish needs to step up the macro. That's honestly the main thing that's lacking. I think if Captain Fish gets a little bit more on top of his production cycles, he'll be uh, cruising his way through Diamond. Okay. 3 3 starts up. Empty Metavex, dude. That's when. Empty Metavex, dude. That's when you know you're dealing with a harasser. Empty Metavex the entire time. With enough macro, we all could be Maru. I don't know what the average person, average person, can APM, right? Like, how many actions per minute can the average guy get with enough practice? The top guys are getting four, five, six hundred average actions per minute, which is a lot. They peak at like a thousand. It's a lot. Um, with enough practice, everybody can probably go up to 200 or so, but like, it's... It's tricky, man. Yeah, genetically, you're probably uh, limited to something. And you don't really know until you start playing. <laughs> I think 50, age take plays it or leave into it. it, too. Oh, sorry, what's going on, Rishi? What did you say? <laughs> I was like, age probably plays into it, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, you've been playing instruments for a long time, right? As long as you stick with it, I think you can probably... Uh... Yeah, 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 for sure. There's guitar players in their 60s that have at least 100. Uh, oh, at yeah. least 300 APM. At least. <laughs> Dude, the people want the face cam. My god. Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot about the <laughs> face cam. There we go. He's back, boys. <laughs> Prepare your craigasms, oh, your pork yes. champs. I feel better. I've got food. Nice. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. I've got food. Nice. Food does feel good. As a fellow human, I also convert calories into energy. It's amazing. <laughs> Face covered in burger remains. <laughs> Face covered in burger remains, and you made me self-conscious for like a split second. <laughs> no, Whitedraw right right hasn't played StarCraft 2 since like 2013, I think. Well, you occasionally might queue up a game. He comes sometimes to like StarCraft tournaments. But, um, yeah. There is definitely an age limit to pro gamers, yeah. But I don't think it's the 25 or whatever that people have been shouting for a long time. That's insane. I say this as someone who's over the age of 25. Copium. Um... <laughs> nah, but seriously. But I do think if you start when you're like 38, it's gonna be really difficult to uh, build up the APM. Anyways, look at the money, man. These guys have so much money in the bank. Dude, it's a rough economy right now. You gotta well, pinch pennies we're not wherever Gabriel. you can. We're not all Gabriel on our yachts. Yeah, in, oh! In the middle of the ocean. Oh, look at the splits. Dude, Captain Fish's micro is actually really sick. Like, you shouldn't be doing that, but he actually made a really good job of that. That's insane. How difficult is it to click a mouse? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's oh, really it's hard, bait, man. It's bait! Look, oh, it's bait! It's <laughs> bait! It is bait. It is bait. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> yeah, inflation is not a problem. Inflation is not a problem when Captain Fish is in, man. If his mer Marines were 20% cheaper or more expensive, he wouldn't notice. Lithanos has been doing a really good job, though, just hanging on, right? He's been on the yeah. side of the cliff for, like, 12 minutes, but he's he's still there. Every Dude, time he tries to, like, move his hands a little bit further up, Captain F he's still there. Every Dude, time he tries to, like, move his hands a little bit further up, Captain Fish just stepping on his fingers, but he's hanging in there. Dude, just imagine if he had 
two or three big zergling run bys mm -hmm. uh, just set to hit at the same time as he pushed with this main army. He, I think he would just eviscerate uh, Captain Fish's economy. Yep. I think part of what well. is made Captain anything. Fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, those lurkers are in a pretty pr precarious position, especially with that scan going down. That scan's lasting forever. Holy <laughs> cow! That's the longest scan of my lifetime. <laughs> Pretty precarious position. Dude, some nice alliteration. This deep Thank into you. the stream? Whew. GG. No. GG. Yeah, very oh. well played game right there by Captain Fish. Apparently their first game, uh, Nuke just mentioned. Uh, Nuke, just game Nuke just mentioned was 30 minutes long <laughs> as well. So, this one, this one wasn't going that late, but uh, I think Lithano's probably not happy with his game. Still 4,000 minerals in the bank, still 124 supply, he's like, nope, I'm out! GG. Oh, I got it confused. It's a different game that's going on for 30 games? Oh, Quigley versus Undertaker. They're in game 3, and game 3 has been going on for more than 30 minutes? Remaxing is work, man. I play Zerk. We just hold down one button. Very hard to go over all of the time you've spent. Bunny warranting. And a couple other people too. That apparently I'm. A Will be uh, the W go system. Get those tax cuts. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think the Undertaker is here. What the heck? <laughs> Let's go, Rexy. What the heck? Rexy, what the heck? Come on. <laughs> Echo Steel kicked you out. Ooh, the clan leader. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. Rexy, what the heck? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're into our next series here. It is uh, between these two players. Top left, the light blue Terran. This is the Undertaker. Undertaker. I don't think we've casted the Undertaker yet today, have we? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. The opponents in the opposite corner. Have we casted this man? It's been many hours. Yes. We're looking at the Glorix Man Hatchery. He'll rise with the Glorix Man Hatchery. He'll rise once. Hatchery. He'll rise once so. again. The Undertaker, that is, yeah. <clears throat> see, anytime I think of the Undertaker, I see any anytime, I anytime I think of see, anytime I think of the Undertaker, I always think of like the WW the opponents and you opposite. This is the The Undertaker. See, anytime I think of The Undertaker, I always think of like the WWE wrestler from the 90s. See, anytime I think of The Undertaker, I always think of like the WWE wrestler from the 90s. I have. Okay, I'm gonna Google it. WWE Undertaker. Dude, he's straight oh, up guy. like. Yeah, he's got like a big hat. He's got like the trench coat. I've seen pictures of him. In 
I've seen pictures of him in the past. Apparently. past yeah apparently he is as tall as you are rushing 208 there you go oh. you could be the undertaker that's what i'm saying although you're gonna have to gain <laughs> some weight according to google he's about 140 kilos. you're gonna have to gain a little bit i think but that's okay it'll be quite I mean, the career I, i've never seen me and the undertaker in the same room at the same time so <laughs> give Ugh. him a big hat you never know what happens <laughs> all righty guys let's see so we've got our first finalist decided now the question is, who's going to be facing off against him? Mm -mm -mm. Commence center on the log round after a Reaper. Nothing all too weird. Hatch into a gas into a spawning pool. Normal build orders? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> so, how many more series do we have after this? Is this like the penultimate? Uh, let me see. No, 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 no. This is not the last one. Uh, let me see. No, 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 no. This is not the last one yet. Let me just pull up the bracket real quick. Um, so this is where we are. Right? Real quick. Real quick. So this is where we are. Ramche is currently waiting in the grand finals. The winner of this series goes up against Captain Fish. The winner of that series goes up against Gabriel. And then the winner of that series goes up against Ramche. Oh. So, so we're, we're here one, for another two, couple three. hours. Oh my god, we have quite a few more to go. So, so we're, we're here one, for another two, couple three. hours. Oh my god, we have quite a few more to go. <laughs> I'm glad I got some. <laughs> I'm glad I got some food here before. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue eating for a little bit, Rushing, if you don't mind. Hmm. Man, you, we're getting bonus stream time today. Late stream. Yeah, we're gonna go. Go for probably at least another two hours. Two hours. If you have to head off early, Rushy, no problem whatsoever. Huh? I'm good. Can, uh, so huh? I'm good. Can, uh, so like, whatever. unless you're trying to get rid of me. Maybe that's no, like no, 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 secret. No, definitely. <laughs> Not, man. I would like to, uh, you know, I'd like you to stay. Because otherwise, I'm just going to start rambling about completely unrelated stuff. And with you, I might still talk about the game sometimes. Eh, there we go. This is called a Zerkling. Ooh. It's, it's a smaller a type of Zerk. Yeah. You're Lester? <laughs> I thought you were Corbett. Isn't that what you just said? Yeah, it's that's actually my second name. Ooh. Corbett, Lester, Rushy, Starcraft. I wish my parents named me Lester. Actually, no, never mind. <laughs> I've never met anybody named Lester, other than the guy from the Brute War cinematic or the StarCraft 1 cinematic. Um, it's a triple Rex. Um, cinematic. It's a triple Rex, but in a weird way, because we're still producing Hellions and those structures are really far away. So is he going to switch over to Starport? No. Is he going to lift over the barracks? No. He's just going to produce two at a time. I mean, I figure at that point, you at least want to get a tech lab, an additional one, so you can rush out combat shield. But he's... he's but he's, he's getting defensive. He's dropping down the shield. But he's, he's getting defensive. He's dropping down the bunker thinking that yeah. Glurak is going to come at him. Uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the builds. Uh, this is, uh, this is one of the builds. This is one of the builds that nobody plays. Um, because it's too much production, right? So I guess, I guess you can play this if you never plan on expending to a third. So this is an excellent little scout here from Glurek. The only attack that really makes sense here is if you go for a push when Stimpak finishes up, I guess. But, hmm. yeah, he just doesn't have money. He just doesn't have enough stuff here. He's got 33 workers. There's combat shield, so I guess he's gonna go for an attack when that upgrade finishes, but... This is like a really super... This is like a really super stock standard macro build from Glurak as well. Because he's picking up his lair at a later time, but not in like in a bad way. Uh, the drone count is still a little bit... Uh, the... 
The drone count is still a little bit low. We're still getting a, a decent amount pumping out here, but I think now we're going to finally start seeing how things uh, really are going to under unfold. We've got queens pushing creep out pretty far. They're going to be able to intercept the hellions in a nice way. We're going to have the baneling nest finishing up in just a moment. Queen Ling Bane, that could be really refreshing at this point in the tournament. Yeah, no, for sure. I think if he stops droning right now and he makes null stop army, he's going to be able to hold whatever push is going to come out of Terran. If Terran isn't planning on going for a... Th That's a weird little interaction. If they're not planning on going for a third anytime soon, life's pretty great. I don't think Terran can really afford a third without cutting a lot of production. Hmm. You think Lester is not as good a name as Loco? Believe it or not, my parents did not call me Loco either. Not Lester, not Loco, but something very mundane and boring. My last name is also not TV. What? I know. It's crazy. I know, it's crazy. Uh, we have a weird medevac drop. A minute and a half later than a conventional medevac drop. And we do have a third CC, but instead we've stopped producing out of the structures. Um, I'm a little afraid that at this rate, Glorak is going to absolutely roll over his opponent. Yeah, that's starting to seem to be the case, especially since the fourth base is going down for Glurik. Uh The third base is starting to come up, but yeah, it's going to be way behind. There's not as much uh, SCV production here. Uh, this is a bold uh, movement oh, here. I mean, almost, oh. Errol. Sorry. Almost. He pulled, he pulled the wrong Zerklings, but it was a good move. That would have looked really it sick. Yeah, uh, there's there's a, more than enough here to keep this at bay. In fact, I actually love the the split attention here. The queen is just constantly working away on the medevacs. One goes down, the second one is already very low. This is a this is a pretty good defense by Gluruk. I saw. Uh... Uh, Dagwood Dog Woggle. That's a great nickname, by the way. Post a uh, easy question in the chat: Who was Lester's first love? I was like, okay, this is a dangerous move, but it turns out it was Sarge. I love you, Sarge. I wasn't gonna bring it up because I thought it had some sort of inappropriate answer somewhere. Made that mistake before. This one was actually very nice. Yeah. <laughs> nobody actually answered his question though. He just gave the answer at some point after nobody answered. Good one, Dagwood. I like it. Anyway. Nice. One one coming up right here for the Zerk. Who's, by the way, expanding all the way around. the map he wants to become neighbors with the terror i mean with undertaker not really being super aggressive on the map it's not really a, a terrible thing to go to the high side but it is a little bit strange i think if the undertaker does start to recognize that the top right hand corner of the map is populated with vulnerable targets that will become a point of focus but i don't think it's going to really matter otherwise there's a lot of creep spread we're, again, staying on Queen Ling Bane. This is a very mobile army. Yeah, he's got 84 drones as well. As long as he can keep up the production, this should be pretty easy. Now, you brought up Ling Bane Queen earlier. I wouldn't mind seeing an additional unit mixed in. Not so much because Ling Bane Queen isn't good, but because I've seen a lot of games where players run out of larva, and then suddenly you're sitting there with your 83 drones and your 5,000 minerals, but <laughs> no units. Um, very easy to accidentally lose out during your Queen Inject here. We're already kind of getting to that department here where, yeah, he's got more money than Larva. Um, so Hydras are good. Ultras would be even better. He's going to do a little Zorkling run by even. Okay. I was like, don't throw away the Queens. Literally, Cyril, coming right up. Ah, never mind. Ooh. Oh, actually, he kept most of the Banelings back, so I was worried that he threw a lot of them away, but not the case. Almost. Uh, Platinum and Diamond League. I believe Undertaker is plat. Uh, platinum.
Platinum, 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 Platinum and Diamond League. I believe Undertaker is Platinum League and Glorak is Diamond, if I recall correctly from the loading screen. So again, for those of you just now tuning on, uh, the maximum MMR for this particular tournament is right on the edge. Little bit of variety compared to all of the pro tournaments that usually happen. Here we go. Nice little circling run by. I'm actually yeah. very impressed with the level of play today. I'll be honest with you. I thought with 3,500 MMR, we wouldn't be getting so many good games. Like, we've been having some legit games. Ooh, he says, there right as all the Marines died to Banelinks. <laughs> oh, I'm actually surprised Glurak didn't go in earlier. He had, a, he had a really good engagement here, but I think he was focused on trying to manage this. So, a lot of workers get pulled. I don't think there was a ton that was killed. Yeah, there's only three SCVs dead total yep. so far. He evacuated. Total yep. so far. He evacuated them to the net. Okay. Glorak is really going solid. both Hydra and Ultras, but or well, I guess he's going Ultras eventually, but he's going both Hydras as well as I. Hmm. I like it against Widow memes. Not a bad option. Yeah, this has uh, been very very clean, and, and against Widow memes. Not, not a bad. Yeah, this is uh, very very clean, and and I want to echo the same sentiment that third style game. This has been a very uh just. Good look at how, honestly, how good platinum and just good look at how honestly platinum and diamond players are. I yep. think if you were to put a 3,500 player uh, from today up against a 3,500 10 years ago, whew, it wouldn't even compare. No, 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 they would get absolutely demolished. Okay, moving forward once again, he's gonna have to move a little bit against the Banes, and he does so. Brave enough to stim forward. Oh, sense his ground as well. I don't know if that was intentional, but that worked out perfectly. I think if he started moving, he would have lost. Well, in the end, it doesn't even matter. So that's that's the thing, I guess, right? Like, it's those small things where someone at 4,500 MMR wouldn't lose that. They wouldn't lose that many units for, well, basically free. But, yeah. There's moments of brilliance, right? Moments where everything looks really good, and then you're like, ah, oh, crap, everything comes crumbling down. It's a... Uh, Oh, Baneling roll by deals a bunch of damage again. Ooh, Lurkers. Uh, you know what? Lurker, Ling, Bane? I'm, I'm totally down for that. Mm-hmm. Not a bad call. I think that's gonna call. be a, a fun way to navigate the, uh, late game here. And there's gonna be a Nidus as well, so that's the plan for the Lurkers, is Glurk wants to create a lot of chaos in the main base there. And it seems like there's a lot of good space for Lurkers to just drop down and cause some havoc. Yep, for sure. Um, fourth command center is coming up, but it's all a little bit late. I think Lara could just remax and try to win the game, to be honest, because he's got an awful lot of units. But I think he wants to win with some counter attacks instead and a couple zerklings here and there. He's very quick with the pooling, by the way. Very few SCV losses so far. Main army, though, not so lucky. <laughs> Yeah, Ling, they're going to be able to chase this down. And Ling's actually on top of the reinforcements as well. So there just absolutely is no uh, safety here. Uh, the first Nidus Worm is going to go down here just outside of range of the uh, the natural ramp. And these Banelings are now finally GG. still strong enough in numbers. Yeah, GG. Glurak with game number one really controlling this. Yeah. Well done. Clean game. Honestly, not really making any mistakes there. I mean, obviously, small little things here and there. But strategically, that all made a lot of sense. The only thing is, I guess I would have liked to see the Hive a little bit quicker, and maybe something like Ultras would have been a bit easier, I think, in a game. Lurkers kind of overcomplicate things, but not bad at all. Yeah, very good defensive play by Zerk, for sure. Hey, I don't know if you have a sound gate on your um, Discord, but you've been cutting in and out for me uh, last couple of games. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I am imagine. I cutting out on stream, guys? Is my microphone cutting out on stream? Oh, anonymous. Holy <laughs> Notes? Like, how does that make? Ooh. I'm actually here in Iowa. All cows eat grass. That's how you remember. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> or, um, another one. This is my first. <laughs> it's all you. Congr all Congress. That's how you remembered it. All cows eat grass. Uh, 
Guys, here we go. Game number two. Guys, here we go. Game number two. Dragon skills. Now, where are the dragon skills? I think it's these things right over here. Ooh. Some might call them rocks. But no, they're scales all over. Actually, this one does look pretty dragony. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's some spikes here and there. These are pink mineral fields. Doesn't even exist in a game of StarCraft 2, yet they do. They have little levitating thingies. Rocks are a myth. What if all rocks in real life are secretly dragons? That might be the most Dutch thing I've ever said, but I don't believe in mountains, is what I'm saying. <laughs> are mountains even real, chat? I've never seen them. I don't know if they exist. Rocks don't exist, yeah. I've gone skiing down a dragon. I don't know if they exist. Rocks don't exist. Yeah. I've gone skiing down a dragon. Very. It was very exciting. Anyways. We back I admit to nothing. Anyways. We back I admit to nothing. What did Weebuck say? No, don't look. Don't. Don't. It's bait. It's bait. Loco, it's bait. I don't even... Yep, that's good. It's bait. Loco, you have been to Disneyland? There's a Space Mountain? I don't remember Space Mountain, I'll be honest with you. I did go to Disneyland once. The main thing I remembered is that the tickets and the things everywhere were incredibly overpriced. Um, I took a, a picture with a bunch of Star Wars characters. That was really fun. I took a, a picture with a bunch of Star Wars characters. That was really fun. Um, stood in line to meet Mickey Mouse. But I don't really remember any... Stood in line to meet Mickey Mouse. But I don't really remember any of the, the, the rights. I don't know. I remember Space Mountain. No. I remember Space Mountain. Uh, I was more excited with like Universal Studios than I was like Walt Disney World. Hmm. I think that's the half of the park we didn't pay for. Oh. That's just California. Everything's overpriced in California. Oh. Oh, so did you do... You did Disneyland, not Disney World. Because you went to California. I went to the one in Anaheim. Whatever it's called. Yeah, in California. That's Disneyland. Okay. Wait, is Disney World Disney the cooler World. one? Uh, I think they're largely the same. I think technically the one in Florida is bigger, but the one in Florida was the first one. Oh, okay, okay. I see. It is different. It's, I've it's been different. to the one in Paris, but I guess that one's way different too. I don't know. Space. I don't know. Space Mountain was a big. Ah, okay, I see. So when Motley says was like uh, twenty, a middle age, twenty five. <laughs> okay, now, now. Hey, Mott, welcome to the stream, man. I know you just joined. I uh, hadn't roasted you yet, but um, hey, what's up? <laughs> Got him. Disney World is a vacation. Disneyland is an escape. I've never heard anybody say that, Andy. I've never heard that either. <laughs> California was first. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I thought the Florida one was first. Interesting. Really? I'd like to go again at some point. First. Interesting. Interesting. Really? I'd like to go, but um, yeah, it was pretty fun. It was pretty Do the VIP tour at Disney World. It's four fifty to nine hundred dollars an hour. I mean, you could pay for that off of the interest of your billions. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh just yes, easy, for sure. That uh, that'll be straightforward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A private it's tour a at Disney World is probably pretty fun, though. I'm not gonna lie, that would probably be pretty what enjoyable. What are you gonna see on the private tour that you wouldn't get just going there? I have no. Like all idea. the. I have no. I have. I have no. Like idea. all the behind the scenes, like where the workers go. I remember oh, um, there's this Dutch theme park called uh, Efteling. Maybe we can go there actually in the summer if you want to go. We haven't been mm. in a while. Laurent loves it. But anyways, um, it's in the south though, so it's dangerously close to Belgium. But, but I remember as a kid, um, there's this one, there's one ride called. Um, there's this one. There's this one. There's one ride called Villa Villa Folta, which is like this house to flip upside down and stuff. Like, it doesn't oh, actually okay. flip upside down, but it feels like you do. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. we, like, got into the right, but they had no seat available anymore. So me and my dad couldn't actually go on the right, and we had to stand in, like, this control room thing. 
And you can actually see how it works. Like, if, if you've been in it many times, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, it's very strange how it, how it actually works, but... Yeah, we were in that control room, and it was very interesting. So I, I feel like a behind-the-scenes look would be kind of cool. That's fair. Ooh, that was a nice little uh, trap laid for mm -hmm. Glurok. Glurok is playing really well. I actually impressed with Glurok. Not really making any mistakes. Undertaker stacking up the minerals again. Oh, the body block! Sick. That was well done. I mean, you're going to lose some drones anyways. He's not stacking up a lot of money. So you brought it up in between games, but he's actually by far the fastest player today. He's playing efficiently. Roachborn is Two time around. only. Hmm. So not a Ling Bane. Mm, roaches, huh? I mean, I mean, I like roaches against uh, widow mines. Honestly, mm. we should go to the afterlink actually. When you're, when you're we should go to the afterlink actually. When you're here in the summer, that should be fun. Yeah, let's We're do talking it. about going, but it's mostly fun when it's like uh, not too busy. We should remember that. Or remember that. It sounds sounds pretty good. Okay, I'm writing it down so I don't forget. The Efteling. Efteling is kind of OP, guys. All right, chat. Help me spell it. Can you no, spell no, no, you it one letter at a time for me? Efteling. I'm curious e how you would. E f t e l i n g. Whoa, you nailed it! There you go. Basically done. Let's go. Look at the queen commitment. Glorak is playing this series really well. Bailing Nest coming up as well. I'm not sure yeah. if we need a Bailing Nest. I wouldn't mind seeing just Roach Ravager, to be honest, but... Hmm. Rushy speaks Dutch. Rushy slowly... Bailing Nest up. Becoming Dutch. Hello. <laughs> there you go. That's all we say. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna learn thank you and then I'm unstoppable. <laughs> donkey well. Do, do, donkey, donkey well? Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. I don't know, yeah, you might be too tall for some of the rights. That's a very good point. I don't know, guys. <laughs> nah, that's not really a thing in the net. Bedunked also works. Oh, I can do bedunked. Bedunked. <laughs> I think that was in that one song, the, the bedunk bedunk, right? <laughs> Like, I can do thank you. It sounds a bit funky, but sure. <laughs> okay. We're gonna continue the harassment right here as the Undertaker. Everything's just a little bit slower on the side of Terran, right? He's doing a great job, like, staying up with the supply count. So he's invested a ton of resources into early game production. So it's a mech, it's a mech build this time around. So it's mech right here from uh, production. So. It's a mech build this time around. So it's mech right here from uh, from our Terran into Swarm Host right now from Glorik. Okay. He's got a bit of range. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking more and more like just a standard upper, upper level uh, engagement here. Uh, oh, this is a little bit spooky. Uh, probably one of the first moments where uh, Glurok's taken some significant damage. Ten workers taken off the head. But he's really just focused on getting the uh, swarm host out. It doesn't look like there's any Nidus network alongside it. So this is going to have to be walked across the map, which isn't honestly a big deal. That third base is really exposed from a lot of different angles. And I think Glurok could just uh, make a short work of that if he's got the timing down. Thor's coming up right now, too. Thor's coming up right now, too. He hasn't seen the Swarm Host, and that's a big problem. Like, he doesn't know about the Swarm Host. Now, now he's going to see one if he's paying attention. He's probably seen it. Because usually you do react to a notification like that. Immediately morphs him into Hellbats. So I think that, yeah, that means he's definitely spotted him. Yeah. It's a scary uh, but unicorn, but Glurak's supply count is not nearly as good anymore as it once was. Like, when you're playing Swarm Host right now, this is not great for him. 12 Swarm Host, 149? Yeah. Oh, Let's don't see. don't let him drop there. No, get on top of the tanks, right? Yeah, oh, oh, okay. okay. That Gets works. one, and that Widow Mine fired after everything died, just hurting the Hellbats. I guess he's, he's getting a little bit of friendly fire. Fair yep. enough. But yeah, you're right. This is uh, without the Nidus Worm that we usually see at a high level. But to be fair, Nidus's are also pretty APM intensive. Like, it's good to see, but also kind of difficult to play. So I don't really mind it. No, so, oh, God. 
Pretty clean, dude. Not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of the little soft skills figured out. Hey, I don't know. Guys, here we go. Game number two. Dragon skills. I get one, two. No. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. For no, just oh. one. Good grab. Okay. This we're gonna get. Ooh. Company with nice two. He's got a lot of. If anything. That little soft. Kind of difficult to play. So I don't really. Mind. Fair yep. enough. Usually see at a high level. But to be fair, Nidus's are also pretty APM intensive. Like it's good to see, but also kind of difficult to play. So I don't really mind it. No, so. Pretty clean, dude. Not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of the little soft skills figured out that uh, work well in these upper level matches. So, not allowing the minds to stick around for a thing. I love his little siege tank in the main base, too. He's got a lot of vision. No Nidus Worm is going to go in there. Normally, this is accompanied with Nidus Worms, but not uh, in this particular game. Ooh. That's going to be a good. That's a good grab. Okay, this no, we're gonna is not scary though. Where are these? Uh, okay, the helmets are coming close. If he manually targets the siege tanks, it's gonna be amazing for him. He's gonna get one, two. No, just oh, one. Oh, wow. Greedy with the biles. Okay, this is important though. Undertaker needs to hold. If Undertaker can hold until like 160 or so supply, life's gonna be much better for him, but he really needs to get back to mech crawling. Yeah, uh, Glurox. Probably gonna pull the trigger here in a moment. I mean, he's maxed out. Granted, a lot of that's locked up in swarm hosts, so it's a little bit of an inflated number. But the kind of army that Undertaker has right now is not really uh, geared for this, and this is gonna be a really bad start for this defense, mm -hmm. losing a couple of those tanks right away. Uh, the tanks are leapfrogged a little bit, so they do have some coverage, but it's it's largely Thor. I don't know if I entirely agree with that, especially against a large swarm host composition. <clears throat> no, for sure. The Swarmos really need to get back in action, and they do. It's difficult to secure these bases. He did secure the base all the way at the bottom with an Orbital Command 2, so he's gone four base Orbital. I actually don't <laughs> mind a fourth with an Orbital against Swarmos play. I don't know if it's by design here. If Undertaker can max out, life's gonna be pretty great, but... Okay, uh, rallied in a couple of different directions, trying to get the most bang for his buck. Oh, I'd really love to see some of those fly further and, and start attacking the tanks, but I think uh, the initial goal was achieved here, uh, forcing the lift off on that. That's actually going to burn down if it's not uh, rescued, but there's plenty of SCVs there, so that should yeah. be... Uh, it should be saved if he's paying attention. I think the bigger issue right now, though, for Terran is the, the Thors you brought up. Like, he is now on just three tanks, and there's 35 roaches. If he just attack moves with the roaches... He can accompany it with Locust Wave. I wouldn't hate that, but he can just start winning the game if he goes for an aggressive push. And he's really quite aggressive with the army movement in general. Spill spread and creep as well on the left side of the map. Yeah, the creep spread's impeccable. He's got half the map covered. Oh, here we go. I love it. Oh, no, get in there at the same time. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, I was like, no, he's this is go. perfect. This is... This Great timing. I think he's still got the DPS that he needs here. Not that many more tanks, and now this army is just going to be able to steamroll, and suddenly the Undertaker just doesn't have anything to secure. He's going to lose workers. He's going to lose advantage of the fourth base here, and then this uh, additional base is wide open. The two Thor is not going to be near enough. The Undertaker. Nothing to undertake. Like you said, it's going to be difficult for him to get what's done. Loses an orbital command. He's got the other CC still up in the air. Now we're going for one Hydra. One Hydra to find him, one Hydra to bind him. There he is, the Giga Chad himself. Huge forehead, by the way, these guys. Damn. Exclamation point 14. Damn. Exclamation point 14 head. That must mean they're really smart. <laughs> That's the only reasonable <laughs> According answer. to who? This is sadly not co-op Vikings, not the Rainer Vikings that deal splash damage. Bigger brain equals smarter, guys. That's how that works. 100%. Rushy's really tall. There.
Therefore, you know, he's got a massive head. Therefore, he's got a huge brain. Really smart. Like, where Einstein. are we going with this, Logo? Where are we going? <laughs> Literally Einstein, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Vikings oh. are landed right now. But this feels like a desperation move, more so than anything, man. We've got a lot of supply, right? Yeah, okay. Terran has still got a lot of money in the bank, too, but... Yeah, this is finally starting to, to fall apart. The The problem is, is the swarm hosts have kind of outlived their welcome at this point. He almost needs to find a way to just offload the uh, swarm hosts a little bit at a time so he can get more value elsewhere. Because he could have a whole bunch of Zerglings right now just uh, overrunning everything. Uh, this is kind of nice, though, getting at least a little bit more damage with these Locusts, trying to pick off workers. We're at 15 worker kills total. Oh, I thought maybe we would just get a little bit of friendly fire, but taking out the tank, even better. How tall was Einstein? Einstein wasn't that tall, guys. There's no way it was that tall. No. Brain size is not proportional to how smart somebody is. I can say as someone with a huge forehead, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty dumb. Would battle cruisers be the answer? Usually, what you want to do is try and defend, 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 until eventually you can make enough army to counterattack after the Locust Wave. But he's been bleeding out a lot of units over time. And that's the tricky part here, right? Like, he's lost a lot of stuff. Cost efficiency-wise, this has been amazing for Zerk. I don't think Vikings are particularly great. Yeah, when you start having creep at the fourth and the third, life gets a little tricky. Look at Brenda over here, man. Like, get out of my game! No, Brenda. <laughs> Wait. Now we have Hydras, though, rather than Roaches. No more Biles. I was gonna say that's a that's a bold switch here. I don't think it's a terrible switch, but uh, it is a little bit more flimsy. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, comeback potential if all of a sudden Undertaker just flips into a whole bunch of Hellions, which he is getting six Hellbats at a time. It's not often yeah. that you see Hellbats in the production tab. Oh, that is true. Actually, that is kind of funny. Um, I mean, if Undertaker can max out, it's kind of funny. I mean, if Undertaker can max out with a good army, he's going to be in a great position. And he has been getting closer again. I don't really know exactly how he just went from like 90 supply to 160. I don't think that was ever supposed to happen, but Glorik has given his opponent the chance. The main thing about these Swarmos is that they have been on idle a lot. Like with Swarmos, you really want to be firing all the time. You would just go for a lot of Ultras right now? Yeah. Honestly, anything. You need to keep going. Hellion run by as well in the top right hand corner, cleaning up some of the drones. Okay, Siege tanks are dying in the net, though. Oh, oh, we're getting greedy. Oh, is he gonna get yeah, it? Yeah, he will get he it. He did! Oh! That's a... That's embarrassing. That is a little bit embarrassing. Here comes the money! Money, <laughs> money, 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 that's money, money. That's what he needs. Money on top of the 22k in the bank. Or 2200 in the bank. 22k, 2200. 22k, 2200. <laughs> What's Those the are difference? vastly different numbers. No. Well, yeah, when you're a billionaire, yeah, what is the difference? <laughs> I can't believe you've taken Twitch that side on this. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Look, I know things they don't. I, I, have, to, I have to be able to uh, validate them sometimes. can't believe you do this after I gave you the east wing of my mansion when you came up. <laughs> of your mansion. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the Tesla. I was like, oh, I've got four more. Here you have this one. Crush this one. No, it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You want to stay in the guest house? What's that? You want to stay in the guest house for the summer? Oh, here's the key. <laughs> a guest house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My house Don't you remember? That's where I was streaming from. That was... <laughs> I'm thinking of the guest house right now. It's like a solid... Um, well, in square foot, it's a little difficult. I think I'm gonna... Well, in square foot, it's a little difficult. I think I'm gonna... Give me a reason why I 2 owe you hours ago? What? Oh, no! Really, Undertaker? Really? No! Mm. The salt? A little bit of salt coming in. <laughs> Glorik is like, wait, wait, what? What, bro? What's going on right now? Oh no. I think our guest house, the guest house Rushy is referring to is like a uh, 100 square foot at most. Probably 80. 
It is uh, a huge room. 80. It is uh, a huge room. I lost I to lost. the Empire game. I just don't understand. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This uh, Undertaker. Undertaker. I don't think you should. Don't do, do it. Don't, don't do don't it. Don't go man. out like this, man. No, don't do it, dude. We've had this before in previous viewer tournaments. It's not a good look. It's for fun. It's for a plastic trophy, my guy. It's not worth it. Uh, it's gold colored. Thank you sorry, very much. Uh, sorry. Solid gold plastic. I just don't understand. Give me a reason why I 2 owe you hours ago. Is he? You won, I think you he's the making the twice. assumption he played Glorak before in this tournament, but looking at the bracket, he has not. Um, let me just confirm that real quick. Glurak. You guys are misunderstanding him? How are we supposed to interpret it then? Glurak. You guys He has not. Glurak. You guys are misunderstanding him? How are we supposed to interpret it then? Like what I'm what I'm reading is is like oh I beat you yeah, before no. why can't I beat you now like it's a little salty yeah yeah that's what it sounds like but maybe we are misunderstanding it I'm not sure oh maybe that's what he's saying I don't know how I beat you in the past like you're this good I don't know how I did it last time okay I can see oh, that oh I can okay. give okay if, sure. if that's true yeah, okay okay acceptable yeah I see what you mean. Maybe he's thinking of Gabriel? Is that who he lost against? Or who Undertaker 2-1 or 2-0 won against? That could be. But also, I, mm. like, if, if that's truly the case, like, the game's over. Like, leave the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty over. Like, because it, it, it's, it's always, it always feels salty when you mm. stay in the game. Like, if you're, we'll, if you're we'll give him, yeah, we'll like, give him the benefit of the doubt. That's maybe true. uh maybe a little bit of a uh translation error there too that's true um actually no i need everybody to speak perfect english loco come on true everybody knows english american perfect uh, american. american that's, that's right. what we need. american everybody should speak american no this was a really solid series yep no well played right here well, by Glarik. he's got well a lot of digits worth of resources right there merc yeah <laughs> gg well played um, Yeah. <laughs> GG. Well played. Um, Win the champion for us. Um, yeah, okay. No, I think it was just okay. lost in translation. That's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Very GG. nice. GG's right there. Well played by Glorik. Only 284 APM? Is he slipping? Well, I didn't have as many Zerklings to make this time. <laughs> oh, true. He made one round of Swarmos. He was maxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he held on to him as long as he did. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, no, no, we got, we got it. Yeah, We're yeah, good. yeah. We're good. So, according to Glorax Pro or to Undertaker's profile, I think he's from Ch China. If that flag on his profile is correct, wait, is that correct? I don't know. Correct. Anyways, um, I don't know if you can set up your. I don't know how it works, but anyways, uh, pretty cool. Yeah. So it might just be lost in translation. But anyways, uh, pretty cool. Yeah. And no, we got, we got it. Yeah, We're yeah, good. yeah. We're good. So according to Glorex, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know him as long as he did. is Rainer. That's the player. Just, there it is. All right, guys, here we go. Next best. All right, guys, here we go. Some say it might be the best matchup. ZVT or TVZ. Okay. ZVT or TVZ is a beautiful matchup. It's true. TVZ is a beautiful matchup.
It's true. Some say it might be the best matchup. There it is. Is a beautiful matchup. It's true. Say it might be the best match. Chris, all right. Next best of three series of the day. Spawning right here. It's getting kind of late. If these guys wanted to play a best of one instead of a best of three, and they both said no. We want to play games. So, spawning right here. Royal Blood, game number one in his best of three. We have Galarek. And his opponent in the bottom left, the blue Terran player. This is Captain Fish. Fish with F I S C H. That's not how you spell fish. Yeah, speak American, Captain. Can't believe this guy. Thanks for still respecting his title. <laughs> While saying oh, that. Of too. course. <laughs> it's just a very respect. It's very important. So we've seen Glorak play. We've seen Captain Fish play. Both of them played really impressive. Mm -hmm. um, Glorak in general. Mm -hmm. um, um, Glorak. 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 Glorak in Glarek, in general, has struck me as a bit of a stronger player overall, just because, I don't know, he's better at the spending, he seems a little bit faster. But Captain Fish looked really good earlier on as well. He had some really impressive micro. Just needs to step up the macro a little bit, but that's okay. Well, and that's what I was thinking was going to be Captain Fish's advantage maybe in this series. Glorak has seemed to be a very just like laid back let me do my thing on the opposite side of the map kind of player and even in that last series when things started to get a little shaky and he was starting to get a little bit of harassment here and there things weren't going quite as cleanly for him so with captain fish if he's able to get across the map and use some of that micro skill that he's been able to showcase in previous series i think he might be able to secure himself at least good positions if not a couple of or at least a win in this series mm-hmm yeah, this is the match to decide who's going to face the winner of the lower bracket. And the winner of the next series will be facing the grand finalist. There you go. So we have this series, the next one, and then the finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rushy's like, dang it, I want to play Diablo 4. I thought <laughs> this was going to take like six hours, and yet here I am. Ah, and I told him I'd be here for the whole thing, and now I don't want to ruin it. Oh, everybody's going to make fun of me if I leave right now. I can't do it, but I want to leave. <laughs> nah, that's all good. No, I'm having a great time. I'm really glad you asked me. Secretly, Rushy is playing Diablo 4 and is on a monitor right now. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. It's like, legendary. It's like, Rushy, there are no legendaries in Royal Blood. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you just leveled up. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Should I put my points in intelligence? <laughs> That's oh shoot, do. sorry, I was, I was alt tabbed. What did I miss? Mm -mm -mm. Do we, do we distribute V-Bucks for this tournament? We do not distribute V-Bucks, no. What we do have is a solid plan. is a solid plastic gold uh, trophy. That I'll be shipping to the trophy. That I'll be shipping to the home of the winner if they want it. They want it. I actually thought it would be a little bit higher quality. I'll be honest, man. I got ripped off for the trophy. I actually thought it would be a little bit higher quality. I'll be honest, man. I got ripped off for the trophy. Yeah, I'm not ordering from that website again. Is there going to be a trophy for me for co-casting this event? If you want one, Rushy, I will send you one. Oh my gosh. I kind of do. Okay. I'm I got, I got space like right, right in here. Uh, get Rushy a trophy. I'm going to need an inscription, chat. What should Rushy's trophy say? There is a nameplate on this one too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What, what should the nameplate say for Rushy's trophy? <laughs> Twitch chat gets to decide. Caster carry? That's to the site. Caster carry? Carry tuba man? 
Legendary Ooh. tuba man. There we Second go. best ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So Let's see. I'm a mod. Uh, wow! Band. Wow! Band. Band. Number band. one tallest SC2 personality. Ah, oh, there we go. I like that. That's even true. Tallest StarCraft <laughs> personality. <laughs> Sellout champion. Yes! There we go. That's the one I'm proud of. I don't know how many words I can fit on here, guys, but I'll make something of it. Am I taller than Roddy? Oh, am I taller than Harston? Yes. I was just... Uh, Lino and I were about the same Lino's height, tall. but I was just a little bit taller than Lino. Yeah, Lino is tall. Okay, okay. I think we got quite a few good ones. <sighs> okay. Captain Fish, trying to make the best of it. Hammering down the macro so far, though. Love to see it. Triple CC opener, barracks on the back of it, so we're playing a normal game. No add all right here on the starboard. Oh, ah, there we go. Gonna flip flop it. Get some, get a tech lab on the factory, get some tanks out here. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good scout. It is, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good scout for Glura. Uh, eh, well, no, not really a delay. Uh, is it, eh, well, no, not really a delay. Being able to get the. Uh, Eventually, that's going to float out to the third base location and be in a strong position. I do like the Liberator play, though. I think mm -hmm. that'll be a good amount of harassment here. This is this is what I'm talking about. I think this is where we're going to see how Glurok can uh, really deal in this series. Yeah. You can kind of handle this little up harassment. Multitasking for sure. Now, that Liberator is not seized in the right position. I don't think it's harassing anything other than this one mineral field, maybe? But anyways... I like how we come to uh, Rushy's height about 17 times every broad. <laughs> yeah, and important. I'm usually the one that brings it up. So. Someone's asking if you're taller than, taller than Winter. I don't know, man. Winter's really oh. tall. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've met Winter. Very, uh, very tall guy. Is Rushy high? No. Altitude, I've been on camera. Altitude, oh. maybe. No, well, no. Iowa is very flat, very low. Yeah! Woo! I understand why the Dutch people decided to settle there at some point. They were like, great, a land without mountains. <laughs> Flat. There's maybe not <laughs> enough water, but we make do. No dikes to build. That kind of sucked, but hey, it is what it is. Is he bigger than Big Gabe? By a lot. It was... Uh, there's footage. Uh, uh, Hero Marine and I sat next to a caster couch. Short cup. I towered over him. We have a couple of sacrifice overlords here. You know what? I was doubting Captain Fish a little bit. Ooh. Okay, making the best of this scenario as well. This is where the macro starts to slip a bit, but you can see the same thing happening on Glorik's end. Okay. <laughs> is Rushy bigger than the dock? How big is your Who's vertical leap, Rushy? That's what we really need to know. How big is Who's, your... Oh, I, I'm the epitome of white man can't jump, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so... so I have never much. heard anybody talk about their vertical leap ever. But I watch Dr. Disrespect a bunch, and uh, he talks about it all the time. Mm, am I bigger than pig? I like yes. how we keep using different words. I like yes. how we keep using different words. Taller, higher, Are bigger. Are you bigger in height? <laughs> is the yeah. air staler where you are, or is it where pig is located? <laughs> Yo, beats How's my goo. The there? Great Thank you. Tournament. Tournament. Thank you, man. Yo! Thank you for the $50 tip. Ooh. Holy cow. Sheesh. <laughs> you work at high school. You could say that. <laughs> I, I cannot say that. Dude, be for real. You did a really good job there, Rishi. Thank what is you. the coolest slang that I am not yet familiar with that I really need to know as a uh, ki Kids do use the term be for real a be lot. Be for real? Yeah. Okay. Like, like, tell me the truth. Like, don't lie. Be for real? Be for real. I've heard of Riz. Oh, the Riz. Riz Jeez. is a good one. Right? Yeah? Yeah. Is drippy still a popular word? Absolutely not. Okay. Somebody <laughs> somebody in the chat the other day used the word swag. When's the last time you heard the word swag, right? <laughs> swag. 
Uh, it's been a while. I think that's like a 2016 word. Yeah, yeah. Dank. Nobody's using dank no, anymore, dank, my guy. No. What is like the what is the 2023 edition of cool? Oh, other than Riz. Uh, I mean, it, it kind of is Riz. Mm. I mean, Riz specifically is like, ah, oh, he's smooth. So it's less cool and it's more like, right. yeah, he's got it. Do you know the <laughs> origin of the use? word Riz, Rushy? Uh, yeah, charisma. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I... Uh, yeah, charisma. I'm here for a moment. I could one up real. here. Like, for real, for real. She... I thought I could do it, but... <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> I love the little bailing robots of Glorik here. We haven't really seen him do that all too much, but uh... I mean, it's not really working that great. Look at this one hero marauder. I'm not scared, man. This guy laughs in the face of danger. Gets it done easy. Oh, that bailing slipped through, though. Swag is coming back, Loco. Yeah, no, it's not. I don't think it is. What? Oh, yeah, let him cook. That's another one. Oh, Ooh. nice little <laughs> engagement right here, dude. Oh, you could have You could have tried. <laughs> Captain Fish just stood there, man. He's like, Loco <laughs> criticized my macro. I will macro. Okay, fine. Okay, well, game's got a heart. Oh. Uh, nah, we're not gonna do that. Oh, man. Straight on the bench. Straight on the bench. Oh. Ooh. ASCII art right, in the chat. This is not our toast as a stream, guys. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about Mario, Peach, Bowser's it Castle. It starts with shrugging and then it ends up with Mutas with giant booba. No one has we all know where this moist ends. all day. <laughs> LLLL -l 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 -l. 7,000. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cleaning it all up. Supply counts looking very even. Resource counts also looking surprisingly even. Glorik was a little bit late uh, with the plus two melee upgrade, which kind of sucks for him. Captain Fish also late with those, but at least, you know, he's got them lined up, right? Basically, nah, not quite identical, but almost identical timing on those. You love to see it. And I'm just now like comprehending how many bases Glorock actually has. I, I think I've done a bad. I think we. I've done a bad job of like putting into context where we're at in this game, but well, we were discussing I mean, important things like your height. Has that ever been true. discussed before? <laughs> That's true for like the 14th time today. You're right. You're right. <laughs> we people come even, and people uh... go. My height never changes. So, yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> you might get shorter over time. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I don't want to get old. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My whole personality. For a moment. <laughs> <laughs> My parents told me I would. Huh? <laughs> I thought I was like Peter Pan. I'll never grow old. <laughs> In fact, I think if you're really tall, you might sh like you might get no, no, you might shrink stop more it. than the average stop person. It. You can't. It's probably percentage based, is what I'm saying. Kale's everywhere though. Siege tanks on siege, way cooler. Look at him. Okay, well we are gonna siege them up, but the lings are being annoying. Nice splits right here by Captain Fish though. He held on at home. He needs to repair that CC, but he held on at home. Oh, there's zerglings coming oh, as well. I think that third base to go down. He gets oh, it. But, uh, a lot of Terran units at uh, 142 to 112. Uh, the Hive is coming up. I don't know if Hive's the thing you want to prioritize right now. You I really think you need should go units. Home. I think Captain Fish needs to go home, man. He's like, yes, guys, let's go. Bring them back. Uh, I don't there's, know why he would go home. Well, there's going to be reinforcements, right? Old is going to clean up easy peasy. Oh, there they finally are. Mm. Oh, oh, that was expensive. Mm. Yeah, actually, that works out quite well right there. Yeah, actually, see that. Mm. Yeah, actually, that works out quite well right there for Terran. Even though these units, they didn't sign up for a one-way trip. They, uh, even this Viking man, look at the greedy boy Viking. Didn't get either of them. Wow. Matter of fact, <laughs> it was a one-way trip. Sorry, guys. You didn't get the memo. <laughs> you just don't exist anymore. <laughs> no, they were removed to, from the. You're dead to Captain Fish. <laughs> <laughs> he sent you guys out to die. You gotta die. It is what it is. This <laughs> Bush didn't win the game. Shameful! There you go. Get him out of here. Okay. Plus three, plus three. Coming up. Uh, where are we at on the uh, base count here for Terran? Let's see, he's got four. He's got the six o'clock base now. Mm -hmm. No gas there, but starting Marines to work don't cost gas. <laughs> True. True. 
True. That's why he makes 11 at a time. I mean, he's got ghosts coming out, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clorak got shut down a little bit on a creep spread. Not as fast on relaying it. Three fifty. Okay, Clorak got shut down a little bit on a creep spread, not as fast on relay. 51 APM, man. Oh, got a lot Let's of gas. Let's kick it into overdrive. Predictions say, guys, what is Twitch at predicting? 89% of people expect Glorak to win. Okay, then. That seems mm -hmm. unreasonably high. I feel like Captain Fish actually has a very good shot at winning this. I would guess it's probably close to like 55, 45. I was gonna say he's gonna get on top of the tanks here. Baneling, oh no, oh, I thought, I think he had just enough to get in there, but eh, better to back off with the Banes. I immediately start cheering for the underdog. I'm like, yes, let's go, Captain Fish. Nobody in chat believes in you. <laughs> Captain Fish's friends were watching earlier, though. I think they missed the prediction, but that's okay. Queen ends up going down. Pick up, get on out of there. No, it's a one way trip mostly. Sorry, Marauder. Oh, you got in. No, never mind. No! You're out again. Dude, Got Captain the queen. Fish is brutal, man. I want to be a Marine or a Marauder in Captain Fish's army, is all I'm saying. He does not oh, care about his the... units much in Fish's army. He does not oh, care about his the... units much today. At least the Marauders get healed. That's true. Hey, look at that. Free, free health care. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> All right, Russian. We were made it so far into the broadcast with barely discussing politics, but you had to bring it up, huh? I didn't say anything else. I just asked the question. Yeah, why? Why? Why do you hate America, Rashid? Jeez, man. Working's <laughs> over here trying to get some damage done. Jokes on him, though. There's no SCVs to kill, really. Tank. Uh, tank count. The tank count is seven. Oh no, that's still pretty healthy. Uh, ooh, nine workers go down there. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna be able to save both of the bases. So I think that's probably the bigger win for Captain Fish. Where'd the Marauder go? Oh no. The med effect is just alone right now. I would have all army hockey that one back by now, actually. I think I, I would have made a mistake. There's not a lot of med effects, actually. There's five. Okay. Captain Fish sure. doing the, the Beyond thing, where every med effect he has, it's on the other side of the map. That's where it belongs. Yeah. He's been doing a pretty good job, but you know what? I'll give Gluric credit. We I I wondered early on if he'd be able to handle all of this extra pressure, and he's been doing a very good job of juggling everything, so... Uh, obviously losing things here and there, but I mean, shoot, uh, he's done a really oh. good job. Ooh, this is going to be a good surround. Kid is all the ghosts. That's actually a really good grab as well. Are there ghosts? Yeah, but the problem is that Glorak doesn't actually have much money. Glorak's very broke. Like, I don't mind throwing away links and banes when you have like 80-something workers and you have some money in the bank to replenish it, but he doesn't actually have that money at all. Um, he's got a ton of gas, so he could morph in another 100 bane links or so, but that's really about it. He's running out of steam here. Eh, you know what? Lurkers are pretty good. Um, is he going to be able to get into them in time, though? I, you know what? He's keeping the army pinned back, at least for right now. So there might be enough time for a Lurker transition. These uh, Zerglings have continued to do additional work. It'd be nice to see him get plus three on those Zerglings and uh, make those a little bit stronger. I mean, he's had... Is he at Hive tech? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's had Hive for a while. Yeah, so he's had I'm Hive for a while. I'm surprised it hasn't come out. Yeah, Captain Fish is actually uh, doing a fantastic job holding on, but also dealing damage. And Glurak is slowly starting to fall apart a little bit. He did just secure the middle map, or the middle base, rather. That's... Oh, he rallied in the drones before he actually started up the extractors. That's what happened there. Anyways, um, you want to rally them after... You Anyways. You want to rally them after you started up, and then they go to mining right away. Either way. Oh! Finally, some success. Well, no, no, no. Ay, 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 ay. This, uh, I mean, it's not for like a trying. Glorik has rolled in about 100 banelings at this point. Oh, oh, is it gonna I go? That's so smart. Anyways, um, oh, he, um, has oh. smart. Anyways, he, um, has rolled a lot of them into mineral lines, but only a couple of them actually connected. 
And every single time, it's like two, maybe three workers going down, but very few big explosions. Yeah, it hasn't quite found what it needed to. Uh, look at the explosions. Yeah, it hasn't quite found what it needed to. Uh, look at the units lost tab, though, for the minerals. Uh, 27,000 minerals yeah. to the 14,000. I mean, that's a huge difference. Gas is pretty close, though. Yep, for sure. He's got a lot of gas, like that is. If he can suddenly morph in a bunch of lurkers, that would be really good for him. But lurkers are still a little bit behind. We did see the ghost earlier, the ghost he had. They all got picked off. Yeah, all of these traits are really good for Captain Fish. Ooh, okay. There you go. Four workers finally go down. Yeah, that, that bank is just gigantic. <laughs> it's Captain Fish. Is Captain Kinda Fish Harstam's first mate? Ooh. I think Harstam is the captain, right? I don't know how it works, man. I don't know if uh, how many layers Ooh. we have on the ship. I was going to say, we've seen this before. Somebody morphing lurkers in the face of their enemy, and it didn't work out very well. It wasn't Glurak, was it? Uh, No, that was Quigley, I think. <laughs> uh, uh, No, that was Quigley, I think. Quigley morphed yeah, a lot That was Quigley, that's yeah. right. Okay, Bainling's getting some nice de detonations in once again, but Captain Fish is starting to feel pretty good about himself here, I would imagine. He needs to step up the right. necro a little bit again, though. Attacking his opponent at multiple angles at once. Yeah, we've arrived at the higher end games of this tournament, guys. These guys are actually yeah, yeah. playing really well. Ooh. Got both things. I also but firmly believe whenever, so like... You focus really hard on a game, right? You're really trying to win. Suddenly you play like three, four hundred MMR higher than you actually are. Like this actually looks like proper Master League play to me as well. It wouldn't be out of place in Master League at all. These guys are playing really well. Oh god. Oh, we've kind of stabilized <laughs> a little again. So to clarify, when you put the drones in gas, um, but the extractor hasn't started up yet. So say like you start up the extractors, you set the drone. Um, like you start up the extractors, you set the extractor yet and you then make three new drones and you right click it onto the extractor that hasn't started yet they will just sort of stare at the extractor the entire time if you start it up after the extractor starts so you rally the drones into the gas after the extractor starts then suddenly they will start mining it right away so he wasn't mining there for like minutes which kind of sucks a little bit glurk has got a lot of money oh he's gonna be able to get a full kill on that mm. oh that's it's a great pickup here. He gets a bunch of workers. He might get a second base as well. Really? He's not... Okay, I was like, is he going to lift it? Yeah, it does at the end there. Ooh. Woo. 14 workers in a, a command center down, though? That's pretty good. Yeah. How many barracks do we have, Captain Fish? We've got eight barracks. Okay. That is sufficient. I guess we're just not <laughs> on top of it all the time, but that's okay. I wouldn't mind seeing... I wouldn't mind seeing more production, honestly, in these sort of moments as well, but... I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind that is I mean, I, what it is. I can't imagine how tired. No. Let's not freeze all the way. Sufficient. Okay. At least somebody is still sharp. <laughs> Ooh, lurkers over here in the middle of the map getting destroyed. Yeah, this, this is going to be, I think, the push that ends it all. Uh, he's going to have high ground vision, so that mineral line is going to be under attack. Uh, lurker going to try and get behind this force, but there's enough there to just lift up and away. Whoo, those tanks just barely Jeez. get out. Yeah, the <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> yeah I I don't know. The the supplies are really close here, but I just don't know if uh, Glurok's going to have anything to stop Captain Fish at this point. He's got more army supply. There's just way more in the bank here. Uh, the lurkers are going to be nice, but ultimately, a lot of the mining is all over here, and it's being completely disrupted. Uh, reinforcing units coming in for Glarek, but yeah, you're right. He really? is running out of steam here. He just doesn't have the amount of resources he needs to replenish this. He's desperately long-distance mining the 3 o'clock base, but... Yeah, top left is going to get sniped here momentarily. Captain Fish will make sure of that. That gas geyser in particular, man. But he's been doing a fantastic job. Really impressed by the harassment. The fish. Uh, Glurak has played 10 maps, Captain Fish 13. And both of these players have already put like a couple of 20 minute games plus yeah. each. That is more games than I have played in the last three months in total, Rush. <laughs> oh, <coughs> that's another game. base down. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, anyway. Down. Down. Down.
Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, anyways. Ooh. Glorak? Oh. More like go back, am I right? Okay, Rebusol. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Here come the reinforcements. He saved two siege tanks a little while ago. Now they get to join the battle once again, but I think Glorak sees the army. He's like, there's no way. We gotta be able to hold that. GG. Mecha Packa says Loco's looking swaggy. Sheesh! <laughs> Mecha Packa. Mecha Packa says Loco's looking swaggy. Sheesh! I don't think so, man. Here, Loco, here, you want you want to make it extra cool? Mm -hmm. Take your, your index and your middle finger and point at your elbow, but on the inside when you say it. Sheesh! I feel like I'm I'm throwing gang. I feel like I'm I'm throwing gang signs. My mother seems, it seems very risky. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, it's like it's supposed to be like ice in ice in your veins. <laughs> it's a big basketball thing. All right. So there you go. Next time you play StarCraft and you win like a long drawn out game, that's what you do. Just point at the inside of your elbow and just go sheesh, and chat's just gonna. So there you go. Next time you play StarCraft and you win like a long drawn out game. That's what you do. Just point at the inside of your elbow and just go sheesh and chat's just going to blow up. I think I well, <laughs> my average Twitch chatter is like a thirty-four-year-old man who has not been. They they you know I don't want to call anybody out here, but I feel like my average Twitch chatter does not use high school lingo. What? No. Say it isn't so. No. Chat, I, how yeah, sorry, old are you? Put your age in, in chat. It's, it's a boomer game now. Just remember that Twitch's minimum age is fourteen. A perma ban. Don't get yourself a. A perma ban. Okay. But I said Russia. But I said Russia. Okay. I I can't read these numbers because these numbers are all in Dutch and I can't. Look now. Have kids ever? Yes. One hundred. Like, come <laughs> yes. on. Look now. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look now. Okay. So even though it's like twenty-five to forty, tell me that everyone in here wouldn't want to sheesh ironically. Like, come <laughs> yes. on. Yes. That they that would. sounds really fun. I hated it so <laughs> much when my dad did that, but now you know, if I were to have kids ever, yes, one hundred percent, using cool kids lingo in the wrong inappropriate moments sounds like a ton of fun anyways guys here we go game number two we find ourselves on the fun anyways guys here we go game number two we have captain fish and clan fish and in the bottom right the teal zerg this is glurak using words like teal dang i would have called this light blue yeah it's probably more light blue than teal there's not a lot of green in there what about for? cyan it could be cyan Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Turquoise. No, it's not turquoise. No, no. It's teal for real. <laughs> blue and blue. <laughs> Both players are playing blue. Sheesh in a funeral would be a masterpiece. You can definitely say she's at my funeral. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> that sounds really And fun. now, a moment of silence for the recently fallen. <laughs> that would be really fun, Rushy. You can definitely do it. <laughs> that would be really fun, Rushy. You can definitely do that. It's Alpine versus Williams Blue. Ooh, salty. There um. it is. 
Oh my gosh. Formula One race. Tomorrow. Are you excited, Rushy? Uh, oh, absolutely. I'm excited for the cars that turn both left and right. <laughs> nah, that's why NASCAR is better. <laughs> yeah, just one way to turn. Exactly. So much easier. You know, a lot of the F1 drivers don't want to drive NASCAR because it's too dangerous. <laughs> I, I believe that. Yeah. Apparently, it's uh, kind of wild. They're like more than happy to go like 300 kilometers an hour. No problemo. In the corners. You know, <laughs> yeah, you uh, an hour, dude. I I watched Dale Earnhardt die live oh. on television. Oh yikes! Yeah, hmm. dude, that was like that was a high profile NASCAR death. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, I mean it was a long time ago, so it's not like recent. But I was a kid when that happened. I was like hmm. stuck with me. That's wild. Yeah. Anyways, guys, look at that. Two minute road worn here for Glorek, ready to put it all on the line. If he ends up getting eliminated in this game, he is eliminated from the entire tournament. I can always tell when I bring up a topic that you're super not interested in talking about because you're instantly back into StarCraft. No, no, <laughs> I, I just don't know anything about it, man. I, uh... Oh. No. No, it's super sad. Yeah, that sounds really sad for sure. Because it, it was one of those, like, when it happened, like, it, it wasn't... For sure, because it was one. Because it was one of those like when it happened. Like it, it wasn't obvious that it happened to begin with. It just looked like a car crash, and then, like the race didn't start back up, and then everybody like panicked, and then it was like, ah, uh, something's wrong. They had that crazy so. crash last year with uh, Joe Guan Yu, Chinese driver, and if, like he like flipped over and over and over, and he ended up in the rail. Like it was it was a disaster, man. For a while there, they didn't broadcast anything, but. He just uh, got up and left. Actually, insane how safe some of those cars have become. That's cool. Yeah, it's insane. Do I wear a watch? Just... No. Watches? Hold up. Did I? <laughs> wow, that must suck. Imagine being out of the. Suck. Imagine being out of the. I didn't even get the blue hair game today. That's kind of. Anyways, here we go. Roach push coming right in. Oh, I mean it was a good lift and pull by mm -hmm. uh, Captain Fish. But, uh, okay, yeah, the bunker's gonna finish up. How many Marines are there to help defend? There's one Marine, three Marines. Mm, I think I think there might just be enough here by Glurak. I don't know, it's gonna be close here. The, the boys do get pulled off of the line. This bunker is now priority number one. Gotta keep that uh, repaired up here. Killing off another depot is really good. Getting the reactor would be nice. That would limit the defense here, especially since there's no tank being made out of the factory. Since there's no tank tank being factory right now curious little this is a curious little attack yeah he's hmm. he's mechering behind this a little bit so that's what kind of threw me off i thought he was going to go for a bit more of a yeah i'll be 34 this year <laughs> <laughs> look now okay so even though it's hey, 32 but a teacher there you go five to 40 tell me that everyone in Glorox coming across. Yeah. He's gonna finally. Fo Ooh. Hmm. Roasted right away. Behind this little. This curious little attack. Yeah, he's made out of the factory right now. This is a curious little attack. Yeah, he's. Hmm. He's mechering behind this a little bit, so that's what kind of threw me off. I thought he was gonna go for a bit more of. A but this many roaches and a single ravager. Kind of interesting. Okay, we're gonna go for a second one. There's no way that that one's ever gonna finish, though. Oh. Roasted right away. So, yeah, that Liberator is gonna start running. Okay, this should never get an attack in. It got two attacks in. Hmm. Ooh, really good micro on both sides. I'm surprised that uh, Glurak's not just like hard targeting these uh, SCVs right now, but I think now he's gonna finally focus that down. Down. This is getting a decent amount of damage, but is it a well? I mean, 57 to 29 yeah. supply, and this is gonna 
finish up eventually. But it's you thought you were going to play Diablo though. 4 today, Rashi? <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah. The repair! Nicely done. That yeah. was well done. It is a triple CC here for Glar or for Captain Fish. Mm, yes, true. he lost all of his SCVs. I mean, he's lost 12 of them, which isn't really even that many, but... With triple orbital, he can rebuild really quickly, and mules are insanely powerful. So if he gets back to making eco here in time, I actually think he should be able to recover. Especially if Glorak is going to keep throwing units at this. Uh, he's tripling the supply count, but it's not like he's drawn that hard behind it. Like, only just now is when Zerk is really quite bad. For he, can, he can come back. Yeah, I was going to say, he almost needs to fly one of those to the... Glorak's coming across yeah. a big swell. Well, he built uh, the thing swarm that is going to be the probably over. Yep. No, I'm gonna go to game three though. Oh, he's gonna try and set up a wall here. That's uh, a bunker that saved him earlier is actually now uh, in the way for creating a follow up wall. Well, unless hey, he goes to go. that reactor. Um, yeah, okay. Retargeting on top of the depot instead. Nice little bit of bunker control right here by Captain Fish. He hasn't landed mules in a long time, by the way. Like, he's got one right now, but he's had energy for, like, 12. Um, not really using them. Siege tank is not gonna go now. No! Okay. What? That is a repair of the century. You've got to be kidding me. I don't. I still don't think it's entirely enough, but wow. Just the fact that it stayed alive. Yeah. Well, one of them is like, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my friend. The other one is like, okay, I'll heal up the bunker or the barracks, rotter. Everybody's happy here in the Terran main base. Man, he needs to get back to macroing. He just has not dropping them in. We've got so much energy. He's I, 200 I, energy right here. Yeah, I just, I just don't think it. I just don't think it matters anymore. Uh, 96 supply to nope. 29. Mules are good. They're not that good. <laughs> Baneling speed. Yeah. Um, both of these guys are playing a different game, man. Captain Fish trying to survive. He thinks this is a campaign mission. Survive for 20 minutes. You might win. Um, oh, <laughs> juked. Um, oh. <laughs> try this, but 57 workers. Different set of uh, uh, states. Uh, Glorak is, is Loco's economy. Captain Fish is my economy. <laughs> I mean, we, we're both in the same. <laughs> I feel like some of these are uncalled for, man. I can't. When have I ever. Um, let's get the note. Are we going to make more Banes? I feel like we. Oh, I just make them all Banes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 82 drones. Okay, Glorak. Oh, we're throwing some of them on the floor before the command center even arrives. This means you know you're dealing with a badass. Scout it right away, though. Ooh. Here come the roly polies. GG. The rollies. Holy roly polies. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a. It's a series. You guys wanted StarCraft. You're getting StarCraft today. Glorak is the US economy. Captain Fish is the Dutch economy. Oh, no. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, we had like 20% in a country that is way smaller. Huh. She is a better singer. Rushy is a better singer. I am interested in talking about game number two here. It's on Ancient you Sister. You brought it up. I didn't do anything. I. Why do you have a tissue box on your desk, Rushy? I... <laughs> Rushy's getting so excited, he's throwing stuff off of his desk. Sheesh. Okay. Oh. Tissue box on you. I am interested in. I had to bring it up, okay? Um, Game number three. I had to bring it up, okay. Um, game number three. Best of three series. In the top right-hand corner of Ancient City. I think I nailed the pronunciation of that. In the bottom left. I think I... In the bottom left. In the bottom left. His opponent, evening...
Bring up the series. It's Glurok. Ooh. It could be Glurok, too. Did you know backwards it's Car Ulg? <laughs> I like how you said that in a way. Like you already knew, but you didn't know yet when you started up that sentence either. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know to answer your question. Now do Captain Fish. <laughs> I was just going to say, why don't you pronounce Captain Fish backwards for me? Um, Hixifnia Pack. Um, Hix... Yeah, no. That one doesn't... That's right. It's the German word for Charizard? Glorek? Is that the German word? Why did you guys ruin it? Is it the normal Dutch word? True, true, so Glorek true! Glorek could be a Dutch word, yeah. Well, What's I was thinking Charizard? backwards, Captain Fish. Is a normal Dutch. Charizard is a cool name. Why did why why did they have to change it? The Dutch the Dutch version of Pokemon has all the English names, I think. The uh, the American names. Thank you. Thank you. I know the Japanese version has some different names as well. Though. Oh, that's why you asked if Captain Fish is a Pokemon. As well, though. Oh, that's why you asked if Captain like a Pokemon trainer. Ah, if you, we would have been making Captain Fish trying to catch. Uh, I see. I see. You changed all, uh, all of them. Do you want to be the very best? All of them? Mm. Changed all, uh, loco. all of them? Mm. Do you want to be the very best? Like, no one ever was. There we go. That was, a, go. That was a good moment. I need, another, I need another name. What is the best German Pokemon name? For like the original 150, okay? I don't know any. I know it's not a Pokemon name, but I, I often think of Flugzug. <laughs> what? What is that? What? What is that? Oh, you mean the yeah, German like, word for- Yeah, it's like in- There's a Pokemon in Germany called Kleinstein. Metaling. Kleinstein. Oh, that's Geodude? <laughs> that's amazing. Kleinstein. That's the name for- that's a, that's a good one. That is pretty good. I like it. That is funny. Kleinstein. Ooh, fast. A relaxo is Snorlax. Oh. Kleinstein is literally the translation of- Oh, that obviously makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying something about the game, Rushy. Oh, uh, no. Important. <laughs> <laughs> talk this talking about dude. Obviously, talking about you, know, dude. Obviously, has higher priority. Thank you for understanding. Uh, of course. He's not just uh. Little Rock, guys. Don't disrespect Geo Dude like that. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen his box? Geo Dude is not. Wait. Right yeah, yeah, floor. Yes. Doesn't he say X? Oh, oh, pe oh! I know. I was thinking biceps. Oh, somebody. you mean delts? Is that what they're called? Oh, That's okay. Know. He's got huge biceps. The Kleinstein. Caster, stop talking about Starcraft too. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Also, um, Ramdrahagbal called us nerds earlier. When we <laughs> I mean, is he wrong though? I mean, he's been watching this stream for the. I mean, I mean, he's been wrong though. I don't know. I mean, he's been watching this stream for the entirety of this. Oh, thing, true. <laughs> roasted. This guy's he, watching guys, nerds. He watched my watching. stream. Roasted. <laughs> what a nerd. Oh. Got him, guys. That'll teach wow. him. What's good on Barracks? Thank you for the 28 months. And thank you for the segue. Speaking of Barracks. Oh, clever. look, there is one. And there's a couple more coming. No, you, yeah, there's a couple more coming up. Yo, that's crazy. I did eight hours into the stream. Dude, maybe one will pop out a man of war. This tournament is still going on. Uh, we've got two more series after this one. <laughs> this tournament. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Aliens have literally gone to bed. They're coming. Yeah, they're coming back. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, my <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, my gosh. Back. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it has been. Krenlo oh, will be here yeah. momentarily, guys. Krenlo oh. will be here. <laughs> Is yeah. Loco questioning life get choices played. yet? No, no, no. <laughs> Is yeah. Loco questioning life get choices played. yet? No, no, no. I love casting Starcraft 2, guys. Diablo 4 anytime soon, guys. It's okay. The beta is gonna last another day, so, you know, that's a long that's time. That's true. We've got a lot of time. Double evolution chambers. Hmm. 
energy chambers. You called them Evo Bays earlier. I like that. Evo Bays. Evo Bays. So these are called energy chambers. NG chambers. There I go like to Evo it. Bays on the other. Oh. Here come the cars. Evo balls? No, 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 no. There's no balls. Oh, they expanded the beta of Diablo 4 because of the server problems? Did they actually? They when? Also, did, did they? exciting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, one side on the. Or 1 1 B. Okay. Yeah, one side on the. Or 1 1 B4. 1 1 on the side of Terran. And this isn't even really that fast of an Evo Chamber situation either. 17 drones at 17 once. 17 drones. <laughs> yeah, we both saw it. Wow. That's the stuff of dreams right there. Oh, get it? No. Oh, okay. JK. I think it just got to high ground. Mm hmm. Okay. So, Varric's number four and five come. This could be a little bit of a macro. I think we need to start earlier next time. No, we tried our double elimination this time around, knowing that it might run a little bit longer. Wanted to give it a try. Because we tried Swiss and all that, but Swiss was a dead... Yeah, Swiss was not an ideal way of running a... Um, it's a good system overall, though. This? It's a good system overall, though. Anyways, uh, I think we'll probably... Um, I think we'll probably do single elim next time. Anyways, I think we'll probably do single elim next time. Ooh. Oh, cars! Yeah. Uh, that's the a, fire trucks. That's a... <laughs> fire... Oh, that's true! They very clever play on words. Well, that's what Neuro called them at some point, so I don't want to take credit on words. Well, that's what Neuro called them at some point, so I don't want to take credit. But fire truck I find kind of funny because they do the exact opposite of what fire trucks usually do. And yet it describes it still perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Specifically <laughs> the American language. That's the best one. So, uh, Creep Spread's not pushed super hard here. There is a fifth base going up for Glurak, but in terms of, I mean, overall position, I just, I'm, I'm actually surprised that the Zerg player doesn't have more. It's largely just Ling Bane. Uh, Hydras are going to be added into the mix as well. I'm wondering if that it will be Hydra Ling Bane, or if that's just going to be for, like, Lurker Ling Bane. Hmm. Glorak's been playing a lot of different styles, so it's kind of hard to exactly say, but 11 more drones. He's in, he's in it for the long Yep. No, he's ready to drone up until 85. Good number to have. Get all of your eco going. He's going to need that hatchery on the left side, but it will finish up here momentarily. There are quite a few units right now on the map, but Captain Fish is spread very nice. Fort CC is going to finish up momentarily. There's the additional barracks production. Big supply block down. And that supply block kind of hurts, especially when you have already this much money in the bank. Hmm. Well, it does look like he's going to get regular Hydras, getting the Grooved Spines update. But I think Lorak's going to just push with normal Ling Bane. At least uh, push up at the front of... I like this. Bane getting a double-digit worker kill. Combat Shield. Combat Shield is pretty... Going to get even more... Hydra Ling Bane is uh, a really beautiful unit comp here for Glorak, though. When the game has been going well for you, and you haven't really fallen behind all too much, and you've got a good amount of creep spread and a nice economy... Hydraling Bane kind of is just good against everything, right? You can go into a Hive, you can transition to Lurk, or you can transition to whatever you like. Uh, maybe Brute Lords is not ideal, but you can kind of do whatever you like here as Glorak, which feels really good. Terran is still not on a fourth base. Oh, he's got to fly it to the right side. I thought maybe it was going to go up north, but yeah, right side it is. So it is going to be a Lurker then, by the way. Nobody seems to enjoy <laughs> Ultras very much in this tournament so far. I oh. genuinely believe at this level of play, Ultras almost every Every Lurkers are still good, but so much harder to play. I've been really enjoying Ultras uh, in yeah. my games. Ooh, okay. Nice little swell of Lings. They should try and find the tank. Allow the Banelings to get on top of the nice. bio, but uh, Captain Fish has been... Uh, Brenda! Oh, no! A little bit off a of creep. Not exactly where you want her, but... Uh... Yep. Trying his very best. Wakey, wakey, oh, Fish. That's gonna kill. That is a that is... dead commence center. Stuff for a second, the other one died as well. Why well, I didn't look uh, at that location to map for a little bit, but the orbital went up in the air instead. That is now a lot of macroing for a while. But if Captain Fish 15 really drums, like by the way, he yeah. I really, really like the uh, the position with the creep. Oh my gosh, he's taken by Glurak now. He's got incredible vision. This up, I mean, this isn't. A really, really good spot here. Some Ling's going to try and run in. I think they really should just turn around and try and attack the tanks, but instead they're going to get caught up in the wall. So not really getting a whole lot done there. But it does pull his attention away once again. And that's what Glurak needs to try and stabilize here. He's going to get more of his workers uh, situated. And he's coming around. 
space under uh situated and he's coming around for another attack as well that okay here we go he's gonna try and split against these banelings doing an excellent job and down once again he's leading us oh though you can't really rely on draw i mean unless glorek gives yeah now there's the next problem to deal with he's got no answer against lurkers here whatsoever you really need four base eco to try and make ghosts like before that your economy is just not really reasonable enough but now he's waited so long while sitting on too low of an eco that he no other choice either i don't think he's gonna be able to get much yeah this uh, this is starting to look like a really good position here for glurok he's a couple of engagements away from being able to really lock things down lurkers finally getting a part of the uh battle here they're upgraded they're ready to attack for glurok and here for glurok he's a couple of engagements away from battle here uh, supply wise though army supply wise that is captain fish still back supply wise though army supply wise that is captain fish still has a lot of stuff you can't really push lurkers into a position like this yeah so those trades were all pretty dang good in the meantime by the way there was a little bit of a drop as well it seems he's gonna try and now drop on top of these lurkers okay get in there i feel like ultras would be so much uh, Adreno not quite done, so these Zerglings aren't as strong as they could be, but 3-3, three, three, I mean, these are scary, scary good. I agree with you, though. The uh, the Ultra Switch. Captain Fish, though, should get his Marine and Marine. Must have been. Okay. Must have forgot about it. Yeah. I'm gonna try and see if we can get some work done over here on the right side of the map. There's a Bailing roll by, I guess, once again being set up. Glorak is basically just rinsing and repeating. It's just that Lurkers kind of suck when it comes to getting into the right spot. If they can burrow over here, life's going to be great. But Captain Fish has not been given up that position. Now, he does have that base up on the right side here. Can he do anything again? I, I mean, he's got enough Banelings right there. He could probably just pop the base entirely. Uh, oh, he's going to go after the workers. I think that's really smart here, getting 16. And he's going to be able to pick off the planetary. Uh, it's a big sacrifice, but I think it's the sacrifice worth making at this point. Oh, well, a couple of Metavex being donated as well. 30. Two more Zerklings coming up. He wants to break this position so bad. He's trying to bait the opponent in. Captain Fish knows his tournament life is on the line, so he's making the best of this very difficult scenario. But generally speaking, when we get to this point, when, well, one player has doubled the army supply, at least the supply, basically GG. You know what? A Quiggly moment coming up. Oh, no, he said <laughs> not have a stable economy. It's 93 workers to 39. It's hard well, to come back from. That's all. True, it is the same numbers. Totally different positions. Oh, he's going to start building in... Ooh, she. He looks bad when <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you say woo, that's basically what you should be saying instead of she. <laughs> Whenever you think about going up with your voice in tone, oh you should be going with she. There's instead. creep. There's creep all over this map, Loco. This is the final wave here. Captain Fish is gonna have to. The clap is in the chat. Well done, GG. He taps out. Well done to the lower bracket finals. Noise. Lower bracket finals is him going up against Gabriel. And then the winner is going to be a Ramche against Gabriel. Gabriel. And then the winner is going to be a Ramche against Gabriel. Ramche has probably fallen asleep by now, playing some of the dirtiest StarCraft we've seen all day. <laughs> he, he won his match hours ago, guys. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't know what time it is over in Macedonia, but uh, Whew. well, Whew. well, hope he's still around somewhere. That would be nice. But uh, we hope he's still around somewhere. That would be nice. Loco's working overtime today. My life's very hard, guys. Yes. Because working overtime today, my life's very hard, guys. Asked if I had. Actually, got those really big people in the chat Who to type. Loco, there's a difference. McLaren. 
it's it's the same name. I got messed up here. They both said go go, but in the chat it kind of looks like they. Ah, I see. Expectancy for the fifty. Guilty until he buys the. Yeah, Chad. If you see me suddenly driving a Bugatti, you know it was it was like a tax evasion scheme. Guys, here I'm we only go. gonna get to hold on. <laughs> only fifty. Uh, Loco feels guilty until he buys the next private jet. That's true. That's true. Life expectancy for the Netherlands is 82.78, so Loco has about 50 years left. God. <laughs> Only 50? Loco feels guilty until he buys the next private... 50? Loco feels guilty and... Life expectancy... <laughs> Guys, here I'm only we go. gonna get to hold on. <laughs> Our next best of three series to determine who will be facing off against the other grand finalists whose name I've so conveniently forgotten right now, but I thought I'd talk myself out of that quite nicely. Spotting right here in Alt or at alt on altitude at a high altitude. We're looking at Gabriel's main command center. And their opponent in the bottom left, the light blue teal cyan aquamarine baby blue zerg. This is a blue rock. Ooh, baby blue. I had not even considered that color. I didn't even know what it is. Russia totally gets a percentage off of loco subs. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Duck egg. Duck eggs are blue. Ooh, yeah, actually. They are? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Google it. Like, that's that's actually a legit thing. Duck egg. Oh, they are a little bit blue. -y. Duck egg blue. And to be fair, duck egg blue. But <laughs> but yeah. corn flower blue. These okay, Motlesses. That's just an old like that's a that's a boomer color. Corn flower blue. What in the world is that? Yeah, like grandmas use that color. Flower blue. Is that a very Iowa thing? Yeah, I at least I knew that color. You have a lot of corn, right? That's true. We don't talk about cornflower blue anymore. No, we don't do it. We don't talk about corn. Cornflower blue. I could talk about corn for hours, guys, but I think we're gonna be. Casting against it. I know. Would you would you say that? I know. I know. Would you would you say this is like a, a hub for talking about corn? Corn hub? That's one yeah. of my top three favorite websites. Oh okay. <laughs> what the uh Reddit. <laughs> Twitter. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Anyways. We almost trapped himself. Oh no. Going into the Himself. Oh, no. Yep, no. Oh, he himself. Oh. Right there on the... <laughs> I, li I like how Twitch wasn't in your top three. T Twitch? Twitch is... ...is not in your top three. T Twitch? <laughs> wow. Top 12, maybe. On a good <laughs> maybe. day. No, I do... Uh, it's not about television. It's... it's... <laughs> what? It's not about television. It's, isn't it Tuvalu? <laughs> what? Yeah. Tula? Yeah. T what? The T. So the TV. Okay, here we go. Wait, Fun for fact. real? The for real. extension.tv does not stand for television? Yeah, it stands for the country Tuvalu. Oh my god, really? Yes. My website is loco.tuvalu? Like, for real, for real? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should be busted. <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> wow, that is quite sheesh. It <laughs> that is amazing. You can go to www.loco.tuvalu. <laughs> like .uk. I, I understand. I understand that there are other extensions and yeah, I understand it. Tuvalu sold the domain. It's a massive source of income. So I know registering a 
TV domain is significantly more expensive than .com or .no or whatever. Oh, that is amazing. So that island is basically making all their money off of random people that register .tv? Because I guess they take like a... Com oh, that is funny. But that yeah, is more, funny. Know. That is really clever. Man, we should have started an island. Years ago. <laughs> Years ago. That was... was the yeah. Should, should have called it something like... It's, it's something that started with... Yeah. That was smart. I had... Anyways. 111 opener right here by Garab... Grabrio? Gabrio. Got scouted. Gabrio. No? Hmm. Uh, okay, so Banshee, one Banshee out, second Banshee on the way. We will have Cloak and Stim. So this is a pretty super standard opening. Uh, third base is already done, too. So we're getting mm -hmm. more of the same. Uh, what's know, the score for this? Uh, Glurak zero, zero. 1. Is it 0-0? Zero, zero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just cast a Glurak previous series. That was a previous series? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think Rushy's losing, right. guys. Rushy is officially gone. <laughs> What do you want to talk about, Rushy? This, ooh, Hyperfight Rotors. Oh, I want to talk about that. You want to talk that, about how... Yeah, yeah. Here, and... I, you know, I, I'm a Glurak stand at this point. I think he can handle the pressure. Here, and... I, you know, I, I'm a Glurak stand at this point. I think he can handle the pressure. He's, he's shown in the previous series that he can deal with that. But is that just going to translate? No, it's not going to translate. I like how... I am like a Glurex stan. He just said, like, it's the, the mo That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I wish Dude, I was Stan's cool. been around cool. for a long time, though. That's like, that's our word. Yeah, true, I guess. Is it actually. So I know Stan primarily through the Eminem song, right? Is that the. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, is that the original? Yep. Hmm. It is. Dear Idra, I mean, I wrote obviously you, but you still ain't replied. Not, I mean, Left I'm my character like, code and my BNet address somebody. inside. I sent two PMs back in beta. They must have not arrived. That was such a good uh, cover. We used to listen to that on stream all the time. There's a... Uh, I was going to say, was a, that Tempo? Yeah, a Tempo cover for Stan. But it's called Dan. And it's written like Artosis is writing a message to Tasteless. Or to Idra or whatever. <laughs> it's really good. Your biggest fan, this is Dan. So okay, good. so if you knock down that tower, does it, like, destroy the Zelnaga tower? Yes. It just gets rid of it? Yes, so it oh, breaks down. Oh yeah, I guess down. it has to. Yeah, yeah, it does, it breaks down, and then you destroy the rocks, and then you have access to eight golden minerals. Oh my gosh, I There's haven't some even cheeky that players closer. out there though that found some ways to actually use this to their advantage. So it turns out if you build a command center underneath, how does it work again? Hold up, there's there's a little trick that you can do. I have never really seen anybody pull it off in a pro game, but you can build structures underneath as well that soak up some of the damage. There's there's some moves you can make. Anyways, cloak benches. Big bada booms in the main. There's there's some banshees. Big bada booms in the main. Beady cloak banshees as well. Yeah. Not the greatest micro here, but micro. Ooh, but we're gonna get double digit worker kills, and they should be able to zip out provided they actually respond. Yeah, should be okay. Ooh, could probably start working away on queens as well. That would be really. Cool. I mean, not bears total. Not bad. You lose. Terrible. Yeah, trying their very best here. Only a. Yeah, trying their. Very... Only a. I don't know. Only going three. I oh, know it's kind of a waste, but I feel like we're probably. Bench here. We should probably see it like that. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Look at them going absolutely wild. Zerkings in the meantime on the right side of the map, trying to get some work done. Gabriel, though, starting to. Uh... What? Ooh. Starting to add on some additional star parts together with a fusion core. I mean, he's got plenty of gas, and he's got a lot of minerals stored up as well. Why couldn't that be for Battle Crew? I do like Battle Crew. Battle Crew is make me. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite. Must be Liberators. <laughs> Liberator ranged. There it is. No, there's no one. Double armory as well. My god. Gabriel, you need a lot of gas to sustain. Might want to set trade that one too. But anyways. Um, Battle Crew just make everybody happy. Battle Cruisers make everybody happy, right? Except Glorek. I don't think Glorek is going to be too happy about it. No, certainly not. It's gonna, it makes I was the gonna macro say. easier. That is true. So he could have started one Battle Cruiser up already, but like we saw earlier today, players in this tournament are fond of starting everything at precisely the same time. Starting up plus one at the... No, no, no. It needs one one, right? You can't just go for one of the upgrades before the other. 
Bam, firing up four BCs in three, two, one, now. More like three, two, one, now. Chet, you oh, give it a maybe. try. <laughs> oh, good hey. one. Wow, wow, Chet, oh, you a, did it. He's supply blocked? Yeah, he's supply. Yeah, that's one little thing they don't tell you about battle cruisers, man. They are 400, 300, but they're really 500, 300 because they also require one supply depot each. It's, um, it's a dangerous little move. Oh, he doesn't realize his supply block. Yeah, no, he doesn't realize it. Oh, God. At least he's just queuing, At least he's just queuing up more units. Oh, no. He's losing them. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's Mart. a way to solve it. Yeah, that... Ooh, dude. Dude, that is the big brain play. That is the big brain play, but you also might lose the game because of it, because these battle cruisers are still going to take forever. <laughs> uh, the nice part is two of them are going to pop, but what's going to be able to defend this base Ten on the mutas. low ground? Ten mutas are coming up too, man. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's a, what we call a p in the business. Um, I mean, battle cruisers are pretty dang good against mu business. I mean, battle cruisers. I mean, I mean, business. I mean, battle cruisers are pretty dang good against mutas. It's just that uh, Gabriel has not got a whole lot of money here, and it's sixty-four out of ten. That is not a number we normally see on one base. Peak efficiency right there. You can see what? Peak efficiency. Oh, peak efficiency. I thought it was just something about fish and like what the... <laughs> the fish man just got eliminated, dude. That's too soon. Oh, no. He still doesn't know about the BCs, by the way. Glark, that is. Oh, no. he's. Oh, he's got a little changeling over there. Sorry, I was literally staring at those in a minute. Um, he should mm. not add on mute. Notice. He should mm. not add on mute us. He should. That's the only thing I'm a little concerned for. Well, I mean, if he just kills 60 workers in the natural, it might not matter. Yeah, actually, those SCVs should go. Gabriel, keep him there. We need supply. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <so> <coughs> okay, so there are now six. Okay, Look how uh, terrible these units are going to be man. able to jump on top. Micro, micro, Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. Ooh, he could have gotten one. Yeah, he could have. I think he could have gotten one, but now he's going to be able to repair. <laughs> Look at these selfish SCVs. The sh selfish SCVs. My God, I can't talk anymore. Um, they started to repair. <laughs> they started to repair each other rather than the better. They started to repair each other rather than the better. I can't talk anymore. They started to repair each other rather than the better cruiser. Oh god, are we pulling the boys? Oh. Uh, where? Uh, <laughs> where, where? Where would he even go? I don't know, maybe to like mass repair the BCs? He's gonna need more gas now. Glorak is really trying to go mass mute out here. I don't like that at all, but he might just, yeah, he's just gonna have enough. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, uh, it's not a bad idea to use uh, the Yamato, but it's not quite as efficient uh, as it should be. Do we not use tactical jumps? There's like three units to control here. God. All right, eight corruptors on the way. That's a much better unit composition choice here. Glorak should not just throw away units either. I mean, no, okay. that, that would be a mistake. He doesn't have any gas anymore, Glorak, that is. BCs are on the hunt. It is actually kind of scary. There's uh, more better cruisers than there are corruptors right now. Is that true? Yeah, it is. Sure enough. I had to get that sentence out quick because now it's no longer true. No, we're not gonna. That was my Yamato gun impression, by the way. Oh, there it is. That's what that was. <laughs> There you okay. Go. <laughs> oh. Woo! This is called macro. <laughs> Look at these guys once again repairing themselves rather than the BCs. Uh, I think I think Glurak could have left the Lings there. The Lings would have gotten far more value than they would have lost. Okay. Glurak going double spire, mass link corruptor. Playing with his food right now. Mass link playing with his playing with his food right now. Uh, we currently have creep tumors out. My food uh we currently have creep tumors so that's fun. that's an issue i think <laughs> or an opportunity it, it's true oh it's pee in time well to be able to get that oh yeah losing that base i think is the final straw here even though there are a decent amount of battle cruisers if he doesn't just go across the map and kill as much as he possibly can 
uh, this is just going to overwhelm him because there really isn't that much on the opposite side. If he were to leap into like the main or the natural, he could get a. Cr yeah, there's still more better cruises than there are corrupt. If he keeps trickling them in one at a time like this, I mean, he's not saturated all of his gases. If Gabriel wins this, I'm going to cry just for my Zerg brethren, you know? Like, Gabriel barely has enough money to repair his battle cruisers. He should actually, like, he should make the decision at some point to go. So what do we have for f unit count right now? 11 corruptors? Oof. Yeah, that's not yeah. enough. Cost efficiency wise, 17 corruptors for two BCs is not great. Hey, there, there are 10 queens. If for some reason he can find a way to yes. uh, attack with the queens and the corruptors at the same time, maybe. But this is actually a lot better. I mean, getting the damage on the opposite side of the map. These lings aren't doing anything otherwise. Are we going to bring the BCs back home? <laughs> Gabriel, we got to go do Just something. Just chill. <laughs> oh, he's not going to lift. He's not going to. Oh, it lifts at the last second. Hmm. If only these could do something. You could almost hear the gears turn. Here come the queens. <laughs> Trying to use? Nah, no, no, no. Okay, got a couple. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, I liked yours a lot better. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Gabrio is very. Gabrio is very dead. I think if is... he wants to stretch this game for longer, what he should do is fly the command centers to the corner. <laughs> Preferably opposite corners. Oh no. There's no way. Don't give him ideas. Uh, can that can that get up the ramp? Are those lanes just I mean, chill Glarik, there. Glarik has not been making it easy for himself, but there's no way he can lose this really. Oh yeah, everyone that goes down that sinks it further. Map number one out of three. Glarik looking dominant. Very good. <laughs> what was the weirdest thing? In fact, I got a camera right there and just put what you were doing out there. That was a bit strange. <laughs> it was it was a struggle. But he had a key and a door. I don't know what kind of door he had. I gave Rushy a key to open the front door. And a lock, but you know. In fact, I couldn't open your door. <laughs> yeah, was there anything that you were like, that's weird. Oh, what was the weirdest thing or weird manners mannerism I had? Weird mannerism? Yeah. Was there anything that you were like, that's weird? <laughs> In fact, I couldn't open your door. <laughs> yeah. And a lock. <laughs> but, yeah. I gave Rushy a key to open the front door. He couldn't <laughs> figure it out, guys. I don't know what kind of door he has, but he had a key <laughs> and a door and a lock. And for some reason, it was it was a struggle. <laughs> I kept turning the key forever. <laughs> turning it. And it went. Whoa. But he had a key <laughs> and, a door and a lock. It was a struggle. <laughs> I kept turning the key forever. <laughs> turning it. And it wouldn't open. <laughs> That's not how... <laughs> that was a bit strange. Yeah, I don't know what you were doing out there. I don't know what... That was a bit strange. Yeah, I, I don't know what Rushy was doing out there. Out <laughs> I would have... I wish I had a camera right there and just pointed at Rushy. Just 
turning the key, but Rusty got defeated by a door. <sighs> I was like, well, guess I'll walk back home. <laughs> he tried putting the key in the lock. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, I've walked into a door a couple times too, so anyways. Uh, <laughs> Let Guys. him cook. It's <laughs> flying right here. In the bottom right corner. Of Dragon Skills, leading oh. this series 1-0, to zero, we have Gluirak. Ooh. And, uh, Build order variety? Okay. Ooh, final tournament life here. On the line for the Green Terran player. This is Gabriel. Yeah, I walked into a door a couple times. I got defeated by it. Yeah, I walked in times also. It's true. It's true. Got defeated, yeah. I lost to the door twice. I lost to the door twice. Different door, but... Yeah, I lost to the door twice. Different door, but... They Hello. were different, but... They Hello, were different Argyle, doors, yeah, yeah, yeah. But... They Hello, were different Argyle, doors, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does a lock work? It's magic. It's a magical lock chat. You have to speak the passphrase while turning the key. Yeah, and he didn't tell me that the passphrase was in Dutch. He just right. kind of let me figure it out. Yeah. It was something about speak friend and enter, and he had to figure out the Dutch word for friend. It was hard. Six Zerglings. Ooh. It's a Zergling, Lester. Smaller tap is Zerg. Zerg. It's a Zergling, Lester. Smaller tap is Zerg. Zerg. Gust. Oh. Gust. No, that's the Dutch word Gust. for guest. No. That was me. Two doors, one loco. Yikes. Oh. Yikes. Oh. Friend. There you ah. go. Bunny. Yikes. Friend. There you ah. go. Bunny figured it out. Oh, my. Keep My it at home. Face hurts. Oh, Glarek going in with a little bit of banter. It's like, hey, bro, could you really keep that Reaper at home? No way. Give me no. some drones. <laughs> ay, ay, some ay. Drones. Distraction successful. Glarek already dominating. Now he's going to get some drones here, maybe, but Brenda's on Ooh, the job. Brenda! Uh, what about the CC, though? Oh, God, he just started up the reactor. That CC is dead. Yeah. Yeah, is he gonna get a full kill? Okay, I was like, surely not. But also, no, oh, no, oh, just attack you, it. Did you kill the reactor? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, just attack. What's what's there? What's gonna hurt you? His feelings. His feelings might hurt him, Rushy. Don't make fun. <laughs> My feelings hurt me sometimes, Rushy. Come on. Oh. Do you, do you want to talk about it? No. Oh, not okay. right now, Rushy. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm just trying Sport. to hold it together. Sport. Oh, no. It's getting late, Rushy. Everything's hard. It's starting to hurt now. <laughs> oh, no. Don't make life decisions <laughs> The reactor was standing there menacingly. Look at it. <laughs> that is a scary structure, dude. Dude, it's spinning. Do you think there's an orb inside of that? I think there's a ball in there. <laughs> a ball. Not everything's balls, Rushy. <laughs> Wait, I, what? I know. Wait, I, what? I know. You've been talking to Josh too much. Nah, shoot. It's a real problem. Nah, shoot. It's a real problem. All right, a little bit of fireworks right there. So the Reapers leave behind. We're going for... Oh, my God. Yo, Glarik is styling now. After that game number one, he is having some fun. He is feeling it. Whoa, a Cabal? Oh, that's the word ball oh. in it, too. A Sloverlord drop. Oh. I mean, does he have a vision of this? He doesn't. <laughs> Well, That's impressive. you can see a little bit of rain, <laughs> but that was about it. I need some help out here. Well, what about in the main base, uh, Mr. Terran? Those Marines just shouting right here that need help. That CC is never going to happen at this point. Oh, that's, I, I mean, that's going to be a, a painful amount of damage here. Why are we not just, what? yeah, Glorick, just go. <laughs> Glorick cares for his Zerklings, okay? <laughs> He's playing with his food a little bit. He doesn't have to, He doesn't have to care about them this much. I know I called out the Terran player earlier for not taking care of their marines as well as they probably should. This guy cares about his Zerklings a little too much. Ooh, look at the Zerklings. They do a little wing flare when they land. That's amazing. I've never noticed it. Hmm. He's doing a deathless run. Nah, I filled that one already. 
Ah, uh, that's true. Jimmy, Jimmy and Mark in the main base. Oh, he's going for lurkers already too. Wow, that's <sighs> fast. Five minute lurker, then? Wow. That is. I mean, he's done so much damage. Can't say that I I like disagree with it, but I, that's still bold. Uh, yeah, very bold. It's not a very he's good idea, him, I don't think. He's putting himself in uh, recovery territory here. You always got to keep your opponent guessing. The last thing Gabriel expects right now is 20 lurkers to funnel. Okay, now he's not even going to be able to afford that many. Well, he's got seven hydras out at this point. But yeah, you're right. The, the gas count is going to be the problem. And honestly, against a Terran that's got scans in the bank, I don't know if that... If a drop in the main is going to be the smartest idea, but I think that's probably the most realistic one. I'm surprised he hasn't gone over to just like push that away. No. Those Zorklings just appeared in the main base, okay? Suddenly, there were Zorklings. And sometimes there aren't any Zorklings, you know? If there's like a, a mouse in your house, do you look for the source or do you just get rid of the, the, the mouse? It's a nice rhyme. Mouse in the house. <laughs> Unintentional. That was sick. Spitting bars over here. <laughs> Sheesh, let him man. cook. Jeez. <laughs> Should I write it? My MMR's gone down. I'm wondering why. That's what I'm thinking of for the first line. Ooh, here we go. The Sloverlord oh, drop continues. Exactly what he's going to do. Two in the mineral line. Are scans available? Are, are, are scans available? Are scans available? Well, he just used one on the other side side of the map. He's like, hey guys, I'm coming to play here. Uh, Are scans available? Well, he just used one on the other side of the map. I'm coming to play here. Um, He's got this four lurkers at the front here. He's got this four lurkers at the front. He actually can't clean up these yeah. marines and marauders. Yeah, this is problematic. Oh god. So now he has to win the game. Um, Terran structures fly, no? Oh, don't do this. Oh, don't do this. No. Wait a minute. This is, is kind of dangerous. Is, he needs lurkers crazy. at home, but the siege tanks are. Oh god, no SCVs! Oh, SCVs don't do not that. Again. SCVs stop not that. Not again! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, he can't kill this army with just Zer Well, he can, but he needs a lot more. Drones are being pulled. Okay, hive that's coming enough. up. Sure, that's what we needed. The drones are needed here. Gabriel is gonna start leaving his base. I mean, he needs to cancel the hive, and he needs to start a spire. In, in my opinion. I think uh, he just, he's got four. Lurkers at the front. He actually can't clean up these yeah. marines and marauders. Yeah, this is problematic. Oh god. So now he has to win the game. Um, play here. He's got problem. Um, Terran structures fly. Oh, don't do this. Oh, don't. Oh god. No, SC pulled. Okay. Start leaving this base. I mean, he needs to cancel the hive and he needs to start a spire. In, in my opinion. I think he just uh, I mean, needs if the to buildings not are gonna get float. too fancy. I'm just worried about, like, floating buildings at this point. Nah, nah, nah. He really needs to make sure he make uh, he, he does not- If that's gonna be a plan- Okay, orbital's still coming up. He doesn't actually see- Now the links are going Oh. Oh, oh! What would that be? What could that possibly be? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not the speed, it's the effectiveness that counts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah, true. Look at that brave marine, dude. Not afraid of any of those spines. Of mm. There are 12. Mm. Oh, I guess he's got to hold the front door. If he doesn't, he just loses. Yeah, he's seen a reactor building in this location. Okay, finally... No. 
<laughs> Clorak, it's right there, mate. He's so busy. He's having a grand old time. <laughs> there you go. Now he sees it. What is going on, by the way? Why are there two Vikings coming up here? What's the point of the oh, Vikings? Oh, he wants to get rid of the overlords. Oh, that's the idea? So why did that, we bring I mean, it over? That's in all I can think of. I don't know why we brought it all the way over there. Marines and Marauders are still good units, though. Slow drop alert has made its way towards the low ground. APM is actually quite high. Yes. <laughs> Sheesh. That's what you meant, Rashi. You're welcome. Um, he's, by the way, droned up four bases almost now. Um, he's, by the way, droned up four bases almost now. <laughs> Gotta finish that momentarily. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the 67 to 20 workers for me. That's the That's the kicker here. How can the APM be this high? Because the game's real hard, man. You might think... This is what I get all the time on every single one of my viewers submitted casts. There's always somebody in the comment section that's like, This is Diamond League, or this is Platinum League, or this is Gold League. I am below this skill level, and I'm way better than those guys. Guys, hate to break it to you, <clears throat> but you're not. Yeah. Game's real hard, man. If you're below Diamond League, these guys will probably walk all over you. You. Game's real it's hard. True. It might sometimes look like uh, it's easier when you're watching the game. Especially yeah, and after you, and you watch you think, And here's the thing, if you think we're wrong, sign up for the next tournament. Prove us wrong. Ooh. I'm not even ranked that I'm way better than them at uninstalling the game. I'm not even ranked that I'm way better than them at uninstalling the game. Wait, hold up. Walk all over <laughs> you after a slow drop. Yeah, probably. There's a crater spire, by the way. What is going on, Glorak? Glorak has been showing us some stellar macro games, and he's throwing all into it. I guess it's late for him, too. <laughs> oh, no. We're slow. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the slow. For him, too. We're slow. Ah, uh, yes. The slow push. <laughs> We're leapfrogging lurkers. Not something we normally do, but yeah. No, 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 no. You guys need to keep keep going. I'm also glad that they took down the rock. Those rocks that were really important. bothering him, man. No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, yeah. GG. That'll do it. And we have ourselves a grand finalist here. It's going to be a ZVP to finish things out. Loco, I've been following you for about five years, and only once ever have I seen play in your videos worse than my own. I've played one game of ladder. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> GG's Gabriel. Thank you for participating. Well played. Well done. He says it's the worst matchup for me. Yeah, that previous game was also a little funky though, man. All good, all good. Um, all good, all good. Um, that means we only have the finals left. Rushy can almost go and play the Diablo 4. Almost. But not yet. I mean, yeah. You can if you want to. Um, that means we only have to the finals left. It's an account that isn't huge, chat. Guys, I it is dark. Of people. 50 on the side. <laughs> Number 15th. Oh. Da -na 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 -na. Ba -ba -na. Oh, that's this. The chat gets it. Guys, everyone. What's up? Guys. So. Guys, one final series. We've done it. Guys. Guys, one. F We've done it. We've. Remisol, I do it just because I'm a good friend. Once right was now, you. Man. Before you know it, Rushy's like, have yeah. a when comes to the USA, will he drive to fight? <laughs> That's sad. All right. Beep. Beep.
Beep. Chat. Game number one. Are we getting a cannon rush? Yes, no. I'm here now. Good. He's done it. Everybody's ready, Glurak. Glurak has disappeared. Oh. I'm here now. Good. All right. Beep. 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 Chat. Game number one. Are we getting a cannon rush? Yes, no. Nine hours of StarCraft. Oh. Nine hours of StarCraft. It's led up to this, guys. The grand finals of the fifth viewer tournament. We were originally going to do a best of five, but we've decided we're going to make it a best of three, because not only have we been going... It's led up to this, guys. It's led up to this, guys. The grand finals of the fifth viewer tournament. We were originally going to do a best of five, but we've decided... We're gonna make it a best of three, because not only have we been going for a long time, these guys have also been playing for ages. And Rumtree in particular has been sitting nice and pretty in the grand finals. Really? Are we gonna... Okay. We're not gonna go for a single drone. Okay, first off, <laughs> top left and corner, playing here with the blue protos pieces, we have Ramche. And in the bottom right, with the 12 pool, it's the Zerg player, Glurok. Glurak seemed a little feisty in the previous game as well, going for some funky little builds. Pull first into a slow lurker drop into all kinds of shenanigans. Almost a bit of a disaster. And we already saw earlier today that Ramche is actually the one who likes to play a pretty aggressive style as well. We already and we already saw earlier today likes to play a pretty aggressive style as well, right? He's the one that went for a couple of gateways in places where they usually don't belong. Who do you think is going to win, Rushy? I mean, I kind of want to see what shenanigans Ramche has because the, the games that we have seen of this person have been rather cheeky. And it seems like right now they're just going to go for a super standard opening. And I mean, six lings, not a terrible position to be in. But who am I going to think is going to who do I think is going to win? Glue Rock. For sure. Yeah, we'll have to see where this decides to go. I think this is going to be a 12 pool with 10 Zerklings. This is the build order that I like quite a bit. It's the strat I've been recommending basically everybody to play, especially when you know the opponent can be rather cheesy. Because worst case scenario, you're a little bit behind, but usually you can catch up in macro over time. Best case scenario, you shut down the cheese. If you get some probe here, that already justifies a lot of this opener. Okay, so how good is the crisis man uh, management rudder of Ramche going to be? This is the correct approach. Double gateway right here into a cyber core usually works really well. I don't think a second zealot is necessary. You ideally want to get a couple of depths going here. Mm, I don't hate the second zealot because it allows you to pressure the lings that are going to attack this mm -hmm. outside uh, building without having to worry about either A, getting fully surrounded, or B, letting the door sit wide open. Now, it seems like uh, Ramche is doing both. He's built the pylon as well as the council? additional council, zealot. Council? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you really don't want that. No, you definitely don't want it right over there. Now suddenly these zealots are without a home. Look at them. Sad. Anyways, double adept on the back of it at least, so that is nice. Uh, probably want to start working on that... Uh... Probably want to start working on that uh, on that pylon, but all things considered, that was some good crisis management, right? Ninth dancing, right? Um, gonna start attacking with them right now to get zealots. He's gonna start attacking with them right now together with the two adepts. And this counter is actually kind of scary. You have to sort of remake those links. That's what Glurak does right now, but yeah. It's not as straightforward here as you'd imagine. This is right from the get go, a pretty dynamic game. Well, and imagine if the links end up not being in the right place. That, that actually could be very damaging. Because do we have link speed? No, there is no link no, speed. No, no, no. So usually you want a queens at the front right here. 
and the adept shade into the there you go into the main zerglings are already gone and these adepts can now actually wreak havoc because the natural and the main are not connected with creep this is a real problem with a 12 pool opener like this how in the world do you hold this without link speed you can't get link speed at this point really okay Oop, uh, well. the adepts are disconnected yep Okay, uh, those are going to be able to blink down into the natural. Ooh, this is not great. My my prediction of Glurock winning game number one here is starting to look a little shaky. Okay, and this is all fantastic because before this happened, Glurock was already behind in workers. So really nicely done here by Ramche. Any damage he can deal here is fantastic for him. Don't know how I feel about the blink follow-up though. I saw the Twilight Council. Uh, he's going straight blink. It just, uh, out of all the options you have in the Twilight Council, like be it Dark Templar or Glaive to Depths or even Charge, I think blink is my least favorite, but we'll see what he decides to do. Two Zealots, two Adepts for 11 workers. I'd say that's a pretty solid trade. But I agree with you. I'd almost rather see something, hey, shoot, I'd even go for, like, resonating. Go for, for like, shoot, I'd even, even go for like, Charge, I think, is the better choice. Like, well, this is how I get out of my base without, you know, <laughs> the one, <laughs> the one, <laughs> the one pylon's not worth an entire. No, no, it choice. most definitely is not. But I feel like it's a consideration <laughs> RevG makes. He's like, you know what? Nah, this feels a little funky. I could blink my stalkers past the pylon. Uh, okay, Glorak is gonna oh, go. Oh, but look at that. Him. Now the Zergling can't get in. Oh, man. Boy, do we look foolish. Suddenly Scout you see two denied. stalkers spawning, though. That is weird. Oh! And they're gonna deny the Overlord Scout? Boy. I'm sure feeling foolish right mm. now. Got a little egg on my face. You bet 250,000 channel points, Weebuck, on the guy who is currently losing. Well, Ooh. it's not GG yet. Ramche is gonna go Blink Stalker here for some reason. really find interesting. Because what's good against Blink Stalker is Zorklings. And what unit does Zerg usually get early game? Uh, hey, it's these guys. Metabolic Boost is going to finish up momentarily. You're going to need a lot of Stalkers. How many gateways does he have currently? He's got six. That's Should still be able to win the game with this, though, because he did so much damage earlier. Hmm. Can't just blame me for your problems, Weep. What? Just, just putting that out there. That's what I've been doing for... Okay, what? What? Just putting that out there. That's what I've been doing for... Anyways. <laughs> Prism going in on the left side of the map right here, and this is just an overwhelming amount of stalkers. When there's about as many stalkers as Zerklings, then suddenly yeah. the unit is pretty dang good. Without a third <laughs> wow. hack, you gotta not make links either. Wow, blink stalkers, what a great choice! It was the right choice the whole time! Okay, those brute links are scary indeed. <laughs> Aggressive blink away. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking this one's gonna be locked up here pretty quick. Like that stalker. In the natural. <laughs> Can't go anywhere, He's man. He's so lonely. Okay, one spine crawler. He's gonna have to commit. And... When does he pull the trigger? Well, Glurak wants to go right now, but he's looking at this as well. He's like, wait a second. Oh, nice little bit of blink micro. Wait, uh, wait, 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 uh, wait. What? what? This is Ramche over here. Oh, okay. Are you going? What? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> How did you accidentally click enter? How do you. Um, okay. A and enter are not even remotely close to one another. <laughs> and wait, so is blink? I'm. Um, another. And wait, so is blink? I'm. Um, his blink is on A? No, no, no. I think he was trying to attack move. Oh, okay. That's that the only sense. thing that makes sense. But how in the world do you accidentally? Because you would have to have two hands on the. There's no way. There's no. No way. Because you... no way. Well, any typed A. What he went A enter how many times? Yeah, he Four? went enter A enter A. No, enter A enter a, enter A enter. It's like an instrument, man. Thank you, Mister Steelio. He's playing the drums while he's playing StarCraft. You love to see it. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> it's going wild, man. He's got a special keyboard. Could be. Could be. Uh, man. He's got a special keyboard. Wild, man. He's got a special keyboard. He's got a special keyboard. Get a special keyboard.
Could be. Could be. Uh. Interesting. Engaged. Wasted his whole day. <sighs> oh, baby. Okay. Laurent's probably downstairs as well. She's like, oh my god, I hope this is indeed the final game. I've heard him say <laughs> final game a few times right now. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, baby. Okay, here we go. Top left, left hand corner of. Grasvin. Oh, baby. Okay, here we go. Top left hand corner of Grasvin. Uh, needs to win two if they would like to be today's champion. It's Glura. Once again, no drone. That means the spawning pool first. Cheeky little opener. His opponent knew exactly what to do against it in the previous match. It's Glura. Once again. No drone. That means the spawning pool first. Cheeky little opener. His opponent knew exactly what to do against it in the previous match. We're looking at a ram chase, a main base. Okay, okay. Another pool first. Ramche has been a little cheesy earlier today, right? He's been playing a uh, pretty feisty style of Protoss. So I think Glorak may have looked at those games and like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I don't lose against it. I'm gonna make sure I'm safe against everything. But then you have to deal with that adept counterattack, and if you don't handle it basically perfectly, well, suddenly you're in a terrible spot. Hmm. And I think, uh, Ramchi showed that they're capable of handling it. I mean, it went pretty well game number one. But I also think at this level, this is, I mean, it's not even that cheesy. This is just a really common opener at the... Oh, he could block it, man. Ramchi should really block that natural, to be honest, but... All good. He wants to find out what he's playing against, and he sees once more right now. Early pool. But how do you feel he... about the distance for this one? I, mean, I feel like this is a, a longer distance to try and cover. You mean like, uh, yeah. Yeah, the rush distance, I think, is a little bit longer than the previous one. Uh, I think defense-wise, though, it doesn't matter all too much here for Ramche. If he does the same thing as he did last game, and he did that really well, he should be A-OK. -okay. He just needs to not wall himself in fully. I think walling himself in fully was a bit silly. Um, second pylon is in the main once again. You don't want to go for a second pylon. Second pylon is in the main once again. You don't want to go for a second pylon on the low ground, but... Okay. We are going to go second Zealot. Okay. I don't think he intended on letting it finish in the previous game, but... Oh, back off, back I, off. You Ooh, just, wrong way. You shouldn't need to do both. I think that's that's the thing that confuses me. Ooh, wow. the micro. Is he going to survive? Wow, Ooh. nicely done. Cancel, cancel. I think yeah. he does it on purpose. I don't think he should be doing that, like Glorak. Or, sorry, Rumche. I don't think it's worth. It's just... It, you do one or the other, right? You yeah. you have the second unit to block, or you block with the pylon, but then you absolutely cancel. You shouldn't do both. It's just a lot of resources. Exactly. So this could be more efficient. Nexus is going to be acquired here soon. We have a lot of minerals, by the way, on the side of the Zerk. There you go. Now he spends it. I think with a 12 pool, you should probably not go for a gas geyser this quick. I think with a 12 pool, you should probably not go for a gas geyser this quick. I think sticking around on lower gas counts until, like, two base mineral line minimum is probably a better idea. Just because you're not going to get Zerkling speed done in time anyways for this attack, so like, what's the point? 
Okay. Ah, okay. This time around, he is slicing it up himself. That's Zealot. He's got a tough job ahead of him. A little bit better here so far by Glurek. Well, it's hard to do worse than the previous one, right? With those first two Adepts coming in. This is much better. Okay. 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 Now we have a game. This is true. The drone count is a little bit lower, but he's going to be able to bump that up here. Eight on the way. Is, is there going to be good coverage for Oracle protection here? So there are any spore crawlers at home on the flu rock. And it's possible, yeah, he's going to be able to scout this coming in. So queen positioning? There are four queens. That that could be enough, but I don't think you they're really spread out, and there's a gap in between the bases. This could not go super well. Oh, he misclicked once. Okay, he's gonna get it. Three drones. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oof, greed. Oh my god, he gets out. Wow. That's really nice right there on that first one. I think four and more HP would have been preferred, but you know what? Still pretty <laughs> damn good. And a Void Ray. I don't like the Void Ray, but we're going... Okay, we're doing... And a Void Ray. I don't like the Void Ray, but we're going... Okay, we're doing the Void Ray thing. We've seen this a bunch today. Mm-hmm. Is it two bases Zerg, though? I, I'm not quite sure if Glurok is just off his game or if this is by design, but... Uh, we have a Roach Warren coming down. Uh, but uh, we have a Roach Warren coming down. Uh, two base though yeah. into the fifth minute. It's it's because he took the gas. Like the gas is the main problem that you if if you don't if, if you don't take the gas, you have a lot more minerals to play with, so you can go for the third base a whole lot easier. I think if you go twelve pool and you go for a gas, it's really quite tricky to take a third at a reasonable time. But that might be a way to pull it off. But then you have to cut queens. I mean, this is ugh, from going from bad to worse right now though. This time around, the Adepts were dealt with really nicely, but the follow-up uh, Oracles do a lot of damage. All right, so we've got uh, what will soon be three... No, two Void Rays so far. Third one on the way. Void Ray. Oh, we have a bit of a supply block here. Try yeah, an additional to, uh... pylon coming down. Sorry? I said additional pylon coming down. Ah, yeah. Trying to get some of those Voids going. Now, do you expect a Void Ray follow-up here? He can well, almost think I, I about don't know. sniping the third, man. I, I feel like he's going to try and go all in on this, because right now we're at the six-minute mark, and there's no third base from the Protoss either. And Glurok has a scout on both of the third base locations. So Ramchi's got to decide what they're going to do and start making some decisions here, because Glurok is working with good information. And now good scouting information. Yep. Did he see the... He technically saw all three Void Rays, but he might assume that's only one. One Void Ray, not too uncommon to try and take the third. I don't think... Okay, now he sees multiples, but is he paying attention? That's the main question. He needs some sort of anti-air. I love this. The only proper anti-air are the queens. Okay. <laughs> At least the stasis are triggered, but this is already so much damage. Killing those overlords. Uh, good supply block as well. <laughs> He's trying so hard to trip the queens. Rumche is playing really well. Okay, he wants to get that base. No, I think we turn around and hit the queens. Look at those oracles as well, man. So much DPS. Good micro. Mm, losing the oracles, I think, is okay as long as the yeah. void rays survive. Well, because the third is dead, right? Uh, it's. I mean, it should be. Yeah. So a, there are four queens. So where are the additional queens oh, at? They're are not gonna pull down. Ah, there you go. Oh, here they come. You can play dance. You can dance with this hatchery for a while here if you want to. Battery overcharge or prismatic alignment. Bzzz, bzzz. Oh. In the meantime, I think Zerg and counterattack, forcing oh. the console. That's something. Okay, I was just about to say, I was like, I think this is done, but the counterattack on the opposite end keeps Glurak at least in it, but he's still got to find additional damage here. He's got to find a way into the natural, and I don't know if he's got enough to push. He's going to try and stick down the structures here, but the recall is done. Third base is gone. Battery overcharge coming up as well. Recall? Eh. Small little highlight, I guess. It, wouldn't, it didn't go straight to the net, but this is going fantastic. We've seen him play some crazy strats, man. He was the same Protoss player that built those gateways in the opponent's main base, right? Yes. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. I was wondering if that's how he made his way to the finals, playing some very cheesy builds, but he's playing legit very well. I always feel like he was like, okay, you know what? I don't really have time to play the finals. I guess I'll go for a cheeky game number three. You know, give my opponent a little <laughs> winky face, and then I'll make everything inside of my opponent's main base. And somehow it worked out. <laughs> that's amazing. He's playing really Yeah. Imagine if he, like, had plans and then had to back out, like... Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I tried to throw, but... The boys want to go out tonight. Well, it's not happening. <laughs> Alright, I have to win a plastic trophy, guys. I can't just give whoa, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gold... Uh, sorry, solid plastic. gold plastic trophy. Yes, solid gold plastic. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The Void Race. They're gonna get their little speed boost upgrade here as well. Ooh, the only criticism, name. I guess, is that it's ma. Did he just shuffle the low HP one to the back and... No. <gasps> okay. Ooh, still alive. He's he's not doing anything but Void Rays here, which I don't think is a very good strat. Oh, my camera ran out of battery, guys. <gasps> he just shuffled a Void Rays. They're gonna get their little speed. No, I'm gonna see Yo, I The Void Rays. I don't think it's a very good strat. Oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, well now you have to just deal with Rushy's- Okay, well now you- <laughs> Okay, well now you have to just deal with Rushy's camera. That's how long I've- Oh my god! What? Okay, well now you have to just deal with Rushy's camera. That's how long I've been streaming for. It's been nine hours. Let's I have go. a backup battery, but I need to- I know this is not the best way. I know there's a couple of camera nerds watching this right now, but apparently we don't <laughs> we even need to discuss it. Because Glarik <laughs> is just out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is the your end. winner. Congratulations to Ramche winning the fifth viewer tournament. I'm here, guys, I swear! <laughs> Let's go! Honestly, brilliant games, though. This finals was really well played by him. He played some cheesy games, but he played some really stellar macro as well. Super cool. Super sick. Wow. Well done. Some very, very entertaining series today. Um, I will replace myself with Rushy. He's today. Today. I will replace myself with Rushy, guys. <laughs> A dream. <laughs> series today. Well done. Some very, very entertaining series today. I will replace myself with Rushy, guys. <laughs> A dream has dream finally now. become reality. Let's go, Twitch partner. It only took me this long. There it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, okay. Um, hold up. I'm going to see if I can find my battery. Oh. Fantastic. Okay. Um, hold up. I'm going to see if I can find Okay. Uh, hold up, I'm gonna see if I can find my battery real quick. At least the stream became 100% better. Ah, thank you, thank you. Real quick. At least the stream became 100% better. Ah, thank you. Real quick. At least the stream became 100% better. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was a poker player for life. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, Twitch chat. This has been so much fun. Nine and a half hours. <laughs> Vel Harmon, get in here. We're killing demons. No, bro, I'm... The sellout segment? Chat. I, I did kind of... Am I... A ...holding as a result, so... ...hours.
powers. Am I? Hey, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Oh. I know you all loved having rushing in full screen there, but. <laughs> wow, you Sorry. just got rid of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heartbeat. What, what did I just do? I just clicked the stretch the screen button. Whoa. Oh. Well, that's. that's... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What, what, is, what have you done to me? Dude, this is what you get for wearing the shirt, man. You just make the gains. White she is here, guys. White she. That is amazing, dude. Look at those. That's insane. Hey, what's insane? Hey, insane. That's insane. Hey, once again, though, congratulations to Mr. Ramche with the uh, very impressive wins today. Yeah, very good today. With the uh, very impressive wins today. Yeah, very good stuff. It wasn't Urono, but it is Urono in stuff. It wasn't Urono, but it is Urono in spirit, okay? Very similar play style. A little bit of nasty cheese, but some stellar macro on the back of it too. <laughs> She just posted a white <laughs> emote in the chat. Amazing, Mark. <laughs> um, oh. If Ramche wants this... 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 I'll be sending it to his home. Um, I'll hit you up. I don't know what the easiest way of doing it is. I guess I'll message you in-game. Uh, let me add you as a front row. Uh, game. Let me add you. And uh, yeah, hopefully send it off to him at some point. In I'll message you in game. Let me add. Um, I'll hit you up. I don't know what the easiest way to bring it to his home. Let me add you as a. Yeah, hopefully send it off to him at some point. home. Yeah, home. Yeah, hopefully send it off to him at some point in the near future. I think that's pretty much it, guys. The near future. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Big shout out, of course, to Mr. Rushy for joining me all these hours. Woohoo! Also, shout. Also, shout out, of course, to uh, Drone Rush and. Nuke has been in the background basically managing all of the stuff. I know yes, Nuke yes, in general yes. has been uh, running the entire tournament side of things while we are talking about, well, things. It's Nuke who's actually been in the lobbies and inviting us and everything for the last however many hours it's been. No winner interview? Nah, 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 nah. And of course, thank you everybody uh, who's been. No winner. And of course, thank you everybody uh, who decided been and of course thank you everybody uh who decided to tune in today this was a lot of fun and all the other participants of course tried to get as many people on stream today as possible but i know well we had 32 participants and a bunch of people got uh, eliminated right at the very start participants and a bunch of people got uh, eliminated right at the very start uh we'll be doing more of these again as well i actually start uh we'll start we'll be doing more of these again as well i actually really enjoyed it i think next time around we might go a little bit lower again as well in mmr like i know we went Ooh. quite a bit down in mmr this time around but i think we should go maybe like gold one at most how do you feel about gold one at most rushy most how do you feel about gold one at most rushy <laughs> oh. maybe we're should gonna, do one we're high and then find... one low wrong way loco Mm, maybe. Well, it was like, we're going to have to find more things to talk about because the games will get weird. Yeah, we're going to have to change the... Weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Weird. yeah, we're going to have to change the the format a little as well. Maybe uh, do double <laughs> elimination, but with less games or something like that because it might take a little bit too long. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's true. All right, guys. I think that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you, Rushy. So wide. You were very wide. I put you back down to a normal size now, though. Um, there you go. Yo, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Hope you guys had fun. Um, I think uh, Nuke has got uh, a...
fun. I think uh, Nuke has got uh, a feedback form for the people who participated today. Ooh. So uh, if you dude. played, uh, take a look at that. Played, take a look at that. But uh, if you enjoyed my casting, uh, thanks. Thanks yeah. for being cool and hope you had fun. Are you going to go live right away, Rushy? Because I'll send the raid on over to you. Hope you had fun. Are you going to Or are you going to take a moment? No, I think I'll You can go. just have to go for a moment. I... So, you can... Right. Rushy's uh, stream is also in the title. So, it's uh, at Rushy. You can go ahead and click his name in the stream title and... Uh, um, but uh, I'm going to... Who will win the grand final? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Oh, we didn't do the final prediction. Who will win the grand final? Follow it right over there. You can go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. Oh, we didn't do the final prediction. Who put it up? Oh, we didn't do what up? Oh, we didn't. I hope you had fun. Oh, we didn't do the final prediction. Who will win the grand finals? It was Ramche. Congratulations. All right, guys. Get fun. All right, guys. We had fun. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Ian Rushing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We had fun. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Ian Rushing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nuke, and everybody else. It's been fantastic. I'll be back again on Monday for another one. So have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to smile. It's been fantastic. And I'll see you very soon. Where are my credits? My credits aren't working. Don't forget to smile. So have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you very soon. It's been fantastic. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you very soon. Where are my credits? My credits aren't working. Everything's falling apart. Where are my credits? Ah. ah Ah, there they go. Ooh, we've had so many subs today that it's incredibly fast. Look at it. Ay, ay, Let's ay, go. Ay, ay. Bzzzt. Like the lasers. Like the Voight race. The credits camera battery died as well. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Bye. enough guys welcome back today
See you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Bye.